bring up booty. I'll be the nice. one to do it. I was about to I say, it's a bad thing, if anything, that I hadn't brought it up. Heck yeah. Uh, I think so. This is, uh, the, this is, I mean, I'm, I, I guess we've got a little itinerary today, mm -hmm. you know? We've got, we? we got a little, uh, I, I assume so. You have no fucking okay. clue what could happen. It could, there could be an alien on the cast today that I've invited. You wouldn't know. Whoa. The kind of madness you drag us into, it wouldn't surprise me. I do like the idea that we have a out and out alien or some super famous person. You're just like, yep, that's it's just come. It's just yeah, it makes normal. sense. That's uh, that's <laughs> kind of what happens, I guess. Have a have a weird episode. It's like a quiz or a combat, a bunch of fictional characters, or just have random people. I was like, yeah, I could have an alien. Fits right in. Yeah, yeah this, this is Urifedge is... NL, the alien calling. From his spaceship in orbit. He's, Why? Uh... It's the wrong thumbnail. I was Why? about to say that. It shouldn't be. I put yeah. it on a new one. Thanks, also, you, Fred. After all these years, you still put a space between Metal and Commander. Yeah, but you command it's like Metal. You don't even know him. <laughs> yeah, I do. He's the. Um, he's. Like, he's it's the one guy of, who... Okay, yeah, so it's one of those things where I'm thinking about it, it's blanked oh. it from my mind. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he, he's that, uh, he's Mark the Cyborg's friend. He's the yeah, yeah, yeah. The show they do. Yeah. <clears throat> they talk about, uh, booby games. Yeah. Oh, we do? Yo. Those I mean, are out of yeah. now. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Not bad. I like those. I it think. Was, uh, was it was a good game. Or was it? I mean, you wouldn't know because you dropped it. Whoa. Oh, which game are we talking about? What game did he drop? Booby game. That game was too hard for Mahler. <laughs> too <I> mean, hard. <laughs> that's a good, good choice of words. <laughs> I heard you was lying. <laughs> no, I would never. Maybe However, sometimes. But However, what? Um, apparently somebody's lying. There's a there's a guy called YouTube somebody's Critics, lying, and apparently he's been lying. So we got YouTube to... Critics. Yeah, I hate that guy. Did it all by himself. That sounds like an alien name. YouTube Critics. YouTube Critics. That's, not, that's a Star Wars name. That's a Star Wars character. YouTube Critics. I thought Schlurpo was a Star Wars name. General, General Critics. How long before a Goompy Star Wars name is just normal because of how many <laughs> Goompy ones there are? Like uh, Luke? Yeah, how long before Luke is a normal name in Star <laughs> Wars? That'd be crazy. Everyone just caught... Well, I suppose that... There would be a lot of people who would name their kids Luke because he's a galactically celebrated hero. Whoa, 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 um, whoa. He's a myth. Allegedly. Myth. But that's, yeah, apparently that's a myth and no one knows about the Jedi. And, in fact, I don't even know how people even heard about the destruction is. of the two Death Stars. Like, why would that even make the news? That's a myth. Well, you know, it's a big galaxy. It takes some time for the Pony Express to ride across the stars. I do like the idea that you're sitting in some distant farm world and someone's like, do you know they built, like, a space station the size of a moon that could blow up planets? You're like, that's ridiculous. And they go, and some guy blew up two of them. Like, no. Well, what would really happen is there you'd be sitting there on your little farm in the middle of you know this one planet and everything and a guy would come running up to you with the paper in his hand waving it saying can you believe the trade federation is blockading naboo <laughs> i don't give a fuck <laughs> whatever and you'd be like what naboo would naboo ever do for me what i mean recently <laughs> and the paper listen, describes him as greedy War he just says listen if you're trying to tell me star wars lore i'd just rather not know at this point <laughs> There's a there's a clip of the acolyte uh, interviews. There's loads of them going around. I don't know if you guys have seen any, but uh, one of them no, I saw today, I shared from Disparu, was uh, the interviewer says, "How do the um, the the sort of the faction in this um, uh, series? How do they differ from the Night Sisters?" And it cuts to the two actresses who clearly have no fucking clue who the Night Sisters <laughs> are, and they're like, "Oh, yeah, they it's better to not think about." Uh, to, to oh, compare man. them to the Night Night Sisters, yeah, it's kind of funny oh, because if, be if they were like random oh, people, it's better to not think about. If they were random people off the street, I wouldn't even blame them for not knowing what the Night Sisters are. I wouldn't would, like, blame them. A role in the I don't know if I'd show. blame them for not knowing <laughs> if they were cast in a Star Wars show either. You know? it's, it's a bit <laughs> like, weird. Like even if you've seen Ahsoka, what the fuck are the Night Sisters? I don't know. Yeah, 
spooky I, I, wizards. I wonder though if it would be better to just say, I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that well, a Star Trek like, oh, thing? Oh, Are you patrolling me? <laughs> like, why have you said that? <laughs> what does it mean? They shouldn't ask actors stuff. Well, so where we can draw a line, I think we can all agree on. Uh, have you seen the clip, Fringy? Where they? I assume you have. What's that? I've not seen. I've not seen any of these interviews. So <laughs> this is all new to me. One of the actors is talking about Darth Vader's reputation. He says uh, it's worth keeping in mind that yes, a lot of his actions were terrible. Uh, but the, there's no strict good or evil in Star Wars. That's one of the things he said. And um, <laughs> nice. And that when nice. and, I, and just just listen to these words. He says when Anakin blows up the Death Star, it really gives you a lot to think no, about. No, he didn't. Yes. I heard about that one. No, he didn't. When Anakin he didn't blows twice. up the Death Star, twice. Yo, twice. Twice. That means he was just wrong, not mistaken. <laughs> well, a lot of people are still saying he, he kept like, he kept meaning to say Luke, but he kept saying Anakin. Um, but like, that's just fucking funny because it is. It is funny. That yeah. is funny. Just be like, oh, what Star Wars is your favorite? The one where Anakin blows up the Death Star? Like, <laughs> like, yeah, really. Yeah, I sure like that one. But also, like, what is that? There's no strict good or evil in Star Wars. It's like, oh, what? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you see Emperor Palpatine, he's, uh, he's got a lot like, going uh, on. That definitely feels like a Disney Star Wars thing of trying to, like, make it as though there is... It's like, ah, no, see, it's a little bit more complicated. It's like, it's really not. It's not. Um, the light <laughs> side is the good side, obviously. That's the point. The light, light. is the balance, not... The light is oh, well, there's got to be a balance of good guys and people who choke people and use fucking electricity <laughs> coming out of there. Well, the thing, right? two villains and two heroes. Like, oh, okay, this is this is good that, you know, we have our little, you know, villains and heroes and everything. I love the idea okay. of Palpatine doing his whole, like, meh, and his cloak with his electric. He's so evil. Just like, you know, there's a lot of nuance here. <laughs> there's yeah. a lot of things to understand. Emotionally complicated. When his face is melting off as he zaps people. He's like, you know what? He's probably all right. I, I can see the good side and the bad power. side. You know, he's... Or it's like, oh no, Ray, stop! You're destroying the balance. <laughs> Ray, no, you don't understand. He has motives. There's a totally, there, there is a completely ethical reason why he wanted Anakin to murder all the children. Okay. You really don't know the context, Ray. In context, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. context is important. Context. They I mean, would have grown up to be Jedi, which is, I guess, really. My guess as to why Bad. they're saying something like that is probably because the show is going to be like, ah, yeah. see, the Jedi, they kind of suck too, because that's that's getting really boring at this point. Mm -hmm. Can we have, like, a story where the Jedi are actually, like, competent? <laughs> no. Well, You're we got, we got Darth ringing. Mouth on the way, so he's he, she Darth is going to be... Ah, uh, yeah, okay. yeah, Darth Mouth. And, and he's going to... Like, is that guy evil? Because that, that seems like one of the obvious things, right? It's like, well, he's dressed in black with a light, red lightsaber. We've got to be evil. It's like, oh, what if it turns out that that character is actually good? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Kill me. But anyway, we don't have to worry about that until Tuesday, Wednesday-ish time, so... Uh, for yeah. the whole world. But now no. we have to worry about other things, which is we were supposed to be doing a catch up today. We we're gonna just just catch up on on the previous weekend week stuff. It was gonna be wonderful and chill. We had a nice little yeah, bloodborne stream last having, night that was also chill. I, yeah, I was having a great day up until now. Yeah, Mel's day was ruined by you guys. Gosh. No, no, no hang on. No, no, no. <laughs> you get them, Mel. You get your revenge. Yeah, yeah, Chad. What the fuck? I was watching a lot of the rings, and then Chad was like, but Metal, there's this video. We're going to check it out. We need people. I was like, fine, I'll be there. <laughs> you can have a red lightsaber without being evil. No, no, no. If you pick up a blue lightsaber and you're evil, it turns red. That's how it works. I've seen it. It happens all the time. And vice versa. Yeah, in the lore. Yeah, yeah in, in the, the lore. Books and stuff. In uh, the lightsaber book by John Lightsaber. Yeah, the lightsaber yeah. chronicles. Where... Oh, it's so cool, because one time there's a good guy and a bad guy both holding on to it. And so it flickers between blue and red, and it's like, oh gosh, what's going to happen? Jesus Christ, I can imagine that actually being a thing. <laughs> that one I could actually imagine them putting in the show. It's great. The and... crystal, like, it can't decide if it's supposed to be evil or not. Well, this one time, uh, there's a, a supposed good guy, and his good guy friend is like, hold on to my lightsaber for me for a second, John. And he passes it to him, and then he holds it, and it turns red. And so he's like, John, you're evil, no! And then he goes no. to kill him. That's, Jonathan, yeah. no. Crazy. Again, that's also in the Lightsaber Chronicles. You guys would love that book. It's on the Lightsaber um, Chronicles. You can get it from Amazon for ten uh, slippers. It's really cheap now. Light Lightsabers are us. Well, that's, that's the store they only sell that book. I think it's going out of business. Oh. 
Oh, no. I don't. I wonder why. It turns out you should sell more than one thing in a store. What is the one thing you could sell one thing of? You probably, you probably potatoes. That's the that'd be all right, right? You could probably get away with you that. You could sell a potato. You can buy them <laughs> by the singles. Every day it opens. It's this huge warehouse, and in the middle is just this little pedestal with one potato. <laughs> like, it's a singular potato. Every once in a while, because it's a really good price. It's like, oh shit! It's like it's literally one. It's not even money. You just have to smile, and then they'll give it to you. <laughs> I mean, and if more than one person smiles, it's a battle to the death. And they listed on whatever fucking statistic it was like the most successful store in history. Somehow they were <laughs> making billions and trillions from this. Maybe in like donations because everyone's just very proud of their work. Anyway, all that like to say, videos. all of that is very great context. I would argue to uh, what's happened in the last day, which is some people I got have been potatoes. posting. Nice. A video and raising my attention to it because it's a video where like loads of people get slapped in it and loads of arguments get made and it's overall a video about how you know what YouTube is in a bit of trouble. It's filled with oh. liars, liars oh, it's everywhere. Oh, will agree with finally. Mm, yeah. Oh. And uh, it's it's really going to be making some solid points about what it means to be doing bad media criticism, which is right up our alley. I'd say we're like, oh, that's all. That's all we're about. We've covered so much bad criticism, bad analysis, bad this, that, and the other, while also trying to provide our own uh, good analysis. But maybe we've done our fair mm. share of bad too. That's what makes us nuanced no. characters that go on arcs. Okay, a little very complicated wanna... experience. Whenever I open this website, I want it to always be on desktop mode. Why does it, it, it's floompy now. I want it to go back to the way it was, the way that I liked, the way that was just better. What, 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 what mode are you go... on right now? It's on the not desktop mode. I guess it's on like it's mobile mode. So I gotta oh. see, oh, here, would you like to switch to the desktop version? Yes, I would. It should be the default because I'm on a fucking desktop. I'm there. That's Much true. Better. I don't know. Yeah, that hasn't happened to me yet, see, but like, I'm not looking forward to it and... happening. Um, what if we made everything work on mobile so that it shit on anything that isn't mobile? <laughs> did that instead of just the rags. Desktop, keep it desktop. What if the majority of their viewer base is now? Are people fucking using Watch Together on mobiles? Is that a thing? I, I don't know. So. I sure don't. I sure don't fucking don't either. Also, hi <laughs> Theo. How you have... doing? Hello, Lorms. I'm doing good. This is uh, it's perfect for you because it's a video that's bad. <laughs> you, Whoa. You're going to love it. Um, Incredible. Well, yeah, it sounds like we'll agree with it because of all those YouTube liars. Well, that's We share thing. a common enemy. This is, and we'll probably say this for going through it as well, feels like a trip through history. He covers so many arguments that we have over the many years of this show running. It feels like a celebratory video. Like It would probably be perfect for like the 1,000th episode. But um, since we're so far away from that, I figure we'll just do it now, you know? Have a few little months look away. Yeah. yeah, a few months. So, um, well, since it's not a short boy, we should probably get started. Um, as long as you're all prepared and ready and excited, I don't see why it's we wouldn't just... Prepared uh, as I love a bee. Yeah, same <laughs> Jump in. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah. As I said, the this name is... is Yo, that started at Oh, he's got one of these icons. I already know he's a terrible person. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> You just know. No, it's I'm right. Laws of the when universe. everyone who has one of these icons is a terrible person and they're an insufferable lefty. I just you just know. You could tell. You don't know. It's gonna be great. You 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 Anthony... being mean because oh you don't yeah, it's like a bit of a, it's a bit of a long one. It's a bit of a long one, yeah. A little bit. Yep. It's, I'd say it's slightly longer oh, than right. uh, like ten minutes or twelve minutes or whatever. Um, what takes a long time to address all of the YouTube critics? There's so many liars. They're, they're liars. everywhere. We gotta get them. Hopefully we can help him right. identify the YouTube liars. Um, no, this is already interesting. So um, the the title, YouTube critics are should not be capitalized, but he knew to not capitalize too. Hmm. So that's interesting. So he knew to do it. You giving him like wrong. an eight out of ten score for that title then? Something like that. I think so. Not bad. Up there. Anthony Gramuglia. Let's see what oh, Anthony, can I, Mr. Mr. G. Has can I point out what I like about here. the title? Is he's he's he would say it as bad media criticism video essay while I'm seeing it as, like like you know he's talking about bad media criticism while I see it as a bad video essay. You understand? Like Ooh. it's like perfectly titled okay. for me and for him. <laughs> Whoa! It works on I multiple mean, levels. I feel like the he's themes. not wrong that they they are lying to you. Well, you know, the vast majority of them. But I would say everyone. We'll see how he cashes that out. 
Hold up. Yeah. Hold up. You know how when you oh no, it went away. Oh, oh I'm funny. sorry. You know how sometimes when you open up the uh like a YouTube stream, it has that stupid AI like overview of what's going on. I opened it up and it was funny. And oh. then I was gonna tell you what it said, and then it went away. What I still I haven't seen that on my on my end, they're, unfortunately. They're me, so far. Are can they just can you just request them or do they come up like automatically? I assume they're gonna roll them out like one by one. Because they're funny as fuck. I've never seen an accurate one yet. Brackets. Yeah, same. And I okay. stream a lot, and I never see it. <laughs> I got it to come back. I I rejoined the page and I got it back. So let me read to you what it says. Okay. Okay. Theo is a popular guest on the show, <laughs> and some people are requesting that he make more videos. <laughs> the, chat also the chat is also discussing a video review of the Fallout show. Which they are calling legendary entertainment. <laughs> what? Uh, others are que others are questioning the validity of the reviews and the ethics of the YouTube drama. You uh, know what? The YouTube drama. Accurate. <laughs> yeah. It just sounds like a like a. I don't, I'm I don't just know. glad we had popular Actually, you know Never mind. But... Admittedly, <laughs> bro. We have been wondering when you're making more videos. Backed by popular, <laughs> uh, you know, someday. Uh, in the previous one that I uh, missed because it went away, it said that we were joined by uh, a guest streamer, Theo. So, streamer? No. Ooh, yeah. Theo, Theo's hey, streamer. Oh, what are you doing right now? now? Never yeah. told us. Oh, Fucking I checkmate. So. Fucking Wait, checkmate. It, Wait, if you're on someone else's stream, does that count as you streaming? Yes. I, yeah! I guess. Totally, 100%. Because I always stream on someone else's channel. Technically, I guess. Rags so. the streamer. Well, yeah, I'm enough, Rags the streamer. And Metal. Metal streams on Mark's channel. So he's a streamer. Yeah. Why do you always do this to me? Mel streamed Bloodborne last <laughs> night. <laughs> That's true. You were. You were streaming on Mahler's channel. And Fringy was streaming on Mahler's channel. Yeah. And I was streaming on Mahler's channel. And Theo was streaming on Mahler's channel. This is like a... It, this is like a... Like a... Like a what, what are they called? A, a reunion. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Yesterday. Well, yeah. For those who don't know, uh, we, we, we did just hang out for a bit while playing Bloodborne. That's in the... Playlist if you want to see it, the, the gaming one. But now, though, we got to turn our attention to this PSA in the form of a video essay where he's going to inform us of the liars that are creeping around every corner on uh, YouTube. Oh, boy. It's going to be interesting. I'll probably do a list and see who I'm going to need to look out for. Collect them up. Instead, can we watch Satan's Blood Burial? Mm -hmm. That sounds fun. Oh, Looks yeah, if you want to watch oh, that. Oh, there. Um, huh. We can watch it during. We can put it on the second monitor. Uh, I'm sure that won't be annoying as hell. Be great. Asylum of Horrors. 18 big acts on stage for the crawling thing. Horror come horror of the crawling thing, yeah. <gasps> the creature from outer space. Space. I hate it when Ooh, they come two from chillers space. to turn your dreams into screams. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. That's just crazy. Have you guys ever done that? Have you ever like woken up from a dream and gone like, ah? No, no. You ever had a nightmare like that? No, think so. I've seen it in movies all the okay, time, but no. Because it happens in movies a lot. Yeah, but I've yeah. never done it, and no one I've been around has ever woken up. Uh, I've, I've woken up with an elevated heart rate before, though. I guess. I sure. Like, oh, well, that I was guess crazy. that makes sense. Yeah. I don't know what that one in the top far right says. Ten dollars is that free death fright? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can't be free. Yeah. Ten dollars. Well, to be fair, back when this was made, ten dollars was like a thousand dollars. Exactly, so, so it's definitely not less, free. It's even Ooh. less free than I had once thought. Quite an expensive death fright. Mm. Yeah, I'd rather just see the robot. <laughs> <laughs> when right. Kong Skull Island first hit theaters, mm -hmm. the YouTube channel Cinema Sins oh, did a course. video detailing all the ways the film sinned in their popular Everything Wrong With series. Now, uh, I mean, a video that's a good target, I'd say. YouTube critics are lying <laughs> to you. I actually think it's uh, incredibly fucking boring to start with Cinema Sins. It's like yeah, have, maybe maybe it just starts slow and then this conversation it up the end. has been had a billion times over. Do people still think Cinema Sins like inspired everyone to not think about anything other than plot holes? Because that's something that they try to push, right? I feel like it might have moved on now. I think Drinker might be the new person that is going to start enveloping that boogeyman. Mm. Um, there was he reviewed uh, Furiosa positively, and there was a there was a tweet that like went partially viral, just saying "stay away from her." <laughs> yeah, which is like, what the fuck? I like the movie, so <laughs> it's, yeah. That's what I mean. It's, it's like, just so indicative of like, oh, you just read the title and made assumptions yeah. of. The, your impressions you have of that person. So, just gonna do a little tweet and go viral. Yay! I got viral. Ooh, engagement. Engagement. But I guess 
you know, like, I don't know, YouTube critics, it's like, CinemaSins, uh, and, and this is going to sound weird, so let me explain myself, is almost like a meme channel, and I guess what I mean by that is, you, I don't think you go to CinemaSins for a breakdown of the meaning of uh, any particular, you know, f f film, or even um, how good it is. You go to him to have some fun where he pokes fun at films. Isn't his thing, he does it to all films, that, that's like his uh, subtitle. No film is without sin, something like that. No film is without sin. Yeah, I've, I guess I've so, never yeah. seen. I can't recall meeting an individual who took who takes these videos seriously as well, like substantive criticism. So I would then develop that into what he does is for fun, and he's messing around with the film. However, I do think it's important that he's accurate. He can yes, make. Well. You know, a coherent criticism of a thing, and it can make you go, "Oh yeah, okay. wow, they fucked that up." But sometimes you can yeah. get it wrong, and we should equally be like, "Oh, you shouldn't, you shouldn't get them wrong." The response shouldn't be, "Shut up, it's just a fun channel." It should be, "Yeah, you should probably, uh, whoops, you know, that was a mistake." Yeah, definitely um, hit and miss, which is more than many can say. Well, as our coverage has shown, we find that he is more accurate than cinema wins, but they both have exactly <laughs> the same problem. They neither of them work yeah. hard enough on their videos. Being more um, accurate than cinema wins is not a no. not a very high bar. Mm. So, As someone really said, pitch meeting, it. far superior, and filled with a lot of genuine criticism. But, um, you know, he's probably made mistakes here and there, but uh, as long as he's not like, well, the mistakes don't matter when it's not in a context where I'm referring to myself as a critic as opposed to a... You know, if it's like um, a comedian, but they just get details completely wrong that builds up a story they're telling or a, a joke they're telling, the implication, mm -hmm. of course, is if they were to correct those details, then it somehow makes it worse. It's like, well, no, it'll make it better, right? If you get get your source material. It's kind of the whole point of this. Because he watched Skull Island and then made fun of it. Because I don't know if you guys know where this is going already, because I, I, I knew this had happened. The the creator no. of Skull Island was very mad at uh, Cinema Sins for his video. Oh, really? Yes. Which, um, uh. you know... Up to you how you want to respond to someone on YouTube making a video about how your movie sucks. Um, you can try and correct them, I guess. It's up to you. And you can always you guys, ignore it. Uh, obviously, we haven't seen Kong Island in some time, but hopefully we can remember enough of it to be able to comment on this section of the video. But yes, we're opening with CinemaSins as the Aha! YouTube critics that are lying Good to you. Good friend of the channel. Yes. Long time. <laughs> He's very long fond of us. friend of the channel. Tight homies. CinemaSins. We go way back. Way back. Way way back. Back. This would have been an unremarkable video for them if not for the director of Kong Skull Island, Jordan Vock Roberts, taking to Twitter to criticize the video. Tons of movie reviews are criticized by their creators, but Vock Roberts' perspective gained traction because, well, he was right. Ooh. The I didn't uh, read all of that. The, Why did you put just, that on screen if I'm not going to read it? And yeah, we, like, I. I paused partially to go back and partially yeah. to say that the <laughs> the thing that he showed from the CinemaSins video was a valid criticism of the movie. So, not a great idea that you decided to show from his video a criticism of the movie that makes total sense. I, I don't want to hop on this too much, but do we have to leave the breaths in? in the <gasps> oh, movie? yes. Yeah, we do. There'll Great, be plenty I didn't of things to that. note. I'm going to hear it every time now. Thank you. I'm sorry. Well, so, and, and <laughs> I just, to, to say both of you, I, I find to be completely accurate on this, uh, but just to, to bolster what Rags has said, I fucking despise it when you put this much text on screen and I don't know if you want me to read it or not. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is it just supposed to be like, this is definitely an argument of thing I'm talking about? Moving on. Yeah, and so it's like, so I but guess... I guess we can... We'll read it. Can we... Mystery... Oh. Yeah, let, let's... Oh, <laughs> oh okay. I, why? I, I, so, that's right. Oh, wait, this we... This is okay. Kong Skull Island the director, director of... Right, right, right. Um, Kong happening? Skull Island director pinpoints the problem with cinema sins. Oh, this shouldn't be counted. Uh, Jordan Vogt Roberts took issue with a new video in the series. They're often just wrong or think they are smarter than you. Well, if you're a movie director, it's very likely that they might be, as we've seen the last couple of years. <laughs> Who can say? They are often, uh, yeah. they are often I, just wrong, sure. I mm -hmm. will say that the, the reputation of anyone who makes movies in the last five years, that reputation is tanked. So uh, let's see here. Uh, so, well, I saw someone like asking, we'll is Fringy okay? He's charging. He's, he's getting ready. <laughs> He's in the Fringy's trees. He's about to I'm jump drinking. onto the neck of this video and snap it like Kermit. <laughs> He's I'm drinking. I'm drinking my coffee. All right, it's in my kookaburra mug, it? and I'm drinking it. And it's you have got to show us a picture of that. Frank. 
you can't just say kookaburra mug without showing us a picture. That's true. Nah, you know, I'll maintain the mystery, but it's wow. a Damn, nice Damn, that's it's fucked a, up. It's a Chongo kookaburra mug, and it's great. Wow. It puts a smile on my face whenever I look at it. I'm like, hey, <laughs> kookaburra. What, what kind of coffee? I don't know. Just it's like just regular coffee. coffee. Brands. I got some flat white. The coffee yeah. is it bean juice. Is it not the coffee of your favorite YouTuber? Oh yeah. No, it's <laughs> not. It's just I don't is know what brand it is. Oh, it's just another the thing. That's YouTuber does coffee. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah well, you YouTube think it's like coffee. coffee. Or at least was for a oh, while. I don't know, still okay. is, but there's a lot of YouTuber myself. coffee out there. Yeah, I've seen yeah. Factor a lot. I see Factor a lot. You yeah. also get a lot of um, yeah, like like Gamer Fuel, whatever, right? Like assorted flavors. Gamer subs. Oh, oh Gamer right. subs. I've heard good things about Gamer subs. I got friends who use it, and I've got a guy I watch who goes for it. So yeah, I've heard good things about it. I've heard <laughs> bad things about G Fuel though. They're pretty shady behind the scenes from what I've Damn. heard. Damn. So. Wow, that sponsorship is out of the window, Rex. Thanks. Yeah, fuck it is it. out of the window. Yeah, based <laughs> on what I've heard, yeah. <laughs> it is. Um, let's watch this video, I guess. Yeah. All right. Kong Skull Island. Jordan Vok Roberts taking to Twitter to criticize the video. Tons of movie reviews. Kevin Smith rants and raves about... Why are you capitalizing on me? Kevin Smith rants and raves about creators and critics at Comic-Con. Kevin Smith is at it again, stirring shit up, as is his way. Not this sure. was like in 2012. I'm not sure what so we do with that, though, as information. Screen, I guess. Like, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. That's the thing that happens. Criticized by their creators. Yeah. But Va okay. Here we go. Mystery Science Theater built something artful, endearing, and comedic on top of the fountain of other people's work. Foundation. Oh, Roberts began. Um... From there, the filmmaker went through a series of so-called sins that the video's creators call out from Kong Skull Island, rebutting each other with clear evidence that proves... Each one. This, each one. <laughs> I would like to see this. Um, uh, the, the, with clear evidence to prove the sins aren't mistakes at all. Well, you can do something... Oh, okay, actually... If we're gonna get theological, um, <laughs> not to not about our so is right, it meant to be that he addressed all of them? Because if the idea is that all of them are wrong, don't buy that. No, there's, there's no way. A few that were accurate. Well, he showed one yeah. that was correct. He doesn't In have a this zero video, success the one rate. He showed was right. No, the thing about not yeah, even wins. About, uh, wins has a at least a one percent success rate. Zero percent. Yeah, he's <laughs> yeah, got like, some. Some of them, some of them are gonna be right. Pl Besides, there probably were ones that were wrong, but some of them would have been right. And I don't like the idea that it's either uh, accidental or, like here, it says, uh, rebutting each other with clear evidence that prove the sins aren't mistakes at all. Why would you say it again? Rebutting each other. It's rebutting? each one. Rebutting each one. Each individual cinema sins sins. Oh, what did I say? Each other. Other. Twice. Each other? <laughs> oh, that's twice. interesting. Interesting, <laughs> interesting. This is like the Anakin thing. <laughs> Oh my God, in yeah. one example, the CinemaSins subtitle identifies a character in a screenshot as Shay Wiggums Cole, when in reality, as Vogt Roberts notes, that's not Shay Wiggums' character. Try actually watching the movie. Mm. In another example, the CinemaSins video asks, if a landmass has this much of a reputation, why is it just now being discovered? Vogt Roberts' reply was simple because it's inaccessible by boat and thus only discovered when we launched satellites in the 70s with cameras looking down at the Earth. Again, I'd need to rewatch the so. film to speak on yeah, some of these. Fuck Roberts is... <laughs> I, I, we had planes, right? Well, but if exactly the island... What. Go on. Yeah, I think if the island has a reputation, and it's like, this is Vietnam. We've got planes and stuff. We've had planes for many decades at this point, so you just fly there, right? Mm -hmm. You've got helicopters. And well, besides, you can just bring helicopters in your boats and then be like, all right, we're close. Go I'd love helicopters. To know what inaccessible by boat necessarily means. Yeah, I'm curious. It looks what like that an means. impenetrable forest. <laughs> uh, that's <laughs> a classic yeah. reference. I haven't uh, seen this movie in ages, so I'm not sure what inex uh, inaccessible by boat means. Yeah, I can't I'm remember sure. if it means like there's some water or landmass thing that prevents, I don't know, or some catastrophe. It's, uh, I just can't remember perspective gained traction because well he was right uh, next up okay all right uh what is the purpose for example of mocking an establishing shot in kong skull island for depicting a rainy night in saigon as vog to roberts notes it's the last time in the film when there's any rain okay, okay. all right uh -huh. all right um all right but even if that wasn't true who cares 
Oh, that's well, a good defense. Okay, Who cares? so this this, this oh, okay. is clearly missing context. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it must be because it, it sounds retarded be. on its own. So yeah, <laughs> the subtitle in the screenshot from Cinema Sins could lead to the argument that the film's FX budget was too low to handle the various creatures depicted in Skull Island. That, however, would be substantive criticism as opposed to the to a random suggestion that there's too much rain in a film with very little of it to begin with. Sin, I, um, yeah, I guess I'd have what? to reference. I'd have to know the, what yeah. Sinison's issue was. Yeah, here. yeah. Um, and it I could also know. be like a, a literal, actual, true, veritable joke where he's like, "Oh, so much rain." Well, yeah, we we've um, conceded there are times where he tells jokes, and we what do we do that with that? I forget funny. what are our rules. Yeah. We even yeah. rate jokes, right? We give him points or not points for. We what do. We just... Yeah, a good joke is deserving of uh, of of pointage. I'm think. fine with jokes. It's just sometimes it's hard to tell. That's all. You know what? Yeah. I am actually a fan of jokes. I like Whoa. Jokes. Ah, yeah, jokes are great. We are pro jokes. Hot take here on, here on EFAP. Uh, pro jokes. Yeah. Um, Bilge. Cinema Sins is popular because it boils down a two hour film into a brief video, highlighting a handful of seemingly silly things without digging too deep, but masquerading as something more insightful. Is Which, it? Which again is odd when the Does... one criticism you showed from the Citizens, uh, Cinema Sins video is extremely plot important that leads to the. You know, following events of the film. So, Does Cinema yeah. Sins try to come across as insightful? No, think? I don't. Sometimes. I would say so. No. I would give you some sometimes. sometimes. I have a lukewarm eh on that one. It's just... I agree. Some of his points are clearly meant to be insightful and deep, but the majority of them are just not. It's yeah, no, fine to um, not have to be that thing, but if we're you know, scaling he does him, try to do that sometimes. If we're scaling him across all of YouTube's like you know media analysis people, he's on the lower half, I would say, on the um... compared to a lot of video essays. Yeah. He, mm -hmm. he doesn't take himself that seriously compared to a lot of those ones with the dramatic pauses and the wobbly, trembling voices, the intense music swelling as they yeah. read the crescendo of their point. <laughs> the big bold text on screen to be like, "Hey." You better be paying attention because this matters. It doesn't matter. Well, with all oh, of yeah. that now known to us, let us see how this progresses. The yeah. big criticism that the review from Cinema Sins flat out lied Read. about his movie. Lied. Ooh, see, I, lie. I, I just right. want to make well, sure we understand no. being wrong okay. and lying are different. Different. Li lying bit. requires oh, yes. intent. A little bit. I agree. Uh, yep. So, and also show the lie, I suppose. Well, and, and proving uh, in can be difficult. Example, I guess. Liar. We've, we've come across this many times across the history of EFAP. We've been like, are they lying? And we'll be like, mm, maybe. Maybe. And then eventually we'll be like, mm. okay, they have to be lying now because they did the thing and the thing and they know about the thing. Yeah. But uh, we'll see. It looks like this movie spent half its budget on rain machines and made sure key scenes took place with them involved so we couldn't hear the shitty dialogue. Cole's not excited. Okay, wait, wait. I think that's... That was okay. the. That was it. It looks like this. Um, well, so he's just started, and I think he's just saying it's really rainy, and they they spend a lot of money on rain because it's really rainy. Um, yeah, but what the dialogue's the bad. Was that there, it didn't rain ever after this? After this. Which well, would, would, yeah. wouldn't wouldn't that lend more to the fact that this is obviously a joke then? Especially because this is the very beginning of the movie. And, um, <laughs> I'm going yeah. to go ahead and bet course. that the rain does not hide the dialogue. He's joking that that's why they have so much rain. Like, it is a joke, I yeah, think. Yeah, because we can hear the characters. I think this is definitely like we can, to be a joke. We can very autistically assess that this is a joke <laughs> because too many components of it would be impossible for CinemaSins to be thinking. Such as this rain throughout the movie, or that he couldn't hear the dialogue because the rain was too loud. Right, these are, these are things that are not true. So he's he's making a joke, I believe. That's that's my assessment. Um, I tend to agree with that. Yeah, as I've said, I'm okay because sometimes people mistake whether or not he is making a joke. I think sometimes it can be hard to tell, but this one I think we can say I is agree. clearly a joke. This movie spent half its budget on so. rain machines and made sure key scenes took place with them involved. Also. I'm sorry, but putting up the response to the argument halfway through the argument and then cutting them both off at the end of the first argument being done is is cancer. It's a bit confusing, yeah. Because now it's like, wait, we go, Paul. Literally, not another scene in this film has rain in it. After this, literally two scenes in the whole film, the writing lacks. And that means any. Oh. A and H. Any, and he missed. Oh. 
Okay. Well, uh, um, there's in... a capitalized A, so I'm confused. Yeah, that's what's. Con- <laughs> yeah, it's throwing so, me for a loop here. Yeah, my assessment here would be he's he's obviously making a joke, and you've taken it very seriously, and you're upset, and that's okay. You can make that mistake, but uh, no need to really hit cinema sense for this one that hard at all. Yeah. Yeah. Comes yeah. across as a little petty, but I can uh, understand you know, being a right. bit frustrated yeah, guess, by this, yeah. maybe, but. Um, you know, if you can try and, I don't see it, 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 it harming you at all to just be like, whatever. Cinema Sins is just a goofball yeah. channel, goofball, and I don't, mm-hmm. I don't think you need to do this as a filmmaker. Like, like, hey, you're upsetting me about my film. He's like, yeah, it's fine. Actually, Couldn't there's hear. no more rain. <laughs> there's no more rain. <laughs> I checked. So, okay. Online. <laughs> The dialogue. I Cole's not excited about the bombs going off. He's just happy that the director chose him for the obligatory destruction reflecting off sunglasses shot. Oh, so, so man, that okay. Wait, so it so, feels like that. The point was less about who the character was and more just like, oh, look at how like they're cool, zooming in on his yeah, eyes for the shot. This is another joke. I imagine you tell. This yeah, is, you this tell, is, this is definitely, definitely a joke. Yeah, this is definitely a Obviously. joke. Obviously. He tells him since ah, that was actually someone else. You fool! You have lied, and he's like, "Okay, yeah, that's a bit. That's sure. a bit. Well, silly. this is what I mean about like the good faith approach. Like, this is obviously not a lie. He made a mistake as to who it is, but the integrity it of the meme the joke. is still fine. Yeah, it doesn't change mm-hmm. anything. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it wouldn't matter. It's like, oh, it was actually Bob, not Jim. The the joke still stands completely as it is. Otherwise, like this is yeah, this is a bit silly. Yeah. Like, are you not I paying like that attention? Guy. That's not a hit. It's like, it's, it's, it's bro. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's fine. fine. Just out of curiosity, if a landmass has this much of a reputation, why is it just now being discovered? As the director summarized. Oh, God. Like, yeah, why do you flash that on the screen for like two seconds? That's what I mean. Yeah. Oh, I hate this. This much of a reputation? Why do it like this, man? Because um, it's inaccessible by boat and this only discovered when we launch again. satellites and the same right. But what does it mean that it has a reputation then? I don't understand. So people know that. about it. it. Well, so this is the problem. It has a reputation. I haven't seen the film uh, recently yeah. enough to remember this, but what I will say is that uh, he is asking a question. He may genuinely not understand. And, and it, what I'm saying is ah, if you gave this to him. providing him an answer, though. Well, that's See, the thing. Look, if he's giving him the answer. Yeah, but this is all in the context of him being a liar, which is like, what the hell? Like, he lied by <laughs> yeah, asking a question. He lied about asking a question. <laughs> That's what it's I'm saying. Like, it's, question. You can you can ask the question. Someone could be like, "It's this idiot." You could be like, "Oh yeah, okay, all right." It's an interrogative question. And then so. it's like, "Yeah, idiot. How do you feel now?" Well, I guess I know more now. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you hey. sort of told me an yeah, explanation. Yeah, that's right. No need for the yeah, you know, asking, because you were but... silly and dumb, and I educated you. Yeah, all right. I just assumed right. we had like, I will say, and planes, but all right. If uh, if he's snatching three examples, which I like as a to prove a point, these are terrible as a three. Like, yeah, I feel like we could yeah, have gone for. There should, be, there should be like better ones because they they usually are just like much more obviously wrong observations yeah. in a cinema sense video. Yeah, we know. Yeah, generally, we one... know. <laughs> <laughs> the first one was pr- almost certainly a joke. The second one was definitely a joke, and the third one was asking a question. Yeah, so, <laughs> that's yeah, right. yeah, it's like not, great. not the best for lying. Why is it just now being discovered? As the director summarizes, critics like oh, cinema scenes want to appear yeah. smarter than the media they criticize. You couldn't have chosen oh, a I, worse delivery I, for that line. I, yeah, smarter. that was yeah. a bit that weird. Um, but also, also, I don't want to appear dumber than one. the media I criticize. That would be uh, <laughs> not that's not a great thing to set out to do. Well, it just feels well poisoning in the sense of now I can hear resentment. You know. Yeah. yeah, it does well, come just, through. What, what I was trying to sort of push there is just that, like, you come across as though you're trying to sound smarter than everything right now. Smarter. Like, I'm picturing you in a little armchair with your, uh, <laughs> with your, with your, with your scotch and your glasses, and you're holding your a book on examples. philosophy. Yeah. You're like, mm-hmm. oh this yeah, man oh, wishes yeah, yeah. to be the seen book, as smarter. The, yeah. Make sure that you have the mm-hmm. phenomenology of spirit like visible in the shot. <laughs> Even though nobody's ever read that book, not even Hegel fans. <laughs> if you want to be him. seen as smarter, you should use better drops. It's just the. I mean, I, I assume I'm not alien on this, but like the smugness in this delivery. As the director summarizes, critics like Cinema Sins want to appear smarter than the media they criticize. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, smarter. It's, it's smarter. Yeah, it, it completely is like. It's like marinated in. They want to appear <laughs> smarter than they are, but they're dumb, smarter. not like me. Yeah. That, that's what I mean. It just feels loaded in the sense of like he's already just told you how he feels. He doesn't like these people. Is there a smug, wants, smug people? Yeah. That would be nice. Smug Ross? 
Um, it's got to be. There is smug people, right? Isn't there? Smug. <laughs> that one's yeah, that one. If I put in smug, there's a few things. That was a bit it's, cheeky, though. That's this that guy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that, that one before. Guy. Oh, hey, it's me. <laughs> that's definitely the uh, a... he thinks he's smart <laughs> do we have any other smug oh we have a uh, we have a smug uh, let's pick a smug me uh, see but that's cute and fine that one uh, yeah I think there oh, needs well. to be there needs to be because the, the people one is also it's like it's a bit it feels like a bit when he does it he's like yeah but we know what I'm doing I'm memeing <laughs> we need one that's taking itself very seriously I get it. Uh, it's not very smug, but I guess I have this. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, that isn't very smug. What is that? <laughs> what's, yeah, gonna... what's fucking happening here? <laughs> He's smart. He's, He's, got He's got I his monocle. He's got his mustache and his wine. And something's something over there is concerning me. <laughs> he does look a bit concerned. Yeah. Yeah. In a certain sense, the Skinner pathetic is a bit smug. You know, there's a level of smugness <laughs> oh, in that one. But then that again, it's more it. like, uh, that's it's more like wrathful him. judgment in a sense. I feel like Ra Rags has got it. That's, that's yeah, the guy. Yeah, that's smug. That's, that's, yeah. You got it. <laughs> the glasses. It's an accomplished. Good work. <laughs> we, we nailed we it. We did it. We found his emoji. We had it all along. <laughs> the emoji made but a video said... on YouTube. ...isn't playing a character. They're just nitpicking movies as themselves. Jeremy even acknowledged this in his Reddit AMA, saying, I've always been a hyper-observant, nitpicking jerk. Everything wrong with is just a manifestation of that. So this is not the first time I've discussed bad media criticism on my channel. I don't even... So what was that? Who was this? What was the... Wow. This is this is the presenter. This is our lad. He's going to be guiding us through oh, the world of liars. Oh, he sounds so different. Oh, okay. But, um, I didn't realize it was the same person. I thought we were I didn't doing either, a snippet from... Well, the, like, the uh... person we were just listening to was Bob Vids, because uh, he took a snippet of his video on CinemaSense, which oh, I, I quite like. that oh. guy's Bob Vids. Oh, this okay. guy, I forget his name, hang on. Anthony? Yeah, Gra Gramuglia. 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 Oh, it's it. one of those, yeah. What a yeah. confusing change way to it. present your video. Well, yeah, it's exactly. clunky, to say the least. Okay. What? Um, well, he's got some Pokemon. Pokemon. He's got a fun. He's got a Funko Pop back there. Look. Are you gonna say fungus? Oh, like, some, no, no. He's got. He, he he is the fungus. Uh, this bookshelf is fungus really among upsetting us. to me. It is. I know. Yeah. This bookshelf is awful. Please tidy it up. <laughs> Man, this is, dude, uh, this I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> it could. And also, he's got the the light baby blue kind of you know color, so it's nice and soothing and calm. You and know. then chaotic. He didn't the paint the light switch, so he he can in. paint better than Movie Bob because he didn't paint <laughs> over the light switch. That's Always good. a good. Okay, move. so Always there was a bookshelf, but I'm I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I'm just, I'm just scanning for yeah all these books here. It just feels like a lot of it's very haphazardly Ayo tossed Miyazaki. in, which is unfortunate. Uzo Mani. He's got Spider Man, Batman, more Batman, more Spider Man. Spider Man. It's a, yeah, this hurts. Look at some of these books that are clearly being bent on the way that they're stored. Oh. And they're just they're haphazardly just tossed on, on there. Like, yeah. This is media abuse. It, it would be better, it would be media better to abuse. just stack them on the floor. You just have a stack of books going up. But now, from the yeah, floor. It's, it's honestly distracting. Like, it's, uh, I'm, I'm like, I'm drawn to the background more. Just Certainly like, the bad. like such a weird way to organize books. I can deal with the asymmetry of putting books in a different size of different places, but like the stuffing of them at the top, that I'm not a fan of that. That's just disrespectful. No. Mean. They didn't do nothing to you. <laughs> they tried to entertain yeah. you, Don it. Hey, they're just full of knowledge hmm. and stories for you, and Maybe this they is what you did too. to them. Exactly. And it's not going to be the last time either. Bad media criticism is a term that's thrown around a lot. This honest storytelling uses narrative. <gasps> oh, shit. That was devil. a uh, that was a second devil. liar. Oh. Look at him. Look that at the geez. liar. Wow. I was I was thrown in for a loop by the weird cut in the middle of the sentence yeah. there. That was, that was crazy. Like, well, it's such it's such clunky editing. Um, and yeah, also, geez. can you can you believe how? The cinema sin section is almost like that. It's like I've proven my point with that one. Bad media criticism. It's like, well, not really. Well, you took two jokes too seriously, but, but like deliberately dishonest. Well, and, and I don't think one can call it bad criticism if someone makes like a simple mistake. It's like like over. You That's can't say like the whole channel well, is I mean, now bad uh, because they misunderstood maybe a landmass or something. 
something to be said about the nature of almost like working, you know, when you're doing a maths problem. Like if you if you get a fact wrong, but your process is still sound, it's not like, well, yeah. everything completely collapses, right? You just miss something. You, you can... something didn't quite click. You didn't identify something accurately, but like the way that you were trying to work through the deductive process or being critical is still valid. Yeah, it can't be either perfection or garbage. Well, but you're right. We, we've like moved really quickly. It's it's like in one minute, it's meant to be established like, okay, dishonest with the intention to prove that they're smarter than they actually are, which is like, I guess, I presume it's going to be like a big framing device for how we're going to be moving forward. Well, one of the things I get the impression of, even from that first segment, is that there's a lot of shorthand being relied upon. Like, I don't need to do much more with cinema since we all know he's terrible. And it's just like, I mean, you you could maybe make a point that's new or interesting or real well researched instead of just being like, "Here's an example." He made a video about King Kong, and, and the director Bob said he was video. wrong. Yeah, and then that's Bob the... Vid explained the cinema sins and how he mm. sucks. Anyway, moving on. That's why you would make a fucking video. That's what annoys yeah. me about this. Like, you make a video to tell me something new about something that maybe you care about, but instead I've gained no new information. So much of the video essay space is like this, and it's so frustrating. Well, so, and to remind everybody, we're on, the, the whole point of all of this is YouTube critics that are lying to you. So we've done Cinema Sins, which I'm not, I'm not buying that he's lying to me at all. I, I feel like he's just not very great at his job sometimes. I think it's way more likely that he's just wrong yeah. than that he screws up, yeah. Um, but, hey, Literature Devil's next up. Let's see if he's a dirty little lying face. Anything yeah, wrong with is just really a manifestation really of that. So this is not the first time I've discussed bad it media criticism on my channel, and it's not going to be the last time either. What a pointless fucking thing to say, by the way. I have, All right, you, yeah. might, you will do this it, again in the future. All right. Thank I've done you. this before, I, and I, I shall will, do it I'll again, damn it. Eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep my eyes open for that. Thanks Anthony for letting me know, dude. <laughs> I'll get you done it. Bad media criticism is a term that's thrown around a lot. Dishonest storytelling uses Jeez. narrative elements in far more petty and biased ways. Taking one's limited perspective and writing it as the entire truth is dishonest. Bad Remember his activist writer. Hang on. Or, remember, activist What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, so what, what, what was just that? Because, is it just like, here, he used the Literally word dishonest. He has said, proof. Yeah. Is that it? Well, so, dishonest. we have to rely I'm on. I'm actually like, a little confused. I'm actually confused right now. Dishonest? So, okay. No, I, I'm, I'm with you. So, he was like, critics bad. And I think, was he saying they lie sometimes? And then he played a clip that doesn't support that at all? The first time I've discussed bad media criticism on my channel. And it's not going to be the last time either. Okay. Bad media criticism is a term that's thrown around a lot. Dishonest story. Wait, you can even a... see his mouth moving to say the next word, but he cut Bad it out media criticism head. is a term that's thrown out a lot, and is this meant to be the example supporting that? Yeah, I think well, so that I, is, bad this, this is why I was confused. Is thrown out a lot. I thought he was trying to say that literature devil is an example of a person who will say there are bad media critics out there, but like obviously. Yeah, that's... This is a complete non sequitur. Yeah, this is not that. Well, this is just Literature Devil making a point about something, which, by the way, I mean, we can you... barely talk about because this is so contextless. It's insane. Yeah, it's just, here, he used dishonest. And yeah, why not doing? Why, why not do multiple people if that's the thing you want to do? Why just only one person? <laughs> that's like no evidence well, at all. Did anyone else get the impression that in his original <clears throat> video essay, it was not at all intended for a Literature Devil clip to be there, and instead it's been cut in in post? Well, it feels and it's not going to be the last time either. Look at Bad that. media like, criticism is a term that's thrown around a lot. Dishonest storytelling. Yeah, like it looked like yeah, he was about like, to say His mouth was still else. moving. So it was, yeah. Like he was yeah, saying more things. It looked like he was about to say yeah, something else. He obviously just like cut off the middle of his sentence, which is weird because you are the person doing I'm the I'm starting editing. to feel like, to I'm, I'm, I gotta say, it's get it's really early to start feeling like Bud is getting lost, you know, like in mm -hmm. the yeah. American healthcare system, okay? <laughs> like I'm getting a little bit like, I'm getting a little bit confused right now. Well, oh, yeah. Uh... And so, like, it's almost sabotaging the video, because now I'm like, so, we're seeing this clip from Literature Devil, because it's already been this, uh, this is almost like a, a bit of advice to anyone out there. I'm, like, receiving information pretty consistently. I've almost forgotten about the Cinema Sin section now, and we're clean slating it. He's like, there are bad media critics out there. And you're like, okay. And you know, there's a lot of people out there who will claim bad media criticism or something. You're like, I gotcha. Clip of Literature Devil talking about dishonest storytelling. What the fuck? What are we doing now? Am mm -hmm. I... Are we moving uh -huh. on to something else? Or what's what's the plan? Narrative <laughs> elements in far more petty and biased ways. Taking one's limited perspective and writing it as the entire truth is dishonest. Bad media criticism isn't...
I don't even like. I might oh, agree I, with I that. Agree. I don't know what else he has to do. Exactly. That's what I mean. I don't know That's though because it. there's not much information. <laughs> Perspective and writing. Well, as it I said, it's, it's not even going to be supposed to. It's not supposed to be like a point that's going to be countered. I feel like it's just like here, this honest has been I mean, used. Anyway, moving on. That's that's all I can get from this right now. It's uh, yeah. what's interesting about this is like it's absolutely biased if you take your own perspective and write it as though it's the whole truth. Um, dishonest. Oh, sure. I need to see more of this section of his video to know if I agree with this or not. But playing this so, this crushed fucking clip in the middle of something that doesn't even seem to be an example of anything. Just like, okie dokie, that just happened. Is he one and of the this liars? This is a good example of... So the, this is why it just goes to show how doing a little bit of editing oh, God, is really yeah. important. Absolutely. Because bad editing can, it, it could get in the way of the message and what you're trying to say, and it leaves people confused. Our truth is dishonest. Bad media criticism isn't simply just disagreeing with someone. It's not saying something you don't agree with. Bad media, bad media criticism is not disagreeing with someone. I mean, I... I does yeah. it mean disagreeing with I, the media? Yeah. Bad media criticism isn't disagreeing. What, what, well, maybe he'll tell us what bad media criticism is here. Okay, well, well he's, he's, he's cleared up that it's smoother. not just disagreeing with someone, so that's good. That's good. That's it's good. when the criticism itself seems to fundamentally misinterpret the piece of media being discussed even when it's supposedly going through a scene frame by frame by frame you want to do another take oh okay. it's shad another yeah. liar oh, <laughs> i'm glad you said that theo because there's been so like four times already that... where i'm like you should do a retake you should so restate that word that that was weird it's like it's bad media criticism is not getting it wrong it's getting it wrong while appearing as though you're trying to get it right. Well, so, uh, uh, like it wrong profound. I'm going to make the bold claim that he just said bad media criticism is when you misunderstand. That's the, just as simple yeah. as that, pretty much. Just listen to what he says. Himself seems to fundamentally misinterpret the piece of media being discussed, even when it's supposedly going through a scene frame by frame by frame. Yeah, I think I think whether like, or not you're going frame nice by frame or not shouldn't even matter. Yeah, like, yeah that's that even uh, matter? superfluous Why is just to the... Yeah. Well, I think it's not superfluous to the point of appearing smart, right? Which seems to be like oh. a big point already wow. that's been made. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. But um, who the fuck so ever it, said it's that? Like, it's, what makes you wonder? Does does he think it's bad that we go frame by frame by frame? Is that like oh, a definitely. soft implication? He's not a fan of us. <laughs> he's oh, already wow. uh, publicly <laughs> stated. He's well, he's like he knows that we'll cover this and indictment. does not like us. So okay. it's just like but he totally said, whatever. He said even when, as if though that carries the implication that going frame by frame by frame leads to a greater understanding so yeah he does he's improving it he's implicitly mm. approving of the methodology yeah his verbiage mm. the, scripting is important because the words that you say and how you say them actually have meaning that's the whole point of the language so by phrasing it like that it does it does make that implication i well the, 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 I just I just don't understand. I thought his team can't do this. Like even there is no interpreting it wrong. It's if someone says like I well, believe yeah. that this oh, is about yeah. this. Like you can't do that. Especially so when he, saying... he was saying like, well, disagreeing. You know, that's one thing. But it's like yeah. when you get things wrong. Wait, 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 well, wait. Hold on. What do you mean get things wrong? What is to get yeah. wrong about your interpretation of this art? It's such fucking to say cheaters. misinterpret means that you can interpret incorrectly, which means that exactly. you can interpret things wrong. Which means, which means your you subjective can, your, takeaway your of something is incorrect. Wrong. In this case, yeah. obviously much more of a focus on the criticism being wrong, but as to go is the that... other way around, your praise of something and how you loved it so much could also be built on things that are incorrect, just factually wrong. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll yeah say to, that. Be, to that, be absolutely like, clear, we... I think it would be coherent in their point of view if they said you cannot be objective however i disagree with your interpretation of events that's one thing if you then say you cannot be objective however it is bad media criticism when you look at this media and you have the takeaway you have that is wrong it's basically contradictory yeah i think that's gone you've gone way too far at that point to the point where you're practically condemning them for misunderstanding which is way further than us saying like they're not being well, very objective yeah, on a thing between misunderstanding mm -hmm. and actually like deliberately getting things wrong like lying well you like, say all of this i'm still confused what his point is well too late we've done <laughs> we've done cinema crazy. sins already we've done literature devil we're on to shad yeah. next <laughs> okay <laughs> all right just, just all you need to take away from through. this bit is that he thinks that you can he thinks misinterpret uh, misinterpreting misinterpreting media is possible you can interpret things wrong
Oh man, I agree with that. I, yeah, yeah sure. we, I would agree. Yeah, we definitely <laughs> agree with that. That's, That's our, <laughs> yeah, we would agree. That's been a huge point of contention between us and some other people. But it's good to have his stance on it this early into the video. Bravo. Yay. Good job. Oh, Peach. I hope that's yeah. what Princess Peach. Yeah. I've given her pants. Yeah. Now. What? <laughs> that's not a misinterpretation. She's wearing <laughs> pants. Yeah, I saw it on screen. You got to give us more Why? than that, bro. I, like, what? Yeah. <laughs> he, he's literally just plastering these things on the screen as if to say, like, isn't this stupid, dude? Like, look. These are those people. The, yeah, like, I, I See agree, what I meant about... Uh, it's like shorthand, uh, or there's like this law to this channel that I assume he yeah. thinks we all know. It, it feels like a concerted slander effort at this point, rather than trying to make any like consistent point about similarities between these people and how they operate. It's just like I don't like these people. I'm gonna flash them on screen saying something like that's either unelaborated upon or intuitively silly, however you want to frame it, and then that's it. Job done. Well, yeah. it seems like the everyone seems to agree Shad is one hundred percent correct. She is indeed wearing pants here. Yeah, yeah. So I until mean, we I, get yeah. more, like I don't know what what we to make of this. It's, yeah. Now, bad media criticism exists everywhere. YouTube is not unique in this regard. Part of the reason I made the jump to YouTube over written media was due to wanting to distance myself from several several hot takes in media publishing. You wanted to distance yourself from other people's hot takes. That's why you went from writing to YouTube. That's, What's that's weird a that he said several hot takes. strategy. What? Let's see if that works out. That's very strange. strange. I, don't, okay. I don't even understand that at all. Because you're, now you're associating yourself with YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Which, well, it's like, I think it's all the hot takes so are. <laughs> yeah, meaninglessly different. So, uh, <laughs> so it's a flawless plan. Right. Like, how could this possibly backfire? I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm going to hitch my wagon to the YouTubers. Also, are like, we no, just done with the Shad right, clip, but, uh, by the way? I are don't know. Just moving on now? Treat it as yeah, a, yeah, Shad it's misinterpreted a, her. Are we going to talk about It's a mystery maybe... box. Who knows? Well, I think, <laughs> I think that his point was that Shad misinterpreted the media by saying her wearing pants is to mean that she's a girl boss. He saw yeah, but I've her never seen the movie. And... Explain this to me. I think we need more maker. seconds to be able to assess anything. <laughs> no, That's you all. get two. Take them early. <laughs> You've had two. It's no. enough. You've had two. Don't be greedy. Okay. Don't be greedy. I'm sorry. sorry. Designed to draw hate clicks. And if I'm going to draw criticism, it's going to be because. Okay. Just. Does I, okay, well, if if that's the reason why, the hate click thing, then coming to YouTube is like, I'm, dude, I, you're actually stupid. I left writing because I was tired of the hate clicks, and so I went to YouTube. Is this a joke? <laughs> I, don't, I'm, I, don't, I don't believe him. Well, this yeah, is you're Apex just... tier a parody, if so. Then bravo. Good I mean, sir. this, this uh, I, I, I've been checking out a video recently warning me about YouTube liars. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know really, really considering it at this point. He clicks. Yeah. And if I'm going to draw criticism, it's going to be because I said something. Every time he says criticism, he tries criticism. to make it a one syllable word. Criticism. Criticism. Like, criticism. Slow down. We've come across Chill, people I think relax. have struggled with criticism before. It's it's a it's a bit of a criticism. It's yeah, a bumpy word, is, you know. Yeah. Criticism. You have to have a a nimble, dexterous tongue like myself in order to say that very quickly and concisely. But you can just take your time. It's <laughs> or, okay to say criticism a little slowly. Not a or race. you pull out that is not a race. that beautiful face, the uh, that that one you posted, Rags, and you're just like, um, actually, it is criticism, chrism, chris, chrism. Chris actually, from... it is chrism. Right, it's a chrism. I, I, I it like myself a little bit of chrism. Mm, a little chrism. A little bit of chrism. Ridiculous. I don't want to be associated with someone else's bad t media takes. Uh, Why would you be? You, so you don't have to. That's your choice. All of the can, writing, I, I, whatever you want to. Did, were you like collaboratively writing or if... something? Yeah, like yeah, I don't, was... I, I'm starting to get really confused. Is, he... is it meant to be like he was writing for an organization and other people were having their hot takes? He's like, I don't want to be associated with this, so I'm going to make YouTube videos instead. Yeah, I know. why? Yeah, why? Why is this here? So... Why? What has this got to do with anything? I don't know. I don't care. No. I don't care. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be an EFAP. Everyone has one. It would be an EFAP video unless we had a very long intro that tells us nothing at all. We will reach the point soon, surely. Yes. Is that the reason you invited Rio just flashes. to annoy him? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it is okay when you're making a video to just say, and here is an example, and then play oh, a clip. Oh, so it's just another clip no. now. Why? Oh, well, let's, I don't I'll, I'll roll him back so we got the context. Especially with someone else's bad t media takes. 
uh, I won't be associated with my own. So apparently Anthony Gramuglia was uber... Just some guy, the next in the team of liars, I'm guessing. Uh, it'll be interesting because it really is getting complicated now in terms of what we're supposed to be doing with all of these clips. So this this is holding him out by name this time. So, so this is going to be a, 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 a clip of hate click stuff, I assume. I'm getting that right? vibe. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. Why SJWs can't stand straight Spider-Man. We're triggered by the most three devastating sentences he's ever heard. Peter Parker isn't gay. There are 60 plus years of comics proving this. Stop ruining characters by playing politics. So, like a typical precious snowflake, Anthony penned a 1400 word rant just to call me a homophobe. 1400 words. Incredible. Okay, well, so this was before he well, transitioned to YouTube, long, I guess. But... Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So what we got so here. Now... This well, screenshot okay, is the nothing. sole I'm time sorry. he's referenced in the this article is... where I say he's not a homophobe. Okay, so we have the white square with just some guy's tweet, and then in blue, highlighted in the white square, we mm -hmm. have something from the article that he's referencing in his tweet. Mm -hmm. But in the black, in the white text, we have Anthony's text Common response tree. Yes, yeah. to... The so is he responding to the tweet or responding to the part of the oh he's saying the I think he's responding to the video the time... and the screen in the tweet I think yeah no the screenshot yeah. is the sole time he's referred re referenced. sorry referenced in the article where I say he's not a homophobe okay you you didn't say he's not a homophobe. you didn't say that no you just said is he or is you said it is this? it fair Let's to call these out. people raging homophobes yeah. or also, when someone asks this question is there another element at work i mean that's not not calling him a homophobe yeah. <laughs> and, even and insinuated let's, let's, let's be, be real. very clear here that you can even say uh, this person's not a homophobe but you can strongly imply it in the in the in the uh, in, in the text so but i don't even what does this uh. have to do with anything um, Are we talking about? He's mad that just some guy complained that he called him a homophobe when he was talking about his perspective on whether or not Peter Parker can or cannot be gay. I feel like we're through the looking glass just already. <laughs> we're fucking like not I'm even completely three minutes. Lost. In. Yeah. <laughs> Video essays try to maintain a through line challenge. Oh god, difficulty. There impossible is only difficulty. impossible difficulty. You can't choose another one. <laughs> so if I screw up, I screw up on my own terms. Okay. However, there's a danger to YouTube. Even though it's the independent channel and you're not being linked to a greater company or organization, bad media takes take up a lot of attention. They draw a lot of clicks. They draw a lot of anger. Bad ones and draw a lot of attention. So just the, when they're bad, like when they're they, incorrect, that draws a lot of attention. But like being incorrect in is popular. Just apply what so he's guess, saying to his own video, though. Like it's these bad videos. I mean, here we are. Got a lot of attention. I mean, we're it's it's it's, it's our job, but you know, still, Somewhat, here yes. we are. Yeah. And some channels feed on that rage. They feed on the anger drawn by certain oh, audiences. Oh, this. Well, yeah. it's a classic. Boring. Well, I feel like we've already confused things. Making people angry with your criticism is independent of whether you're right or wrong, right? And like whether you you're... You can be very correct to make um, people and, angry and, or very incorrect to make people angry. Whether you're right or wrong yeah, is also independent of whether you're lying as well. Yes, that's right, because lying means that you're doing it deliberately. You're trying to mislead people. You're not making you mistakes. Can, um, you yeah, can lie I'd with say the you're truth. Doing it intentionally or irresponsibly. You can omit, you can move the truth around, you can deliberately like mispronounce a name or move a piece of information more from one place to another. Like there's all kinds of yep. forms of it. I don't like this is so beyond confused. This might be a record for confusing the point you're trying to make when this is a video. Like three minutes in, and it's it's a long video, guys. He put a lot of yeah. work and effort, I guess, technically, into pulling all these clips and doing the edits and the references when he should have just had him sitting here saying what he means to say. It would have been a lot simpler, quicker, less confusing. But here we are, so. Yeah. yeah. And that draws more attention. And the algorithm rewards bad takes. No, not bad oh, takes. Boring. Negative takes. Bad takes. Boring. Not bad takes. Yeah. A n oh, having a negative take isn't automatically a bad one. Surely you agree with that. Surely you've had a negative take on a, a piece of media. Oh, yeah. He's having I mean, a negative take here. Yeah, literally right nothing now. Nothing that's been said about the nature of the criticism is necessarily negative. It can apply positively that you are... Yeah, exactly. You're, you're just saying a bunch of things that are positive that don't correlate with... Uh, with what actually happens, or based on a misunderstanding of the film, which was yeah, what he said. Yeah, or if it just go by, if it just media criticism, if you just go by traction on a channel, like if you just go the opposite direction as anybody else, like it can go like, 
oh, everybody hates this movie. And then you're like, actually, it's not that bad. And here's the reasons why. Well, if you do the reasons and if you feel like it or whatever. <laughs> it's, uh, um, so yeah, it can go both ways. Yeah. It doesn't have to be negative, positive too. So um, uh, someone had randomly mentioned in the chat what was his opinion on The Last Jedi. So I just, He liked it, probably. Anthony, Gr Anthony Grimuglia, The Last Jedi, Google. And it looks like on hit four weeks ago on his YouTube channel, he made a Star Wars video called uh, Star Wars Will Never Be As Good As You Remember, a Star Wars video essay. So that might be something we take a look at later. Uh, maybe not today. Uh, you know, uh, not today. But it's interesting. <laughs> yeah, not, not today. I'm just saying. There it is. So... Um, <laughs> um, yeah, and he he writes for CBR.com, which I believe personally to be a shill website. <gasps> Never heard of that. that no one before. should ever take seriously. High Republic fans angry about diversity in Star Wars can just stay uh, angry by Anthony Gramuglia. So, the, oh. wait, I I'm you telling you, the, the profile icon, it, 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 oh, hey man, it, it tells all. Original thoughts. You love to not see them. <laughs> They're just never around. Hey, he spent all day writing that. That's someone else's thought <laughs> in his handwriting. So. Hey, he, he he had an intrepid journey all the way from Article Land all the way over to YouTube Land to. to bring By the us way, this. we 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 paused at three o three and then we paused at three o eight, and I gotta say these are some high caliber pauses. So. Oh yeah, high caliber pauses and bad faith. Criticism. But unlike all of those previous okay. failures, oh, it's just a robot what now. He's here. That's the robot! I did some voice work for him for his uh, Velma. It's just, I just, like, this is insane. Is that five? Um, that just clips just get thrown in with no yeah. context. I don't know what the fuck is going yeah. on. I haven't seen these videos. you can just say the context. Help me, Mr. Say, well, and is this what he's put in text here, that working with the scripts is not easy? Uh -huh. to so with now I've been, like, okay. barraged with three different things. I've got this random other video talking about this random other video that has this text that I don't know if it's Anthony's I stuff? Think it, or it's, I think it's Anthony's stuff. It's saying yeah. that he, he, can't, like, he can't work with the scripts. It's way too much new information all at once that I have no context for. And we've got the text that Anthony put over this that he did with the others with the two yellow bars that make a box. Hmm. And I can't read the text because it's white on off-white. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Not on, a great yeah, idea, though. No. This is uh, awful. Anthony, yeah. this is awful. Get your shit Mr. together. What Remuglia, are we doing, stop. <laughs> you got to re-edit this. Words. Bad takes and bad faith criticism. But unlike all of those previous failures, this one tries to have a woke plot twist. She's not the mother of the savior. She's actually the savior herself. Yeah, I felt nothing at this reveal. The more outrageous- uh, What, was that, did he put Wait, that, was that on his screen as well? Yeah, that no. was his text again. Can someone explain to me how so hard to trace this shit. What? It why? is so not difficult to make videos possible. Why is why is the font? Can I still say no to covering this with you guys? Can no. <laughs> why is Damn the font no, you have to stay. so <laughs> different? And the what's with the the C? What's happening there? That's the first. It, it makes me think of a it's, coin. It's, it's, it's like heraldry, you know. It's heraldic ah. text. Yeah. Why is and that also, so inconsistent with everything else he's written earlier. so far on screen? Like, oh, is this a different um, video because the text is different and the background's different now? I don't, I don't know. know. Someone explain to me how this. I'm confused because this is his this is like once a... again. So okay, um, this was this was played after him talking about bad faith. I think the words bad faith came up. Yeah. Um. Well, until I know what just a robot defines as woke, I can't even know what he's talking yeah. about. Like I, I, I have no idea uh, until I definitively understand what he believes to be the writing issue as you presented. This is such a like pandery clip. You're like, look at this bad faith critic that's lying to you. And then he says there's a yeah. plot twist that's woke, and then you say, "How is it woke?" And you're like, "Well, but what's what's ha what's happening? What's going on?" Here's a here's a here's a tip. Maybe don't put it in text and do it with your voice with the microphone. You clearly have because I've seen it in your video just yeah, now. Yeah, that goes and to talk, everyone. Talk All into of it, you. and then maybe we can talk about this plot twist that is woke or something, and then we can have a conversation of like bad faith stuff. <laughs> Text. Anyway, next point. Like, like, I don't know. I can't do anything with this. My takeaway was that he wants me to believe that this is a lie. What, what I guess. Uh, Just Robot just said. It's like, you really think I have anywhere near enough context to decide that? But no. this, this just goes to like a... 
at this point we just go to like a political thing again with the whole woke and culture wars of because if if you're on one side you see this oh this guy is making the point that this is woke so that's probably definitely going to be wrong so this is going to be a, a, this is going to apply for these people and like we're here just like what's the even what's even the argument right now like what are we doing it's like, just high-fiving people who you would already probably agree with intuitively without any further examination. Yeah. I, I felt nothing at this reveal. The more outrageous, the better. And to try to pin the fact that mutants are minorities is proof that it's social justice. It's both intellectually lazy and dishonest. Now, Nick... What is... Hey, what I get I it. I fucking stop I it. I don't... I can't do anything with these I, fucking I clips. Don't understand what, yeah, yeah, like... I, because they're not the mentioned law. after or before. They just they just thrown in there. It's like here, oh, clip, just, take it. When eat you throw it. clips that are in videos that presumably have a broader context that many people watching your video may not be familiar with, why would yeah. you expect anybody to understand what's going on other than just oh, every now and then we'll throw in a random clip? Anyway, moving on. Well and everybody who already agrees with you, I guess, who already knows exactly what you mean when you put those things up, like, what, it's just, I guess the, this is the videos for them. Who is this video for? Like, YouTube critics are lying to you, but it's only for people who already agree with you? <laughs> I think so, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Ripper is another one of the liars, I guess. Down he goes. And it's honest. Now, negative reviews have always done this to an extent. There's a sort of joy some people get feeling like they're better than oh the movie. That they've what beat. year okay, is it? Bro, what it's, year is it? it's not that oh. deep. You, you can just say that. Also, I, no, I, I'm not like, ooh, yeah, I'm better than Madam Web. Uh, ooh, hey, it's not a great pickup line. And it's not really a high achievement. Well, I, love it. I never really thought of it that way, actually. Oh, that attitude. It can be like funny. Of being better than a movie review. You know, it's yeah, funny I don't know. or cathartic or interesting to discuss. Something like that. That's what people tend to get out of criticism. Yeah. How yeah. how how much? How long is it going to take before it starts to really feel like projection? I think that this <laughs> has popped up every once in a while when we are talking about a show or a movie or even a game, and sort of off the top of our heads, we come up with a concept or a mechanic or an idea that's better than what the multi-gajillion dollar, mm -hmm. massive corporate backed, huge production, you know, piece of media did. There's something to that that's, you know, worthy of saying. How can, you know, a bunch of schmucks on the internet doing a little podcast could, how come we were able to do this and then with all their money and backing and time couldn't do that? I mean, it's something, well, but I, I guess I never looked at it from the perspective of, Oh, we're just better than you. It's it's mostly an outward thing. Like you guys suck, not I'm great. Can we can we be radical and say, you know what? Maybe, maybe you are better than Madam Web. You're not better than Morbius, better. but maybe you are better. Than no, Madame no one's better than Morbius. <laughs> you know not even Morbius is better than Morbius. Believe in yourself. Yeah. Like Madam Web believed in herself and then webbed. She That's webbed right. all over the place. place. You could do that too. Don't let anyone I can stop web you. As, I can web with the best of them. <laughs> I have to believe, like, did this guy not proof watch the video and realize no, how, no. like, destructive to the flow of his argumentation those clips are? Because I'm having legitimate difficulty following. Hey, diarrhea I, I has it, a flow. I think it's, uh, it really is a matter of assuming that everybody in the world who could potentially be watching this video has, like, sufficient context for the world that you live in and, like, where your focus is drawn to mm -hmm. and, like, what you're obsessed with. And not realizing, oh, you know what? People might actually be confused about all of these clips with no context that I'm just throwing in that don't yeah. even seem to have any connection to what I'm saying that leads like, into them. From my perspective, it's like imagine someone just played half a Smiling Friends episode between <laughs> every sentence I say. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't know. That would elevate every video, though, to be honest. Fun, I will say. Yeah, that would I'd be, be, yeah, that'd be that. great. But then you just cut back to me, you know? It's like, what was he saying? I was watching Smiling Friends. Yeah, just cut in mid sentence oh. again. Someone said uh, one of his tweets ended up in my Doctor Strange video at some point. I do not recognize the name at all, but it's possible. It could happen. I mean, he seems to be a really shilly sort. He probably so liked that movie a lot. Of... He's a... <laughs> he's... Probably. He's, he's like, he's, he's mega shill material, you know? He's... I mean, if you're writing for the CBR, you're, you're basically there anyway. Why is there a Citizen Kane on screen right now? I don't know. Because... He's talking about how okay. everyone thinks they're better he's, than He's saying films. that, look, it wasn't, it, it's always been a thing, people being wrong while <laughs> thinking that they are pointing out how a film is wrong, but something yeah, but you changed. Can, you love to be I mean, negative. 
Yeah, but you can mention the things you put on screen. So if like context, like here is uh, some no, I, I, here's some examples that I metal, found. Metal, after the first like 20 seconds, you should have concluded <laughs> immediately. You're not gonna, you have to pause if you want to read anything that's popping up on yeah, screen. I did conclude. I'm just, I'm just trying to make sense of all of this, all right? <laughs> For every top 100 worst movies of all time, I can go and find the top 100 best. Yeah, yeah. For every, yeah. this well, but, the, the Theo... contradiction here explained, I can go and like, here's why this thing is so cool. Theo, don't you know, In, when you make or video space. When you make oh, the sorry. best movies of all time list, you're doing a good thing. When you make the worst movies of all time list, you're doing it because you think you're better than the movies. Oh, well, I do, but <laughs> I, I didn't realize that that's why I was doing it. Yeah, that's not my only motive, jeez. Um, <laughs> also, Lich Tadell just said that that first clip he showed of mine lacks so much context, I don't even know what he was trying to say by including it. No, I... I... You can say that we for all either. the clips. All the clips. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure just because we said dishonest, and it's like, see, people do say that word. It's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't. It feels like someone was trolling him by putting these clips in. <laughs> Soy Jack pointing at the word dishonest. Like... <laughs> dishonest! <laughs> I knew it was somewhere. <laughs> He's dishonesting. <laughs> like, yeah. Dishonest! <laughs> dishonest! Wait, some people get feeling like they're better than the movie that they've beaten the movie better. that they've outsmarted it Ooh. this is to be fair the kick contradiction in uh that, that's like one of the most famous like plot holes of all movies so as far yeah, as well, i know like I, a lot of people know about that one referencing the discussion on any of these like famous movie events it's like you don't you're not going to revolutionize the world by saying you do it to feel better you're like why can't we just be nerds discussing movies no why, why can't it be that yeah, we I feel can't... better as a, a mental survival mechanism because so many things are bad now <laughs> well, my internal experience of this is always like sort of a tension as I try to resolve a question I have about the piece of media. You know, mm. there's I, there's something that's bugging me about it, and as I try to resolve it, sometimes you arrive at the conclusion that something is wrong and there is a problem, rather than that there is a valid explanation. Yeah, see, the fact that you have an instinct to even be bugged by anything that could be right or wrong in a film that's indicative of your desire to yeah. assert your your desire to assert how right you are upon the universe. You see, what I think the universe we needs just to think know art is right important. Like, yeah. I'm only half joking here. Like, the universe does need to know how right you are, and that goes for every human being. <laughs> You're allowed to be as right as you want. You got something to say. It's like, oh, Speak your truth. Well, and look at this guy why saying you... that they're right. Why can't you let the multi-gajillion dollar corporate-backed movie just, like, exist? <laughs> well, why can't this apply <laughs> to... Um... His video, by the way, he's desperate to show that he's yeah, exactly. better than all the people he's talking about, which I think is yeah. worse, right? To, to put yourself above a piece of media is probably better than putting yourself above other people. You're like, yeah, I'm above you. I'm a better person. But maybe he would defend that. And you know what? There are ways you can, I suppose. And that's, that's that just because I guess he's like, they're all liars. They're all doity liars. I'll have to get to the, uh, I don't know, substantive part of that eventually. This isn't new. Some of Roger Ebert's best reviews are the ones where he tears into a film. Oh. I hated this movie. Uh -huh. Hated, 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 what hated, hated this movie. Hated it. Hated every simpering, stupid, vacant, audience-insulting moment of it. There's a whole book of these. But there's a difference between writing an honest review, giving your thoughts, and approaching each and every film with the intention of criticizing it. Sure, but the That's thing what is... one does. I feel like you're misreading... Um... Cinema sins. He's, well, yeah, he's not lying stop, about that. Stop using criticism as a negative term. It's a neutral term. He, he, that's like the fun, quote unquote. It's not necessarily the fun I have with cinema sins, but it's the fun he's having with the channel. It's like, hey, give me a favorite movie. I'll go in and I'll I'll mess around with it. I'll poke some holes. We'll have some fun. Like he, cinema sins has right. admitted many times that some of the movies he's covered are some of his favorites of all time. Like, why are we pretending as though cinema sins is a legitimate reviewer trying to inform the audience of like he's not like a taste maker. He does this to everything. Yeah, like I, this feels backwards to me. Like uh, you, you're like, see this cinema sins guy. He just goes in looking to hate. It's like it's the premise of the channel is to poke holes in any movie, and like I'm fine with that if that's what you want. I'm also fine with the reverse. It's just unfortunate that cinema wins and cinema sins are apparently the fucking best we got <laughs> for that concept. <laughs> and more than criticizing, it, <gasps> mocking. What are you doing here, Theory? Are you next? How dare you? Criticizing it, mocking it. Well, I mean, when Roger even saying I hated, hated, hated this movie, he's mocking it. You like yeah. so what? That's but true. I <laughs> presume that he wouldn't apply this to Roger Ebert because he wasn't on YouTube. But if also, Roger Ebert made YouTube videos, then he'd probably be like in the mix as well. What what nonsense is it that we're not allowed to mock a movie? Come on, that's that's silly. Yeah.
Like, no, I don't that's... believe that he's never mocked a movie. It's happened at some point. Oh, yeah. yeah. Surely. Surely there's been a time when you were watching a movie and something really stupid happened and you laughed at it. And that's mocking it. And that's fine. Kind of a forgettable show. Um, look, acting was great. Cinematography was great. The, the writing was good. But it was a lot of little things. I mean, when we saw the camera in the previous episode, there were like screws in the wall. This isn't like Mr. <laughs> hey, wait, what? Okay. What? Wait, it's okay. wait, well, what's wait, happening? Okay. So Thanks. That gives me a clip of him of mocking his, 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 his Sandor. There's, 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 there's so much wrong here. And it helps that I've got even more context now for having done Stargraph to, for a decent chunk I would of episodes. Imagine. The, um, mm -hmm. So where do we begin, right? Like, this is supposed to be an example of dishonest, like, going into hate it, ripping apart. It's like, Star Wars Theory legitimately just didn't enjoy Andor as much as he was hoping to. Mm -hmm. That's just a thing that happened and is true. Something that I feel like this guy should respect. And then he shared his perspective on it. And he and you just saw, he just complimented the writing and the performances and the cinematography, which is already, like, recognizing the qualities of the show. What he didn't like, and has gone on to explain, he believes the aesthetic of the show doesn't align with his perception of what the aesthetic of Star Wars should be. And it's something that bothered him. But he's since been annoyed having referenced that because it's, you know, been clipped out and sent everywhere. But it doesn't capture, right. like, his full opinion on Andor. Um... I don't, like, you know, I don't agree with him on his perspective on Andor. As you guys know, we fucking, we, we stan Andor here. We give it the old thumb up the bum. Yep. Um, yeah. Andor's great. But I don't think that clip is at all representative of what this guy was trying to say people do. That wasn't even the dishonest. The idea that people going in with mockery. Yeah, that was like, fine. Uh, look, they're just going in to hate it, to mock it. And then it's like, hey, look, basically all of the aspects of the production are good. But, I don't know, this was this one thing that bugs me. I don't, I don't know. I'm how, lost. How, how did that capture it all? Like, any sense of dishonesty? You just disagree with him, which is the thing you said you weren't going to be doing as a category. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Not yeah. bad media criticism. What True happened? Science 3000 riffs, all right? Uh, you, you, in those, you laugh with both, you know, the hosts and the film itself. There. Well, sure glad wait, I don't look stupid I'm, in this. Uh, well, so, so, what is happening? You, He's laugh, doing, you he, laugh with the film? The hosts. No, just to, okay, so let, let's no, as a yes, you laugh with the host, but he said and the film. Well, as a as a mystery science theater three thousand enjoyer myself, I've watched a lot of their episodes and I really like MST three K. They are absolutely laughing at the media. No, they rags. are insulting no. the media. No, nope. they are. <laughs> let me tell you how you're <laughs> wrong. Oh, I, can, I can explain I, I, uh... easily how you're wrong oh. because. Uh, I like Mystery Science Theater 3000. I don't like everyone else that's doing what they do. I, I think it might even just be uh, as simple as checkmate. it was on television, whereas this stuff is on YouTube. I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't think it's that. I think it's the bias. it's the same thing Plinkett gets from a lot of people. It's like Plinkett's videos were good, but he spawned a bunch of horrible, bad into like people who copied him. Mm. And it's just like, um, there's there's like content that gets grandfathered in for a lack of better like the the transferal of eras is like nah that one is golden forever we always will like mystery science theater and and it doesn't matter how much we criticize someone for something that applies to them they're immune because you know what they're good the same thing happens when they say man that that mubler that little platoon that whoever else you want to list as being a long form busybody who just repeats point is terrible 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 i hate the people who spam length ooh new video from content creator i like that's 10 hours long yeah but that one's good though like it's okay when they do it perfect it's that really yeah, fucking a... the just anti <laughs> thinking because the critical thinking goes out the fucking window yeah, this is bizarre. MST3K, like, they would, a lot of the movies that they would riff on, they, they were meant to be, as Chad pointed out, meant to be very serious movies, trying to tell a serious story. Um, it is, it, I have no, I don't know if he watches MST3K or anything about that, so. But um, he can't allow like, <laughs> the shit that he's saying to apply to them. It's as simple as that. Well, it would be... I mean, I, he needs to elaborate on how come it's okay for them and not for, like, anyone else who does the same thing. And he thinks it, yeah. he's done that, but he hasn't. He practically just, like, ruled out mocking a film. That's insane. Like, what? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. And he ruled it out by saying Roger Ebert, who mocks films. <laughs> <sighs> Everyone who watches films mocks films. Yeah. It's The fun. same way that anyone who watches anything, every, anybody who watches sports will mock a bad referee call or an yeah. error from a player 
Anyone yeah. who watches a movie or a show, they'll mock a bad thing about this or that or some mistake. That's just that's just how it is. That's I just mean, human nature we're yeah, talking about. Yeah, because sometimes there's something on screen is just so fucking stupid and ridiculous that you're going to laugh at it, and that's mocking it, and that's fine. Don't you can, rule it out. It's, oh. I've mocked friends in the past. I've mocked metal. You know, that's, isn't that? Like that, everyone, when? you're allowed to do whatever you want when it comes to this sort of stuff without becoming Hitler yeah, of course. or anything worse. So boring. I mean, I'm basically there. Exactly. Both, you know, the hosts and the film itself. There. Sure glad I don't look stupid in this. This is the kind of media criticism that what approaches that? each it? film as a public. Oh, yeah, how is the how, uh, media criticism? That was so just the joke. Media criticism, criticism as a syllable. It, it's like one syllable. Media I don't even know what this movie was, but it was clearly a comedy because the thing looked stupid. It's it was I don't think it was a comedy. It's just that old movies are just funny. <laughs> oh, well then it's just it's funny. just that old movies are funny because Okay, well, the, because they they're, just weren't they're mocking but it. If you, if you go with this, with your thingy, where it's like, oh, they're laughing with the movie. Why didn't you put in a clip where they're laughing at the movie? Or with the movie, by your perspective? Browse like, Tower. Clip is dog shit. Uh, puzzle. How is this media bad? And by that same metric, how can I solve the problem of the movie? Let's talk about it. Um, yeah, let's, well, yeah. So let's get into that discussion. So saying the fact that, that you it. said that rags means that you're already lost. The fact that you've approached <laughs> it as a puzzle to be solved is indicative of how you want to you prove fool. that you're right. You and have better. To it's just my ego. I want to prove I'm better than the movie. Yeah, <laughs> you just want to prove they're smarter. Rather than take the film on its own terms, you come in knowing your goal to tear it apart. Pushing our identity politics Jesus. and <laughs> my ears. Some what? What? Okay. I might detain All right. That. So I, I, I had a thought, but then that happened. Um. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> also, wait. Is that is that just his opinion on? Did, did, was it acolyte? What was this? It's... This is in response to Star Wars: The Acolyte. The film was this was filmed months before it came out. Well, so it's his opinion uh, on what he knows so far, then, right? To the trailer? Did he watch the this is what I mean. or something? It's like, you can't have an opinion on the Acolyte. It's not out yet. It's like, yeah, you can. What do you mean? Well, yeah. the whole point of a trailer, the whole point of any information that gets released beforehand is you're going to form an opinion about it. When James Gunn put out that Superman picture that was really weird, if yeah. someone said, man, that's weird, I, I'm less interested in watching the movie, you can't be like, well, that's unreasonable it's months it's before like, it came out the whole, the whole point of these things <laughs> is to give you an opinion a trailer is meant to influence you into watching a movie and if it can have that influence and you can accept that as being okay essentially that it can have that influence and that it's okay to have a higher opinion of something because you saw a trailer you gotta accept the flip side as well you can go from what people are saying and the fucking higher ups to describe like, the, why would there be interviews well, i don't about it, promoting it, if we're not allowed to find out anything about if you it. you don't form an opinion about it one way or the other. Like, that anything you say about it negatively, obviously, is unreasonable. But if you say, man, I'm so excited, it's like, that's A-OK. -okay. Well, and, and I, I, yeah, I just want right. to see this zeal for the people who go in looking to like it. Where are those fuckers yeah, getting like pinned down in these videos? Yeah, like people who say, this is Peak Fire, we're so back, based on a trailer before yeah. it comes exactly. out. You know? wanna, it never yeah, fucking happens. Make fun of the pointing man. No, it yeah, doesn't because, because that's if you're positive, negative, and that's if you're cool. negative, you're opinionated and you're a jerk. But and you're dishonest. Positive, hey, good for you, it's pal. The celebration of the media and the love of film and the franchise yeah, and it's right. bringing good everybody together, and that's mm -hmm. great or whatever. And the message they done woke it up. Some famous critical reviews have forced you to reevaluate a film. Uh -huh. Mel Brooks's comments on Life Is Beautiful. A film that implies you can laugh through the darkest times, even genocide, forced a lot of people to reevaluate this award-winning film. Chinawa Achebe's famous criticisms okay. of Heart of Darkness sure. rewrote mm -hmm. academic textbooks for decades and led to the creation of Achebe's counterpart to Hearts of Darkness, Things Fall Apart. So, so this is him saying that criticism can be valuable. I agree. I don't think anybody okay. disagrees. Yeah, all right. Cool yeah. thing. It was. It wasn't. Uh, oh. I'll admit. It. It wouldn't have been too hard to tip me over the edge. Mm -hmm. but, uh, he's convinced he's us with this one. It. He didn't even need a Criticism clip. Criticism can be uh, pretty neat. One thing both of these criticisms have in common: they address the themes and ideas of the world. Uh, Here we go. <laughs> Everyone, get your helmets on. <laughs> Strap in. I'm. I'm. 
I always have it for whenever I come across stairs or YouTube video essays. Hey, before we go any further, I have a quick question. What is it no. that conveys the themes and ideas in a piece of media? Uh, mm. the, Vibes. The comments from Vibes. the author. Oh yeah, right. Be, oh okay. Or what? What was what was written uh, in a book somewhere uh, mm -hmm. before YouTube existed? Literally uh, nothing in the media. Right. Not the thing itself. Does it? No. Yeah. It's, I would yeah, said it's, like, it's like I don't know, like the the story or the characters. Yeah, maybe, interviews. Like, what are you talking about, Metal? What, I don't what? know. That was just. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I haven't uh, evolved as a critic yet, so. I, what I, does I'm, the thing I'm, have to do with the? Thing? Are you saying that the way that you would interpret the themes of a story is based on the literal events that happen in the, on the pages or on? Yeah, yeah, yeah I should probably cancel my my YouTube channel. I've 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 done goofed yeah. it. I've goofed it up. Next, you're so, gonna sorry, say, guys, sorry, "Oh, we should look uh, at what the this characters do." This is my official do. retirement from YouTube chat. Uh, it was nice. Uh, we should think about how the plot progresses. <laughs> I would argue the main way to do it if you can't just tell everyone what your theme in your story is, is to have the character shout it out at some point. Um, that's right. And l if they look at the screen, that's even better so people know that they're directing it to the audience. So, a little bit of artistic subtlety, I would call that. That's kind of cool. If you, if years ago you had told me that the idea that you could like use a piece of media to learn about what the piece of media is talking about and how that would be controversial to some people, I would have been, no. Obviously, you're lying to me. No one would think that. This is madness. Get out of my house. This is spot. But here we are, those years later. When referencing, sp when referencing specifics, it's in order to bolster the argument that the themes are fundamentally wrong. The themes are fundamentally wrong. It feels like a very loaded statement, doesn't it? And we, like, yeah, we reference specifics in order to bolster an argument. Damn, that's crazy. I have no yeah. idea. <laughs> yeah, because I'm I, now I'm just like, how is this going to come back in to the YouTube? YouTube is a lion to you, sort of thing. Fix. It's in order to bolster the argument that the themes are fundamentally wrong. Dude, I, the themes are fundamentally wrong feels oh. like a whole video in and of itself. Oh, video yeah. Essays, themes are video essays fundamentally should not be allowed wrong. access to the word themes. <laughs> or the internet. Or the internet. Away. Oh, dude, I think these YouTubers have done more damage to the concept of themes in story than, like, anybody who dislikes them or doesn't Absolutely. use them. Absolutely. 100%. Absolutely they have, because now it's gotten to a point where it's like you hear themes, you go, ah, oh, mm. instead of themes, it's like Aesop's fame you know the tortoise and the hare the theme of slow and steady yeah we the had race. a and huge how, like, episode about are this pretty fundamental and how annoying it is that you can damage the concept just by being like you didn't you talked about when this happened and this happened you didn't you didn't talk about the themes of that happening so you failed as a critic but he just like, here what, he is how saying you uh, not talk about the that they're fundamentally they wrong, can be yeah. fundamentally wrong fundamentally just got me interested now the happenings of the That's media thing that was undercut said the themes that it wants to try and get across yeah it's pretty easy for that to happen it happens a lot unfortunately <laughs> his father died minutes earlier in a concentration camp so he shouldn't be smiling oh, at I, what didn't, saying, I guess oh, i didn't know what he happy okay oh god Oh no! Oh, Jump scare! <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, oh this is Damn. this is no. old school EFAP. This is EFAP vintage. I was gonna say this, five, is, what, this is like episode four, two or two? three. Yeah, it's, it's definitely four? in the single digits. I just can't remember which one. We're going back, everyone. Is he, is he about ever to say, this is a great video, guys. I what do I you think fucking so. think? <laughs> oh, no, no. Such, oh no, I was kind of maybe. Such a historically <laughs> awful video that everybody has pissed all over. And it's like, yeah, you know what? He's got a point. No. Hey, listen, Don't I love matter. Shut You About Plules. It's a great <laughs> video. By the way, I'm sorry. I'm just looking at this picture. It's like, plot holes don't matter. Stop talking about them. Sennheiser G4 Evolution. <laughs> 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 also, capitalism bad. <laughs> Willems made a video a while back on plot holes that garnered a lot of negativity at the time. No, has forever, and not just now, at the time. And more, yeah. still, and anything yeah, more. Like it's it's actually it's aging like milk on the counter. Didn't Jay make a the Jay's latest video is responding to how bad that video is? So right, yeah, yeah it's not did. badly received yeah. just at the time. <laughs> If anything, Memes? videos will typically be at their most positive reception once they come out, because mostly the people who engage with it first will be people who subscribe to the content creator. Yes. Then the rest of the world discovers it, and we have no such sympathies! 
from people who argued that holes in logic and plot were essential to criticize. You had to focus on them. And no, no, you don't have right. to focus what? on them. No one said this. You, we lived it, man. We were there. We were in there. the <laughs> trenches. We were the yeah, plot trenches. The Willem's army. They'd fired all kinds of clown missiles, and we had to bring up the the the, <laughs> some of the, the podcast. That's what it was. Stop. We can we we can tell you all about it. His video was like on on one half of it was like you don't even know what plot holes are. He made the point that um, we all didn't understand them category wise, and he kept making mistakes and using examples that didn't apply, like Alien and stuff. But he also argued that. Um, you know, like plot holes, uh, it's the name of the fucking video. Plot holes don't matter. Who cares? It's not the point of the story or whatever. I don't. I don't believe anybody was saying you have to focus on plot holes. That's that's like what are you talking about? People just talk about plot. That's it's just normal. something. Yeah, it's just something your brain notices. You yeah. tend to talk you about things to. that happened in the film you just yeah. watched. I don't Crazy. know. Crazy. Yeah, I guess that's pretty wild. Yeah. Time mainly from people who argued that holes in logic and plot were essential to criticize. You had to focus on them, and to an extent that makes sense, right? What? The plot what is extent? the story. Yeah, what, yeah. Okay, well, no, I, it isn't, but no. yes. But nobody's saying I mean, it, it's though. it's kind of the story, but it, it's like a dis... Like, the plot is it's the stuff that happens. Story. It's a part, yeah. it's a portion, it's an important portion, we talk about it. Why can't it just be normal? Why'd you have to be like, the plot is this... He's, he's gonna do the thing of being like, or is it? Right? No. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah, no one right, seems to yeah. actually know what a plot hole is. And all those plot holes people complain about, they don't actually matter. Uh, like, fucking hell. Uh, yeah, well, he got uh, dunked on for years to this day <laughs> for saying such retarded nonsense. Haunting. Criticizing plot holes, we'd understand some deeper truth about storytelling, right? You can. I mean, you yeah, can? potentially. Yeah, yeah, that, that usually happens. I think it would be difficult to point out a plot hole and explain it without understanding the work better. Or it would be uh, just a description of why the story doesn't work because you understand it to some degree. Oftentimes you have plot holes so that they can have certain, like two events happen they really want to happen but can't, or rather can't coexist. And you'd be like, well, that's evidence that they gave up on trying to fix this. They just wanted to have both things. I mean, it goes the same for a lot of things in storytelling where it's like, I've established this and it's important. But now later I want to do this other thing. It's like, yeah, but you said that. It's like, nah, 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 nah. I'm not, that was then, this is now. A plot hole is a point in which a story breaks a previously established rule about its own universe. So here's what are not plot holes. Jesus. Do you remember this shit? Oh, uh, God Something damn, that happens yeah, off it's screen. coming back. Mm. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's flooding back in. Mm -hmm. My character does something do. you, you wouldn't do. That's, um, it's not, it's, it's, it's just like, yeah. Plot, plot contrivance. contrivance. Yeah, we know the difference between holes and it contrivances. Where you stretch, right? well, it's explained Something in is, the movie. Well, well often course... an explanation is what creates the plot hole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that can be the plot hole. It True. needs to be a coherent explanation. That's the exactly. essential part. Not that they try to explain it. Yeah, an explanation can create a scenario afterwards mm -hmm. where it's like, wait, you explain that this can't happen, and now the thing is happening, so... Yeah. I used a glimpse what, glim to stop this. But earlier they said, there are no glimpse glooms, they're legend, they were just lies, they never existed, or something, I don't know. I you, can't you, ex it. you explained to me earlier that if I, I kicked him in the face in this karate competition, I'd be disqualified and I'd lose. And now that he did that thing, everyone's cheering that he won and he gets the trophy. Mm. Well, that, well, wait a second. Well, just like, <laughs> in uh, next episode of, like, House of the Dragon, fucking... David with a pistol shoots Rhaenyra, <laughs> and then they're like, "Explain that." Next. He goes, "Well, he's not from this planet." They're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, okay, yeah, that doesn't help. Check out. Like, what? Technically, These... he isn't from this planet, right? Not ours. Is is West is West Stira, is is they have a do, do I don't they know have if a globe? Is got that a, a name for their or... planet? I don't know if it is Earth or not. Actually, that's a good question. I'd have to check. Critics seem to believe Lurf. that by understanding the technical flow of a plot. That you'll understand all the components of storytelling. Why are you doing this? Do Who are you that? talking to? So, so, yeah, he's just declared that critics believe this. Uh -huh. It's not true. Show me someone saying that. Pull up the receipts that you seem to have so if many. You if you break down the plot, well, hurt you get everything. Today, yeah, if I, oh, I, yeah, I'm like, not going to talk about character, world, or theme. I'm just going to talk about the plot, and that's everything. Like, who thinks this? Everything. Clearly, I, all yeah, these people like, ever talk about is causal chains. 
I think that's, I think it's it. actually insane to believe that this is even remotely close to the case. <laughs> that's what I mean. That, what like, a wastelessly way that, like that pointless video. A sizable portion of people will approach storytelling way like way more of how it's going to be approached as feels. How does it make you feel? Like that's way I would more argue important in terms of people's engagement with media. The average discussions and critic discussions, it's really hard not to talk about characters. People love talking about characters. Yeah. Like but it's the theme. That's a lot of times people kind of that's ruined that theme. That's a lot of times the, the the thing that draws people to movies like, oh, I I really love this character. That's, yeah. A lot of times that's the first thing that comes up when you talk to someone who was hey, oh, didn't you like uh Mr. Glipglop and the new smiling friends? It's like, yeah, he's awesome. I feel like and then you go from the, from there. This is the just character. it just makes it easier to dunk on his perceived enemy team by reducing them down to they only talk about plot. It's like, uh-huh. Yeah. And that's pretty obviously not the case for basically anybody in the world. I think it just pretty much, automatically yeah, pretty com much. comes it just comes it's, it's, comes up automatically like other topics. You talk about the plot when you say like, oh, this character did the thing. It's like, oh, this doesn't actually make sense for the character to do the thing. So you already talked about more than only the That's plot. Already character, exactly. Yeah. Just he's clearly stupid. done his fucking homework with all these clips he's spliced in, so he should know. Uh -huh. He's done his he homework for the wrong subject, though. Well, he's done as much homework as that other know. fucking guy it's recently, the Shadows guy. When, um, I, I guess I'm just like, all, most of the clips he's shown have not been, like, for as little context as there is, most of them have not, like, as far as I can tell, been talking about, like, the plot. No. Yeah, really. Like, it doesn't sound like that, really, at well, all. Is it the plot that Peach is wearing pants? Yeah, like what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I'm trying to insinuate that he is lying because to have yeah. all of the clips that he has from before, he has to know that this is not the case for the people who tend to talk mm -hmm. about media in this sort of way. I disagree. The way a film well, makes yeah, you, you disagree. Of course, you disagree. Fans Nobody fans agrees. Right? Yeah. Feel. I mean, that's yeah. what I about this I video. <laughs> it, to me, I feel like the intended audience go, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, he's right. Yeah, those people who say that story is just plot are wrong. It's like, yeah, they are. <laughs> those, I agree. Those, those this people. is the kind of YouTube video that's cooked up while taking a shower, and you're like, yeah, yeah. What a great people. idea. Is I'm that gonna a, make, is yeah, that, that guy I thought of. Yeah, fuck that guy. I'm gonna make a YouTube video about them. Sorry, yeah, that I keep, guy. I keep getting distracted by the background. Is that Pikachu dressed up like the devil? Up what? there, oh. you see, <laughs> see oh. like Pikachu that's got big red horns. Is that he's is doing that a Pikachu peak. dressed up like the devil? Yeah, and he's Ooh. like, hi. It looks something like that. Maybe he's dressed up as another Pokemon. Well, because or... he's got Psyduck there, right? And he's got the bunny, Scorch Bunny, right? That's from the newer generation. And then there's oh uh, Piplup, <laughs> like and he's bunny. riding yes. on, a, on a little Stingray. Is that, what is that one, though, that he's sitting on? And why is he wearing a Santa hat? <laughs> why not? It's not Christmas. It's it's May. <laughs> it's Christmas oh, wait, and it's, it's hot. June. <laughs> that's uh, Piplup, right? The, the penguin Yeah, guy? that's right. He's he's riding on a stingray. Like, okay. yeah, look at me go. Yeah, the stingray's like, can't you? You can swim, right? You what can what swim is this? Surely. It's hard enough to drag my ass around here without you <laughs> sitting up there with your fucking hat. Storytelling. I disagree. The way a film makes you feel is more important than. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no. Why, <laughs> why do you think that this important. is new? What is the point of but saying this? How does this? it make you feel? Yeah, how it makes you feel is what you care about. Oh, really? You think that that's like a revolutionary perspective? You know what? I uh, think it's another, not about plot, but feeling. I have another question out of curiosity. What is it that informs like part of what makes you feel the way you do about a, a film? Oh, wh wait. Uh, your what, emotions, like, that's it. Categorical information, just no, categorical no, information no. incorrect or incorrect about. No, <laughs> it has nothing to do with All anything right, that comes from so, the movie. Geez. The fact that uh, Star Wars theory had feelings about Andor and he expressed them is invalid <laughs> because he doesn't agree with those feelings. It's, uh, no, but the thing simple. is, is that what what the what the critics are doing is it is about how they feel, but they pretend it's not with mm -hmm. deceptive arguments about facts and logic. Yeah, what I thought I feel bad about that. They go of, yeah. in almost hoping to feel bad. But how do you tell the difference between someone who thought the thing was bad and someone who wanted to think the thing was bad? And, so and what happens if, if they go into it. a negative attitude because they're depressed? Yeah, yeah. What about they that? Had a, had a bad day. It's like, ugh. 
God. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. They I'm got just... a flat tire and that was really annoying. What happens if I go in feeling good and then I get betrayed by the movie and make me uh, feel flat bad? Flat tire is one of the most ultimate annoyances because <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, it's like, oh shit. Like I, I have everything in my asshole. power right now to fix this, but fuck me. Well, see, and a lot of people uh, think a flat tire is just about the plot. But how does it make you <laughs> feel? Like, yes, well, you'll have to fix it to get back on the road and everything, but... Well, the, you know, the, experience. Well, the, the problem might... with a flat tire is that's what happens when you stop thinking about potholes. Uh, oh, you did the joke before me. Damn it. <laughs> I wanted to do a pothole joke, too. Damn it. Plot as written in the plot summary, right? There are more components to a film and its story than just... Wait, are, Metal, would you say that you were really deflated that I stole the joke before you? <laughs> no. <laughs> right, now I have to draw him back. Fine, you win. <laughs> well, I'm I'm sorry. It's just really tiring to hear these puns. Uh, all the time. My God, I should have just shut up. I should have said anything. There are more components to a film and its story than just the plot. That is what a genius Wait, this really? man is. This is crazy. I Wait, didn't know I thought, this. I thought it was just the plot. Yeah, literally just the, the plot. Things? I don't know anybody who's ever even suggested that characters could ever be discussed. You see, it... there, there's more to it than the plot. What you need to focus on is proving how the themes of a film are just categorically wrong. It's just, hmm. Like, it's just sad. How are you going to convince anybody that all of these people are liars when you can't even, like, listen to a thing they've said? The, none of the people he's shown, I guarantee you none of them would say the only thing that matters about story is plot. None of them. How would he respond to arc articulating feelings of confusion due to some incomprehensibility on the part of the plot? It doesn't like matter. something's happened that I can't make sense of, but I feel confused. But I, mm -hmm. I feel confused. That's valid. Well, if you paid attention to the themes, you wouldn't be confused because the plot doesn't matter. Oh, but isn't the no isn't the theme expressed no. by the? Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> That's Stop expressed. It, <laughs> In the visual medium of film, if you you would know that if you weren't obsessed with autistically nitpicking, with bad what's faith the, what's and lies. What's the visual medium of film like presenting again? Uh, again, I'm just asking all these questions for my friend. He's really curious. <laughs> He's really curious. That, I hate that curious friend of yours. For uh, you, you yeah, know, what? Curious, Carl. this guy sums it up way better than I can. You know, he's he's nailing it. So we'll just carry on. That is the written well, if anything, as they occur. I think it's pretty clear that this is not a good year for media criticism. Never is. <laughs> it's just, with, well, no. if, what is this podcast if not evidence that media criticism uh, from so many is just, it's just pitiful and sad. I just, I just think he has a really inflated sense of ego about him, you know? You can't use the inflatable oh, one again. Oh, damn it. You, you, oh, do I not get a rim shot for that? You reused Stop. one. Stop. <laughs> Which one did I reuse? You said deflated you and then inflated. Get, that's that. That's. You did. Of course, I no, caught no, them. They're obvious. A, you no, piece of shit. <laughs> no, you didn't catch. You didn't fucking catch the Goodyear one. Who cares? Uh, that's because true. that's good shit. A lot more happens beyond the plot. Can you talk normally, please. God, this video. A ghost appears in the scene. What? Okay. What? It's Wait. A, Okay, wait. Is he, is he, I he assume he's going to show uh, this my, my guess and then he's going to show it and then say, yeah, what the scene actually is about in its totality. But like, yeah, I don't know what the movie is, though. So isn't I'm, that just yeah, a difference in how you describe? So one person says, yeah, there's a scene where a ghost appears. And then another person says, there's a scene where a character is like, you know, addressed by a, an old, uh, basically all the details that would matter to this scene that address everything of detail. That re and then you can, if you want to talk about just the way that it was filmed, that's another thing you can talk about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's really weird to say that he's doing the thing where it's like, oh yeah, if we just talked about the plot of Lord of the Rings, oh, some, some people go to a volcano and drop some jewelry and that's the plot. You're like, no, yeah, I don't that's know why not... he isn't treading more carefully with these examples. Why wouldn't he? But you, 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 well, it's, it's a little bit like, let's get real. You know that there are different ways with which you could describe something as the plot. Yeah. It's not just like, oh, this happens and this happens and this happens the end. Pause what else would go? Copyright, you never know. Wow. Copyright. This is, copyright, yeah, it's yeah. copyright, yeah. La 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 la. <laughs> mm -hmm. My recent video essay. <laughs> oh, oh okay. those. Well. So, oh. 
Uh, just another oh, hey, friendly bit of, bit of advice. Uh, whenever you're cutting in clips, that pop sound that happens, you can fade it. You don't have to deal with that with the beginning and end of every clip with audio shaves mm. horribly in your timeline. You can you can get rid of it. You have the power. You have the power. You have the power to fix these problems with a little bit of effort. Mr. I love film over here. <laughs> Come on, get yeah. into it. You're comparing the film Excalibur to the works of Zack Snyder. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, let's see where this I goes. I hate Zack Snyder movies. I like Excalibur. I don't Excalibur's know. Excalibur's better than Zack Snyder movies. What, what, was, was the, the clip we saw out of the movie Excalibur? No, we no, gonna, no, no. Are we going to talk no. about it? No. no. <laughs> let's see where see, this I goes. See, I know. I still had to ask the question. <laughs> Focused on the way Snyder and Excalibur Wait, failed to Wait, is that his own the... film? Hmm? Is that his own, like, is that his own video? Can you rewind it? Yeah, yeah it's one of those videos, I'm pretty sure. Well, the ghost one? Oh, so is he just going to talk about, how, no, like, th this Excalibur and Snyder, this is his video, right? Yeah. Is he about oh. to say, like, you see, this is me and my good film criticism, not like these other people and their bad film criticism. I suppose he would believe himself to be honest and others not be, you know, that's normal, I guess. Sure. <laughs> I just, I'm really curious how he compares these two. Focused on the way... Snyder and Excalibur failed to employ their characters effectively. Mm. From a plot standpoint, Excalibur How could they fail to fine. employ them? Is that what? what? Oh, so he's but saying. How would you possibly uh -huh. determine he's, that? He's saying they I, both uh, nail plot, like but neither nail character. As a, I can't and believe this he's... proves that there's more to a film than plot. Okay, but like, do you still think also, people don't talk about character? Well. Really? Also, that is pretty I, and, funny as well. Like, I uh, yeah, we'd... Snyder's biggest family is his characters. The plots are pretty sound in his films, generally. Yeah. <laughs> also, as someone in chat is pointing out, is this guy trying to say that he's smarter than these movies? Ooh. <gasps> Mocking Ooh. them, if you will. Ooh. What if the What if the directors of both I'm came out and honest, said, "This okay. fucker, this fucker, saying that we don't have characters in our movies. How the fuck is that even possible? Are you crazy?" Yeah, and then, he wasn't even watching. He wasn't, he wasn't he didn't even, even care. Paying Oh, look at him. Oh, my thieves, my thieves. And then they slap him, metaphorically. And he, he can't deal with it because he's like, damn it, I've become the very thing I, I swore to destroy. And it's all over. I guess we're done smarter. again with the clip from earlier. Like, every time I get this point, it's like, oh, the clip, that's definitely going to lead to something uh, right after, right? It's like, in the oh, other oh, video oh, I made, oh, it's oh, like, oh, okay, never mind. Oh, <laughs> no. I wish we were yeah, there. Because the whole point of the... Of the thing he said before is like oh there's more than just plot that happens then he does like this whole thing it's like the scene a ghost appears here it is anyway my other video <laughs> here's a scene where a ghost walks a bit it's, really, like, okay. it's it's really amateur because he doesn't understand how it feels to listen to his points he's like you already agree with me i've mostly explained it's like you haven't he knows what it feels like to disagree with the video but he like is so convinced he's correct on this there's like barely any explanation needed. When you describe the plot, it's just a ghost appears. God, you, you can't think of anything other... You, you, nothing, can't think of any characters to this whatsoever. Okie dokie. Events that happen, and while a few plot beats come out of nowhere, on paper, it's the story of King Arthur. <laughs> huh? Protection for copyright. Protection do, for copyright. Do, 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 Boy, I sure love Excalibur no. for all its do, warts do, do. and weirdness. Do, 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 do you think that Dango movie clips is happy? Oh boy, what a film! Do, do, I, like, I like the music. Do, do, do. I like some of the outfits. Boy, well, it was a movie of its time, that's for sure. It's pretty wet. Pretty morning. Yeah, it's very wet. Yeah. They're in the fucking crick. Such as you. What the film faltered in was characterization and how it the, rushed this, through tell me, its oh, whatever. It rushed through the themes and it falters on characterization, but it's fine with plot, proving what? That, that it's not just plot that matters in film. Man, you've nailed it, dude. You did it. We, He's done congratulations. it. Congratulations. It it's all backed with, you agree with me on every one of the things I'm saying, by the way. It's like, I guess I do. <laughs> like, that's the only way this whole sequence works. But on the other hand, dismissing the film's stunning visuals and music in order to focus on just the plot and how the plot flows is a huge disservice to Excalibur. Huge. Huge. Yeah. <laughs> huge. All right, well, I mean, this is the thing. He's not giving us anything other than, like, his opinion broadly of the film being bad, mm -hmm. and it's supposed to play into his notion that plot isn't the only important thing, which nobody disagreed with anyway, so. The plot is easy to talk about. Ooh. You don't need to study cinematography. Is it? Is it? 
You don't need to study cinematography to talk about the plot. Oh, I, Jesus. Don't. I mean, that's, uh, and I need to I study mean, cinematography to talk about characters? Or cinematography? I, I can talk about cinematography uh, without studying it. I know what composition mm -hmm. means. I know where people should be and what it can represent. I, I, I don't know. I'm, 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 oh, yeah, study cinematography like me. God damn. The cinematography <laughs> of this done. shot is yeah. it, is not great for someone also, who studied cinematography. I would expect a pretty full ground and arrangement. Um, has he not illustrated to us that he might not be able to talk properly about plot when he was like, ghost appears, that's all he can say about this when it comes to assessing the yeah. plot. It's like, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe you, you need to learn need about to it. study the notion of plots. So yeah, maybe there is something to be studied there. Huh? It's also the easiest thing to lie about. No. Oh it's my not. god. No, it's not. Wait, what I, I did he say, say anything, the easiest thing to lie about? Plot. Might be one of the most difficult plot. things so to lie about. Well, if yeah, we, if we split... It's directly referential. If we split everything up in a movie, including meta information, the hardest thing to lie about is probably, like, who made it and who stars in it, I guess. That's one of the more yeah, difficult the things to get away stuff. with. It. Yeah. yeah. But if we exclude meta... Um, saying you, it's so I mean, fucking hard to just outright lie about, like, Frodo, you know, jumped into the volcano at the end. You're like... Well, I guess he did. There's, he he, he didn't die. Like, what, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> it's like there's a, a level of ambiguity that you can you can essentially leverage when it comes to characters. You can be like, well, people are unpredictable. People make weird choices. You don't know what's going on in his head. And then, of course, with theme, it can get particularly ambiguous oh, yeah. sometimes. Yeah, there's what, it's just like both what, of those. I feel like degree. what happens on screen, like of of all of the things that are going on, that is definitely the one that is the hardest to, to lie I, about. I feel like yeah. it's obvious. Well, it's I, like, this is a photograph of an object, and then if we start to get into disputes about that, I'm like, look, I've got better things to do than talk with you. <laughs> I mean, this I is guess just, just what the thing is. I guess just lying in general is easy to do well, if the lie up holds up in the end after you just fact check it like for five seconds. That's a whole nother thing, I guess. Also, like depending on the context of the thing you're talking about, like if it's a brand new film, it's really hard to lie about. But if we were to review something from fucking 1963, it's like a B movie that no one ever saw, we could completely yeah, lie about really every hard to element. Get a hold off. Yeah. And yeah, there'll be like one person in no chat being like, I don't like... think that's how it went down, but <laughs> like, all right. Yeah, but it's not based on like any specific no. category. It's just unfamiliarity. Yeah. Which yeah. I mean, yeah, it's easy to lie about a film that people don't know anything about. Yeah. But well, in terms uh... of like if somebody watched the film and you tried to deceive them, if you were talking about the plot, that probably would be like the one that would be most challenging because it'd be like, Well, wait, that happened, but this happened though, but that happened rather than, well, what was the character thinking at that particular moment or what does this story mean overall? Like, how does this scene play into the themes of the story? I yeah, think it's as well, the one uh, element of filmmaking where you have photographic proof of the events as they occur. Yeah. So. I think it becomes crystal clear considering the, the way she, like everything works these days that the easiest thing to lie about, and it's not even necessary that they're lying when they do this, the easiest thing to lie about is probably theme, where people say, like, thematically, the, the through line of Thomas the Tank Engine was, uh, you know, imperialist propaganda. You'd be like, what? True. <laughs> now, you'd think you could say, they're lying, but it's really hard to say that someone's lying about something like that, versus Thomas the Tank Engine, every single episode had He-Man killing everyone in it. You'd be like, well, that's just, that's just not true. You're either insane or you're oh, yeah. lying. Show me the frame where any of this is like, occurring, and you just won't be able to do it. You have yeah. no references, nothing to point to. They um, just come across as a lunatic. Well, I've already said, like the as, as we all agree, the the, the metric, the, the proof of a lie being told is a lot harder to reach uh, than that he's implying, and the fact that he's said like plot is uh, it's it's not easy to lie. About. I'm trying to think of like what's the easiest thing to lie about in a film. It probably is just it's going to be interpretations. You can just lie about what you're uh, taking from it, you know. And it's kind of hard for anyone to say that you're not telling the truth on that one, because. Frankly, most people do not follow every component of the plot as it unfolds before them. For the sake of that's not the plot's problem. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a bad point. I mean, that's you just could they pay so attention it, or not, right? Having to watch that something is a lie about the plot because people don't pay attention or remember what happened. But you don't have to because it's all it's all recorded. It's a yeah, it's literally a video. It. You can just replay it over and over as much as you want. The truth or fiction of an event has nothing to do with it's observers or their ability to comprehend what's happening in real time. It's totally, completely different things. They're literally not related to each other. Of argument, consider Blade Runner. Uh oh. One of the essential sci fi films of the 80s. The film is on paper about a.
Why did he say that? One of the essential sci-fi films of the 80s. Why did he say one of the well, essential sci-fi films of all time? It also just well, feels weird because true. It's just a, this is obviously like a, a media sphere video and it's like Blade Runner. If you haven't heard of it, it's like, shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like Give me some credit. The 80s. The film is on paper about a police officer, Deckard, a Blade Runner, hunting down rogue androids known as replicants from space. He finds them, exterminates them, and then runs away with a woman he is infatuated with who also happens to be a replicant. On paper, this sounds... You said on paper twice now, which is odd. <laughs> Remarkable. Cliché almost. <laughs> um, oh, oh, that's your subjective uh, opinion, and you are welcome to have it, yeah, I guess. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Well, but this is just so supporting this whole thing of, like, plot is not the part that we should care about. We should talk about what it means, all of it. But, like, he keeps using plot in the way I was talking about. Like, describe the, describe the plot of The Matrix. Like, guy breaks out of a system that was meant to keep him, you know, restricted and in battery form to powers of machines. You're like, mm -hmm. is that it? You're like, well, I could go on, but I won't because I'm trying to make plot summaries that's sound right, stupid. Because, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Sounds unremarkable. Cliché, almost. So much of the story is told, however, through subtle means outside oh. of the main plot. For one, well, what do you Deckard mean outside always... of the Why main plot? Why is it outside plot? the plot? I don't know. Well, yeah, what, what do you mean by that? It's okay. in the main... Everything... It, like, basically everything in a way... It, it depends on how you definition. You might say that everything exists within the plot, because the plot might be... You might take a broad approach to what you consider the plot to be in a film, and you might say that some things exist outside the plot because it's uh, emergent from a thing that happens and that... Uh, but this is, this is basically starting to get into what you define things as. Well, yeah, Let's I mean, get us the, any closer to learning about bad media criticism. That's for fucking sure. If mm. the entire thing is the story and we split down into like the four of character, plot, willed, and theme, arguably those categories are very arbitrary. Some of the lines between some of the things are actually difficult sometimes to say, for example, the difference. Yeah, they're sometimes. arbitrary, but incredibly useful. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and you can yeah, subcategorize further, yeah, yeah. right? Like individual characters. And then maybe if some characters have like particular investments, you can say this is the sequences in which they, they operate on these motivations versus others. You can keep sub dividing over and over and over and over. But in being like, you know, I, I get because one of the first thing he said was like expressions on the characters strictly not plot and it's like well it, it takes place as a result of plot elements in the plot you know what i mean like it's like so why are we yeah, why I, are we doing yeah i tend to define plot in terms of it is like the causal chain at the center yeah. of a film right so th it is the link of cause and effect that takes you from the start of the film to the end of the film and yeah, an expression can be a link in together. there for sure an expression Absolutely. could easily be in a, a link in that because an expression can cause a, a resultant like action in another character. It can indicate something to someone. It's funny because if you if you describe it, you know, the way he did Blade Runner, it's like immediately he's like, oh, I wonder how the character's going to react to this. Like after he did all the actions of I don't know destroying all the other uh, bots and just falling in love with another one, it's like, oh, there's like a lot of character things you can do and themes you can go with. Like, it's not like I'm going like, oh, that sounds boring. I'm not going to watch this. I guess that depends on the person who, who hears that thing, right? But, like, for me, well, it's really like, oh, that actually sounds kind of interesting. What's weird Even now is, like, I have be... lots of celebrations for every aspect of storytelling for Blade Runner, but the way he's describing oh, it, it's yeah. like, the plot is yeah. kind of lame if you think of it. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? What? He does kind of frame what it that way. He's very, he seems to be, if anything, also, if very we... dismissive of the plot, which I, in... I don't appreciate myself. I was on the framework of this video. Does, does it mean he thinks that's all like like we, for example, talk about? Like, oh, look, this is well, only doing this, this, and this. And somehow we talk like hours about this very, very small part, well, not a very small portion, but this one portion of media criticism you can do. Like, what's interesting to me no. um, is this like, it feels like, like this whole section is built on nobody got referenced he he made up a group of people who care only about plot and he's going really far with this when he couldn't even give us one example yeah and it's like well they're, they're countless so far, they're yeah. everywhere we all know them and it's like guys yeah. we, we we've we have checked out many reviewers in our time i don't know a single one that has uttered the phrase all that matters about story really is plot if no, anything, nobody. we see the opposite of yeah. that. Yeah, mostly the opposite. That the plot, it doesn't matter at all. Yes. And yeah. it's all about the themes to the to the exclusion of anything that may inform the themes, like what happens in the plot or what decisions mm. the characters make 
or whether well, the they, world building is coherent. The way that a lot of these people describe movies and media in general, but it happens to be movies most of the time, is that the film itself is almost like this vestigial piece of baggage that's only used to prop up some meta message. Um, yeah. And I and I I really fucking hate that idea. Like the artistry and everything that goes into the production of the thing is just it's chaff almost compared yeah, it's to like, what what's it can the point produce of, what's externally. What's the point of writing a plot and writing your characters when you could just declare what you think about the world or declare like your perspective on a, a particular piece of philosophy? Like what's the, like, what what is the artistry for? If you could just say it, and then that's that's all that matters. You can't say that only the bullet matters, not the casing or the gunpowder or the primer. Like, no, you, you can't just, like, jettison everything else and, and say that only this is the part that even matters, the part that goes forward and everything else is left behind or discarded. It, it's a bizarre way to look at media, and I, yeah. I, I don't know how anyone can, like, justify that. I mean, I guess they're, of course, welcome to have that opinion. It's just a really shitty opinion to have. The main plot. For one, Deckard always looks miserable. Hunting replicants is never shown to be exciting or thrilling. One, one replicant runs... It literally is shown to be exciting and thrilling in the movie. I mean, he's, he's chasing people, he's fighting people, he's frantically trying to catch someone as they're running, he's in a fist fight with one of them. There are exciting and thrilling moments in this movie that are directly, like, in integral to what his job is. I think I would yeah, this the point is thing not meant to be triumphant, like this, is, like, this scene in particular is not meant to be a triumphant moment of like, yeah, you got her, good job. It's more like, oh, yeah, I think this is. This I would is agree with that, issue. but he didn't say that. Yeah, Rags is right because yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna agree with it, but then I was like, to be fair, he's used the wrong words because, of course, this is thrilling. Yeah, it's not the right word. Yeah. The, the word it's... is meant to be that it's not meant to be like cathartic. It's not meant to be. Yeah, it's not meant to be thrilling. Ah, uh, not thrill. Fuck. Ah, uh, damn it. It's <laughs> not meant to be. Um, it's not meant to be. Well, what you, like, what you said triumphant. earlier, triumphant. Yeah, it's a good way to put it. Yeah. It's. We're supposed to feel very conflicted when uh, the replicants die. We're supposed to be like, oh, yeah. Uh. And then he's like, because after this, he has to fight with, he has to fight Leon, basically. So that's another thing. And then he has to get, you know, then, then he's saved by Rachel. And like, this is a thrilling series sequence of events. It's, you know, pro probably apart from the it's end. because the character doesn't want to do part. something. I mean, you know, like Iron Man doesn't want to fight Thanos, but it's, it's, it is thrilling, thrilling to yeah. watch him It's fight. exciting. Also exciting. Yeah. It's meant to make you go like, whoa, whoa, down, whoa, The dude. final replicant, Batty chases Deckard across the God, city the cinema, and the ultimately lighting, saves the him. Such a gorgeous movie. Yeah. Oh, uh, this movie. All right, we'll, uh, we'll roll him back. I'm fine with rolling him back and such that we see more visuals from Blade Runner. Replicant I'll be fine. runs from yeah. Deckard. Though it is awkward, it's just like from movieclips.com. <laughs> like, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, that's the second time there was like another clip. With, like, you, can another crop you can crop that out. It's very it. easy, yeah. Before yeah, it would have been super easy here. Found. The final replicant, Batty, chases Deckard across the city and ultimately saves him before talking. Across the city is a bit of a stretch, but maybe okay. not. Across a he, he, chases yeah. him, he chases him upstairs, but okay. Well, so remember, <laughs> this sequence was about how uh, there are things outside of the plot that need to be referenced. I, f I feel like I was about to guess that he was doing the making fun of plot summary people the way he was describing this. It sounds so um, robotic. And it really sounds like yeah. he's the one that saw this it's, film and uh, other people haven't, the way he's described. It's like the last replicant, Batty. It's like, why are you saying it like that? I mean, I mean I, unfortunately, I'm, so, I'm getting a vibe of like, do you care that much about Blade Runner? Or is it just, and are you like in a Chris Duckman situation if yeah. you're supposed to like it? It had to be Blade like Runner as well, so. Yeah. It's shown to I be really exciting like and thrilling. One, one replicant runs from Deckard before being gunned down. The final replicant, Batty, chases Deckard across the city and ultimately saves him before talking about the nature of life and passing away. I've seen copyright. Hey, but like, copyright. Yeah, yeah. Hey, copyright. I have seen this. I think like yes. everyone's seen this. Well, yeah. hey, look, right? If we needed the context for all of those other clips, then maybe we should assume that somebody watched this well, video. Well, we know this back to front, though. Like, we know this clip, so we'll be fine if we... <laughs> Butcher um, it through copyright protection. 
Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's what saying things you people monologue, wouldn't dude. believe. Mm. believe. Like chocolate Action and poo. Fire off the shoulder yes. of Orion. Yes, or poo and chocolate. Either way. Lost the inside, like tears and rain, or rain and tears. Yeah, all right, now what has he got? We're showing Our trains, these dark, trains and ears. Oh, oh, that, promoting life oh, that's, that's awful... all he played, all right. Oh, Wait, if, like, if these, things. these... All right, anyway. Clip. He's like, got if, the clips, he had to download them. If these well are all... It. Things that are outside of the plot. I'm not following at all. Wouldn't believe. This We're is the plot. Ha two characters having a conversation is the plot. Especially if it regards it like the motivation to make an event happen or not happen. Like you would include that in a, in a detailed synopsis where you want someone to understand the events of the film. Surely you would. Now, because the point I understand. Of this, if... this is what I meant about the crossover between character and plot, where it's like. You know, a Frodo's decision at the end of, of Lord of the Rings is that a plot or character thing? It's like, well, I guess it's both. You you would include that in the synopsis if you're doing a start to end. He's like, you know, character chooses it's to how do world X, building Y, and yeah. The, the setting intercepts with why do characters do things? The emergent result of that is the plot is that these things happen because how characters intersect with their world and like if we, if we take the, you know, the the tears and rain at the end of Blade Runner here, it's why is Deckard alive to have this conversation? Because Roy Batty saved him. Why would Roy Batty save them? Well, it's because Roy Batty's explaining part of this to him right now, and it all intersects together. It's hard to it's hard to really if, if basically impossible to take one thing out entirely because it's all related. It all goes together. It's like your own life. And how you interact with, whether it's a YouTube video you're watching, or the weather, or your daily commute. Everything is, it's all linked, how you do all these things. And a movie's the same way. Um, someone super chatted, why is it wrong for him giving a plot summary of a movie not everyone has seen in a 40-year-old movie? So what we said was, one, it's strange that he's approaching this as though no one knows what Blade Runner is, and then secondly, doing such a bad job of summarizing its plot. Yes. The, I, it's, as it's the a worst Blade Runner lover, I, uh, I have an mm -hmm. issue with his, uh, I could, albeit short, yeah, I, of events. I could buy him skipping over a summary being like, we all know Blade Runner. I'd be like, eh, some people don't, but that's yeah, fine. Yeah, but Brian had he it. instead been like, you know what, I'm going to pretend no one knows what it is and explain what happens. And I'd be like, that's also fine too. I just feel like he did the shit version of both. Dark, crowded streets promoting life on the off-world colonies. We're seeing an overpopulated city and the promise of somewhere better. We learn also... That Do they say it's overpopulated or just that it's busy? Uh, I mean, I'd have to rewatch to be sure on that, but I was just going to bring up how it feels weird that, like, the, the, these are what I would probably classify as will building elements that, that are strong. But, I agree. Like, what, uh, like is, he, to me, yeah. is he revealing to us that will building is a part of storytelling as well? Because, yes, of course, no one well, really knew I mean, that. Yeah. <laughs> this specific element is, you know, depending, because I don't know the script by heart, of course, but if the movie never says that the city is overpopulated or there's too many people, but we see very busy streets and things are pretty packed in, then the world building might lead us to believe that, oh, I think this city is, you know, overpopulated. So that's almost like ironic being this video that he's been able to extrapolate that. These colonies are being built primarily through the slave labor of the replicants, who are given only four years to live. And many replicants are so human that it's almost impossible to tell them apart without exact tests. Yeah, like, it, it, isn't it, this? It, it's, it's interesting that it seems like he's trying to present this as, see, I'm like, I'm like providing a much more like developed perspective on it. It's like, you're really uh, you're, still just you're like, just saying the plot. Really yeah. Facts about yeah, the really. Film. Then, yeah, and early on, yeah, the, he was dismissive of the plot, but now it's like he's describing the, the plot with you know, more detail and interest. I and legitimately like, oh, have so... to ask him, does he think the average person's assessment of what happens in this film wouldn't include any of this, really? Or, or that somebody who was just focused on the plot would be like, yeah, it's just a cop and he, he shoots robots and then he falls in love with a robot at the end. Yeah, like, who, who are these people? Where are they? Yeah. I almost feel like that's closer to what Chris Stuckman would do than anyone else we've come across. Oh, definitely. Oh, that's yeah. true, yeah. And some of these replicants don't even realize that they're human. Yeah, like this, like, he's wait, saying this like, wait, oh, what? Okay. No, no, wait a second. What? <laughs> no, scratch L that. Listen to that again. Hold on a minute. <laughs> without exact tests. And some of these replicants don't even realize that they're human. <laughs> like, mean like, that they're like, robots. Oh, oh, <laughs> Some of the replicants oh, don't know they're human. <laughs> well, they don't know they're human. Dude, did you like not oh, watch the video? My life is a lie! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. I want to be a robot! 
48 minutes out of your life for one proof watch. Come on. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, come on, man. <laughs> you missed. I. It's it's like, it's a funny little slip It's up, funny, yeah. Be, to compare, considering how insanely important and integral this one element is. <laughs> yeah, I know. Concept, it is actually like doubly funny that he fucked it up. It's like the worst two words to flip in any statement about Blade Runner. <laughs> <laughs> like, whoops. Oh. oh. I love it. This is very entertaining. Yes. Now back she to the dolls. She's beginning to suspect, I think. Suspect? How can it not? The copyright demons it come copyright for the screen. because there's a bonsai tree and it's lovely over there. <laughs> Where'd you get that card? I think it's fabulous. I'd like to get one myself. It's mm. nice cut. Well, he's got that. Um, he's got that really thin tie, which I don't yeah. really care for the look of. I like it when they get a little bit. You know, thicker at the bottom. You know, I think I agree. Once again, hmm. he's got and he's got that um that polka dot. Yeah, yeah. It's it's definitely a vibe with the um the the sort of the 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 way that people you know wear clothes in this and but you can see his like his undershirt the the button down shirt. It's black, but it has like the dots on it, and it's very obvious. You know, it's it's not like subtle. You know, the brown jacket, dark shirt with the spots, like the red and black thin tie. It's a it's a mood. It's a mood. It is. I like it. I dig it. It's kind of like how, um, actually, in, it was in the Red Letter Media <laughs> video recently talking about Andor. They had uh, mentioned that in the show, there is this appreciation of the 70s aesthetics in terms of people's fashion and haircuts that Andor kind of uh, adheres to in a way. You can see a lot of those sort of throwback uh, fashion elements to tie it to the original trilogy. And I'm like, yeah, some of the stuff's really neat. And look, the bow tie here, and the, the you know the up to the yeah. collar, and it's just a, oh the the slick hair. It's a I mean it's a mood, man. Look at this guy. Um, someone <laughs> said pillar of garbage is advising him on how to handle the hate from you guys. So here's a huge piece of advice. Number one, stop being a piece of shit to people. Stop taking them out of context. <laughs> stop making up bullshit about everybody, and stop like cl YouTube critics are lying to you. This video has been embarrassing. Like this has been pretty embarrassing so far, and we're just like what a fifth of the way. Through exactly. Like the it's like you guys should be. It's like what the fuck are you? What is <laughs> well, this? You're you're a lying piece <laughs> of ass, shit, fucker. Now yeah. let's go. <laughs> let's see what else you got to say about Blade Runner. A blanket plot summary would overlook these key details of the film. Yes, because it's a blanket what? plot <laughs> summary. Uh, duh. These are the details of the film. Is Basic shit imaginable. I don't like, even like. Uh, uh, please just show me the review that doesn't talk about anything interesting about Blade Runner. It says Blade Runner is about a cop who hunts robots and then he loves a robot. The end. I that thought it was okay. You have to talk no, about no. three minutes about who directed it, who stars in it, and the production. Right. And you have to say it slowly and annoyingly, and as as if the idea that. Even if you were to focus on the plot, that somehow like blinds you to everything else going on in the film. That seems mm -hmm. to be the implication, as if you it's... can't acknowledge that there is more going on in the film than its plot while paying attention to whether or not the causal chain at the center of the film is intact. If it's even possible, because by telling people about the plot, Roy Batty saves you know Deckard from falling off the building. It's like, oh, so we're talking about characters now and character decisions. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, 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 we're talking about plot. Plot. Even though we're talking about oh, characters. What you you're touching on there to me is kind of just how humans assess uh, stories uh, in the most normal way ever. And he's like, <laughs> he's like gone so autistic. He's like completely forgotten that's how it works because. <laughs> you know, I'm just I, mean, I give you like the world of Blade Runner, and then I describe a character called Deckard who's doing things, and then uh, he goes places, and you're like, oh, so he's on plot, and then I like bumps into other character, describe character, then uh, the difference between those two philosophically. Maybe I start discussing themes, go back to plot, move them for like to be like, yes, to remove all of the other things and just talk about plot. It's like, well, it would be fucking goofy to only talk about characters and not mention anything that happens in the film. You know what I mean? Yeah, is, that like, why, why are we pretending? Really potentially impossible. Yeah, just if there's a film where you only said I really like the character and the character, the other character too, they're funny and they're interesting. Ten out of ten. You're like, what? What, uh, what, wait, was, what, what happened? <laughs> what, what, what did they do? <laughs> what if... Events occur for approximately two hours. Yeah, end. that's not really important. Yeah. I just, we... Watching for the character. And you're like, it's not an impossible review. It's just it would be goofy no matter what if you remove, like, not mentioning the world it takes place in at all. I feel like that's possibly the most likely video that would exist. But why wouldn't you? 
why wouldn't you talk about the will to Blade Runner in the middle of analyzing it? I don't know. What do you mean? We spent so long on this section to address people who I just don't think exist. That's why there's more to a film than its plot. Obviously. Like, what? Yeah, we know. Obviously. It's quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? Copyright. Uh, yeah. 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 That's what it's like to be a slave. Yeah. Yo, yep, that's the movie. It's really good. It's really that's great. That's what it is to be a slave. Yeah. Now, he I'm not thing. here to talk about Blade Runner. He just stuck that in for no reason. Just you remember barely Blade talked Runner about great. Blade Runner. Yeah. <laughs> you barely talked about it, so calm down. Maybe he will. One time. Today. But I can if you ask me to. The point of... I don't <laughs> want to hear you talk about Okay. <laughs> I think he would do a shitty job. Mm -hmm. I'd rather oh, talk yeah. about Blade Runner with my friends with you being completely removed from the scenario, actually. <laughs> so, How about we away. talk about Blade Runner? You can listen. <laughs> like, Are no, you, well, is he holding go. his mic or is he just like has so. his hand around oh, it? Oh, it could be either, I guess. This little exercise to highlight... Oh, he's holding I it, think yeah. he's holding it, yeah. How little okay. some people engage with media outside of the plot. Like uh, who? Tell I like, me I like, who. I like, I like that that's what he says when really all you did was just emphasize how little you engaged with it when you thought that you were engaging with it on a deeper level. I don't, this is boring. Yeah. Give me examples. Like, I am bored. I'm total, I'm very bored. I'm just like appealing to this mysterious Bringy ghost. being bored is not part of the plot. That's a character issue. Oh, that's shit. Character. No, that is a character <laughs> issue, yeah. In fact, studios realized that audiences might not pick up on any of this. Okay. Any of the story, all this stuff beyond the plot. It's not, you mean the themes, Ooh. specifically when you say that, because they picked up on plenty of story. Because story is all-encompassing, it's the whole event, that's what the, that's what the visual yeah, medium like is it's, providing it's to us. Yeah, like, it's impossible, if you've consumed the story, how can you not pick up on it in any way, shape, or form whatsoever? And what happened to everyone having a valid yeah. fucking point of view? Where did that cut, where, where's it gone? Too. Because that disappears very quickly it's just in gone. these types of like video essayist videos. Yep. Last um last night when I on it when I told you guys the little anecdote about how my mom randomly mentioned that she saw Madame Webb and thought it was bad. Um, <laughs> the way that she was sort of Based like very Rags briefly ex explaining the <laughs> this is part of the deep lore from last night on this channel. <laughs> um but she the way that she explained like how terrible the beginning was was she was talking about the things the characters did in her plot, <laughs> little mini plot summary. And I'm like, oh, see, people do it without even thinking about doing it because it's just so intrinsic to one another. Yeah. They wouldn't pick up on. That's why they forced Ridley Scott to make Harrison Ford spell out the subtext to audiences in one of the most widely criticized elements of the theatrical Oh, this, of this video is so boring. This yeah. is like the most boring observations <clears throat> that... Every single time, it's like, God damn, I know where you got this from. This is like the most boring observations you can make about Blade well, and also, Runner. how does this yeah. help his point when it's like, we, I, th th they felt they needed this for vast amounts of audience members because they weren't picking up on the story. This thing that everyone doesn't like. Yes, interesting. Hmm, interesting. interesting that everybody my doesn't little, like my it. My little chin fluff. Yeah, mm. what studios <laughs> realize the audiences audiences don't get it so they put in a thing that made everybody mad because they all got it yeah <laughs> interesting also uh this this video called youtube critics are lying to you i feel like we've gone way out to left yeah field we here. have we, he's we spending a long have. time on this, this crazy part. blade runner tangent yeah i miss the random injections of youtube let's <laughs> bring it back recreational <laughs> they don't advertise for killers in a newspaper yeah this is the this is it uh, talks yeah. over uh, it to uh, let you know uh, how he's feeling harrison thinking. ford's bored exhausted uh, narration you could have done that again this is a bored exhausted <laughs> narration. <laughs> it's fine yeah. don't worry about it where he just tells you what's happening in front of you i'd quit because i'd had a belly full of killing I just don't Dude, know what. What are you proving uh, by playing I'm, these clips? I'm thinking about something funny. Uh, I th I don't remember what it was. I I remember it was like a little factoid that was uh, about Blade Runner. I just noticed because of the Coca Cola sign that yeah. like of all of the companies that were prominently featured, like Coca Cola is the only one that was left because Pan Am was in Blade Runner Atari, like prominently right? and they shut down. They Atari was in it prominently and they shut mm. down. Basically every company except for Coca Cola that was prominently advertised as being like a company of the future. <laughs> is like either Oops. greatly diminished or doesn't exist anymore, which is kind yeah, of funny. It's... 
Yeah, it funny. looks like it's owned by a French company, Atari SA, through a subsidiary named uh, Atari. Atari's going mean, to make it's a, a comeback. It's a gamble you got to make when you try to figure out what's happening in the future, you know? Like, oh, yeah, which companies are going to survive? It's 1982, yeah, Atari, they got a real good shot. <laughs> in a way, though, it's kind of it, it's kind of more interesting, actually, in a way, that they did it go is, out of business sure. when they were thought to. I think it's, um, it's interesting because it says a lot about, like, what the vibe was. Because, of course like very prominent a lot of like japanese media and blade runner because it was the 80s right that was like mm. the boom of the japanese economy when it was very much the thought at the time japan might actually overtake the u.s in terms of the size of its economy but then the 90s happened you know what i mean so it's like it's kind of a it's like a look at the future from a very specific point in time which is really interesting in terms of what were people thinking at the time like what would the future look like no um it's just neat I'm still it, waiting for Jaws 19. We'll get it someday. I'm and waiting for those flying yeah. YouTubers I, uh, that I shouldn't I, watch. It's in my dreams, Jaws 19. Mm. Directed by which one was it? Which Daniel Spielberg? Spielberg, I think. Daniel? Yeah. <laughs> I'll settle for Steven Spielberg, though. That'd be good enough. Go. <laughs> <laughs> but then I'd rather be a killer than a victim. And that's Me too. Exactly what Brian's uh, threat about you know what's people. interesting about hearing this is that I'm so unfamiliar with the theatrical version of this movie that this is basically all new to me because mm -hmm. I've only really watched like the director's well, just, cut. So I, I think to well, film this is all new to me because I actually haven't seen to Blade film Runner. people. It's just a famous oh. thing about there's many cuts of Blade Runner and one of them has a series of explanations of what the fuck is happening from Harrison Ford mm -hmm. throughout where he sounds like he wants to kill himself while reading them. Uh, it's funny and just not liked Someone... by many people. Someone in chat said Red October versus Jaws. And it made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> the showdown of the century. And, and at the end, they have to team up to fight the Meg. <laughs> <The Meg. laughs> Very quickly into the movie, you realize that Jaws is just basically a normal shark, and Red October is a nuclear submarine. <laughs> Doesn't even realize he's now there. Now it just sounds like the new Godzilla Kong movie. They have to team up to fight the bigger, oh God. the bigger <laughs> yes. shark. But we're all waiting for. And they gotta give Red this October widely... a power gauntlet, like a big glove that he can use to well, grab once they, like a giant Well, once they recharge him, it. By, they gotta recharge him by blowing up the nuclear bomb next to his face. So. <laughs> About little people men. This is widely seen as a big mistake. That being interesting. said... Crazy. Who would have yeah, thought? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Big think. Big think. Some bad media critics might need this <laughs> you might need it who who oh, okay. tell me who give yeah. me names Somebody. but like yeah. how how is this not the peak of pretension when you're like oh you think bug. you're objectively yeah. correct about something in a movie but i could just outright claim you need help you need a fucking helmet to watch movies yeah, i don't at, this, is a, <laughs> this is a very smug smile right now well, he's yeah. on top of the world, looking yeah. at these retards, only talking about the plot, those those what? ethereal imaginary... fucking straw men who exist yeah, out in the imaginary... fields. We've never seen them, but they're out there. Who give me their names. Tell me who they <laughs> yeah. are. So it because if you want me to avoid who they are, you need to tell me who they are, or else I won't know. I'll fall into the terrible yeah. well, I'm trap. And you also, what about right or whatever? It's Shad, just a robot. Yeah, the pe all the people he used earlier. Maybe. I'm assuming they who... just are all they're this now. But then makes it again, much easier, doesn't it? Show me some people. Show me the context. Show me where they lied. Give me proof that they lied and not just misunderstood what was happening in the movie. Because you know what? That can happen. Well, that wait, can happen but a lot. What, what's being said here about why they would need it? It's like, well, that means they're definitely not lying, right? You're saying that they're stupid, <laughs> that they don't understand, <laughs> that they misunderstood. These rather I than what you they could, deliberately got it wrong. What you could do is you could go through a bunch of maybe reviews of Blade Runner and then find the people who reference. Deckard's little inner monologue thingy here, and then maybe don't criticize it or use it as a point of reference to explain how he's feeling or the plot or uh, something. I don't know. Yeah. He, Tons of things the problem, do. This, this video falls into that terrible trap. It's a massive pit that people fall into of you, you do realize you're trying to convince people you're correct, right? And the only people who are going to think that this is good or the doorknob-looking doorknob retards who already are on your side, right? You're not doing any work to convince people on the outside that your position's correct. You're not, you're not doing anything. So maybe you should work a bit harder to convince people that you're correct. You're well, not doing I mean, a good job. We've done, what, like, 
really, in 11 minutes, what has he given us? It's like, well, he's shown a bunch of out-of-context clips of people. He said that Cinema Sins got three things wrong about Kong Skull Island when two of them were jokes. He said and that one um, of them was are, you know, of all question, the people, but <laughs> all the people who focus on plot miss the point of films like Blade Runner. But he can't show us any examples of these ethereal people. Who I, I kind of want to see that meme now of the like the detective mm -hmm. who's like, are they in the room with us right now? And he's like, there they are <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> are those critics in the room with you? <laughs> it's, just, it's just like yeah. So we've gained nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> they might not get the plot otherwise, unless it's spelled out to them by a bored Harrison Ford dragged oh back. My God. Yeah, that's what I mean. Down. Oh, okay. How is he the yeah, good there's guy? There's better going to be some fucking uh, like examples now. Because you know, like, you like, know oh. what what the deal with these critics is that they need to prove to the world how smart they are. <laughs> Those retards, they need they need the plot explained to they them. They need <laughs> it spelled out. It's like okay, <laughs> Jesus, not like oh, me God. though. I just love that because like the playbook, right? Especially after we've covered this video, will be like I am being attacked rudely ad hominem. All the all the stuff, and it's just like your video <laughs> is filled with insults, my dude. I guess you just didn't notice it's the thing Fringy talks about all the time. He was soft spoken tone, about it. Tone, it, it tone, soft spoken, yeah, it being matter. soft. Don't swear. Never swear, never ever ever swear because if you like, Fuck you that. gotta, you gotta say it in nice words and oh, you could you can say nicely the most horrible things and people yeah. won't even notice. But if you say yeah. like, man, that was a bit dumb, wasn't it? That was a bit stupid. It'll be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Seriously, it, it is actually like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and remember, he's gonna be like, all I said was that you're like grifting liars who try to push for <laughs> like my lies. Like, but you said, like, it's like, oh yeah, it's fair enough. Four o'clock in the morning to read a script. Just out of curiosity, if a landmass has this much of a reputation, why is it just now being discovered? Because if you know, let's, what it, is that we, your proof uh, for a person who only sees plot? Maybe. Like I said, CinemaSins is a really bad example uh, from the get-go because the channel is is the very is deliberately the thing that he said like he's doing almost dishonestly, going into movies to dislike them. It's like he's going into movies to poke fun at them. He assumes you have fun with it. It's like his whole thing. I think he should be accurate when doing so, and I'm happy for us all to encourage him to do so, but the idea that there's like just nothing of value because he goes in looking to poke some holes and have some fun, is like, that's silly. And I don't see why yeah. we don't reflect that on Cinema Wins, who goes in looking to like a thing. But that's okay, because it's positive. Let's say they, they might just shout plot hole whenever... Here's an example of a plot hole in Blade Runner. Ooh, During weird Batty's cut. final speech to Deckard, he mentions, you know, going to Orion, which is a star system deep, deep in, the, in space. Way longer than the four years lifespan could ever allow you to travel. Are that you text. kidding me? Um, do we, do, uh, do what, we, is, do what is the nature of the interstellar travel in Blade Runner's universe? I was about You're to ask that question. Me. That's it? <laughs> That's what he's got? I, 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 like, I... <laughs> You're actually joking. <laughs> I'm so upset. That's the best he can do. <laughs> That's pathetic. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> Ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. Now, some might argue that's a technical plot hole. I argue it doesn't matter. Because no, oh, have, God. It's, oh. <laughs> we're back to... I was bust. <laughs> He, he got me there for a second. The split second. He's like, oh, is he going to say, no, we don't know the show. It's like, no, it doesn't matter. It's like, oh, fuck me. Because the focus on that scene is to show that Batty has seen things and all these moments will be lost in time. Well, I mean, but if he... That's what he says! The <laughs> focus of the scene to show that's what he says! You just stole his words, dude! Yeah, that's not analysis. That's just reading out a quote. Also, I, I don't understand this nature. Like, had he... By his metric, right... The point of the scene is to lose the memories. Had Roy said something absurd, this is the same thing we did, it's like the gambit with uh, TLJ. There are limits I can push it to that would distract you, that would be classified solely as plot issues by you. And it's like, so where's the fucking line? If I had Roy saying like, I've seen the poop from a chicken on a farm, it was so slushy and beautiful, it's like, that would be weird. We'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then, you know, crank it up to like, impossible stuff. It, 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 there are lines he could say that you would feasibly take issue with, even though we understand the point of the scene. 
it's this is just writing at this point, which is like there there are be- there are some lines that work better than others. And I don't I don't see why we're uh, we're pretending as though like thematically or the, the experience the character's having completely overrules any and all other analysis of anything else that's happening. That's just silly. It's all cohesive. Wanna, that's like the point. I wanna I wanna hand this fucker Macbeth, deny him access to the internet, and see what he has to say about it. Mm-hmm. It's not nice. <laughs> like tears. No! How dare you stand where he stood! <laughs> I, I, I mean... And that's compelling. The emotion is compelling. Oh, the technical is? details, who cares? Is what? It? What? Why, why is... <laughs> what? The ten, did he just... Sorry, I... I, I, I didn't realize that him. was compelling. I clearly... I clearly well, misheard him. When I've been told that it Blade is Runner, the most celebrated film of all time, one of them for his technical details. It doesn't matter. No, he mm-hmm. didn't say that. That's a shared. That's a shared delusion that we. That's like a one of those mass hallucinations. What an insult! An auditory hallucination. Let's go to a different sort it of. Is and that's think, yeah. The emotion perhaps... is compelling. The technical details. Who cares? I ugh. holy fuck! I need to stand up. <laughs> what <Okay. laughs> the word? I need is a technical detail. <laughs> Like, the particular uh, words they have the character say. Exactly. Why do you think they chose to have him say the things that he said? This is what I was talking about. If we'd switched it out for some bullshit that we'd be laughing at, or s- shit that sounds absolutely impossible, like he said, God, this is almost as memorable as the morning where I just ate a bunch of planets. We'd be like, what? No, what are you what talking about? Like, what? But instead, our fucking plot hole is apparently just assuming that it's impossible for a character to go places in the future in space oh, when there's established, God. like, some form of space travel within this setting. That's information we don't have! I don't- that's what I was gonna say, I don't remember yeah. them establishing there's no significant <laughs> interstellar travel in this universe. It's just decided there isn't! Yeah, must have compared it to real life, you know, capabilities, like, how long does it take in like should have watched them. You should have watched Patrick Williams' plot holes video. <laughs> you would have learned. I imagine him looking at the flying cars and being like, hold on, those don't fly in real life. Wait a wait minute. A minute. Boo. The idea is that Batty has seen things, these things matter, and that in a few minutes, it'll be forgotten. The theme is literally what he said. That's the point. You, okay, wait, no. Like, I'll actually go further and just, say no. The the point I'd is also... making Deckard uh-huh. realize something super important in that moment, which is that he's been tasked with hunting a creature that's like, you know, for its like lack of humanity, its replicant nature. When he's arguing and successfully pointing out that he's possibly more human than Deckard is. Like, and hmm. add on top of that, that in a certain sense his existence will not fade into nothingness because his existence has an impact on Deckard. It, it, it like, lives on life. through him. Exactly. So the idea that everything that he's experienced will be lost to time, it's like, yes, but also no, because your influence lives on through people. It tells so, you something about Roy Batty, the fact that he chose yep. to save Deckard and tell him that with the last moments exactly. of his life. This validates his existence in some way. And then way. as he lets go, the dove ascending into the sky, make of that, you know, what you will. <sighs> but no, well, and, and thematically like, speaking, the whole... Away when it falls. The plot line of the replicants desperately finding any way possible to extend their lives, and you have the visual of Deckard is desperately trying to hang on from falling off the, the rooftop, and you have Roy Batty deciding, almost in like a godlike creator way, to lift him from potential death, extending his life, right? There's so much to fucking mm-hmm. draw from that scene about everything throughout the movie. He just says what Roy Batty says. Yeah. And it's like, we'll see. And this is me explaining how, like, I've got the deeper insight into this film that these idiots don't have. This is pretty surreal. It is Go, surreal. Isn't it crazy that Roy can't extend his life, but he can extend Deckard's? Oh, there's a subtle detail there. It's like, that's the point, mate. But as far as I'm concerned, when we talk about all of those things, all of the elements of the writing are supporting it. They're built throughout. Absolutely. It is meticulous. It's the reason why this, yeah, like, it, it is weird to say that any element of Blade Runner is irrelevant. Like, that it, it no, doesn't No, these two actually... random guys meet on a rainy rooftop and talk about why random bullshit for no reason. It just, why just is denigrate it a point the... of praise to denigrate the work? Yeah, yeah to integrate the craft in this way, because you say that you can just fuck with parts of it and it doesn't matter. As if all of the choices made aren't very particular to do something As if it didn't in have particular. The cards, well, the, te- yes. the technical details don't matter, so... 
Who cares? Oh, I get you can just do whatever then, and it's yeah, fine. Yeah, you can just do whatever yeah. because it's all about themes and subjective flumbos. And well, I actually think matter. he's okay. from the school of if a character just just shouts out the theme at the end, it doesn't matter what the film was. It just, just that's good enough. He practically Why have that, films really? The, Why he's practically waste our time? Just done tell that. Tell me what you want me to think. He's oh done that with God. Blade Runner. He listened to what Roy said word for word, literally, and then was like, "That is what the film's about." I saw the film. You guys didn't because you were like. Oh, the plot. What you guys would say is they went to the building and one of them died. <laughs> huh. Please send YouTube video essayists like to a literature class. Please. <laughs> That's like, what no, they want to like do worse. to everyone else, though. It's the That's crazy like thing. Worse. <laughs> you have to disconnect them from things, not attach more. Wow, you guys sound pissed off about this. He's basically guiding people into misunderstanding Blade Runner and just not thinking about media. He and said the technical you know, details of Blade Runner don't matter. Fuck that. And Fuck that wow, indeed. it's annoying when someone is, like, smugly incorrect. I thought this was not a new discovery. I thought no. this was, like, well understood that when someone is smug about being wrong, it tends to get a bit grating for people listening to them being wrong. Especially if it's about yeah. made-up people he hasn't shown us yet. Powerful than the technical elements of the plot, but if you approached every film like a cinema sins ticker, then fuck off. Who does it? Say, oh, pl plot it'd be, it'd be, be more bad. entertaining. Who cares? No, well, Cinemasins I mean, cinema sins videos are better than this. It can be. Yeah, yeah cinema sins sometimes says things that are correct and insightful. He just does. He's really yeah. spotty, very scattershot track record, but he does say things that make you go, "Huh, good point, interesting." Here How and the there, channel it'll took happen. off in a way. Like, hey, even cinema wins when he clearly copies and pastes a top ten things you didn't know about Puss in Boots: The Last Wish into his video. Those things are interesting if you didn't know them. About like the subtleties Absolutely. of symbolism, he'll have it in there, and it'll be like, oh, neat. Let me see your video on how cinema wins is ruining film praise by being like, oh, I like this actor. Ding. Oh, this is a a thing I recognize. Ding. You know, it's 16 it, seconds of credits, ding. Yeah. <laughs> Say, oh, plot hole, this movie's bad. Like, who cares? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter? What, 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 Matt? Why are okay. you allowed to just say that part of the craft that went into making it just doesn't matter? Yeah, they cared about How it, mate. How so, like... Yeah, tell us what the filmmakers was like, oh, this thing you tried it, it to is... make properly? That didn't matter. I it felt is really good about bizarre. It how many like video essayists will try to praise something essentially by dismissing aspects of the craft yeah. and it's like well i'm the positive one i'm doing the positive thing by denying the work and it's like why because you don't like to oh, and... have those conversations like you're not you don't you don't enjoy it you find it difficult and so then you'd rather just like dismiss an entire aspect of the craft it's worth remembering too the the context for what he's saying right now is he believes this this fucking straw man makes the video where they don't talk about anything on that infamously amazing fucking scene uh, because they're like, well, at one point he references going to Orion, which isn't possible. That, that he envisions yeah. this video exists out there. <laughs> like that someone did this. Because you would think if, if there would be a video, you would have probably... I feel like you would have seen something like this online, found it, watched it, as I just said two times, I don't know why I said it three times, uh, and it's like, oh, that's stupid. Let me make a video about this thing. Now I have a thing, thing to reference, and I'm just going to put it in my video after I, I've done this. But this is just like, oh, I just made up this, I don't know, this community of YouTubers that only talks about plots and doesn't engage with anything, but I do. It's like, oh, give me, again, examples. I want examples. I don't believe you that those people exist. And I just wanted to go up to all like... these people and tell them they shouldn't be focusing on plot in any way, shape, or form as a waste of time. Nobody cares about it. Stop. All Every these... time they say something about characters, just say, stop focusing on plot. Yeah. Doesn't matter. It's like, I don't... Whatever. It's... It doesn't affect your enjoyment. Well, it doesn't affect yeah, it your does. enjoyment. What if it does? What yeah, if it does? Yeah, nothing makes does. fucking yeah. sense and everything's a contradiction it and it's mad world in there, then I'm like, no, And if I'm it does totally affect your enjoyment, would you say, well, your feeling on that is wrong? Apparently. Like what you felt, that it didn't feel good to you, that's wrong. That is an incorrect feeling that you're having. It's indicative of some deeper personal problem that you have with trying to prove to the world how right you are. 
you gotta it stop huge... it. You need to get help. <laughs> it is a like, massive okay. red flag when someone's like, "Oh, you care about things making sense." Oh, you shouldn't. Yeah, and again, like, what what, oh, what if it's like, I "Oh, know, so I shouldn't. think this movie isn't very good, but I still enjoy watching it." What what now? Is, is your head gonna explode mm. if oh, you don't yeah. to you? Oh no. How does he respond to the idea of maybe us telling him, like, I do care about the plot. I do care about it making sense. Yeah. It helps me connect with the story that's being told. And the wizard says, and when Rag says that, it's not because he needs to prove how right he is to the universe. He <laughs> means it. You know, uh, this reminds me of, I had mentioned on, I think, Open Bar, that when my sister last visited, we watched T2. And uh, she did the thing, and I was just enjoying it as it was happening, because she hadn't seen it in a while. Where um, Sarah is going to stay behind when John is pushed forward to fight the T-1000 in the uh, Steelworks Refinery, whatever it is. Um, she's got, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's, you know, th there's a point where he's um, he's he's gone because he's fighting the, the T-800. And you have Sarah starts putting the shots into the Spaz-12. And my sister noted, like, I think six shots. She's like, so she's only got six, huh? Unless, of course, it's like inaccurate because uh they, they could happen with movies where they just have a mysterious amount of uh shots or whatever she shoots seven and my sister was like oh i guess one extra whoops and i was like no nah, don't you remember she was popping one in she dropped it when the uh the t-1000 was coming toward her so she went and picked it back up that's what you would infer mm -hmm. that's the seventh shot same thing with uh with the yeah the grenades on the belt at the end they use the last one to you know mm -hmm. knock them it's... back and it's like this the little things like that you know, like when she, when she has the the nineteen eleven that's loaded, you know, the appropriate amount of shots, and yeah, and someone could be like, just, none of that matters. And be like, um, it doesn't fucking harm the movie to get that shit right, does it? It mm, creates yeah, something that didn't anything. otherwise exist. It literally creates tension, knowing that the stakes are: you have seven shotgun shells, so when you get to that seventh and you shoot now the power dynamics have completely changed in the scene. You're yeah. out of ammunition. And if you know that's coming, it creates that sense of like foreboding dread, like, oh shit, you will learn, you will run out of ammo soon. That, 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 that experience, that, um, that, that feeling doesn't exist in media where everyone's just shooting, 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 shooting. No one's doing any reloading. Ammo's an infinite supply. Boo, 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 boo. It, it literally doesn't exist in those movies. You've created a subjective experience, which he said is the most important thing. The thing that you feel that was only there because there was a, a, a link, a logical link that made sense in the material. Um, didn't you criticize Cinema Sins in The Last Wish about why he doesn't just, uh, Puss doesn't just beat death as he has him cornered? It, probably. That sounds like something really dumb to say about the events of that movie. Why doesn't Puss just beat death? Like that. Listen, Cinema Sins said a lot of things. Yeah, we, we disagree with Cinema Sins that, significantly. Yeah. This is why it's always awkward whenever yes. we have to defend him, because we're like, we're not his biggest fans. Not even close, <laughs> yes. okay? Nope. And also there's a Bob Vids on CinemaSins. Yeah, as I mentioned that earlier, there's a clip of it from this video, which is much better than this. Uh, you should mm -hmm. much more likely check that out before this. This video is fucking terrible. Yeah, I, I'm glad is... he's let us know how thoroughly fucking incapable of reviewing possibly one of the most discussed films of all time, where everything is set for you. You don't even have to creatively come up with like in-depth takes, on, in -depth takes on, on Blade Runner. Everyone has talked about this film. Oh yeah, you you could just watch other people's movies and come up with an excellent video essay or discussion about it without you ever having to have seen mm. it. It's it, all the information's there. There's so much out there. I don't know why he saved my life. Maybe in those last. <laughs> <laughs> God, this <laughs> sucks. <laughs> right. <laughs> moments he loved life more than he ever had before. Part of the reason why the question <laughs> if Deckard is a replicant annoys me is because people get caught up in the technicalities and not the why. What the oh, what are we this now? All right, before this you is, fucking okay, start. This is a this is a oh, no. this is a failure. This is a oh, no. failure. Rags, we don't know the that discussion yet, but of know. whether he is a, a replicant is incredibly meaningful to anyone, anyone who loves the film because it's going to change the perception of the meaning behind everything in the film. And that is not me saying it makes it less or more. I'm saying it makes it different. It will change your perception mm -hmm. of events. That's simply how it will work. That's why it's so important to everybody. This is not a, you know, did the blaster have a fucking on the high setting or low sort of situation? Was the numbers accurate? This is not petty. 
This is incredibly meaningful. Mm -hmm. The question being unanswered is so important because it forces audiences to question human nature. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you can't talk about it and, and that, speculate that, on what the story means with one or the other. That's the point. Well, why would there even be a question? question? That's what yeah. you do with it. You why, speculate. What, when people talk about whether or not he is a replicant, they reference the plot and the elements of character and the details of the movie. They're not just saying, well, you just feel it. Maybe some people do, but fuck them. They're not worth your time. But they it is, reference it. It is a thoroughly worthwhile conversation and one of my favorite ones to have about that movie because it does change everything that you perceive in terms of the events of every decision Deckard makes and everyone around him, whether or not they're aware or what they think about him. There's, there's so much to talk about, and then all of it is reflective of what you fundamentally believe makes you human, makes you a person, which is a topic I'm particularly fond of, especially with stuff like Soma and other things. Yay, Soma. As they see in the Ooh. film. It's too bad she won't live. Copyright. copyright. It is too bad that she won't live. That is, <laughs> it's something to, it's too bad. That's a, that's a lot of lights on that that, that police vehicle. It's almost an <laughs> yeah. absurd amount of lights on the top of it. Building like something different in this universe. They're very important. Christmas yeah. over there. <laughs> but then again, who does? Sure. Is it Vangelis or Vangelis? I was, I was, Van, I was as far literally as about to say the same thing. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. We're two of spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Um, now that question, but wait, 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 no, it's seriously, which one is it? Vangelis is what I've always known it to be. Oh, I oh, always Vangelis. Said, okay, I've, I've I thought been it was Vangelis wrong for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, because I think of the Latin. I'm always Angelus a fan of what people say. It's pronounced that just his name. <laughs> like, <laughs> got it. Well, uh, well, it's interesting Vangelis. because I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of people disagreeing with you in chat. Well, it's just Vangelis. Wait. I don't know. I, 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 I see it and I think Vangelis, but that's just. Oh, well, like I'm, I'm, I'm not calling it Vangelis because I think that's intuitive. That's what I was told at a certain point, and it, it stuck. So that's all I got for you. Okay. Mm. Yeah question is more profound than an hour-long fan theory video breaking down the evidence for this theory. That's cool. Wait, let what? them do it. Let them, yeah. let them look Why at all the evidence. Them <laughs> let them be nerds. Let Why? them have fun. Yeah. Let them have fun, That's all right? Jeez. Meaningful about it's these time things. to let the children play. <laughs> <laughs> you, are the guy. you are the guy, you are the guy <laughs> yelling, stop things. having fun. Yeah. That's you. You think That's you're you. not. You think you're the guy playing the video game, but that's not the case. Nope. You're the guy yelling at them to stop having you're fun. You're the guy yelling, yes. Can you imagine I wish that like... I could pop up and give you the thumbs up, but you <laughs> suck too much for that. <laughs> You have like, to be half an hour deep the world has into a to conversation know. about whether or not Deckard is a replicant, or like you know any big hanging question in any film. Like I don't know the ending of the thing as well. Either. Like you're just, mm -hmm. and then this guy just walks in and is like, "Yeah, but does it matter though? It's supposed to be <laughs> ambiguous." It's like, "Yeah, I know it's ambiguous, Dick. Yeah. Thank you. That's, That's why, why we're, we're talking about it. it. <laughs> it was unambiguous. That it, what does that and mean? We'd all be hmm. agreeing on what the ending. Imagine was. going to the filmmaker again. Again, like it's like. Oh, it's like a good example. Like going to a filmmaker, it's like, oh, we're not going to talk about the ending because it's supposed to be ambiguous. It's like, wait, what? No, no, you s talk about it. That's why we did it that way. <laughs> what do you think? It's like, no, it's fine. It's better well, this way. It just walks away. He started this movie talking about, oh, the director of Kong sure does hate cinema sins. And I'm thinking, what would the director of Blade Runner, uh, whatever his <laughs> name is, what would yeah. he think of this guy? I'm like, fuck me. And you'd be like, why do you hate my movie in art? Why do you hate? <laughs> why do you hate everything? thing who are you what is this guy's like what are those creatures on your shelf what, what is his public experience of art like does he after watching a film and talking about it with his friends i presume he has some friends like what, what does that conversation <laughs> no, look like that. what do yeah. they talk about i just love he, the idea that after watching blade runner passerby his friend yeah. is like you know i'm not sure if if Deckard might be a, a, a replicant and he's just like stop just stop dude it's really angry about it it's yeah like, like stop, stop. Can you Stop. please talk about the fucking Why movie? Why would you ask that? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Get out of my house. <laughs> get, get out of my basement apartment. <laughs> the theory is told in brush strokes on a canvas, not a chart. It's impressionistic, what? Oh not god. concrete. Oh god. What does any of that mean? What? <laughs> Tell me, explain, explain to my me mouth. what you mean by this, like I'm five. I can years. look at strokes on a fucking canvas and be like, and have that thoughts shit. about them. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
And you can Strokes reference things that are actually shit. there. You can be like, this makes me think this. This in reference That's to this. That's where the interpretation of art comes from. The art is a necessary part of it. Why is no. this so hard? The idea <laughs> also, that the art is a part of my interpretation and experience of the art. And stop denigrating charts. They're very useful. And yeah, they're pretty good, conveying yeah. and establishing information. I love charts. Go charts. Go <laughs> charts. Go charts. What was that? <laughs> that sounded like a phone message thing. Yeah. <laughs> it sounded like someone dropped something into their yeah. kookaburra <laughs> mug. Um, so no, that... my, my kookaburra mug is sitting over here. I didn't drop anything mm. into it. Oh, that's good. That's good. Someone said, Mola, heads up. The guy dissed John Carpenter's The Thing. Joke's on you. I already assume he doesn't <laughs> like good films. That, yeah, we, <laughs> we learned that a long time ago. <laughs> that's... <laughs> <laughs> that line that's, that's also that not a joke on us. That's his that is, joke on That is crazy, it. actually. That is he. Oh my god. Oh, You're gonna swing on the thing. Good luck. Good luck. How come they made the black guy the cook? The thing is, with bad media criticism, the ultimate point is to keep you engaged. What? Good media criticism is it? wants to keep you engaged, the, right? The point of bad criticism is to keep you engaged? Well, being is engaging it? is is not it's it's not tied to whether it's true or false. It's the way that you present information. It's the way that I you, mean, you're, presumably no anybody who's writing criticism wants you to pay attention fully. Arguably, a kind of persuasive like writing class, you know. Arguably, well, that's what time and time again, terrible videos put a great deal of effort into the flash and panache. Yeah, yeah. with really good editing, actually. Yeah, we've, we've come across plenty of uh, excellent editors in our time, but we've simultaneously come across ones that have no idea what they're doing, and we try to recommend, for example, this video needs a lot of work. Um, engagement is almost like a base requirement for making videos, certainly today. Like, you, you're not going to get anywhere if, in terms of like getting your point of view out there unless you make a video that's very easy on the eyes and the ears. Which is it and make it engaging. The point of persuasive writing, you have to say the thing that you want persuasive. to say in such a way that people want to listen to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, make something being the engaging. The idea that like is irrelevant whether or not it's bad or good. Typically, the goal of trying to engage with you is if like good criticism wouldn't also be trying to, as if anybody making any video ever isn't trying to engage you. Like everybody. No, 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 no. I... Everybody is aware that uh, they need to make their video somewhat, you know, consumable for the average person as opposed to just people who know them really well. And it's like, don't worry, this first hour of me giving, like, you know, no fucking background in a very dry way, it'll get exciting an hour later. It's like, it's not going to work. And it's okay for you to try and alter your style accordingly. I think obviously don't let it destroy your integrity in any way, shape or form, but... I find it just so odd, like, some of the greatest YouTubers of all time would tell you that engagement in the videos is super important. If he's trying to imply mm -hmm. that you know it's going to be bad media if their primary focus is engagement, like, I, I well, feel like... this video. Well, I, I just, I just don't, I think he's going to be hitting a lot more people than he realizes with that one. Uh, plenty of people well, yeah. put that as number one, and then number two, make sure the most of what they wanted to say remains in the video, you know? I mean, as Chad asks, like, does he not want people to engage with this video? I'm very confused. I mean, he makes it like he doesn't want people to eyes, but I assume he wanted to. He, he is just a failed attempt at doing that. He's just dumping more kegs of poison down the well, so to say, <laughs> like, the people who are doing the bad media criticism, it's all part of an insidious scheme to keep you watching and engaged, because that's all they really care about. Oh, yeah. I'm just imagining him now standing next to a bathtub with a giant <laughs> keg that says bad <laughs> it's it. the skull and bones <laughs> on it. <laughs> yeah, just pouring it in with like little safety goggles on as well. Like, like then cackling while he stirs it like a big old cauldron. <laughs> well, and then the guy comes in. Hey, you're being incredibly loud. <laughs> My job. It's all poison kind of in the well now. Do you mean loud like it like in volume? <laughs> Is that what you mean? Yeah, that's sure. what loud yeah, means. Sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Care about something better. Care about yourself, maybe. <laughs> That's why the sins ticker uh, goes me, up. That's why a new criticism is made every second. Sure. Is why? It? It's why. Uh, yeah, that okay. is maybe. one hell of a rate of criticism. Well, it's just like criticism. all videos do it of of all qualities and of all levels of lying. I don't know why we're bringing this up as something that bad videos do. It's like all fucking videos do this. I don't know what you're talking about. No. And especially just having sounds. And visuals that are satisfying as a viewer to engage with, like the the compliment, the points being made, there's nothing wrong with that. 
Well, that's this video. He's had like random ethereal <laughs> music it's just sort of playing for no reason I guess because so, yeah. this film makes me want to kill myself and that's the sound of heaven getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> More vitriolic than the last. If you think about some of the criticisms critically, you'll pick them apart. Why? Why? Why bother? Why would we, why would we want to be critical? How could I be critical? What would I reference to be Wait, critical of someone else's criticism? Why? How why would isn't I prove that the focus though? Your feelings about their criticisms. He's just yeah, said I just like feel it's wrong. If you give any thought to these criticisms, because he's specifically talking about uh, cinema sins just now, he'd be like they fall apart. It's like why isn't that the focus of your video? Why don't you say yeah. the big problem with cinema sins is inaccurate? Then rip them apart. Do and then it. give Go us. It's it. so easy to do this. That's what I expect this video to be, honestly. But we're now 13 minutes in, and I still haven't seen anything like that. Oh, With yeah, it's only minutes in. Holy fuck. Media criticism forces you to reevaluate a text, and sure. even if you disagree, you might. How do we do the evaluation? Never mind, don't I? Mean. Might have at least thought about it. Erroneous criticism, which. I'm definitely guilty of, you know, yeah. they might- Yes. Are you also engagement <laughs> baiting when you do it? Oh my um, god, yeah. no. Might make you, you know, that's when you make an error once or twice, or three times. Oh, three's the cap. Four, four? you're out. Like, oh, no. wait, 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 three times, but that's CinemaSins. He had the three oh, things no. that were he's wrong. He needs another CinemaSins one. CinemaSins is still in the game. He's still in the game, <laughs> he baby. Hasn't he's in lost sudden yet. death, but he's still in. <laughs> it's in good faith, but you might make an error of about something. Sure. Right. Even then, that yeah, still yeah, forces happens. you to go, hey, wait a second, that's wrong. And then the critic, if they're being in good faith, will go, oh, you're right. What the fuck I is this? How do they resolve that? <laughs> how do they resolve that conflict? Let me, let me explain how... Because I've just done my whole thesis on what makes a person bad, so now let's talk about how you can, you can do a thing where you like, you, you're like wrong, and then when you're wrong, and someone says, hey, you're wrong, you go, hey, oh my god, yeah, hey, wow, I was huh. wrong about that. It's like, are you just talking about normal interactions? It's a conversation. That's why the thing why are you going. struggling a, so is... hard to describe just human beings talking to each other? This is definitely a human intercourse moment. Yeah. <laughs> it just comes across as so like, I know this happens. I know humans speak to each other. I'm aware of it. I've, yeah. I've seen it in I've movies. Seen it it on, I've seen me. it on the I talked to people yeah. before. It's crazy. I've read Apologies. about it in the ancient scripts. <laughs> <laughs> or to some extent, to revise their argument. That's good faith criticism. Bad okay. faith criticism comes from the approach that I am right, you are wrong, no matter oh, what really? you say I am right. Like you said, <laughs> this, this oh, really? has been your whole like position. You yeah, yeah, this is crazy. crazy. You're describing yourself. That's crazy. <laughs> Whole fucking video. And the thing is, you could be like, well, well, that's you guys. Like, yeah, but at least we have fucking evidence, references, and we've gone through everything in detail. Yeah. What, he, what was he doing with, like, six different content creators? Here's a quick clip. They're bad. Bite. Like, okay. I guess so. Right. And I will always be right, even if you point out every error I made and spelled it out to me. Looks like this guy's predicting but the future, by the way. how do we do that? Because <laughs> everything that we yeah. point out that's wrong with this video, he's gonna be like, uh, actually, I'm right, and you're wrong. My farts smell wonderful. Well, he's, he's, he's put himself in this position where he cannot possibly explain how we determine who is right or wrong about anything without him getting into, like, analytics and referencing media and pointing at things and talking about plot. God, never talk about Blade Runner again. <laughs> That was upsetting. Never. Never talk again. Uh, I'll allow some talking, just we'll stay away from the classics, okay? Course is full of self-contradictory phrases. Ooh, Lily Orchard now. People love to say a lot but don't actually adhere to. Chief among them is, I respect your opinion, even though I disagree with it. This is an oxymoron. That is the key. What? Well, what? No, it what? Is. No, it's not. How? No, it is not. What? No, it's only an oxymoron if you're like a a, a, a bitter asshole. Like, yeah, I, I respect I your opinion, but I disagree with it. It's totally fine. Yeah, that's, that's a normal. A, that's, that's very much allowed. That's a normal thing to think. I will you say, respect opinions that you don't. It's agree. funny. I guess he probably thinks that that's no. Super, yeah, he's right? he's using that as an example of the arrogance of these these critics, which is hilarious okay, because out of uh, all the examples so far, Lily Orch is the only one that we've seen that has enough context for us to disagree. Like, mm -hmm. finally, she made a statement, and we can go. <laughs> I disagree with that. There we are. <laughs> Excellent. Someone just said he's not agreeing with her. It's like, I'm aware of this. I, yeah. Try to keep up. The difference. The refusal to accept when you are wrong. If you're negative, you're going to have the screeching of a thousand illiterate fucksticks descend upon you like a whole... <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Or what? sweaty, <laughs> unwashed, transphobic bats. Uh -huh. And the insistence on okay. doubling down when you are wrong. 
Sorry, did you want to get immersed in our world? Yeah. Wait, this isn't uh, that. No. This is his pronoun this rant. This is something completely different. This is a pure, this is a super subjective. Well, why why is this here? That, that should this should be here. <laughs> this this doesn't make want. sense being here. This that clip is lost. Bad. It just burst into the room like. <laughs> Took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Sorry, really that editing is fucking wonderful in retrospect. It's like you know, a lot of people refuse to admit that they can be wrong. <laughs> Shows clip of Lily Orchard saying, "You know, I hate it when people say they respect." Fully disagree. And it's like, and you know what? They'll go even further. And then she says, "You'll get thousands of idiot, unwashed, transphobic people." And you cause it. He's like, and then they double down suddenly. As yes. <laughs> like, wait, what? <laughs> suddenly, like, as what did As have to do with that? Like, I don't know. He's a, a guy. Welcome. <laughs> uh, you're boring. Uh, That's all I, I remember from all of this at this point. It's <laughs> Yeah, well, guess what? Fucking pronouns! <laughs> Bad media criticism's ultimate goal, though. How is, uh -huh. This is not I mean, I, coherent, I, man. Yeah, man. Bad media coherent. criticism's ultimate goal is to criticize, and it does it badly. This isn't difficult. Yeah, as his point is totally coherent. Like Absolutely. He's saying it ruins his immersion, which is totally understandable. He didn't, he wasn't, does. you can't refer to that as doubling down. He wasn't responding to someone disagreeing with him. He yeah, was ranting was, after, like, his several hours of playing the video game. That was his POV, yeah. That doesn't match at all. I feel like that's only in there as a me- like, it's recognized as being, uh, the guy who was very wrong to his audience. Much like all of these clips, by the way. Right. They're not, like, substantive. They're just wrong, 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 wrong. It's like, okay, like, fine. So, ...is to supplant the original media in your mind. And the way they do that- Wait. Oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Just to I be clear, even... you said that Roy Batty chased Deckard all across the city. Yeah, you just, were just supplanting. Clear, that's a thing you said. You... <laughs> so if, I mean, you I quite literally stole saying. quotes from the film and said them out loud as if that was analysis <laughs> of the film. <laughs> that was what that we were missing. Some don't even know they're human. Just to be clear, that's a thing you said. <laughs> that was... That was great. That's not a that's that's not a mistake that you can just wave away. What was that's even better, Rags, is he played the like, clip oh. after it of uh it's like being like, does she know? It's like I think she's starting to figure it out. Like as if he's like, Yes, she's starting to figure out that she's human. <laughs> like, wait, what? <laughs> she's starting to figure it out. She was she's actually wrong, but I'm letting her figure out slowly but surely that she actually is a okay. You're not a replicant, things are alright. <laughs> that is by sometimes just making shit up. Like, yeah, like, like, can what? we get examples, please? I'm sure we'll get things you said about Blade Runner comes, or different. Oh, uh, look, Death, you're getting it now. You're getting yeah. it now, mate. Characters as powerful as <gasps> Dream, or as supposedly perfect as Superman, are well liked and aren't usually considered Mary Sue's, is because the plot doesn't treat them as such. If a fresh faced farm boy who's never even seen a sword suddenly picks one up, and without any kind of outside divine or supernatural aid, defeats a war veteran of 15 years in single combat, you like. Change veteran but to fuck. Moon size space station. I want to listen Wait, to the literature in devil blue? in full, and then we will address this text bullshit, okay? Because I hate this okay. style. It's driving me nuts. Too, yeah. yeah. Okay. Stop countering his argument when he hasn't even finished it. Jesus. Without any kind of outside divine or supernatural aid, defeats a war <laughs> veteran of 15 years in single combat, you likely just witnessed a Mary Sue moment. Trained my entire life. Okay, so. Uh, Literature Devil, it's kind of impossible to disagree with him because he used almost and, um, a lot of the time, like, he used words that leave small gaps for the potential yeah. of uh, stories where they can make it work. Way, yeah. Um, uh, we haven't been that familiar with, uh, Mary Sue on this show as of late, uh, as a catch-all term, like a category of sort of bad writing. While, yeah. Um, so I'd have to see what his category for it is, but I mean... His basic argument seemed to be when a character who is absolutely lacking in skill defeats one that's fully in skill, it, it, I mean, to us we would just be like, well, this doesn't make sense. But he's trying to explain yeah. where the origin and how the term Mary Sue is used. So as far as I'm aware, like, this is clean. Now, let us look at whatever the text fucking popped up. Where is it? Yeah. Oh. A little bit there it is. There you go. Change veteran Change. to moon-sized space station and pick up a sword to make an impossible shot without a targeting computer. Oh, so he's saying that... Where to begin? Luke's um, a Mary Sue. Sue. Got okay, him. So, he's saying Luke is a Mary Sue. Okay. Point one. Moon-sized space station does not have a skill level in fighting mm -hmm. things. Like, it is a it's space just station. just a description. Yes. Yeah, like... The, whole, the point Literature Devil's making is a direct comparison of skill levels being pitted against each other, not 
yeah. character who manages to blow up space station, which depending on context, is, um, we're also ignoring that literature devil like accounted for the possibility of supernatural aid and said like yeah, literally says that. Yeah. And also just, just yeah, broadly did. again, why like, do you force. have to like try and argue against a point by trying to drag down a film? Yeah, it's weird. Like about people, this thing yeah. that you assuredly Fallout's like. always this stupid like, and dumb. Well, hey, yeah, look, you're like... saying this. Have you considered that Star Wars is shit? No, I hadn't. <laughs> well, I guess nowadays time. I consider it all the fucking time. But <laughs> I understand yeah. a bit of reductio ad absurdum. But like, why don't you tell me what's wrong with the actual argument? Yeah, because yeah. Luke, uh, Luke uh, had you know referenced specifically that he used to fly back on home. So he was uh, he's saying it's no more difficult than doing a thing he already does. The issue is just j getting close enough. The fact that it's a moon-sized space station doesn't actually say anything about its resilience or its openings or vulnerabilities. Um, he literally has a divine-slash-supernatural power that assists him, and then he's able to do it. Also, he got help from other people that made it possible. The fellow rebels mm -hmm. who were there in the fight, Han yep. Solo coming in at the end, he literally could not have done it alone. There are many reasons why this is a really bizarre copy paste from a blue thing somewhere with and the why, drop shadow. I don't even know what this is. What from, happened but... that made it so he couldn't play the clip and then respond in voice? Why does he change up all of his approach? Question. I was find the find that's weird because then he's probably gonna it's gonna cut back to him and he's gonna move on with whatever he's talking about earlier, I guess, or something completely new. Just seems like a weird thing to structure your video, like just. Talk about it after the clip. Oh, and yeah, as someone just mentioned in chat, it is worth mentioning the shot is not an impossible shot. It's nearly done by one of the uh, not impossible the other yeah. dudes, yeah. but like it hits the surface. If it was surface. impossible, they wouldn't be doing the mission. Yeah, correct. If it was impossible, they would have done something else, or they would have ran away. So or they you just got that one wrong too. So nice. Mm. Yeah, but why be accurate? You likely just witnessed a No, but also, soon. why be... It doesn't matter, but also they're wrong and that makes them lies and bad media criticism. Well, yeah, this is the... Mm. You're right, this and is they the other don't, thing. They don't... Why, why can't we just disagree with Literature Devil here instead of being like, so Literature Devil's a fucking liar? Like... Because what Devil okay. said was totally reasonable and i agree with him he even yeah. said what you likely saw was a mary sue moment which is like so yeah, i mean he's leaving the gap so it's like than I, yeah so i don't know the full video of of his here so this might be just no one does one, there's no context why would you yeah. ever this might get be one, full context one, this might be one category of the things that might be considered a mary sue thing that happens well that, that makes him even I, more immune to criticism in the sense that if he's simply talking about how people identify this yeah a tendency not like this is the only way you can identify it uh in my world of facts it's not like he's doing it that way if this fairly specific set of criteria happens then it's most likely you witness this it's like yeah it seems reasonable yeah, it could be seems fair to me Moment. all right trained my entire life to master my why is this here why uh, why is this uh, shitty movie here maybe this is maybe the point was that like superman beating zod actually doesn't really like follow is he gonna do the off farm bit train. oh oh wait whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, yeah. Do, bonus what, memes okay no yeah just click in he gave superman as an example so how do we know you don't know that literature devil is citing man oh, of steel as an oh, example sorry, in I favor okay okay i okay. get you so he's saying like you said superman's not a mary sue he beats somebody who had more training okay. than him yeah well in Wait, this one terrible sec, Zack right? snyder movie well one sec let's just listen to the beginning so i'm almost certain he put a word that saves him in your shit up characters as powerful as dream or as supposedly perfect as superman are well liked supposedly and aren't perfect. usually considered mary sues aren't usually considered aren't mary usually sues maybe considered he considers them a mary sue in man of steel maybe yeah usually yeah. does a bit of uh, work for you gotta watch out for these words they'll get you yeah <laughs> drip you up words are important. so there's there's first of all the literature devil might consider him a mary sue in man of steel he might not even think man of steel is a good story i know a lot of people who don't and then thirdly yeah, maybe he made a mistake. Oh, I guess we're ruling that out. It's a lie. He's lying yeah. to you. I just... It's such a lame way to, to review people's sort of work and analysis. Without any kind of outside divine or supernatural aid, defeats a war veteran of 15 years in single combat, you likely just witnessed a Mary Sue moment. Trained my also, not to defend Man of Steel, but isn't Zod actually of a lower power level somewhat until he's absorbed more of the sun? Yeah, because he hasn't been uh, on, I think so. on... And also, he's done no training of flying around. Yeah, yeah Superman yeah, has sorry, more time. Actually, he doesn't have yeah, laser vision. Training yeah. as a soldier doesn't help you when your new abilities are you fly and you shoot lasers out of your eyes. Superman's done a bit more training than him, so this mm. doesn't even work as an example that proves... God damn, nice. Good job. 
Yeah, if you took a modern, if you took a United States Marine and handed him a lightsaber and be like, yeah, go you, fight yeah. Kylo Ren, they're just like, they, they they'd probably be like, what flavor is the lightsaber or something like that. But <laughs> they, there's no way they can actually. <laughs> that that doesn't. That doesn't yeah, this is actually. It's a skill. I, yeah. Man, so he thinks this is a dunk, but like it actually doesn't make Just, sense. It, yeah, it, it fails in like Whoops. seven different ways. <laughs> yeah. Whoopsie. And, uh oh. And you know what? I'm not going to call him a liar for it. I'm going to call him an idiot for it. I think he just he was a bit oh, incompetent yeah, on this one. Just dumb. But yeah. uh, if I were him, I would be calling him a liar because that's the logic. It's that simple. Entire life to master my senses. Where did you? <laughs> Here we go. Pause. Okay, okay. Everyone ready? Okay, okay, Here we okay, go. Okay, okay, it's everyone, one of the best right, lines right. of the whole movie. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. On a fuck. Yeah. He said the thing. Yeah. See, he beat him. By the way, another point against him is that Zod was clearly done fighting at this point, and he was trying to force uh, Clark to make a decision. No. Yep. Because he'd lost everything, right? So it's, it's like this is even if they were of equal power, this uh, victory for Superman is not as strict as like he won despite impossible odds or whatever. So many things wrong with the argument. Plot doesn't treat them as such. They'll either misrepresent scenes, omit key details. To I mean, you like just what you yeah, like you just did you've been misrepresenting last, people. Last That's weird. I think I call this 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 is just my theory of video essay theory. Uh, I feel like he recorded the video with like a topic on uh, on his mind, recorded all, and then just threw those things yeah. in where he thinks they fit. Like he had like he's collected clips over the time of watching YouTube uh, clips being shared on Twitter, downloaded, and then just tossed them in at random intervals, being like, "Look yeah, at these idiots." When, when it came time to actually make the video with the software and the dragging of lines and everything, he was like, "Oh shit, this is where oh I have to do the thing now." Fuck, this was way easier when I just imagined it already finished. Also, um, Lizardell is the kind of guy I think that would happily have spoken to this dude about this whole topic. Like, he probably would have been very chill about it. Um, yeah, well, this, so. uh, this Anthony Grimuglia guy, there's, there's, there's no way he can respond to the criticism of this video. It's just, well, it's not possible. Someone's you got can't. him quoted from Twitter apparently having said, Never known a debate to change a mind. So that's a that's, oh, a, that's uh, a you problem. Yeah, I, used to, <laughs> I used to be a Catholic conservative, and I'm not anymore. So okay. Well, I just interesting. I just feel like it's very close-minded to say a debate will change anyone's mind. It's like, oh, okay. Like I'm sorry, he's so close-minded. I guess that feels like it's becoming a way more prominent perspective. Yeah, debates just for show. Nobody ever learns anything. Nobody can ever be convinced one way or the other. It doesn't change. Doesn't always feel like a self-report. It is a self report. Yeah, absolutely. One hundred percent. It's also like, oh, so you won't change your mind? Because I mean, That's I don't know. I feel is. like it's a pretty normal human experience to have a conversation with someone where they say something that's persuasive that you hadn't thought about before yeah. or is put in exactly the right way to convince you or they had information that you weren't aware of. Just saying like, oh yeah, debates are pointless. Yeah, they don't achieve anything. Don't do nothing. Nobody changes their mind. That's much more of a you problem. Which it's... is pretty funny considering that one of the big points of criticism he's made in this video is, ah, uh, yeah, they get it wrong and then they double down and they don't listen to reason, you know? You can prove to them that they're wrong and they don't care. Also, debates don't change people's minds. <laughs> like, it's just a general point. That's that's funny. Yeah, some of the deepest, most, you know, those are the deepest held beliefs that I had in my life were eventually changed because I watched a lot of debating between two different people or more talking about the issues and hashing them out and having them essentially, you know, battle each other. That was, that's what did it more than any, more than anything else. Debate is what changes my mind. Yeah. It's, that's um, what works. <laughs> it's, it's half about being exposed to ideas that you've not yet heard, and half about seeing how the ideas that you think are correct hold up against those new ideas. I yeah, think that's people the, who don't... And someone can say, like, that's a very idealistic vision of how a debate goes, especially on, like, the modern internet. I'd be like, yeah, well, I mean... Be the fucking example that you want to see, I guess. Maybe I, yeah. Maybe I just watched all the good ones, or what? I don't know. I mean, I've seen plenty of shit ones. I'm just saying that. Yeah. I feel like we've got a really good track good record for um uh debates, despite how cringe everyone finds them. We've gotten plenty of bad ones, but remember, the soil in which EFAP was built upon was Jay coming on and being like, "Your Black Panther video sucked," and look at us now. <laughs> and you know what? Jay helped me further understand Arrival in a future debate because I was uh, misunderstanding how the time mechanics worked in that movie. It's uh, I've had so many wonderful conversations with all kinds of people that have changed my mind and I think vice versa. I think it's a very 
sad perspective that you're like, debate never changes anything. You're like, um, yeah. you're like Superman in Batman vs. Superman where he says, uh, nobody stays good. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, oh, okay. A That's a bit sad, but all right. Yeah. Speak to make yourself, their point buddy. land better, or in some cases, lie. So uh, this is pretty wild. In spite of mostly positive reviews from both sides of the culture war, Disney's X-Men 97 appears to be a complete flop in terms of viewership. And don't worry. Don't was that well, a flash lie? Goes so or... fast. What God was fucking that? Damn it, we're Wait, here was again. Let us... In spite uh... of mostly positive reviews from both sides of the culture war, Disney X-Men 97 appears to be a complete flop. So this is the... Th he was read. It wasn't even his opinion. He was reading it from an article. He was reading it. Yeah, I was reading from some... For weeks now, the show hasn't managed and to I break don't even into the Nielsen top 10 rankings, making it the worst performing Marvel show on Disney+, Plus. in spite of initial news that the show had managed to draw in 4 million views for its debut episode, which is one of the most viewed premieres on a Disney Plus show. The series doesn't seem to be retaining viewers. Worse yet, the show doesn't seem to have brought it new subscribers or given any reason for old subscribers to renew. Although the show does appear to have a faithful adaptation, it appears that not enough to stop Disney Plus's decline. There are reasons why the show may have had a much more chaotic start than was ever necessary. Okay, so... Okay, so... You can't say... It, be critical of the person who wrote the article, I suppose, if their yeah. information is incorrect. But I'll be honest with you, they seem pretty chill. It's not like the... The way that... He's responding to this, calling it a lie, it makes me feel like the article would read, this dumbass show can't even pull in a fucking reasonable set of people to even consider wasting well, their time on it. You know, like a very <clears throat> biased sort of thing, as opposed to it seems, based on these statistics, that it's not doing well, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, what did the what did the Variety or the Hollywood Reporter article that he flashed on screen Let's say? See. X Men ninety seven appears to be a complete X-Men uh, seven racist to finish line okay, with strong. Is that the headline? That's that doesn't help me. Strong. I don't know what strong, strong final means. Okay. Finale audience. Yeah, I mean uh, the last okay, so one, maybe. Same, look at that. It's got the exact same statistic that was in the original video, which is that it had four million views on its premiere. Well, hang, hang on a second. First two episodes. I guess. The, the only thing episode. is, according to Disney, it's grown consistently. Nice. So, do we have any like outside, you know, observers like Nielsen? Yeah, because I don't trust Disney. Yeah, now, now, now I'm evil. really like not sure actually about, but, yeah, now. <laughs> the the evil is, corporation uh, has an interest in lying to me to suit their yeah, look, yeah, benefit. It's, it's, like, I, I consider me skeptical. That it did get 4 million viewers for its debut, which is the same information that was in the, the article that just got displayed there. But then it doesn't have any concrete, no, it says it's growing. What does growing mean? That could mean a lot of things. It could mean, like... You know what I mean? Like, in terms of streaming metrics, what does it mean for it to be growing? Does it mean it is growing episode by episode? If it's growing mm. consistently. Or that, or that it's accumulated. Am I wrong? Or does it feel like accumulated over time? this is a matter of just, for lack of uh, Movie Bob's description being far better than I could ever say, this just seems to be a matter of chronology. Is this not a, an assessment made when only a few episodes were out? And then the later uh, one is an assessment well, once we're closer to the favorite. finale? No, I now I'm complete. It it seems like it's relying on different metrics, right? Disney said the viewership has been growing, but the article says, "Well, yeah, but it wasn't in the top ten, which is lower than any other Marvel Disney Plus right. show." So it's like you're arguing over different metrics. If one is saying, "Well, it's performing worse because it's not cracking into like a top ten list like the other Disney shows had," and then mm -hmm. your response is, "Yeah, but Disney said that viewership is growing." It's not like it actually counters that. Like you're talking about two different metrics for success. Yeah, this is if it's yeah. growing. You know, it's like, well, okay, cool, but like this is what I mean about the speculative nature. Well. Like this is not a spiteful article from what I can read. It's literally just saying doesn't no. look like it's doing well. And it's like recognizing they called it faithful and said that it's got positive reviews from both sides of the culture wars. And also doesn't... it's not providing criticism of the actual media itself. This is very much meta information. Mm -hmm. When I thought we were talking about media criticism, I thought we were talking about, you know, discussing the actual story. This yeah. is meta. This is like news. And again, so he, he, this, this is like read. Uh, this is like read by some YouTuber. I don't. I don't know the guy. So uh, why are you putting his video in there and not just the article? Because he's just oh, reading oh, oh, the metal, article. Metal. It's because his video's shit. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. But it's right. so funny I because like the video because, essay where we have like, to do because, all the research and investigation if you do, and hard because work. if you do the whole thing is like, oh, they're lying. It's like, okay, so you show this and then you go to you. It's like. Look at all this information I have here. Maybe even on a crazy chart that you hate. Well, and then give, uh, give, give me all the information that are actually true with like references and quotations and stuff. Not just plop up two other things that have a different metric and then just move on. It's like, that's, no, stop. You're asking too much.
positive reviews Sorry. from both sides of the culture war, Disney's X-Men 97 appears to be a complete flop in terms of viewership. And also, why isn't that his opinion, yeah, even if you that. disagree with the use of the word flop? A lot of people have a different definition of what flop even means. Like, I, well, I think it's pretty clear in that, that there, right? Where it's saying, like, well, unlike other Marvel shows, it didn't get into the top 10 for Nielsen rating. So relative to the other Marvel shows, it hasn't done as well. And the response is, yeah, but Disney said the viewership number is growing. And I, I am seriously, because, like, at this point, it seems like the, the kind of terminology that they use to describe viewership for these shows is really weird. My, I could Very believe floaty. when they say growing, they mean it is accumulating a higher view count because people have, you know, as time goes on, like, more people watch the episodes rather than yeah, what I think. The number can't go down. Mm -hmm. People well, can't unwatch it. I guess it. that's what I'm getting at is, like, I my read on that would be, like, well, when you say the viewership is growing, my first thought would be, oh, it's growing like episode by episode, more people are watching. But it could also just mean, yeah, the, the number is going up over time because it's being, you know, people are hitting yeah, play on people it. Can't, yeah, people can't, yeah, on. Oh, if 10 people um, watch episode one and seven people watch episode two and four people watch episode three, that is growing viewership. Exactly, that's sense. what I mean. It's, um, it, it's yeah, like, this is a bizarre... And then it also relies on you trusting that Disney would present it in the most accurate way possible. What if what if it turns out that the viewership numbers weren't so great if you did it on, like, a week-by-week -week rating in the same way that you would for a network television show? Um, But it's hard to do that when it's streaming. So, yeah, all in all, I'm just confused about this one, gotta say. Well, and the point I was making was that this guy's assessment of what a flop is might not agree with, like, the definitions we have, but we need to know that to call him a liar. Yeah. It's, um, it's what I mean, we're very brazenly just being like, these fucking liars. It's like, okay, bro. Mm -hmm. And also, look at this, right? Look at the, in fact, <clears throat> look at the wording that is uh, here. Now, now I'm just fascinated by this. Uh, the episode, which debuted on um, May 15th, saw 3.5 million views globally in its first five days. Oh, well, that's that's lower than uh, that's lower than the premiere, then, or is it collectively? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, um, that makes it the most viewed full-length animation series finale since season one of What If. Why is it? Why are you comparing it to another animated show rather than compared to I was other to say, Marvel shows? Because it sounds better. Because well, it, it sounds better. It's the best yeah. achievement they can list, I guess. It's like yeah, the highest um... grossing Marvel video by a black female director. It's like, okay, it lost a shit ton of money, but it, hey, it's phrasing, you know? And don't worry, we're going to go into a ex couple examples of that soon enough. Oh, please. But the question you might Finally. have is, why, why would here? they do that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> why would someone lie? Great fucking question. Why would you lie? What's, why would uh... you lie? Why w I mean, why would somebody lie? Yes. Not you, why would of course. Somebody, yes. Ooh, no, you I really know. think someone would do that? Just no. go on the internet and tell lies? The reason is ultimately engagement. The algorithm on YouTube... So, and seriously, on, like, everything he here. says here, I will be... Here. It'll be impossible not to imply to his own video. Everything he says. Yep. It's already been a big problem, yeah. Engagement. The algorithm on YouTube, and honestly the internet at large, rewards engagement. The longer you stay on something, the better it rewards engagement. Like, kind of, but that's all. I wonder if that has anything to do with the length itself. of this video and how incoherent it seems, and how we keep jumping back and forth between these bizarre tangents. Maybe. Hmm. I will it definitely is. not make any arguments for this video being longer, though. <laughs> when you click on it, the better. The more nope. you click on it, the better it is. What keeps someone engaged? New reasons to be emotionally invested, either to be angry or to be um, happy, frustrated, or happy. justified angry, frustrated. in your predetermined mm. beliefs before coming to the page with oh. a video. Oh, um, no. That's like a minuscule fraction of all of the things that keep someone engaged in a video. You could do yeah. all kinds of crazy things. Yeah. I like that we only list Remember... all of the most negative emotions as well. It's just funny. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Here's, here's a funny, here's a funny like... anecdotal tidbit. Uh, my best video on my channel is the Puss in Boots Forge, which is all positive. I don't believe you. That's oh, a lie. Yeah. Why would you lie? Why are you a lying <laughs> critic on the internet? Oh, well, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. Look at this lying guy. Oh, yeah. damn. I guess I lied about um, Puss in Boots being good. How does he explain the event? Well, we actually, we had to do research for a video that, um, that we did a while ago where we had to watch, uh, what was it, the Lemino video on the JFK assassination? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Was he the one who did that? I didn't go in yes. there with, like, predetermined, like, I, I guess I was like, yeah, he better be fucking dead by the end of this, but, um, <laughs> like, I didn't know anything about it, really. I just went into going, I'm here to learn. 
and that is an insanely popular well, video, as many videos yeah. are. All the how it's made and the documentaries and the history videos. Well, and Friends is very, you know, everybody's really enjoying that. Is that a you show that makes people You just went in with your predetermined opinion. It's called Smiling Friends. It's all about making people There's smile. There's loads of so. popular <laughs> analysis <laughs> videos that are exclusively positive from all kinds yeah. of channels. Yeah. Let's not pretend. Positivity that's, legitimately that's, sells, just like it does. Well, yeah, I mean, what, does. like Mr. Like Beast, both. right? Doing these big things, like they get millions and millions of views. They don't seem to rely on negativity, do they? Yeah, I feel or it's like more PewDiePie's like PewDiePie's Let's Plays. They yeah. weren't relying on yeah. negativity. Yeah, but, you know, like comedy videos and sketch videos, Let's Plays. This yeah. is this is a legitimately like juvenile look at yeah. like media and engagement. There is something to be said about the the degree to which people will engage with negative content. There is certainly something to be said there about how our minds can sometimes gravitate towards looking for negatives because it's it's you know looking for problems, identifying issues, and stuff like that may well have been baked into our psychology. Um, Cinema wins has two point two like, million subs. I mean, hmm. that's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But also Absolutely. what he's described about the idea of getting engagement, it is so weird that it's just focused on the negative aspect when yeah. there are absolutely clear examples of how positive engagement can also yield well, the same results. And furthermore, that being negative doesn't mean that you're necessarily lying. Well, this yeah. is, but this you is priceless be negative correct. because we would argue to him, YouTube critics are lying to you is pretty much lying to get into the algorithm through negativity. And then he'd be like, what? Yeah. No, <laughs> I do believe they're lying. And it's like, they believe what they're saying, you fucking idiot. Like, you, how well, are you any different? You just like them if you, if you think that of them. Very, uh, the, the title, you know, YouTube critics are lying to you. A bad media criticism video essay feels like a lot of words that, you know, keywords. These are like good keywords to get eyeballs attached, like, ooh, I might watch that. It's a whole bunch of different terms I recognize, and oh, and it's saying that they're lying to you. That's quite incendiary. I mean, you know what I mean? It's like, this is this feels like trying to get a lot of engagement yeah. for potentially cynical reasons. This is why you usually see a lot of two kinds of reviews on YouTube. Concise and straightforward reviews. Nah. I make a point. And or Mahler's videos. Or Mahler's videos. <laughs> 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 right, just bracing for impact here. Then end. end. Or the yeah. massive sprawling videos that go on for hours and hours and hours and end. Sometimes longer. Ooh, like Quentin Reviews and Jenny Nicholson. Is he going to say longer than the film? Quentin oh. Reviews is a bad person because he makes long negative videos. Yeah, and Jenny Agreed. Nicholson made like a four-hour yeah, video. Yeah, four-hour video, right? Four, four hours. Four, well, yeah, four hours. That's what, insane. Like a, on Ooh, what, a Jeb. hotel? Ooh, That's Jeb. crazy. Wow, four hours. Terrible. I'm he's Four losing hours? this one. He, he's just losing this one, though. Yeah. The long is winning as <laughs> time goes People on. like the long. Yeah. Besides, yeah. this fucking video is long by a lot long. of people's standards, so whatever. I mean, 48 is long. It. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. that is long. 48 and a half watch, minutes is a long video. Well, I, he can really still say that he's still... Smiling friends. He can still say that he likes the... Well, he better be those. careful, we'll Metal, because if he comes Maybe. after Jenny, the Knights of Jen will be summoned, and they will surround her. They are ruthless. And the source material itself. Longer Damn. than the oh, source oh, material. The way he said that, he didn't like. He doesn't like. I like it. how he said that while cackling nervously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy. crazy. Imagine talking about Blade Runner for longer than Blade Runner lasts. What cringe, you know? I don't understand mm. this because how is that anything other than a celebration of the work? It's like oh, isn't it's that cringe. Bad. Maybe a child it celebration it of it. On. Intellectuals can get the conversation done in minutes. Is that I can the, believe is that, that the be all end all uh, of conversation. Just like boil it down to as quick as we possibly can. Well, isn't this uh, Anthony Gamuchillo video guy, isn't he, uh, like, he was a, he writes articles for a bunch of sites like Polygon and everything, so I can believe that he does nothing but crap out articles all the time, so concision and being short is yeah, probably something he considers. Yeah, the idea of spending a particularly uh, long amount of time on something is, like, bizarre. If you're in the world of just gotta get articles out, gotta get well, them out, gotta make sure that they've got, um, like, eye-catching titles and, and thumbnails. Also, when you make a meandering, structureless video like this, I can see why you might think that long content is all bad like that, because you yeah. have no sense of understanding mm. of how to structure a longer-form piece of work. I miss, mm -hmm. um, pissed-off, angry game video gamer. <laughs> yeah, I miss the Nintendo <laughs> Shit Cube. Nintendo yeah. Shit Cube, yeah. yeah. He's so much better. Shit Cube. 
long form reviews are very entertaining. Ooh. If you get the right oh. people working on them. Oh. Or, oh. 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 <laughs> yeah, okay, make sure it's the right people. Sorry, Mola, you're not oh, allowed in the Or it's the metrics. Metric. They're the kind of thing you can listen to while doing other work. I, I mean, you can tune oh, in monitor too. and you can follow that's, along. Uh, well. That's all content yeah, that's at this point, yeah, almost. That, that is oh. well, considering that um, there is certainly a desire to... Like, there are plenty of people who are making long videos where you should be paying attention. Like, yeah. that, that is the optimal way to be viewing it. It's not like, yeah, I'll throw oh, it yeah. on while oh, I'm yeah. doing the dishes or while I go for a walk. It's like, no, you should... There's visuals here. There's editing and precise timing and everything that you should be paying attention to. It is not a good idea to second monitor one of Matthew Matosa's commentaries, for no. example. No. No, definitely not. Um, yeah, I don't even know why you'd say that as a point of praise. Yeah, there are some great long videos that I don't pay full attention to. <laughs> yes. It's just denigrating it's... everyone else's work yeah, again. You can't, you can't help but do they it. They can't help it. Well, it's like, it's, this it's, is, this is what happens thing. when you aren't trying, when you aren't making a conscious effort to be precise with the way that you speak, is that you end up saying these weirdly, like, you just end up letting a lot of things slip that are just like, um, wait, what? So the language is important, guy. Like communication, the words that you use, how you say them, your inflection, your editing skills. Oh my this God. is how you communicate with the other minds out there. It's important. Give it some respect. This man, he has a tweet where he says, also, yeah. I highly recommend Movie Bob stuff. He is pretty insightful about <laughs> a lot of things. Even when I don't agree, his viewpoints are insightful. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> maybe the Bro. covenant are the good guys. Bro, <laughs> at least they're more diverse. <laughs> yeah, I know that the grunts uh, are enslaved, but still, <laughs> enslaving another race just adds to the diversity of your own collective. Like, really, a stereotype. <laughs> like, <laughs> a little bit. They all are. They're indistinguishable from parody. Oh. Just well, I'm sure some of you are doing that with this video right now. When I was in college, I wrote essays while listening to Red Letter Media's Star Wars reviews. <laughs> what? I don't care. Wait, what? I don't write essays. Okay. Those what videos are, are better than yours. You would not. No, you would do. A, you couldn't do both of those. You're not watching the video and writing an essay. You're you you're switching between them at best. How the fuck? Like the video that's is be, all. Yeah, like personally, maybe he had I can't, bad grades I can't or something. something. What the fuck does the essay look like if you are uh, sign? What's that? That yeah. like music, I, I guess. Mean, articles that. for Polygon. It's totally believable. Music okay. is one thing. But like honestly, even for me, sometimes listening to music can be a bit too distracting. When I want to write. It's, I yeah, uh, can't I imagine. I just trying to how write do you how do you like meaningfully express time. your points in an essay while also taking in the points from someone else's video about a completely different subject? That feels so strange. Like that goes beyond multitasking. That's just two different people at the same time. Mm. Star Wars The Phantom Man. Yes, we've all seen it, that's fine. Yeah. It was yeah, the most yeah. disappointing <laughs> thing since my son. However, to keep <laughs> audiences engaged and for longer, what a lot of reviewers resort to is hyper-emphasizing the negative. Finding new things to critique every five seconds. What does that have to do with lying, though? Well, that's not lying. That's just finding yeah. more bad things it's a about form a piece of, lying. of media. As media if, can have more than one bad thing about it. From what I, I love hear. this image of Mola has like finished his video on whatever the next thing he wants to like unbridled rage, and it's like it's come out to like forty minutes. He's like, "Damn, this just isn't gonna cut it. I need more." And then goes and yeah. rewatches the thing. Uh, okay, I've got a bunch more criticisms this time. We can pad the length. Well, and these. like let's I gotta go. talk more about any given criticism. Just, yeah. just gotta get like that one. Yeah, let's and just when talk you about were it making again. Your video on the father, you were like, yeah, but you know, I I should probably make this a bit more negative. You know, just to get a few more yeah. clicks. Like this film's neat and everything, but man, you know, Anthony Hopkins is old. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my criticism. He's getting on. Focus on a new plot hole. Focus on a new cliche. Focus on a new trick that pulls. Oh, that sounds like a bad piece of media with all these problems. Interesting. Hmm. Pulls the plot along. Oh, also, cliche is not necessarily a problem. Uh, back to plot Cliches as well. Both, yeah. Couldn't be that you have In more criticisms to... of character or theme. No, no, it has to be. No, but no, if no, somebody no. decided that they wanted to do it to prove that a theme was categorically fucked fundamentally wrong then that would be chill for him he'd be like yeah nah nice well, good I, job you proved that i was even do that i believe i'm fully... still stuck on that yeah i'm still stuck on that 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 is probably the most baffling thing in this video of just saying like oh yeah just proving themes categorically wrong it's like ah oh, nice yeah 
So he had, yeah, he admits that you can do that, but he has not left any space. For I just there feel to be like, like a mechanism for that. that so much to just to just say to proving that a theme is categorically wrong. It's like, my man, you gotta you gotta expand on that one. <laughs> That's that is a, a big conversation say. that you just yeah. accidentally delved into. I think. And you don't even have to jump into that bear trap. There's ways of phrasing that <laughs> no, exact thought to. without jumping into the tin of worms that is, yes, an interpretation yeah, can be say, categorically you incorrect. Know, saying like, maybe the theme is, you know, it's it, that there is uh, issues with the way that the theme is presented uh, in the film versus like, well, it's just categorically wrong and I, you can prove it with facts and logic. Yo. Um, those are gonna... Back. You were back. You were gone? I was doing a pee-pee. Gross. Oh! But also I good. I hope it went well. Uh, yeah. shit, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Were you, like the, uh, were you like the Bigfoot guy in Smiling Friends, where it was like, oh man, that was a big old P, but once he got it sorted, it's like, alright, now I'm chill, now I can get back to those paper clips. Back to business. <laughs> As you can tell, Smiling Friends is very much on my mind at the moment. As it should be. The pace at which that guy walked. I don't know. Was yeah. The economy of rag <laughs> or, uh, the economy of Fringy's attention is subsidized on Smiling Friends. Look, right? It's a good show. It, it, makes me smile. it does. It does not lie. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. He's the kind of person oh, I imagine that yeah. if we brought up the Marvels and said the theme is clearly that like staying together is is no like it, it'll allow you to remain powerful. Is some some line Valkyrie says something like um, standing. You can stand strong whilst not standing alone. Something like that. If we just said that's the theme. And then we highlight to yeah. him, like, throughout the film, they clearly point out many times over that being a team is costing them every time. That if Plank just did it alone, everything would be fucking fine. But he would probably be like, that's not the theme, though. The theme is there, and it's fine. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, I don't care if, if there's plot elements that imply things would be worse if they were together, when the point is that they're supposed to not be... Oh separated it, 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 just, it would be that kind of analysis and i think bringing up how much the theme is damaged by the realities of the story he would be like that's that's focusing on plot when you're supposed to be talking about the theme when to us we'd be like I we are talking about the fucking probably theme probably would well and that, yeah, that kind of effort in the coherency of the whole story is something blade runner does and he doesn't care he's like whatever you don't need to well i guess that's the thing it's like he says he doesn't care but he has to care like there has to be films where yeah, that does cause problems for him because it's not a case. It's it's you know it's like suspension of disbelief. It's not something you choose to like have. It's something that exists and it just breaks at some point if pushed too far. And the line's different for everybody, but the line exists well, somewhere. You, you compare back world, to though, um... does he even think there can be bad movies? We don't. Has he even? He he definitely does. Yeah, he definitely everybody does. does. I mean, everyone, everyone does. does. Everybody would does. he say that there is? Yeah, he would say it in the right circumstances and with the right words. Yes, I think so. Because basically every video essay does in some way, shape, or form, and you know, at some point, it's like an impossible standard for them to maintain. New trick that pulls the plot along in order to trick you into thinking you're having fun. What? You're not actually you having into fun. thinking you're, you're having, not fun? having fun. Jesus. You're actually having fun. It makes it sound so sinister. It just sounds so sinister. So, you're not actually having fun. Fun is a subject. I'm gonna evoke a little bit of Descartes here, but fun is a subjective experience. <laughs> oh, it is you're right. Qualia. Yeah, like it I can't is. trick someone into the experience of fun. They are having. You just fun. think you exist, Theo. You thought you were having ah, fun, didn't bad. you? Well, you would. Uh, you yeah. actually don't. You fool. He needs you to get his little like, sh Sherlock <laughs> hat. You know, just put the little hat on and then have a, a like a, a magnifying glass in his pocket. He's figured it out. <laughs> you you only thought you case. were having fun, you fool. That's right. You were actually miserable. Was, the whole literally time. wants you to were take people's sad. fun away. You are depressed. You are a sad person who who can only have fun at the expense of uh, others. You need uh, help. Anyway, my work is done. I'm off to find others. Can you catch me up real quick? With, well, did I miss something while I was gone? Is he talking about the movies tricking you that you have? No, like fun, the, or you're, you're, you're content no, creators bad, trick you. Metal, you only think you're convinced. Yeah, the evil bad, bad lying YouTubers who you. use negativity to convince you you're actually having fun when you're not. <laughs> oh, no, mostly when I'm negative, I'm not having fun. Watch my own wake play. Well, but what's <laughs> the amusing thing that he's just going to miss because whatever, he just doesn't care is like uh, we do try to make the deconstruction of media fun. Because that can offset the depressing nature of destroying a bunch of things that we love. Like, 
Absolutely. don't want this shit to happen. And so if you make it, it fun, it makes you feel better. Mechanism to a degree. I've had some it's of the, the most very... fun of my life watching bad shit with my friends. I remember yeah. there's a particular yep. episode of The Clone Wars that when I was watching it with my friends for the first time, it absolutely fucking killed us. We were, <laughs> like, wheezing laughing constantly. That was a really good experience with a terrible show. <laughs> yeah. how you get through the day. You know? well, uh, That's we, how we, I drag myself out of the bed every morning. We've got plenty of that well, at least full of be EFAP fun. movies, you know? That's, that's mm -hmm. just... Mm. Recorded evidence of us laughing at movies that are terrible. It's uh, it's a fun experience. Is it just invalid? Yeah. I guess you just think you're having fun. You thought you're not actually happy. I know how you really feel. Yeah, yeah. I just I just watched Atlas. I had tons of fun watching that movie. Liar. That movie was hilarious. That movie was convincing you you were having fun, but you weren't. Oh, Liar. Damn. Liar. In the more extreme examples, anything that tries to invoke an emotion in the audience is deemed. Manipulative. It's by deemed who? cheap. By every, the every time. Well, who says this? It depends. Oh, it's so it depends. Yeah, but even he would agree with this. There are going to be. There's, yeah. there's all kinds there's of some. literary study about like the nature of manipulative tactics and storytelling. We all know this. Everyone's aware of this. Yeah. Yeah, everybody knows this. Now, a bad faith media critic will take away the themes and ideas of a work in <sighs> <laughs> I'm already bored. Bad, like, okay, so a bad on. media critic yeah, would take away the themes in order okay. to solve the problems the media presents. Solve it. it being good, being that problem. Oh, why? So they, what? Did, oh, they no. remove themes. Why no, me? No, why no, me? No, why no, me? No, why no, am I no, no, Oh yeah, no, this no, captain no, doesn't no, like no, themes. No, Always me. Oh. <laughs> it's like, none of them right. fucking anyway, watched my video. Angel none of them. The How did it feel, Mola? Are you proud? Uh, does it, are you so proud that you've been featured in this amazing video? <laughs> I wouldn't mind being Mahler featured, uh, but I I hate being featured under the fucking title. <laughs> of let's talk about youtubers who ignore themes what are you talking about remember the amount of time we spent talking about themes with bly i don't know oh like, my god I'm just, I'm just remembering all of the examples i mean how i mean most recently we obviously we had a themes episode that we, was yeah. dedicated to it we talked uh, about it yeah. extensively when we talked about like godzilla minus yeah, one like, uh, it happens it, all the time like one of those weird things like when there was that one comment who was like yeah you know the efab guys aren't big fans of animation it's like one of those just <laughs> like, like how oh, did you just, get you, there <laughs> you came from bizarro world and we need to remind you of just how fundamentally wrong your conclusion was. Well, this feels like one of those like mm. ah yes more if anything, we're biased to animation. The guys, they don't care about themes. It's like, yeah, it's not as though like we've said on multiple occasions that themes are kind of like seemingly like the fundamental foundation of why stories are even told yeah. in the first place. Mm -hmm. It's like lines why like... why do people tell stories? Seems to be like as far back as we can go at the dawn of time is well, they help us learn things about ourselves, about the world, about other people. I mean, you know, I mentioned Aesop's Fables, all right? Why do I like Aesop's Fables? This theme, buddy. <laughs> Literally, like, this is, a, yeah. this is a major this throwback. Basic way. Because back when those videos first came out, a lot of people were like, he didn't even know, like, thematically, like, what The Last Jedi was about. It's like, I didn't fucking miss it. It was a blaring <laughs> fucking horn. Everyone knows what the theme of that dumbass movie is. Yeah, you know, it's, it's weird. Failure it could like be the, the best teacher. The... I get it. I understand. <laughs> yeah, that I think that's uh that's where the big misunderstanding well, I say misunderstanding, but that I do wonder sometimes if it's like, are you being obtuse? Like are you just is this but like you can understand what the theme of something is and like disagree that it that it like that actually is the theme of the film as based on what happens in the film, or mm -hmm. that it doesn't support it. Like, the idea that you did, just saying that you disagree with it, and then coming away with the idea that, oh, well, you don't understand it. The theme is this. I'm just going to restate the theme. See, so you got it wrong. Anyway, my work is done. <laughs> yeah. Well, just anyway, what's he got to say about you yeah. and the evil that you've spawned into this <laughs> yeah. world? How could, could you? Pandora's so box has been opened. It being good, being that problem. Why is The Last Jedi so awful? How is Steven Universe bad, oh. actually? Oh. How is Sherlock bad, actually? Oh, wait, that actually was a good video. Oh, because what? it was oh. made by someone you oh. agree with. Yeah, because it was made made so many likes. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, because wait. so many oh, likes What a what? fucking coincidence. That's Crazy. You can't just do this joke. You can't do this joke. This is lampshading, now... but not even lampshading. It's not even elevated to that. It's just a contradiction. Yeah, you, you actually just are not allowed to do this joke. You have to say that it's bad, or else the entire video, or the, at the very least, well, the entire video is falling apart anyway. Yeah. But this section falls <laughs> it's apart on the, ground. the moment it's you falling. do this.
It's so fucking <sighs> typical. You know what? I have all these arguments for why a long video in isolation is always bad, and then your favorite creator releases one. Well, okay, but that one's Except good. the guy on my well, team, this one was he good, made actually. great ones. Yeah, Not that, that guy, one. he did, yeah. like, really good, you know? Oh, so fucking boring. Get a new opinion. And why isn't it that every time that happens, you don't go, wait, is there a contradiction in my worldview? <laughs> nah, nah. Nah. No, no, no. <laughs> It's Actually. it trumped it. Why is totally spies just 99 deviant fetishes? Okay, well that's actually just not a video on YouTube, I think, but it should be. What? 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 What, what? just happened? Why are you doing this? What? <laughs> okay. I don't even understand I've done, the joke. I'm done dodging around. You could have not ooh, done ooh. that. He said he's done dodging. Finally, let's get some Yay! hardcore journalism. Let's go. So, what are some examples of bad media criticism? <gasps> let's start with the Mary Sue criticism. One of the more widely used ones. One like, of the most wildly. Can you talk about the concept? From Captain does he Captain Marvel to Ray Skywalker? Sorry, does he mean conceptually the Mary Sue criticism is bad? Well, just in and of itself. Because he says it like that's what he means. Around the point, though. What are some examples of bad media criticism? Let's start with the Mary Sue criticism. Let's do it. One of the more widely used ones. Every female character is stamped with this moniker, from Captain Marvel everyone. to Ray Skywalker. Every, no, okay. it's not everyone. Just, oh, just, why, why, they would be so much more convincing if they simply just took a Hold look at truth. reality every once in a while. Just a little look. Just a peek from behind the curtains. You can't be like, every character and then show us Captain Marvel, Ray, and that retarded version of Mulan. Like, seriously. <laughs> Um, as for the other two, like, I, I haven't seen enough of the Twilight films, and is that Fifty Shades of Grey? I, I don't, like... I've maybe I don't really, know. like, swinging for no the clue. fences with these choices. Insane. Like, uh, so it's... anyway, Vi from Arcane. Uh... Well, do we, should we bother? Is the chat going to go nuts no. with naming all of their favorite female characters over the past yeah, ten just, years? It's just... just... I wonder... Dude, the gentleman, uh, also named mention... Susan? I, Susie, Susie Glass. Glass. I almost don't want to. Susie, like, yeah. in, I, I don't. I almost don't want to encourage it anymore. The like, no, name your female. Yeah, it's like, no, like, fuck you. you Stop have lying. To name them. No, yeah. And and uh, though I will say, I wonder if on the bingo card for this is gonna be Sarah Connor or Ellen Ripley. If he's gonna mention those two in a mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he... like a scornful way because those are he's those gonna... are the meme, right? For the ones that get pointed out very frequently. He's gonna pull out the escape hatch here. Maybe. And, uh, does this always apply? Luke Skywalker stands as a good character, and why Rey stands as a lifeless, blatant Mary Sue. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like, uh... Stop. That is his opinion. Yeah, that's, his opinion. opinion. that's the meme from the movie. Yeah. <laughs> However, unfortunately, I mean, I've been told... So... Well, I've been told by this video, by the fact that that's his subjective experience and his opinion, it elevates it to the highest possible standard that that's it right. could possibly that's be. True. So Ooh, this meme yeah. isn't denigrating it, it's elevating it. And also, it. I, this like video how is just your opinion, man. Yeah. I like how we didn't get to hear any of his arguments as to why Luke is a good character and why Ray isn't. I like how we just don't well, get he to said hear any of that. He was like taking the gloves off, so, so maybe we're going to get some more clips now. I'm getting excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming. Uh, We're really gonna, gonna feel it really bones. gonna expose Literature Devil for the liar he is. Your opinion, man. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, what's a Mary Sue anyway? The origins oh. of the term date back okay. to the Star Trek fandom as a parody of the self-insert characters who are just good at everything they do, and everyone loves them, and they're just fantastic. They can do no wrong, and they're just better than everyone else. Um, lots of redundant, uh, lots of redundant just yeah. Yeah. words yeah, like, in there, but. That is okay. roughly where the term came from. Sure. Yeah, it's an approximation. It's important to capture that. Yeah, there's there's plenty of elements, and a lot of people sort of mix and match it. it. Hence, why it's confusing to bring it up sometimes, as opposed to just labeling the individual flaws or fuck ups. Mm -hmm. Like uh, a lot of people use different criteria, but sure, this is it definitely originated with fan fiction for Star Trek. Yes, that is true. Making fun of pure wish fulfillment. Now, what separates a true Mary Sue from, say, your Luke Skywalker? Oh, or could, others... this, could this text be more? Do we have to small, read this? Yeah. Like smaller. <laughs> I'd like it to be a little bit Who's... less readable, actually. But like, <sighs> is there any point in reading this? Because is he going to address it, or is it from anyone's video, or is it just him I saying? Don't think he's going to address are, it. are we even intended to read it? Period. I don't think so. Let's let's we'll we'll go back and read it if we feel we need to. Okay, because just I'm so annoyed by this in his video at this point. Heroes is the lack of struggle. Pushed onto us under the thin veneer of homage, the stories of Rey and Luke Skywalker make a fairly easy side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, what? okay, Jesus what, what is fucking happening? Christ. We're Why back it... to the ineptitude of... What did it... 
<laughs> this is what's interesting about the like the editing in some videos yeah. because you look at his uh, his text that he's put in because he did it before and it had like a weird other icon that he still clipped in. Uh -huh. So he instead of using his video editing software to just put the text, he made an image somewhere else with drop shadow and typing and all that stuff. And then he made that image and then he cropped out the text of that image, saved that as its own image, and then put that into this video here. Which it's is weird. what we have to do odd. is first listen, solely listen to Literature Devil, and then we will go from there. I right? just listen to what he says. Oh is the All lack right. of struggle. Pushed onto us under the thin veneer of homage, the story is of Rey and Luke Skywalker make a fairly easy side-by-side -side comparison. Okay. So that's true. And his... Okay, so that's a good start. I completely agree with him. And uh, It's famous. TFA is famously A New Hope, the, the comparison of the storylines yes, and everything. Everyone knows that. Now, Even the people who love the film Step two, that. visuals. Literature Devil puts up an image of destroying Starkiller Base and the Death Star, and he's got Starkiller Base, Death Star Explosion, Explosion, matching the two films, which, yeah, that, that's arguably one of the significant elements. I'm sure he lists more than that. So everything's clean on Literature Devil's side. We've got his commentary is, are you implying Ray blew up the Starkiller Base? Comparison. And then, pretty sure that was Poe Dameron. So, first, if we go back again, just listen to what Literature Devil says. Those is the lack of struggle. Pushed onto us under the thin veneer of homage, the story is of Rey and Luke Skywalker make a fairly easy side-by-side -side comparison. The stories of Rey and Luke make a fairly easy side-by-side -side comparison, and he's listed the big sp spooky weapon was destroyed. Not necessarily that Rey personally blew up the Starkiller base much compared to Luke personally blowing it up. That's not what he said. So you're not countering a point he made. However, I have not forgotten TFA. It's practically burned into my memory, unfortunately. <laughs> um, pretty sure it was Poe that fired the missiles into the, the, the core area, the oscillator, whatever it's called, but he only got in there because the entryway was blown open by Han and Chewie's um, explosives, and they only planted them because Rey opened the doors for them. So you'd have to argue it's a team effort. Right, you can say Lando was the one that blew up the Death Star in Return of the Jedi with the help of some other people, but that I think it's unfair to not mention all of the efforts that went in on end or or you know, like all the different things that happened with all the different people involved. So I guess what I'm saying is he fought a straw man and kind of lost, which is always one of the funniest things to have happen in videos. Yeah, well, you know, it happens all the time. It's like the golden rule of Eve Half, almost. We need to just set these in stone sometime. Just um, ease. I feel like you almost need a bingo card. I find this pathetic. Yeah. This, like, garbled attempt at trying to humiliate Literature Devil when he's saying some of the most, like, totally agreeable shit. This isn't controversial. Everyone Such a agrees. Cheap as well. Like, I'm not forward the anything either way. Homage. The story is of Rey and Luke Skywalker make a fairly easy side-by-side -side comparison. Everything should just come to the character naturally being able to do everything without needing to grow or develop. They start at a point of perfect skill level and never need to improve. Well, I mean, not like, it's not, it's not like, a, say it works on a scale of 0 to 100. I don't think if it were at 99, people would just be fine with it, if you know what I mean. Like, in terms of yeah, lack yeah, of struggle. Yeah. Um, you have to go colloquial somewhat with Mary Sue before you can tell everybody they're so, lying. Yeah. Like you, you um, of course, Ray doesn't match 100% with the original Mary Sue, and I don't think anyone's going to be claiming that. Most people don't even know what it is. They're using a colloquial understanding, which, as far as I'm aware, that's the point of Literature Devil's video. He's trying to explain what people uh, understand it to be and how it applies to Ray. There's not, there's not much you can do about it. I assume you guys would agree, but Ray is kind of the poster child for Mary Sue at this point, right? She's she's often seen I as like the. I would agree. I'd yeah. say so. Yeah. yeah really, really good much. example. And outside of skill level, they also just have perfect relationships with everyone, which means Ray and Luke are both expected to begin their journey as relatively normal people, discounting legendary fathers, ancient prophecies, etc. Let's look at a few common criticisms of Ray to see why people okay. think she's a Mary Sue. Luke Skywalker okay. is introduced with a particular set of skills, such as general knowledge on droids, how to drive, and how to use weaponry. Now, how does he know these things? Believe it or not, the movie doesn't need to tell us directly. It is a movie, after all. It can show us things and- Oh, for fuck's sake, he's doing it again. God. 
Why is he cut off his own text? This Dude, is such, why? Like, How everyone, have you fucked up? No, everyone who's considering even... making response videos, don't, don't do it this wait, way. Wait, wait, wait. It's why, it's why Don Y didn't look, just look oh, like yeah, it's cut off. He, he, no, that means it's two yeah. different layers. So he put, so the text is, so instead of having different colored <laughs> text, he put a blue block there so that then he could put in the text with the drop shadow <laughs> because so you could see more the top effort. of the L and the K coming out of the top of the box. The box isn't big enough for the text. You what can just fuck? do right. You can just do right click add text and then type. <laughs> why don't? Why don't is this a not a part of his video? script? Why is he responding in text? What the fuck? I don't know. Why does he respond it. in text during the argument? I have to go back every time because I haven't heard what Legend of Devil saying in total yet. Like, yeah. Oh, I hate this format. It's fucking mind numbing. Set of skills such as general knowledge on droids, how to drive, and how to use weaponry. Now, how does he know these things? Believe it or not, the movie doesn't need to tell us directly. It is a movie after all. It can show us things, and we as the audience can make logical connections. Ray doesn't have anything. Okay, so that was all of what Lucian okay. Devil said, which I agree with fully. Yeah, was I wasn't looking at the screen, so I can focus on yeah. the death there. <laughs> so Luke knowing okay. how to use a weapon owned only by Jedis and... Okay, to, what does Luke do in a new in a New Hope that's impressive with a lightsaber? I don't remember anything. He to just be wiggles it around for. He a does little the training session, the which he, yeah, he misses loads he of shots in a row. On, um, yeah. yeah, he's on the Millennium Falcon for a bit. I don't remember him doing anything very impressive with that lightsaber in uh, a New Hope. He, he does things we could do. Yeah, basically. And then, how does he know um, how to fly in space despite never being off world? Well, he's had lots of practice. Uh, What's the ship that was in T sixteen or something like T64 that? T sixty four Skyhopper, yeah. So uh, you could you or could T16, argue that shouldn't right? make you an expert at space travel or whatever, but it's like okay, but that's still a hell of a lot more justification than nothing. You can charitably infer there's a lot of transferable skills. Yes. Yes. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. You can dodge a ball. <laughs> Ray doesn't have anything for the audience to connect with. Instead, the movie decides to focus on how alone she is. In fact, you, you could argue that's something to connect with her on. The yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah. I yeah. actually think her initial, what is it, like 20 something minutes are okay. They're okay. Yeah, they're all right. Could say that Once she's I get on the Millennium Falcon, it all falls over. apart, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yep, it's done, it's over. I hope you enjoyed it, yeah. Like a human version of Pixar's WALL-E. Almost a human version. Without the humanity. Oh, Without the humanity. Oh, that hurts. True. Yeah. No, there you go. There you go. You fixed it. He's yeah, fixed it. You yeah. got it. Like Wally without the human. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> was taught farming That's skills by his movie. uncle because his uncle was a farmer. The movie spends a decent amount of time establishing this fact, while Rey can scavenge and survive alone on the desert home planet because she's just awesome. I think this is a missed opportunity from TFA or something that you're supposed to infer that just adds more questions. Like, so was it Unkar Plutt that taught her these skills? And if so, mm -hmm. should he not mean a lot to her? Or, like, what was the relationship there, you know? Yeah, what's their... Yeah, we never get to know it. It's like, she learned a lot about how to survive on Jakku from somebody, from some people. Did people raise her? Like, a group was she raised as part of a community? Like, what? how does she feel about them? But you get none of that. There are no connections she has on Jakku, despite the fact she's clearly learned shit from people. And she's clearly been protected and raised somewhat. She seems healthy and somewhat normal, both mentally and physically. It's like, okay, well, looks like you were somewhat protected then, in theory. There's a lot of things you can try to infer, but you just don't have much to work with. And it's like, why can she survive? She's just awesome. It's like, it's just a gap that could be filled with a couple of things. It's probably in some book. Some, some book outlines, like, all the adventures or whatever. So one big criticism of Rey is that she seems to be good at everything. She never loses a fight. She good at everything that she needs to be good at to move through the challenges of the sequel trilogy is how people would put it, I think. Yes. And uh, mm -hmm. oftentimes just gets herself out of situations or lucks the fuck out. Knows the Millennium Falcon better than Han does. Can do the Force without training. Mm -hmm. So let's break a couple of these down. Three different systems. What'd you do? Just being careful, you, just, you never know, especially because yeah, we're yeah, yeah, pretty yeah, long know, stream watching. at this point. Yeah. The copyright bots are mean when you get to certain... Uh, you know certain how they are, are, yeah. I bypassed the compressor. Classic. You love to see it. The easiest scene to discuss the compressor. is the scene where Ray fixes the Falcon's hyperdrive. Ray fixing the Millennium Falcon better than Han Solo, yep. its former owner. The usual defense for this is that Ray is a scavenger and lives alone. And Man, does this not feel like a throwback? Just... It does. It feels like, yeah, just like yeah. some vintage stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so here we are, fellas, back in 2018, to be fair, right? Yeah, right about. 
it was it was it was when like everything started to fall apart for the sequel trilogy that the criticism started to creep up more and more for TFA because there wasn't as many before. I think it yeah. was once yeah once she that was, was the darling for a while dominating and once she humiliated Luke, that was what it was like. Okay, <laughs> this is getting yeah. ridiculous. You can therefore fix things like a trained mechanic, but we don't know this for sure. Most bad faith criticisms ignore the fact that she was aware of the modifications made to the Falcon. So yeah, so was Han. He says yeah. someone put a compressor. Some he, he says like some uh, moof milker. I think he says some moof milker put a, something on. <sighs> Fuck. He says uh, he explains what the some problem asshole. is. Yeah, she recognizes it. She says Onka Plut did it, and then later on she yanks it out of the system, and he's like, "Whoa, you can do that!" And it's like, "Why the fuck wouldn't he know that you could do that?" Since Han had it. Some moof milker oh. put a compressor on oh, the there ignition line. Oh, there you go. The compressor on the ignition line, and then she says, I bypassed the compressor, and what she means by that is she pulled it out. Which he's like, whoa, that's a thing that works? Which is, mechanically speaking, something he should fucking know about. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it's annoying, because it's not well done, and there's so many ways, so many little tweaks you can make to fix it, that, like, what, what if it does, it, it, like, temporarily fixes the problem, but actually, like, opens up a leak, and so they, they have to land on Takodano, that's where they go to next. And adding tension to well, the Well, and, and Han could be like, yeah, that was a great idea, fucking yanking it out, now, we're, like, in fucking ten minutes from now, if we don't land, we'll explode, and she's like, oh. Yeah, you just yank parts off a starship and think things will be hunky-dory. Yeah, yeah. If you can go that direction, or if you want to go the direction that he does know about it, and then he's just, he tells her to yank it out. There's loads of mental ways to do it that respects his knowledge instead of just pretending well he just had a gap in it he just didn't know that's just something he didn't know and he so didn't know it he was shocked he was like whoa yeah. how'd you do that uncar plucked it i thought it was a mistake too puts too much stress, stress on, on the, the hyperdrive. hyperdrive see he knows and during a key yes, scene he, exactly yeah. so this, <laughs> this is not helping your point bud bypasses a modification made after Han lost the Falcon, that made the Falcon function. Yeah, but he knows what it is and where it is. He's aware yeah, of it. He showed he knew what it was, and she knew as much as he knew. Yep. And worse. I bypassed the compressor. And once more, the movie had the perfect opportunity for a setup and missed it entirely. Some moof milker put a compressor on the Why do you keep line? showing this? This it doesn't does help you. Yeah, I guess I've mixed oh, it worse for him. But we don't know this for sure. That's all information she's... What just happened? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's a, difficult to follow because this movie is really shittily edited. This video, you mean? <laughs> the movie? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. yeah. yeah both. <laughs> seen firsthand, so naturally she knows this. Ray is introduced with unexplained expert fighting skills, technical skills, and magical expert level piloting skills, despite only dabbling. Still no sign of a yeah, mentor. Magical and is, yeah, magical. Pretty much. Mm hmm. She uses all yeah, no, when she yeah, gets the fucking triple shot, remember that shit? What Ray does. Yeah, like, I hope it would be acknowledged that the feats that Ray accomplishes are considerably more insane than what Luke accomplishes. Yeah, yeah. she what does she things out? that are just and superhuman. And Luke has to do it with help. Pick she a, does it solo. Pick a skill, and she uh -huh. outdoes the person who's known to be the best yeah, at that skill. That's the, the thing that blew everyone up. Why do you think this conversation happens about this character? You think everyone's yeah, lying like, and making how, it up? How do you deal with the fact that so many people felt this way? It's like, dude, right? It's like, she's good at everything and everybody loves her. That's weird. Yeah. All these skills are safe. And nobody fucking likes Ray. Culturally, she's gone. She's fucking fought in the yeah. wind. Yeah, That's she it. disappeared. People still love Luke. Yep. Yeah. The day. As for fighting, Despite Luke. how much they tried to destroy him. <laughs> It must be sexism, because it couldn't be the writing. We grew up in a uh, desert that, world where scavengers sexism. fight for scraps. Okay, that does not explain why she's able to defeat several scavenger thugs. Why, why is it that if they are familiar with this environment, and so is she, that she wins? And then, of course, being Actually, able to fight more with them a, a yeah, of course. doesn't mean you're going to be able to fight well with a lightsaber against somebody who's trained yep. with lights, even if they're injured not against somebody who knows how to use them. We even see her fighting. It was in the, the reason why the people wondered if she had like some amnesia or something. Yeah, right? that she had like some secret backstory that explained all of the training because without it, it just seemed insane. Tour, and she uses all these skills to save the day. As for fighting, well, Ray grew up on a desert world where scavengers fight for scraps. We yeah, so I, I don't know why this puts her above everyone. That doesn't make any sense. You can see her fighting yeah. in the background of a scene, demonstrating her lived experience. <laughs> It's just, oh, really? if you if you live in a desert, you'll automatically gain the skills to work with a staff, I guess. Before she demonstrates it in a fight. 
What lived experiences Luke well, what do you Skywalker... Mean before she demonstrates it in a fight? That was a fight. That was yeah, a that was fight. already demonstrated. Yeah. Unless that's what he was talking about. We have fighting. Where did you train? Oh, oh, Luke, Luke does nothing particularly Luke... impressive with his lightsaber in A New Hope. I'm not going to be gaslit yeah, into... Yeah, well, right, he blocked a laser shot battle. on the Millennium Falcon, okay? And he gets his ass kicked. He does get his ass kicked, that's... And that's, but that's still so much time that he can fuck around with a lightsaber. You know, exactly. we can... <sighs> fuck! He's plays with toys Yay. all his life. What? what? No, he, he has every uh, day, uh, every waking conscious day, a moment of his life is spent playing with toys. No, he he's just else. always playing with this toys. Existence. Why can't you praise your terrible movie that you like without shitting on something else? <laughs> well, and <laughs> like, once again, interesting. Like, stop it's just talking interesting. about a classic movie. I hate your analysis of this classic fucking amazing film. Stop, you're ruining it. Leave Blade Runner and A New Hope alone. <laughs> God damn. A scavenger, without the benefit of Finn's decades of military level training, has Correct. no sign of a mentor, and is completely self taught. How does she fare against Kylo Ren, who, if you recall, has been trained by not one, but two oh, legendary men? Oh, but did you men? remember that he got hurt? He got, yeah, he got hit, which hurty. fucking not only I, barely I, affected I him, if not that... charged him up. Well, I mean, he kicked Finn's ass. So he I kicked Ray's ass at hurt. first, and then she got the fucking yeah. boost from the plot. She just decided I, she was going to win now. Yeah, that's how it... That, I feel like you put an injured knight against a rando with a sword, the injured knight's still gonna win. I think so. Oh, yeah. And you, and that's injury, that I'm sorry, just, magic. just watch the scene. Yeah. It's so yeah. fucking obvious that he is not that affected by the wound, and if not, like I said, I he's mean, he's a Sith boy, he's drawing fucking power and anger out of yeah, it. Yeah, he even punches his own, his, his wound to make himself, like, more amped up. Just watch the scene, his movements are strong, his skill is obviously there, yeah. and she's going, Oh jeez, oh jeez, and then she has the little, like, I believe in myself, and now I could beat and you. Which is the same yeah. for America Chavez, same for Captain Marvel, same for the fuckers mm. in the Marvels. Like, there's so many stories where they like, just believe, and you'll win. It's like, maybe- And then you'll win. Maybe don't do it that way. How about you, like, way? give people a message that is actually going to be useful in their own lives? Like, you know, there's probably some work you'll need to do to accumulate the skills necessary to yep. solve your problems. Yeah. Just hope you're the protagonist of your own story and things will be mm. fine. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, again, I'm just, I, I can't help but think about Moomin Rider, right? Oh, like, how great is the follow-through on Moomin Rider? What a Chad. What a Chad. He declares his ideology. He declares his worldview. And it's super great, you know? It's not about winning yeah. or losing, it's just about doing the right thing. And then everybody roots for him like, yeah, you can do it, Moomin Rider. And yeah. then he can't, because nope. he can't. And he said he, he couldn't, can't. because of course he couldn't. But, but, he him tried. still doing the right thing yes. was enough to buy enough time for Saitama to get there to save everybody. So what he did did matter. It matters, then it seems like it didn't, and then it does, because One Punch Man is really, really good. <laughs> Never go watch One Punch Man. Or read. God, Moomin Rider, he's so great. So let's count Mary the time. Oh, Ray so great. Wins a fight on their own without any help. Uh, now, we're going to ignore <laughs> any stormtrooper fights because, honestly, who in Star Wars can't just fight through stormtroopers? Boring. <laughs> that's oh, an that's issue. A, yeah, it's a that's problem. A that's, that's a big yeah. problem. That's great. We're going to ignore all yeah. of the fucking uh, swaths of stormtroopers she just wipes through somehow because everyone can. It's like, oh, isn't that isn't that terrible? Isn't that interesting to think about that people are so far now? There's like, oh, those stormtroopers—they don't even matter anymore. They're so shit. Like, we don't even well, some, count them anymore if we if we fight them. It's awfully convenient it's for him the... because Chewie is obviously a fucking marksman with his bowcaster at oh, this yeah. point. Han is known for being accurate with his pistol. Finn has all the training with the stormtroopers, which ironically means he shouldn't be able to fucking hit anything, but he, of course he does. And it's like, so who else we got? It's like, Ray, for some reason, acing shots with that pistol she has? It's like, have you got a lot of experience with a pistol? Is that something that I you do, did on the do. fucking desert? I do, I call bullshit. This is what I mean. It's like, yeah, well, we won't, we won't be regarding that. It's like, yeah, of course you fucking won't. Mm, yeah, <laughs> it only gets in the way. That gets in the way. That's a problem for your. What you guys are forgetting yeah, is that a stormtrooper stormtroop bumped his head. Always miss. And yeah. they bumped their heads in the first movie, so. Oh, yeah, it's all, it's, it's all goof. Any... I love that one. That one is so funny. It's so dumb. It, it, it's redundant to discuss that. So her first major fight yeah, yeah, okay, is in sure. Force Arena. It's not redundant. You just don't want to. And she's beaten in five seconds and then gets kidnapped. Yeah, yeah. What happens after? She fucking yeah, well, breaks yeah. out on her own. She does a mind, just a nice. fucking she forced knows. mind trick yeah. without anyone telling her about it. How the fuck? Yep. Like, 
the the consequences of her being captured here give her a unique ability to destroy Starkiller base along with several other people, of course. Mm -hmm. I just some theories say me, that man. this is what enabled her to suck out all the powers from Kylo's oh. brain or whatever. <laughs> this so if the... anything, this is what enables her supercharging nonsense. Yeah, his fucking around in her brain makes his brain go into her brain, and so she has all the force. But that that era of the like novelist trying to make these movies make sense was so fucking funny. Like, I don't know, she kind of just downloaded all the force powers. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't know how to explain yeah. this. She's also in the Matrix. Later she fights Kylo Ren again, and Kylo Ren at this point has had a whole blast. Ah, uh, yes! Yeah, yeah, boring. Uh -huh. Here we go. Who, who, who are the countless fucking apologists did you grab this one from? <laughs> it's like, have an original opinion. Dewey and just fought Finn. And yeah, because that was tough. You know, he, he didn't just <laughs> annihilate <laughs> Finn. Like 30 seconds. That fight ends with the planet breaking apart beneath them after oh, Rey wins. Oh, it one. ends with the planet. Uh, no, it ends with her pretty yeah, clearly wow. winning. Let's she clearly not, wins. Yeah, she wins. She, yeah, she would have killed him. She was considering executing him. Well, she. Yeah. Well, remember, Snoke gets upset at Kylo for losing to her. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, he lost. She's the she only the, one who can why with the injury. She's fine. You can't she cope your way out of this and say, you know, it's just, it's, I'm unsure of who won the fight ultimately. You can't really, you can't know. Not call it a draw. <laughs> she had the video yeah, game. Yeah, this is the Black Knight. All right, we'll call it a draw. Like, we'll call it a draw. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not a definitive win. Oh, shut up. Oh, fuck off. It, it is. Like I this said, is, like, big this deal. Is, this is when you get this is a YouTube critic lying to you. Yeah, this is lying. This is what we call this is some this shit. This is a bit of a sneaky little yeah, this is a bit like, weasley. At the very well, least, well and remember it's very all of this is an attempt to call literature devil a liar. That's like yeah, the goal. That's like, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Well, mm. and also everyone who claims she's a Mary Sue, by extension. Well, so, and uh, in this particular fun. like section, the category, the subcategory is she wins all of her fucking fights, and all he's established is the first time she interrupted, like bumps into Kylo. Yeah, she loses, quote unquote, but it leads to all of her crazy victories later. Yep. And like, we can we can derive things from the details here. So we can ask the question: Okay, so Kylo just fought Finn. Uh, does he appear exhausted at all during his fight with Rey? Well, no, not really. Okay, he's injured. Does that appear to be slowing him down or causing him any issues in his fight with Rey? Well, no, not really. Just he's just handily already. winning oh. until she decides she wins. Yeah. So none of these arguments hold water because of the details. It's um, it's it's supposed to be referential of what Maz Ken Kanata said to her. She was like. Did you, you gotta, ever say Maz Cantina? I did. It's, it's her Cantina, okay? But uh, it, it, it's, she's like, I gotta... Because she, when she first tells her about what you're supposed to do with the Force, she's like, that's weird and confusing. And then she thinks about doing it when they're locked in their sabers, and it powers her up. And it's just like, but why? What did you do? And it's like, I don't know. She did something, and she won. You're like, okie dokie. just Feels works. to me like a little god hand reached in from the writer and said, no, she wins that's now. Okay. Sorry, Ky Kylo, she wins. Now you fall over. There you go. Something yeah. happens and she won should just be the trilogy's it's, it's, name. It's the fundamental criticism we're talking about, is that any time the world is about to have consequences on her, a little bubble comes around her and it protects her. It's like, there you go. She's fine. People talk forever about how, like, you know, can we just cut off a limb? That'll make us feel better. Just cut off a limb. Let her lose a limb in a fight. That'll be nice. Yeah. It's a Star Wars like classic. Well, like Anakin, like Luke. It always makes you go like, ooh, wow, ooh, ouch, that sucks. Yeah, even the little reference, lost a hand. There you go, you love your well, left reference off head, Star Wars. Uh... Yeah, that, sure. She'd be what? fine. <laughs> like, She'd we'll be one on of those spin. Futurama heads and... Uh... Yeah. But she, she would was... get a cybernetic head and she'd be fine. Winning. Her body would get a cybernetic head <laughs> and just carry <laughs> through with the movie. Against a guy who had fought was tired, and had a giant hole in his stomach. Nah, he was dominating. No, he was, sorry. he was dominating thoroughly. He was doing pretty then well. Then in The Last Jedi, she fights Snoke, and gets swung around She's like... bailed out, because Kylo fucking killed yeah. him. Like, <laughs> this is what we're talking about. A ragdoll. Then she teams up with Kylo Ren against the Praetorian Guard, and again... Of which she beats all of them? She, all the ones that she yeah, faces? Yeah, yeah, she, she, got, she, she saves got, Kylo. She does better than Kylo Ren. Yeah, yeah. she saves Kylo uh, at the end of it. But she... I think she got kicked just then. So, oh, whoa. Uh, yeah. yeah, right, yeah. No Did kidding, man. Kicked once, yeah. Yeah. There's even a little blood on her arm there. So. Whoa, yeah. yeah. Oh, have a chance against these guys. I hope guys. she's okay. Only wins with Kylo's help. And they you could, I mean, Kylo only wins with Kylo's help. So, first of all, 
Yeah, yeah the, the, Kylo was the one under it. He's the one that fucking killed Snoke. You could argue that the Praetorian Guards are like, uh, you're the one we want to deal with first. But like, yeah, sure, they fought to, they both needed each other, but she's the one that saves him. They force struggle over yeah. a lightsaber, and neither win. Uh, no, he gets <laughs> knocked out. Wins. No, she. if anything, she wins. She wins. Because she gets the pieces, and wins. then she leaves, yeah. and then she takes the ship, yeah. and she fucks off. Also, she force struggles with someone who's been trained for a long, long time. Yeah, she, why yeah. is it that it's yeah. basically a draw? Struggle. He couldn't like, handle oh, it, but she okay. could. She wins. She gets mm. to decide whether or not to leave him alive. Right. She gets to decide what to do with the pieces of the lightsaber. She gets to leave at her own leisure. Like, how... Total control. How is she this a draw? How did you how did you work that one out? Ray doesn't get an unambiguous victory on her own until Rise of Skywalker. What? Where That's not an unambiguous. Obviously, he gets fucking stun locked is, by Leia. This is just the pattern continuing was, to exist. Yeah, this was the first time we were like, oh my god, she's about to lose, and then Leia fucking force stuns him. <laughs> or <laughs> skypes him with the- It's yeah. the same <laughs> shit every goddamn time. She can't lose. They never let her fucking lose. Even when she dies, he fucking force heals her back. <laughs> yeah. It's insane. Uh, but she manages to healing. land a, a serious blow on Kylo Ren, but Kylo Ren is distracted by the memory. Exactly. <laughs> like he gets yeah, stun locked. That's, that's Interesting. Uh, what a what an inconvenient time to be distracted yeah, by gosh, the thoughts of your mom. Gosh darn it! Kylo Ren suddenly was wondering if he left the oven on. And she got to. <laughs> at that time, so he, she lands a hit on a guy whose back is turned to her, and that's her second. Yeah, that's really cool Thank goodness, well, all of it worked out that what way. A hero. Kylo Ren in that movie, fourth or fifth in total, depending on how you count the lightsaber struggle. And then she beats Palpatine by turning his force lightning back at him. So oh, fucking hell. Anna, yeah, cool like that you can do that. Oh, like interesting. Why did you say it so quick? That one really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, you say it so quick Palp like that. Once Luke again, the, the, the film says explicitly: if you kill Palpatine, he's gonna possess you, and that's his plan complete. Yeah, then she right, kills him, and that. the film just goes, "Nah, that's not no, what happens." Actually. actually, I think you forgot that I was it's definitely the, not a Mary Sue. This is that consistent formula the writers protect ray at every single turn they just don't want anything bad to happen to her permanently in any way shape or form boring yeah excessively boring so out of all those fights she only un this is what i mean i don't hate ray i feel bad that she's got nothing going for her no. nobody cares she, she's too nothing of a character to inspire hatred no like she's not there are other characters who are much worse than her galadriel's much worse fucking uh, <laughs> wanda is much worse you know wanda yeah, mm -hmm. ambiguously wins in the last film. Man, and the amount of this... like, man, the cope. You this know, she only really unambiguously lost one, one, a single fight, and even then, guys, for real, even then, like, dude, <laughs> she won like every fight. And <laughs> yes, <just> consistently. <laughs> the common thing with the Mary to like label is the universe contorting to prevent consequences exactly. being levied against exactly. a character. The narrative contorts around their comfort. Some conditional statement that's paired with that. Narratively speaking, if the goal is to run Rey through a hero's journey, it would be better if she could defend herself but not be able to actually defeat them. So is this video actually is she... like... Is it... Like, why is it counter. YouTube critics are lying to you, but it feels like it's just all about literature devil? Really. Well, yeah, fuck this literature devil but guy. It... <laughs> The best you could possibly argue is a difference of interpretation of events as well, which is totally fucking fine. I think someone's lying as a result of it. It's like, I just feel like this is being a bit excessive. The idea that's like, well, you know what? There was one or two fights where Rey did fight and she didn't win. You know, it's like, I feel like you're just ignoring all of the broad criticisms of her. Besides, like I said, if, if that happened, hadn't happened to her, she wouldn't have been able to... The, the, actually, the Starkiller base would have been fine. Because the reason Han is willing to go in with Finn and rescue her is tied in with like the damage they do to. Do you remember they get her and then they go to leave and then they realize that the uh, the the Poe Dameron's force are not penetrating the um the shields or whatever. And so they're like, mm. okay, so we got to go do it. The implication being, had she not been captured by Kylo, Starkiller Base would have been fine. What I mean about consequences and the way that the writing works, it's like embarrassing. She needed to be captured so that she could have the ultimate win, defeat Kylo and facilitate the destruction of the Starkiller base. She didn't win, but she did ultimately have hyper wins. It would show weakness. Mm -hmm. She is bailed out of these situations. Yeah. Still How are you citing these scenes where she dominates? 
She got kicked. Do you love how, like, if, if we were looking at Luke and when, when he says like shows vulnerability it, or weaknesses, we can off, well, yeah. not just that, but him <laughs> him hanging on to that metal shit at the bottom of the best bin like uh, facility, yeah. right? Like how desperately destroyed he is, and there's like, what's the equivalent Boy, for Ray? You know, oh, she fell over. She's back up though. <laughs> She got, yeah, uh, like when uh, Luke was getting zapped, it's like, what's the worst? Oh, she got held up in the air for a bit. She did do a, <laughs> she did do a scream while he uh, sucked Luke, yeah. the Luke knowledge out of it. But like I said, the whole scene ends with fucking Snoke dying. And yeah, again, she f fights these, what are they called, Praetorians, uh, the, the red guys? Yeah. The, today, aren't the, we, the fact that you can even fight them even on, on, on a level playing field because they're like elite soldiers right well hey she's she got her like, training yeah. at the beginning of episode nine so there you go enjoy no okay i mean sure i guess oh, that counts enough so bad. in other words it would show her potential but also leave room to grow what, why is that scene? Stop uh, inserting these in as if they are like. He had room to grow when she's equal with a guy who's been training with the Force for years and years and years and years and years of his life. And look, Ray isn't a perfect character. No shit. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I agree. And Star Wars the sequel trilogy isn't perfect. Don't wow. No. Nothing I but the hardest to take. Oh, man, that's bold. That's bold. Batman the Brave and the Bold. Did you criticize her? Okay. Her entire arc is centered on waiting to be destined for something. The first film, she's waiting for her family. Second film, she's trying... I don't, I don't even... Okay, waiting to be destined. She's waiting for her family because she misses and loves them. Not because it's going to take her to her <laughs> destiny. Yeah, like, that ain't... That's, that's fine. That's not, and like, then, a problem. She's, you could argue she's looking for some level of purpose by the time we hit TLJ and she's hit with the whole you have no direction to draw from having a particular lineage. Mm -hmm. And then by the thing, there are ways by the way, like we all joke about how the three films disagree with each other on Ray's parents, which I find hilarious and true for the record, but you can actually sync them up with a little bit of broad analysis. Like first film you know, I need my parents in order to live my life fully. And then Maz Kanata's is like, you know, you're never going to find, uh, you're never going to find out who they are. That's never going to happen. So you need to start living your life for you and you need to go and mm -hmm. pursue whatever adventure you're doing with blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay. Second film, she regresses into the whole, like, I need to know who my parents are. Gosh, darn it. That it's like, your parents were nobody, which is such a weird answer. If you don't understand what I mean, it means a lot to yeah. the audience, but not so much to people inside the universe of Star Wars. What does it mean for your people? You know what I mean? Whatever. What does it uh, mean for her? Like, if, if I wouldn't exactly. be her, I still would, still would want to know who my parents are if they just abandoned me like years and years ago for some reason. Yeah, not and looking it's like, to rehash. nobody. It's like, yeah, that's fine. I still want to meet them though. Like, <laughs> not looking to rehash that whole thing. But by the end of TLJ, you can argue no, no, she's no. on. She's fully into the whole like re rebellion, and she's gonna gosh darn do it, even if her parents weren't the people she was hoping they would be to, as a form of inspiration or whatever. Third film is like, oh, whoopsie, your uh, lineage is actually super evil. It's Palpatine. <laughs> And then and you could just argue like, yeah, well, learning that is like, do you become a villain? She's like, no, gosh, gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a, a hero, damn it. Like you could, you could argue that that's the through line of the three films, but I, I just consider that funny cope. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out her heritage, her position in this great grander story. Here, the fact that the Last Jedi ends without her resolving the core conflict of the plot is a key element. No? Because it's three move, it's a trilogy. I'm not even sure what he means. What? what? The core conflict of the plot of his... Like the First Order existing and being bad? Well, but I, I assume if he... Because what he says the core album is the plot, and he's referring to her interest he's in finding a family. Um, th That is resolved. The answer is they're no one. They're no one. Yeah. Yeah, they're nobody. You need to move okay. on, which is an answer. Yeah. It's only retroactively that it becomes unresolved in a sense because um, uh, the Rise of Skywalker re opens the conversation. Yeah. Well, yeah, like I said, no. you can you can link them all up and tell a story somewhat, but like it's not an interesting one. She nope. has no predestined part to play in the saga. It's not even... To, this is a such a weird fucking part? read because that's the audience's read. It's not like her read in-universe... She wants to find her parents because they mean a lot to her. And then you, it's like, they, what does he say? They, they were junkers that died in a ditch somewhere or something like that. Like, yeah, like traders, that. Yeah. yeah, traded her for <clears throat> drinking money, something like that. And she's like, wah. And then he says, now join me and we can rule the game, blah, 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 blah. Like, that is, an, that is an end if you wanted it to be. But 
JJ decided we're going to reopen and discuss it more. Yeah. But through her actions, she becomes the hero. Anyone can be the hero, regardless of where you came from, except no, because the third film shows us she has a lineage, and there's a reason why her family never came back, and she's part of this big grand destiny to stop Palpatine's return. Okay, you threw that on there. Like that, that, if we want to be f as fair mm -hmm. to Rise of Skywalker as you just were to TLJ, which is also a p pitiful, terrible film, you oh, would yeah. say, despite the fact that she learns that Palpatine is in her lineage, she will choose to be the hero that she needs to be instead mm -hmm. of like giving into the dark side. You can absolutely argue that. The idea that she, when when in Rise of Skywalker do they say she's destined to destroy the Emperor? I don't remember that. That's not real. I don't remember I that either. Since it came out, I don't know. <laughs> And you get all the answers that completely undermine all the legwork made leading up to this. What point. is legwork? Where where do I find legwork? I don't I don't, I don't I think he's making that up. There was no in, legwork in, in the sequel trilogy for anything. Could they be in scenes, perhaps? The legwork is me Wait wanting to run minute. away from those movies. Are you suggesting that the meaning in the journeys for the characters was almost like it was built up in the 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 plub the plur the the plub the, 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 the can't the say the word. Plur. The plumber, uh, yes. The plumber made the it plumber. up. <laughs> there are genuine issues with the sequel trilogy. Why was Finn set up to be a Jedi and then there's no payoff? That that's I mean that's one direction you could take him. Your... He didn't he didn't have to be a Jedi for it to be meaningful. They just didn't do anything with him. It was more it so that they didn't give him a story yeah. at all. Yeah, like stunning in part two or whatever the the, the what, what, what I forgot the names of those movies. I haven't seen them in TFA, so long. TLJ, uh, Tross. Yeah, because TLJ is just kind of around and it's just a little yeah. goofball. There's nothing there. It's like, like oh, you could have done, done all kinds him. of things with him. He could have been a Jedi, sure, but like it's it's just weird to be yeah. like that's the just thing. the whole thing. The whole thing that he's like a like a stormtrooper that uh, that converted uh, against the yeah. You wouldn't know Empire. that. It's like oh, that's super interesting. Like. Just, Go with that. That's cool. Widely cited as the greatest wasted potential yep. of the yeah. entire trilogy. I mean, he's, he's he's up there for like wasted characters of all time. Honestly, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I think that. that's a very strong case could be made. <clears throat> Absolutely. Why does the Rise of Skywalker completely veer off track of the story that the prior two films ah, so set do up? You think, yeah, oh, is that there well? You go. Nice boring, why did TLJ veer off from TFA? How about that? It's See this one coming. The Rise of Skywalker ruined everything. Yeah, nice. Oh, and you know why did TFA veer off from the fucking OT? You know what? We could do this all day. Oh no, no, yeah. it didn't. It, the first look, all right. The the uh the the Force Awakens it was all right. The Last Jedi brilliant. The Rise of Skywalker ruined everything because they listened to the fans, and the fans awesome. were really happy with well, the Rise like, of Skywalker. Yeah, they? they loved it. They also just say that like these opinions. It's like he found them in a fucking ancient chest. The time yes, warp. It, yeah, it's, it's like a <laughs> I feel I've like everything I'm hearing is like an amalgamation of a whole bunch of different things that other people have said, but because they haven't been able to be synthesized, there's so many contradictions. He's not been aware of the conversation about all these different points the whole time. He's just like just an alien that popped in and was like, I have these opinions. I picked them up at the store. <laughs> they were pretty cheap, but yeah. yeah. Why is Kylo Ren, a character who's positioned to be the big bad, supplanted when he finally gets to a position of power where he can be the villain? Because he decided to make him a good guy by the end of it, which some people predicted. Mm, yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Apparently the writing was there for that. I, we argue that Kylo is so inconsistent you could have done anything with him in the final movie. <laughs> Would have made some sense, because there's just his fucking references are all over the place. They always wanted to be. These are issues that are harder to discuss than simply going, this is a plot hole. Raise a Mary Sue. These are complex questions. With Raise a Mary Sue is obviously going to be a, an assessment of her character and her journey. Yeah. Like, why are you pretending like that's not? There's nothing meaningful to be drawn out of that at all. And also, wouldn't he have to acknowledge that in the clips that he showed from Literature Devil that he was doing the legwork? Yeah. He was like making things with references that were being like they were being built up. It wasn't just like oh, Mary, so moving on. Like yeah. even he would have to acknowledge that, right? I mean, he's even made the point that um part of the trick, right, to trick people that they're having fun is to actually like keep coming up with arguments. But like to do that means to keep. Like, you, you have to keep using references to do that. You can't just pull them out of nowhere. But, like, that doesn't count for anything. It's like, well, I did the legwork of saying, like, the most basic, like, normie perspectives on these films. But, you know, the people I disagree with, well, you know, they just say it and then move on. With complex answers. And you're not going to get those 
from someone who just wants to complain about Rey winning every fight that she partakes in. Honest criticism requires honest thought, and that doesn't always call. What would you what know you about th that? Of, of, uh, I don't even know. I don't dopamine, even know anymore. A dopamine hit to the audience. The dopamine. It dopamine. Price. So, yeah. uh, <sighs> takes longer. People are going to lose interest if you have to set up the elements. Yeah, see, of they're not as cerebral as me, huh? Yeah, no, this is big. <laughs> this is big galaxy brain activity right here. This is some from neurons and overdrive material here. It's so funny hearing all of this because I haven't heard an interesting opinion on anything. No, in no, the, no. Yeah, this is 25, Literally said he's got minutes we've been here. Three or so videos going over Ray and Mary Sue's a lot more than these few seconds that he shows. Like, yeah, we know. Don't worry. Obviously, oh, yeah. all oh, the yeah, videos. We know. I, don't you worry, my dude. I'm I sure struggle to believe that this man would misrepresent you, or like, you know. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't. Are you gonna say something? Nah. Okay. <laughs> and dive into complex ideas. What they want is that dopamine hit 30 seconds in to continue watching. Pushing identity politics and the mess. Isn't, isn't that just isn't that just Wait, this is called dopamine? a hook? Isn't that just this called a dopamine? hook for your video? It's like, here's my thing that I'm going to talk about, and then your video can go long, as long as you want to. So I wouldn't guess. this have made more sense you to don't do have to. Literature Devil, since you were on him for so yeah, long? Yeah, rather than someone else. Yeah. What do you think <laughs> the watching experience of this is, by the way? Like, I'm sitting here watching this video, then he says, the message, and I'm like, yes, ah, I brought see. it up. I yes, see, by showing thing. somebody who isn't Literature Devil, we have now, like, demonstrated how Literature Devil is trying to create dopamine hits by lying to you. And getting you mad about this movie. What do you mean? Let me yeah, prove man. that we by have no idea someone else. Completely different person. What here. came before or after this clip? Where it is in this video? What this video is even about? Apparently it's about Darth Maul. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Seems He's like there. it. Oh. Yes, yeah. They don't want to die! A big thing with a lot of these bad movie critics appears to be honesty. To summarize, so Yeah, a lot of a lot of those YouTube a critics, lot, a lot, lot of problem out there is people. honesty. He's right, you know, I've Today I've really learned about the shaky I've honesty I've learned a lot about honesty critics. today, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so justice stories are little more than infantile revenge fantasies where the writers value power over heroism and covet self-validation rather than truthful discussion. You motherfuckers ain't special and you're raging hypocrite. And while that may be- Who the fuck is he talking about? I have no idea. I don't I know. This is a different, a totally different guy than <laughs> yeah, Literature this... Devil. These are, just, these are two <laughs> completely different people. <laughs> What is happening? Okay. Uh, a little bit of my opinion. What isn't my opinion is that some of you are just flat out lying. Oh, that's what this video's okay. been doing. How is, what, how is he not allowed to say that? Well, why is this on screen? Ultimately, what we're dealing with here is people who hate being told they're wrong and whose opinions are so underdeveloped that they can't defend them when put to the task. And you know what? Tough shit. They constantly. And those emphasize. people could be right. I don't, I don't know, know what they're talking about. All I've gathered just, is that he's allowed to do it when he does it, but everyone else isn't. Yeah. Grr, people are expressing. And what is this? I guess. So what's this? This is. What is this tweet? Like, what's this got to do with this how it started? Right how it's going? But one of them is about the character, and the other is about the actress. I don't like. I don't know what this has to do with anything that we've been talking about so far. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. What does this that have to do with YouTube critics are lying to you about media criticism and that's bad? Is what I mean about the shorthand law shit. Like, was there a different video that covered all this? Objective opinions with reality. Oh, wait, you... hold on, go back. What did you just say? Objective opinions, <laughs> I, I heard that. that. They're so underdeveloped that they can't defend them when put to the task. And you know what? Tough shit. They constantly emphasize objective opinions oh, with reality. Yay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. He said the O word. He said the okay, so O. The, I don't see the word objective in there, but maybe you'll play a clip where Shad says it. But I just, it's just yeah, funny to me because of the amount of times not, they'll do the thing of you have the wrong opinion, but they're allowed to say that. You're not allowed to say that they're uh, uh, well, objectively speaking events that take place or characters that make decisions in media that you cannot deny. It's like that could be offensive because of interpretation or whatever, but simultaneously everyone else can interpret all wrong. The themes you could have fundamentally wrong. This is so fucking muddled. The movies aren't bad because you didn't connect with them. No, they're just communicating ideas that are antithetical to your beliefs. That's not even what huh? you don't like them because it's not that they're bad. They just communicate ideas that are antithetical to your. That's a valid reason to not like a film. 
Yeah. Sure. If a film started saying, you know what, killing people indiscriminately is good, actually, I might dislike it I on might those grounds. That, yeah. yeah. Oh, and the tangents. These guys love to go on tangents this that have nothing so... to do with Bro, the... Bro, he's got clearly loads of effort, references, quotes, images. What's the pro... If, the, just, if that's what the video is about... Me, bro. All of this is Core meaningless. Thesis. This is all Never <laughs> connects to their ideas. It never connects to their idea. Never. <laughs> just, never. Just trust really? me, bro. None of this connects. I don't believe. I promise. Yeah. I bet it probably does. I I'm willing to believe yeah, I'm gonna go that, ahead and you know, assume it does. The devil put some planning and scripting into his videos. And ultimately, don't even make sense on their own when you circle back and go. This is an X-Men video an X -Men sped up by 25 mm -hmm. times. Well, he's, he's clearly got images of X-Men coming up over the course of that timeline. So it's obviously so relevant to what he's, or at least he believes it's relevant. What would it look like if I took this guy's video and sped it up over 25 times and let it play a little bit, and then did the same thing? It would look just as quote-unquote silly. It's like, yeah, this well, is a video about bad video essayists. It like certainly like. would, Theo, because you'd see flash frames of about fucking 20 other creators. You'd be like, what is that? What's going on here? <laughs> what is like... he doing with them? Oh, okay, what did you actually say, and how does that connect with your core ideas? The reason I... for this I is I say, that... is my ideas! It's the expression of them! What can you do with this? They ramble a lot, and they say... Oh, man. Could you imagine? They oh, ramble. they ramble a lot. Oh, Rambling. well. <laughs> Not oh, me well. doing zero extra takes, like, doing, <laughs> like, first take everything, constant long jarring What was the pauses. fucking Blade Runner yambling he did? Remember that? was, like, 98% rambling. The, the primary <laughs> point anything, he was making with that is issues. the people out there who think plot is the only thing in stories are wrong, and it's like, who are you talking to? You don't even have a clip yeah, for that one. These people? <sighs> Tons of buzzwords. They'll make you think that somehow Ooh, what they said is more sophisticated than it actually was. And never buzzwords speak like plain. engagement or liars. Yeah. Just, just straight up. Let's mm. just call them that. It's easier done. Or media literacy. Go on, say it. Say it. <laughs> because if they spoke plainly about their ideas, you would realize how superficial their ideas are. The <laughs> Well, Man. tell us. Show us. <laughs> Show us how superficial they are. It's just, it's just well, dripping with the irony. Of literature devil. Well, well, talk, literature talk devil to me about wasn't the film. speaking in prose. He was being pretty clear about his arguments and his yeah. stuff, and we were following along with it. It wasn't like hidden behind fourteen layers of poetry and artistry. Talk to He's me about Blade Runner. Friendly. You know, like, when when he dies on the rooftop, it's sad because it's like, he's like, it's he's like, tears he's like rain, in tears man. and rain. Yeah, that's kind of, think about that. Oh, intellectualism. In fact... Wait, what was that? Do you, do you, do you, I wish he had said intellectualism, but I don't think he did. Well, their ideas are the faux intellectualism. Ah, oh. so, That, oh my god. Dude, yeah, no, dude, you know, they dude. want to prove how smart they are compared to other people, most <laughs> Every, faux intellectuals. This video becomes so funner, so so, so much more fun, like, <laughs> if you, yeah, right I know, right? Again. Like, if you just, to the end of every sentence, add, not me, though. <laughs> yeah, not me, though. <laughs> well, every time, it, me, there, is, there is a particular thing that he can say in a particular way, it just makes me pull up this image every time, I'm just like, there you go, it's time. <laughs> Insane, like, just speeds up this clip, it's like, this is all the tangents, like, oh, is it? I, the faux I guess. intellectualism. I, I just assume you, you're telling the truth here, I, I guess. I mean, maybe it was like oh a thing. Oh my god. Can you at least tell me? Can you at least tell me what the tangent might have been about? No. And then I can make my own assumption if that's actually a tangent or if it's relevant to the topic that the guy's talking about in your videos. I don't fucking know. I'm just tired. <laughs> We're, all tired, Lord Lord We're all tired. I could have finished Lord of the Rings by now. Oh. Nope. <laughs> In fact, if they ramble on enough, you might even forget what the thesis of their argument was. Oh my God, this... that's the perfect oh, way to really? describe this video. Oh boy, really? Yeah, now. This is so so much oh. concision like, in this video. We've we have to keep reminding wrong. everybody that the point of this video is that everyone's lying to you on YouTube. That's like the, yeah, the major YouTube thesis. Are lying to you. Good Lord. So that way, they can just shift the goalposts a little. If they throw enough at you with new information every second, you might even think they have a point. <laughs> if they provide they new information, information for the argument, every what do you yeah. think? Those it, demons. The anti information yeah. argument. We've heard it, <laughs> what boys. The hell? We did it. We got there. Uh... Does he think, let's take a Mola video, does he think it's just for like three hours, non stop, rapid fire at like 
50 miles an hour nitpick little just random facts about anything I'm yeah. just, I'm just like... i mean his like i said his primary example here has been literature devil who is by no means just just machine gunning out information faster than can be comprehended literature devil is pretty even... meticulous yeah, well, I'm, he I'm, just lays it out pretty plainly. I'm fascinated by how much he's been the main focus of the video, obviously. And, like, if I had no idea who he is, I'd just be like, I don't know, he seems fine to me. I'm not even sure seems I necessarily... Right, yeah. Like, it, it, you know, who knows what is shit. in the rest of the videos as to whether or not I agree with his arguments exactly. But of what you've shown, he seems perfectly fine. And he's your poster yeah. boy for the liars that are trying to trick like, you. Is Literature Devil, like evil or something because he seems extremely uh, hello to me he's uh, devil in his name devil <laughs> yeah but what if the devil's the good guy <gasps> oh my god oh my goodness <laughs> what a plot twist until you pause the video and think about what they actually said and realize oh it's that's all funny. nonsense actually that is oh, that's perfect, perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> that's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> which part of this video is nonsense i'm starting to love this video <laughs> it's so wonderful fascinating that you would say that fascinating well, the, I, yeah well the irony really starts to crank up i wish <laughs> to remind everybody the stream we have right now is a quote of his title and then a cautionary tale in self-awareness which <laughs> How does that not summarize this? <laughs> Holy shit, man. Another common uh, tactic is the idea of a central boogeyman. Ooh. They always harp on what? one particular person, usually a Careful. woman. You mean like literature? Usually, 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 usually a woman. Usually a woman. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Okay. We hate men. We, we hate women, and boy, we love men. Has he not harped on one particular person for this whole video as the, the sequence for the critics are lying to you? How well, is this not Eric July almost everything? In there once. Well, well, he's gotten everybody in here for like a split second, but Literature Devil's clearly the main focus, yeah. and I just wonder why he never yeah. seems to understand the shit that he says applies to him tenfold. Also, what's wrong with having a, a person that represents like a big significant element of the problem? I don't even, because he's gonna, like, like these characters, isn't this already disproving his point, the fact that there's six different, or five, seven different, well, I guess you discount the men, so, because it only happens to women apparently. So five. Well, I assume he means per per movie or per franchise or whatever. That's already a lot, though. On an individual basis. Well, because yeah. obviously we all agree there's been zero <laughs> films that have come out in the past ten years that have a male protagonist that we dislike. We've loved all of the male ones. That's oh, yeah, all that's, of how I know, that's how I know to go to a theater and pre-order a ticket, is yeah. if the, yeah. the person on the poster is like a, a man. Well, that's when I watched um, Multiverse of Madness and Ant-Man, I was like, oh shit, white oh, guys, yeah. I love them. I love these movies. Very good. <laughs> Ben, man, was oh, I Tomorrow War is so good. Yeah, Tomorrow War is great. Yeah, Love Chris it. Pratt, it's a great movie about time oh, travel. You want that yeah, to get controversial? Really Guardians 3 and Mission Impossible. We weren't exactly fans of those. Yeah. No. That's right. Central boogeyman. They always harp on Boogie one woman. particular person, usually a woman, That's funny. and then criticize them. Kathleen Kennedy. Like, ah. Criticize them? Oh, oh no. Oh, my God. It's the oh. she oh. devil. It's her. <laughs> the dark one. Anita Sarkeesian. Okay. No, she's oh, actually a girl. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, so, are we just not going to count oh, all God. of the men that have had horribly awful opinions that everyone has highlighted? Are we just nope. ignoring no, them? No, we love men. Men are great. This uh, fucking... We love men. <sighs> we don't even begin. What about Bob Iger? Nobody talks about him. Nobody makes any videos about his awful opinions and his just detrimental no, control. Like, no. These women become the people stealing away your media. These SJWs just want credit for something and- Is that who Eric is talking about right now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe he's is... gonna name drop her at any second What's now. going on now? Excuses for continuing to ruin characters in books that they don't even read. That's true! With his quotes! Yeah. People it's, are- yeah. It used to be, yeah. The, they don't off care the top about of my the head, original media. When someone Last asked whether there was a reference to Mephisto in Raw Division, her response was she didn't know who that was. Like, so the, these, this thing, this shit happens. And you know what? Like, I try. I try to be nice and say, you know what? It's not impossible that you could make an adaptation of the comics without having read them. But please, can you read them? Just give it a little read. Just just have well, a sit down. Well, don't take pride in points like, we didn't look at the games, we didn't talk about the games. You know, don't wear that as, like, a badge of honor. It's insane. God. Like, what was that clip helping and you with? Bad. You know what I mean? Why? A face mm. to the blame. 
and if they take quotes out of context. Well, so do you do you feel that these people are not responsible hey, for the quotes? Out of that they do. Money taking quotes out of context. I can't believe he said that. that. Oh. That's, that's wild. That shit is wild. Let's listen to that again <laughs> for the audience. We'll just, Don't even yeah, we'll read that. that one more time. A face to the blame. And if they take quotes out of context, even better. Oh, that's I, so rich. Better. It kills me. I'm dead. Me. I'm a ghost. I was about to say that previous quote felt like I the best one, but that's dreams. it. That's It can't get better than that's that, it. surely. It's almost not even funny because it just hits. It's just so real. It's, it's all when he's you done. start reading the meme and you realize it's just reality and you don't laugh some, at it. You just, you know, you It's just almost stare. worse and more blatant than most of the stuff we come across because a lot of people will have a coherent line of thought from the clip that they're addressing. You can, like, accept mm -hmm. an argument. But then it might be that it's like, oh, you don't know they're actually talking about this previously, or that they say, well, to be fair, after that statement to, you know, add an addendum, you're like, oh, well, yeah, that is a bit taken out of context. This one, you can only conclude it's out of context because nobody knows what the fuck these clips are for. Everyone's just like, what does yeah. this mean? What are they talking about? What are you trying to gain from this? Yeah, we because can't it, even it, necessarily defend these people because we don't know the context to defend them. Yeah, we we have no idea. What's interesting is he puts like the name and the name of the video in those clips. Like, it's like, here, go watch the full <laughs> yeah. video, I guess. I'm not going to give you any more context. Also, he's a little text blurb uh, where I counter that argument, I guess, and then I just move on. It's just, ugh. Yeah, no context. Cringe. He even admits that any sort of portrayal in terms of Magneto being Malcolm and Professor X being like MLK was something that was done unconsciously. He literally says that himself. The reason... What, I don't have what, any what do we have to do I don't know what we're... Is this X-Men they were talking about, I think? I guess they're talking about something to do with Magneto and parallels well, That's to... out of context, regardless of whatever it was he... Um, so talk about it then, because yeah, like, like I... I why is it out of context? Why does it not represent the person's views, but it did in this particular instance? Like, why is Eric wrong here? Why is Eric dishonest here? Tell us. Instead of just saying, it's true, here's the little clip that gives you nothing to work with, bye. Yeah. Consciously, he literally says that himself. The reason being is that it's easier to get mad at an individual. To say this one person is responsible. You say this as if a lot of these videos is don't it? regard Disney as a whole, as a giant yeah. company. Why are you doing this? Yeah. I, Everyone's I mean, mad at Disney right now. It is very we easy we to make an companies. enemy out of Disney People as a whole. scream at companies all the time. Yes. Like all this the is, time. This is oh, just yeah. wrong. It takes more work to learn the individuals and their roles and their, you know, positions in these things instead of just saying, yeah, yeah the catch-all Disney or the IP itself. The thing is, it's probably, it's easier to quote an individual because that's a real person that said a thing you can quote and then talk about. It's not like Disney, Disney said a thing. It was like, no, Kathleen Kennedy said a thing exactly. or Bob Iger said a thing. So of course you're going to talk about this one person and not the company well, in that like... regard. You know, you brought up Brie Larson. It's like, she had some really bad quotes back in 2019, 20-ish. These started yeah. collecting a lot of them. They were really not great. She stopped saying them, and now she's stopped being addressed as, like, the worst person ever. Rachel Zegler took over for a bit. She's disappeared as well. She stopped saying cringe stuff. And I do believe, I think it's a reasonable assumption that Disney were like, can you guys not say the the really stupid thing? Like, <laughs> oh, you know those old classic films that you guys love? Yeah, they need fucking updated. It's like, oh, okay. It's like they're cringing old where the girl gets kissed. Boo. Like, it, it got yeah. around. And it's probably not the best thing to do when trying to promote the new one. Well, for all the problems you're seeing, rather than tackle abstract ideas like a philosophy. Also, <laughs> what, was, what, okay. was the, what was on the screen? What just happened? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but gay characters in my books or anything showing that no so trans don't deserve sex what a, like whatever there's just no context rather than tackle abstract ideas like a philosophy so is there any also, reason for the background to change in terms of movies and stuff no clue I, I don't realize that's different things it was a little like subscribe animation I don't know if it was from whatever that was or if that was him putting out I don't even know what's going on oh anymore. okay Oh, it's because you just what? have so much context, you know, yeah. who, who is responsible for the things that you're seeing in this video. Like, That's always said, a good sign when you have no idea ago, what's happening. We are butters trying to navigate the American healthcare system. This is what this is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Horrible. Hey, fellas, I think I'm lost. I think I'm lost in the American healthcare system. Fellas. <laughs> <Yeah, it is. laughs>
Whenever the video essayist loses track Why of the Why does this haunt cuts to the interstellar void? The, yeah. <laughs> the video <laughs> essayist. That was great. Also, by, by the way, question. I'm not super familiar with Eric July. Is he essayist? I thought he just does more reaction and then his comic book um, stuff. He's got a I couple of videos regarding essayist, particular sort of. subjects. I don't think he would call them essays. He's just sort of giving his thoughts on a particular idea, such as... Okay. Uh, like, like origins of characters, what they represent, and how they've changed over the years, and his opinion on... Or like best iterations mm -hmm. or how they represented art. I think. Anyway, I've seen a couple people talking yeah. about uh, mm -hmm. some of these videos. They can just point to a picture of their target and say, that's the person who's at fault. Five years ago, I okay. made a big video on Steven Universe and haven't stopped having a migraine who's since. Who's talking right now? They raise the anger levels again, <laughs> and you're blinded to any faults or holes. In Didn't you, you mean? target Literature Devil? Can we not agree you did that in this video? I mean, yeah. Surely. Sure. And so you, I, mean, I imagine he would be like, well, I'm addressing Literature Devil specifically. And it's like, well, I have not seen Lillian Michaela's, Michaela Orchard's video on Steven Universe, nor Easy Peasy's. But if they were to target a particular person as to the reason why the thing is bad, and they are like a creative head of some kind, is that fair? That you're addressing their skill as an artist? Or is it not fair? And then I just wonder how it's different. Or how it's better, or how it's worse, and then of course, I'm sure they probably address more that like the team behind it somewhat as well. This is the thing I haven't seen these videos, and he's not going to give me anything. And their argument, the cycle continues again. The f why is this deep fried? <laughs> That's a good question. The damage because this it's, video it's has done. The aesthetic of the maybe it isn't. Our brains are just not working <laughs> Our brains correctly are deep anymore. Fried. My vision is Maybe going if, a, if a new person walked into this room, I'd be like, "No, yeah, it's, it's a clear video. It's high definition." And I'm like, "I know, I, I do it. It's I mean, damaged a... my brain's ability to perceive light." I mean, if I'm not hallucinating, there's a play button in the middle, so this might be like a meme from Why something. Why is it so low? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How did this image come to be? Because that's YouTube, but that is not a YouTube play button. But then no. why is it like it's been like I said deep for this this feels like a 10th like generation a image copy video. like a yeah. and that's why you get angry reviews for every trailer press wait wait oh, for fuck's sake oh, what is <laughs> what was the drinker the one the cycle continues again and that's okay so we got from Horace Galaxy community on Reddit death has come for all of these franchises and it's next for Warhammer and he said I hope not and death is also this the is just like thing. some random comment, right? Yeah, this is some like guy. This is a redditor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, this point, angry comment. Show everything. me the lie. I'm just saying. That's I guess D and D's alive. Well, in Lord of um, the Rings, it's alive. I feel like it's su going to survive Rings of Power at least. It will survive to the point where it had to be excised like a tumor to save Lord of the Rings. Well, look at the the reception season two is getting before it's even out. I feel like there's a victory happening there of like, get the fuck out of here. No one likes you. Stop it. Yeah. yeah. Which, you know, a lot of people argue that's how a, fa a fan base can save itself from utter destruction. We'll see. Obviously, by the end of it, it could be that everything's fucking dead. Angry reviews for every trailer, press release, and a... I Wow, I, I didn't have, my brain didn't have time to process I mean, the images that were flashing Angry in front of me. For every so, Assassin's okay. Creed Shadows Assassin's Ubisoft Creed Shadows. pushes agenda. We need to talk about Assassin's Creed Shadows Ubisoft. So, it's Shad's review of the trailer for Assassin's Creed Shadows. Trailer press release. Which um, people are not happy with in general. Nina okay. Infinity's opinions on Superman image. Police and eventually. Russell shocking kids are target. Gay doctor aimed at kids. What? So, because the thing is, if you listen to what he says, it's simply at them being angry at information yeah. that comes out about their particular interest in media. To any faults or holes in their argument, the cycle continues. What are again. they? And that's why okay. you get angry reviews for every trailer, press release, and eventually release whenever anything science fiction or fantasy comes out. It's well, it's more than just those two. Mario. And I guess is Mario <laughs> fantasy. I guess, I guess so. so. Yeah, I guess so. I'd call I it guess, fantasy. Yeah. yeah, it's got magic and shit. The reviewer wants to hit that knee-jerk reaction as fast as possible, even if they have to eat. Let's see how the Japanese culture, culture experts, experts pronounce, pronounce the name Yasuke. That'd be Yasuke. 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 Well, but wait. That, whether or not they can pronounce it properly doesn't mean they don't. They shouldn't have an opinion 
on yeah culture. Doesn't matter their opinion is like wrong also, or they that, have bad criticism. To be fair, at the bottom right, that's V. He can't pronounce anything correctly. So yeah, it's leave not him alone. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? That's offensive by saying that they, you, we can turn this around. Eat their own words later. Consider. Eat their. Wait, why what? didn't you have an image for that? Oh, that's a, that's a drinker. Why didn't you have an image for eat their own words? Even if they have to eat their own words later. Where was the image? Where was the evidence of them I all eating the their one, own words? That's one. They, they can't pronounce Yaska. That's not Get eating wrecked. their own words. That's just them not knowing Get how to pronounce wrecked. a word. Yeah. Why do you have to be. Fucking stupid and they did bad criticism. Yeah, I don't think you have to. Yeah, I, I don't. I, yeah, I just don't know what else to add to this. You don't have to <laughs> pronounce well, the word right. There's not much we can do and to make good criticism with it. Like if you don't, if you don't use the correct pronunciation of a word, like your arguments are invalid and your well, it, perspective Clearly, he's trying count. to say, especially if the word you is would not know, your own language, you would know how to pronounce it if struggle. you truly cared about the culture, and that seems to be what they're criticizing. But like, that's not even fair at all. There's plenty of things we can say about a culture without being able to pronounce certain words in it. It's Absolutely, language, you know, and maybe you've silly. only seen it in text, right? I mean, that's happened. We were talking there about words I can't pronounce Vangelis in Welsh today. We were talking about Vangelis <laughs> today, and I've listened to his music for ages. I was about so, to say, I've listened to that music, and I didn't know how to pronounce it. I had no idea because right? I've never heard it spoken by an expert in Vangelisisms. So I, I, I don't know. That's what I mean. It's like this is such a weird and uh, like this whole portion of screenshots was to tell us like they're all reacting to things as they come out. It's like, yes, like most normal people do it's like yeah okay but it's hyper aggressive and it's hyper negative and it's like okay like what if they actually feel this way <laughs> like what does it mean mm. then consider the critic what's this one people really criticizing the show before it's out he was criticizing the trailer wasn't he is he not allowed to do that i thought no or is it just simply based on the title miss marvel how not to build a hero yeah he's going with what he learns from the trailer which describes her like basic premise and he's his video is about how he, he would advise against building a character that way that should be totally fine. Absolutely. Well, drinker. maybe in all that future Miss Marvel content that they make, they'll uh, mm. clear it up for us because it hits that so well. That juicy Marvel content. Who was so fast to capitalize on the release of Prey that he didn't even realize people were kind of hyped for this movie. Arnold fucking Schwartz. Yeah, it wasn't very good, though. So. Okay, wait. What Gregor are... and his pumped up boy. Consider What's the critical the point drinker who was so fast to capitalize on the release of Prey that well, he didn't even realize... So Rotten fast Tomatoes to capitalize on... Was good, so... I don't even know. Yeah, like, uh, well, wait a minute. Off, this this video would have come, come out before any of the writings would have come out about the film. He's saying, like, yeah. oh, yeah, he, he was so quick to shit on it. He didn't even know people were hyped about it. I'm going to point to a metric that exists post release to yeah. prove how hyped people were. As if yeah, that doesn't even make it Also, before. So why would that even matter? Before, since I know what happened, let's redo the events of the release of Prey before we see whatever the fuck this assessment is. You have the trailer comes out, and everyone is like, mm, not sure about this one. Drinker makes a yeah, video saying, be. seems like you've wasted your chance from the fact that he doesn't like several of the choices that are made from the trailer. Movie comes out, we liked it, he liked it. Uh, moving on, it depreciated pretty quickly, especially when I heard a bunch of arguments that I hadn't thought about. I was like, oh, yeah, film's not mm -hmm. very great. There's still things I like in it, but, you know, overall, probably not. I'm not going to call it good at this point. Um, I don't know if I'd call it awful though. Like I don't know exactly where I'd rate it. I have to rewatch it again. But like the um, point being, uh, the only thing I can imagine he's going to reference is how Drinker uh, started getting people assuming, which it looks like he is doing here, that his trailer review was the film review. When so he had to change the title to let people know the difference. That's that's what I remember happening. And I'm pretty sure Drinker yeah. has like responded to this a couple of times because people keep saying like it, so. With the, all of this in mind, let's see what his assessment of history is. Consider the critical drinker, who was so fast to capitalize on the release of Prey that he didn't even realize people were kind of hyped for this movie. Arnold fucking Schwarzenegger and his pumped up buddies armed with state-of-the-art weaponry got wiped out almost to the last man by just one of these things, then what kind of a chance has a hundred pound girl with a bow and arrow got against it? Arnold didn't also, beat Also, before, he, even, started, before he started playing the... Before he started playing the <laughs> clips here, he said that uh, Critical Drinker um, uh, was making fun of the idea before he realized, or even though people were, were hyped for it, as if he has to have the opinion they, that they have. Rags, there's so much. I'm not even sure where to begin with this. I, I assume that's what was happening there with the 
selection of things being said because uh, <laughs> once again we have to listen to Drinker. Okay, let's do this because that's this, fine. I this has been this is more than an established pattern. He does not know how to respond to people's ideas. So listen to what Drinker says. Lies. People were kind of hyped for this movie. Arnold fucking Schwarzenegger and his pumped up buddies armed with state of the art weaponry got wiped out almost to the last man by just one of these things, then what kind of a chance has a hundred pound girl with a bow and arrow got against it? So what he said is 100% true. There is nothing about what he said that isn't true from the movie. Now, yep. bearing that in mind, his comment is, Arnold didn't beat the Predator using modern weapons. Drinker said yeah, like all of those men armed with modern technology were boosted and put down to the last man. What's interesting, yep. however, Drinker didn't say they did or didn't. However, Arnie did beat it with modern technology. He attached a grenade to a spear and threw it at it to, to fuck up the cloak, if you remember. Yeah, which absolutely are technology that dates back to... That absolutely counts toward the uh, defeat of the Predator being you, like a combination of modern weapons in a, in a you know, primal way. I'm told like, this doesn't... This is this is cringe to me that you you're you're you've once again been defeated by a fucking straw man. Can you stop doing this? Especially in this format, <laughs> where you're like putting your and counter if, argument during his argument. And if all the characters from Predator put down their guns and everything and picked up rocks, like is he saying that they would have had a better chance at beating Predator? I get the impression they might have done worse. Well, I, I get that impression too. If anything, it was one of our many criticisms of Prey, which is like, I don't know, it feels a little unsporting that you turn invisible against, you know, these uh, American Indians. <laughs> right, like, yeah. It, like, some of it I kind of, yeah, it's like the lasers. The, I did like, I like remember the, like in the fight scene. Basically the darts that are bullets. Uh, what he has with all the hunters, the Frenchmen, I think it yeah. was, right? Like, yeah, that shit was fun. I don't think he was, he wasn't cloaked up for that sequence, was he? Or was he? I can't remember. But in I any case, I guess that, remember, that works better in terms of a justification. But... Particularly, what left a sour taste and permanently does, I think, is the he shot himself in the end was kind of cringe. Oh, oh yeah, happen. yeah, it was stupid. Yeah. Like his fight with the bear was badass, but these things can't yeah. save like the whole movie. And our favorite character was absolutely her brother, right? It wasn't her at all. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was the... Tabe. Yeah, her yeah. brother Tabe. Who the point where Rags will remember his the name best... forever. Yeah, yeah. he's what he is that? the best character, and he is a really awesome character who has a neat personality and is very competent at what he does and he doesn't put down his sister to the point I don't even remember the protagonist's name because she's just a shit protagonist. Tabe is the hero of that story. Another woman hater moment, I guess. Uh, well, that, obviously that's that would be the, the brainlet take on it. It's just the <laughs> she's her characterization is not very well thought out throughout the film when you start to break it down, but uh, all he does with the limited screen time he has is very heroic, courageous and sacrificial. Supportive, mm, yeah. And supportive, yeah. He's a very, oh, yeah, yeah. very, very good dude. He's a good leader. He takes care of people, yeah. And then the movie was pretty good. The moment he no. saw it. So I'm going to give you a little insight into Drinker. He doesn't give a fuck about the tomato meter. That does not affect his opinion. Yeah. <laughs> we don't care about it in so much most, as Most it normal it people be... do not base their opinion on the tomato meter. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, it's always I interesting so, to anyway. see when when we have like a big discrepancy also, between this is... audience and uh, and viewer, I guess. And it's like, oh, let's this see is... who's wrong or right. It's a curiosity at most. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is another boring one because I'm this is from Twitter. People said this on Twitter. Oh yeah. Oh you know yeah. What I mean? yeah. Like this is even original. This like, oh yeah, Drinker thought it was going to be bad, and then he saw the way that the tide was turning and the wind was blowing, so he said it was good. Well, the, that's another the, opinion that you just pulled from Twitter. They did this with um, myself, Gary, and I think Ryan, a couple other people that we said before House of the Dragon came out. It looks like it's going to be bad. It came out, and then we had to change our opinions because everyone liked it. it. Makes no fucking <laughs> sense at all, as opposed to the more obvious, which is we liked it. We said it's good. Like what, yeah, like why do you never entertain that as a possibility? Why does it have to be grifty? Yeah. It's so funny because his opinion on the trailer was that he thinks the film's going to look he looks pretty bad. And then he watched the film and he was like, I like this film. It seems pretty good, actually. A lot better than I expected. And then over time, he's since said he's not as fond of it, which he's just being human. Yeah. I know no. that's a crazy I, concept. I mean, I think all of us in this call would probably agree that the TLJ trailer was pretty good yeah i was hyped and as it, fuck it was very i was very interested mm -hmm. and then well famously because we hate <laughs> women mostly we mm -hmm. really do not like the last jedi 
kind of a bad movie. It's just, um, it's a shame because the implication, of course, is that they'll only side with, like, where the wind is blowing when each of us in our spheres have gotten in, like, a little bit of, like, goofy trouble with the chat for having a controversial take on whatever piece of media. Like, how does that ever happen if we're only ever going to follow the, the popular opinion? How do we, how do we even just disagree with each other? Where did those popular mm -hmm. opinions come from? Half of them are informed by fucking YouTubers these days. Anyway. <laughs> well, I mean, we know where all the opinions in this video come from. As Fringy said, he's just been collecting fucking Twitter threads and been like, I'll get this oh, in yeah, here somehow. Watch. YouTube. Because that Prey video did not come out a month ago. <laughs> this, all the old videos he made about the Prey were changed. Titles, thumbnails, all Wait, after he saw look, it? Look, he titled it Prey Trailer Breakdown because people thought that his review of Prey was that video. It was not. It was That was the trailer review. That's why he changed then... it. Drinker has changed his mind on shit. And ca Why is the video still up if he wanted to hide it? That would be... It's quite a tactical blunder. I just, like, <laughs> it's so... This is the peak of bad faith to me, where it's like, you see, he's a lying liar liar face. It's like, or he's normal. Yeah, he saw the trailer, didn't look good. Then he saw the movie, and it was, like, surprisingly good. In fact, the word but surprise, well, the word surprisingly in the phrase but surprisingly good, like, hinges around the fact that he didn't think it was going to be good. Thus, yeah. the word surprisingly. So Words, boring. Right? And it's like, you're going to have any references to anything Drinkers even ever said, and it's like, nah. Nope. Of to course appear not. more neutral. Also, I'd like to point out that oh. no hunter-gatherer society of that time period would have tolerated this kind of bullshit from what- Wait. The text said he's fine with leaving this in, though. Well, because this is what he- This was the video. That's, that's, that's a this video. What I mean. The video he didn't, didn't change. He didn't take the video down. That's supposed to be- yeah. Why are Lost you referencing that? This is like when you go- you know, this guy's a fucking mass murderer. It's like, didn't kill that person. It's like, yeah, what an idiot. Mass murderer doesn't kill <laughs> that guy. It's like, no, no that I'm trying to explain. <laughs> like, your thesis is wrong. And you're like, no, nah, he's just being inconsistent in, in, in his badness. Uh, I'm, I'm still, I'm just over the moon. We've got a fucking quote to deal with from Drinker now. Uh, we did have one earlier, to be fair, actually, yeah. I remember. Point out that no hunter-gatherer society of that time period would have tolerated this kind of bullshit from one of their own. Those ideas would have been literally beaten out of her. This is 20... Yeah, I'm assuming that was in relation to the fact that she, like, denies the jobs she's assigned and she goes off into the wilderness, which gets a whole bunch of people in trouble, right? Drink is commenting on, like, I'm not sure she would be able to do that in the... Yeah, I'm, I'm not familiar enough with the fucking customs or whatever tribe it's referencing, so I can't say. No. Also, I think I remember the tweet that's gonna be shown First here. First century Hollywood's idea of what nomadic hunter tribes acted like. So strong female character takes her suspiciously domesticated pet dog. And you know what? <laughs> that, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not up to date on the history of domestication of dogs, but that happened fucking early, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Native Americans, they, they yeah, had yeah, dogs yeah. as pets. They absolutely yeah. But again... Even like if you take it for what it is, just like um, so he misunderstood. He, he was unfamiliar with the particular era in which dogs were domesticated by particular tribes or you know area. Like he can be wrong. That's okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know I haven't heard his commentary on that. I don't know if he has anything else to say. And I haven't seen that yeah, video I forever, so just, I don't know if there's more context. Yeah, but wrong about something. I got to throw out on. these uh, yeah. extra bits because this man is one of the least trustworthy people we've, we've covered. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Cool. At least that's better than a ton of grifters who don't hide their shameless what? grifting on every news story. Uh, okay. Wait, isn't it good that Wait, they why don't is that, hide it? I was gonna or... say, why is that better? Wouldn't it be better? Full Maybe... disclosure, I'm grifting seems kind of <laughs> <laughs> By the way, all my videos be, I'm gonna put out, they're not handy. gonna be truthful ever again. Disclaimer, by the way. <laughs> you know, at least he had the, 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 the self-awareness to go, okay, this is an unpopular take, let me change it. No, or he no, watched what? the movie and he no. thought it was all right. I love yeah, that he has this information. He changed his mind. It's like, it's why, like, like he, it's... he didn't change anything he said. He just put it behind an acceptable label. It's like, why do you try your best to find the worst version of what could have happened as opposed to what Drinker has said publicly, which is people thought it was the movie review and it was the trailer review. I changed it to match that. Yeah. Which what is what it is. Concept. He thought differently of the, the film trailer. to the trailer. Everyone has done this in their life. Well, yeah, it, it happens all the time. People are constantly surprised by trailers. Happens all the time. We were surprised when it happened to TLJ. And Drinker was surprised. It's, it's so simple. He saw the trailer, didn't think it looked good. 
saw the movie, which is a completely different product, and then he's like, oh, it's all right. No, it must be this crazy <sighs> oh, no. fucking bad faith, like, lie, yeah, lie, lie, lie face, which is so funny Ooh. because that's, like, his whole point in this video, isn't it? <laughs> it's slightly. Most don't. Most are shameless in their approach. Most are very superficial in their approach. When reports came out that X-Men 97 was Disney's third most watched original program to debut on Disney+, Plus, grifters were fast to call uh, Yeah, in 2024, that was nice and tiny. The yeah. year's just started, my man. Well, not anymore, I guess. But when, like, how many Disney Plus shows have actually released in the last uh, five months? I just, why, why is it controversial they to agree to that that is not the engagement they were looking for? that show they want they would have wanted it as in like be. the disney's yeah. well and that's the other thing it's like it's hard to comment on these sorts of things anyway but i just like oh it's the grifters are doing their griftiness like okay a flop which uh yeah flops don't get greenlit for a third season before they, they totally yes, fucking they do, do. Uh, they, they absolutely they, do they like, have yeah. there's a lot of shows that get season greenlit from exists. the get-go for yeah. multiple yeah. Uh, there are shows that get renewed Morty. before they, get, like, they release seasons. like what do you even yeah, mean exactly. there is a second season of velma yeah but yeah yeah so what are we talking about when uh what like we we've got seasons of shows i think so it was it mel just mentioned like some shows get renewed for like five yeah, fucking exactly. seasons yeah like is what do you you're just wrong. <laughs> like, there's, there's not much else to I don't, say. Yeah, I don't know one. what else to say, man. Velma's got a second season. Yeah, we're moving on. Star Trek Discovery got five seasons. It's, yeah. Or the end of season one. And don't get reported in Variety for having Again, 3.5. I, 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 I do like how it's just no engagement with the facts at all. Like, oh, well, Variety well, said it's going well. But then I actually, like, look at the information and go, well, huh, if I start to pair this with other things that have been said by Disney in the past or relative to other projects, then it starts to... You know what I mean? Like, where's the engagement with what's actually presented in front of you? No. Instead of just, like, well, the headline said that they're doing well, so... Because if you oh, look yeah. at X-Men 97 ratings, you'll find stuff from, like, April and everything that it's possibly unsuccessful, that it's got lower viewership. I, and... I think it's just, like, it's because you drew attention to it earlier, Rags. Like, why would they say the most viewed full-length animation series finale rather than, well, it's the most viewed thing since, like, you know, uh, like, WandaVision or something. Like, it was, why is it being compared to something, like, why that point of comparison? Doesn't that just make you think? It's kind of like how when video games say, well, we shipped this many copies. It's like, ah, why not how many you actually sold to people, though? Why shipped? Or this made the most revenue within this amount of time. It's like, why didn't you just say how many copies you sold? Anytime it's a little bit more vague, it should just make you think. Yeah. It um, looks, um, yeah, if you just do a little bit of looking, you just look around for it. There's like Nielsen ratings for it. It's not in the Nielsen top 10. Even if you break it down, only streaming originals for us overall. It doesn't make a showing on the charts. And it all um, depends on what you view as being, like, successful enough, which is probably, people are going to disagree on that. I mean, we know that people disagree on that. Some people think simply breaking even is good enough, while other people would say, well, no, people, ex you know, a company might expect a much bigger success. It, um, had, it had less than, it had less than Echo. It has less than a third for the Percy Jackson. Hmm. So, By the way, yeah, the thing, I don't know. on the topic of uh, renewing shows despite the fact that you're not generating enough engagement of money. Uh, just just a, a quick Google. When was the last time the CW was profitable? Answer. The CW was never profitable. Lost <laughs> millions to Warner Brothers and CBS, despite apparently the success of the Arrowverse upon its sale to Nexstar Media. Some striking yeah. things about the CW's profitability were revealed, and it turns out the network has never been profitable. Yes, shows Wait. get made even though the fucking previous seasons aren't doing shit. It happens. Yeah. Because even if they're shit, if they don't have any other content to put in there, they're probably just going to renew something that was, like, as good as it's going to be in terms of revenue. It's like, oh, you made the most-ish. Not enough, but we still need content. So another... here, have another season or two. But even, even with these numbers, though, like, how many people watch NCIS? Then they get, like, 20 million viewers, like, per episode? I guess. I like, live. Sure. I, I think it is one of the highest rated shows still on television. Oh, it's mm. it's lower than that now. No, people don't watch as much television. But, like, for instance, yeah, you know, recent season of NCIS getting, like, eight, nine million viewers. It's like, well, yeah, compared to that, I don't know, is four million good enough? <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm not sure yeah, is it good okay. enough if it's on, like, a global streaming platform. 
Mm. Uh, and it's Marvel. <clears throat> and it's X-Men. Who knows? I mean, like, no conversations are happening in this video. It's all just Dunkalicious. Yeah, it's like, you said it's a flop, no, this Dunkalicious said implies it's tasty. He's, mm. He finds it tasty, ranks. We don't. Tasty engagement, huh? This is not tasty. This is not very delicious. I agree. At all. <laughs> like, it's something else to eat. Uh-oh. Like, uh, it's buffering for me. Wait, what? If you What's look happening? at Bo DeMeo, what is mm -hmm. happening? It, nope. um, it was buffering for me. I don't know what was that. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I think we're good now. Hopefully the stream is all right. It's good for me. I think so. Yeah. It yeah. looks good. Rising in rank. Oh, Dev, hello. Dev's hello, Dev. Hello, Dev. I watched your video. It was very, very good. But I told you this in text. It's very good. I, is it? Oh, sure. I might have to reload. What? It's doing a buff. <clears throat> oh, I got Yeah, it happens. Well, Go for it. Yeah. Do it. Stream did, did, did not did end good. Do it. No, the stream is fine. I have it open on the side there. Oh, nice and short video today. Is this? Eh? Also, is this yeah, music? You promised me a short EFAP today. I didn't promise you a short EFAP. I said we'd be you, doing a super chat catch I... up. <laughs> that is not necessarily short. He implied a short. He I didn't implied even... a short, and then plans changed. You didn't changed. promise it, but you, you insinuated that that would be the case. Fringy, I, I was just minding my own business. Oh, I was watching yes. Lord of the Rings. I had a very good day. And then I saw a message from all above. And when that happens on Saturdays, it's mostly for pain reasons. <laughs> pain reasons. This is, it's like the meme with the lady and the guy. And she's like, oh, come on, dear. It's four o'clock. It's time for your cock smashing or whatever. <laughs> like, this dude. The end of season one. And don't get reported in Variety for having 3.5 million viewers in the final episode, rising in rank with each subsequent episode. Yeah, we don't need to go over all that again. He's just... No, substanceless. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, these people do hate you. If you look at Bo DeMeo, the guy who's the showrunner for the show, he is a person who just really, really wants to tear down the society, put his global homo agenda in it. That is one of my favorite words the in the English agenda. language. Globo I, homo. Homo. Globo homo. There's too many O's. It's, it's like perfect. the N's and A's in banana. I just did. When does it end? <laughs> and then you better eat it up, consumer, or you're a bigot. The other comment. Why? Okay, we're done with that. Listen, I can be a, I can be a bigot regardless of whether or not I watch the X Men show. So, all right, give me some credit here. Look at this selection. How one decision destroyed Star Wars forever. I'm done here. Disney's destroying Star Wars. Disney just destroyed Star Wars forever with insane feminist activist given full control of a movie. All right, what are, what are we talking about? The past right. is perfect. See, there is a big. The past the is past perfect. Is okay. Well, what is what is <laughs> moving on to something else? <laughs> Uh, it, do you want to target someone else? <laughs> like, just holy shit! Really really sure this like guy. All the amount here, but he's like, how can I make it more nebulous so I can get more views? Ooh, Ooh, like, what if I have this other random guy <laughs> saying "Globo Homo"? Then back to literature devil. Back to literature devil. And look, literature devil is featuring an article that aged very well. So mm. Marvel superheroes are just for white men. for him. We should oh, give him a gosh. hug when we're done with the stream. He's just getting just getting dicked on this whole time. <laughs> Big difference between older Stan Lee Marvel and new corporate approved Marvel sanitized for a modern. Oh, wait, it, Dev says that Globo Homo means globalism and homogenization. Oh, uh, refers to everything becoming safe and unoffensive and devoid of meaning. That's, that thinks that it's LGBT don't that's so it's really funny. Homo. I've always thought Globo Homo meant the homos Theo, take it over. Listen, Theo, <laughs> you can insert your own. It, this is a subjective yeah. theme, right? Yes, if you want to pull. True. The homosexual agenda out of Globo Homo. You 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 can. We're not going to take that away from you. I needed to be the global homosexual cabal trying to like. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what they want the to GHC. do, but they're up to something. <laughs> they go get us with the homo. <laughs> oh, has been Okay, wait, well, wait. The the so literally devil. What was wrong with what he said though? Or he just uh, commenting on the whole like it's just the fact that he referenced old. Marvel and new corporate approved Marvel sanitized for a modern audience. Peach has been a established character where she has been a delicate princess for a very long time. There's 60 plus. These clips are too short. These I can't do anything with them. Either. Peter Parker Although isn't gay. We're correct. onto this. Thing. We were. Oh. We were here. We were looping. We're yeah, looping. We, we were We've doing already this talked before. about gay Peter Parker. This truly is the uh, the is it the fourth dimension Lost or the fifth the dimension bookcase? But remember, he was saying that these videos yeah, ramble now, on right and now on and on. Crying like uh, 
No, no! It's just, it's just flashing images all over the place. All these clips, they don't know what's happening anymore. Years of comics proven this. Stop ruining characters by playing politics. But the right-wing grifters, easy pickings. Simple. Is literature devil right-wing? Well, from what we've and seen, grifter, obviously, yeah. use the term Mary Sue. He, I was it's about so to it, say, he does... He's just, he like, doing his thing. Sweet. I don't get it. The, I don't this get is, it. What's, this what's, is what's, what's most baffling. Devil? We talked about this. He would have had a okay. conscious stream of thought and then chopped it all up in post. Because to him, everything is just normal. But to the audience, it's like, this is a wacky adventure through a roller coaster of roller coasters. Yeah. Where we're just like, what the fuck's going to happen next? Who's going to appear? What are they going to say? Will it be connected to even remotely anything? Who knows? Basic. I want to show you that I'm not just letting my political bias show. Okay. Let's start talking about Anita Sarkeesian <laughs> and Lily Orchard. Oh my god. We're going after Anita and Lily. Oh, you know what I, I do god. like the oh, old shit. shit. Anita Sarkeesian was for years the boogeyman of the internet, releasing fairly. Yeah, because she was like a liar, and I think she was an actual grifter. I mean, we can. Um... Well, I don't know, man. The whole. I had to learn a lot. I didn't know a lot about video games. I had to learn a lot about video games, and then, like, yeah, I love video games. I played Look video games, games on my childhood. childhood. Yeah. yeah. Also, I, I need $10,000 to open up a Discord server. Also, I'm <laughs> going to the UN. Also, a gajillion. Like, is... Can we not agree? <clears throat> Damage was done by her. She had very, like, misinformation, and she essentially convinced a bunch of people of a situation that wasn't actually actually happening or at least that there was a hell of a lot more context to it that she left out like um she jumped onto the scene and took the first like slice of pie of uh what would i guess eventually be referred to as like the victim olympics right she was like the horrors of being a woman in the video game industry and, was, and everyone was like wait what what's what's going on and a lot of people who were very well meaning were like oh well, that's awful what are the men what have the men done and all the men are like what, well yeah what have we what do you mean we we shit on everybody, man. It's fun. Why is it not fun anymore? And then, of course, all the videos about... We should probably cover one of them someday. Like the Hitman one. Or, um... Oh, or... yeah, the, the yeah. women versus tropes in video games yeah, series. A yeah, a classic, a throwback. I, I covered one of them years ago, but they are bad. Like, they are legitimately full of just lies. It's nuts. That's what I mean. Like, I... Is it not settled science at this point that she was not to be? I mean, he's, he's, this section is apparently him criticizing her, so let's see, I suppose. Okay. Mediocre video essays analyzing video games from a feminist perspective. And while her ah, videos her video do essays have were mediocre. faults, mm. I don't think it's a good idea to necessarily label them all as bad faith media criticisms. Oh. Poorly crafted. Yes. So we're giving deference to her, Man, of course, but everyone else that's in this all video. That's actually he's like not a liar. Okay. Mm. Fascinating. Like, oh, yeah, it's probably because she she just made a lot of mistakes when mm -hmm. she was doing her reviews of video yeah, games. Yeah, she's not a liar. Well, the other like, one is right-wing liars. liars. I think what's funny is hers are ex and liars. explicitly, on, like, feminist or political lenses. Meanwhile, what was the political lens that, that uh, Literature Devil was going with? That a, a character well, was too powerful and justifiably yeah, in the stories? Like, oh, right-winger. Like, what? what? There's, well, yeah, there wasn't there anything political right? the, the, the big claim of this video as well, they go into it with the attitude of they need to tear it apart. It's a puzzle that they have to, like, figure out. And then it, and it's like, so, okay, but the tropes versus video game, it was, like, the express purpose was we are going to be looking at video games to see, like, the, the gender dynamics involved in them, you know, between men and women. It's like, that one was actually with that goal in mind. Yeah. And yet, for some reason, like, that doesn't have any impact at all on whether or not he thinks that there was potentially bad faith. Like, that she might have read into things where there wasn't, you know, like, something that wasn't actually there. It's just interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it feels a bit unfair, doesn't it? Well, you might call it With a political bit, bias, I mean, but he assured us he doesn't have one. Oh. <laughs> but from the perspective of someone with minimal experience playing games... It's not necessarily bad faith. A lot of her errors Fuck come off. from someone. What you, I mean, how wait, convenient wait, for her, I guess. Like, how, yeah. And also, she a, said that she oh, loved video games, and she plays a lot of video games. She had that picture where she had a big stack of Xbox 360 <laughs> games. So what are you talking about? And the about? legendary oh, image yeah, of her with, a, like, an N64 controller <laughs> as a kid. You see proof. <laughs> yeah. And you just wonder if it, that picture was taken, and then she was like, what is this? Is it like a... And I, do, I do like that as well. Oh, she just made a few errors on the, the project that she raised, what? Wasn't it like well over $100,000 on the Kickstarter? Oh, something crazy. That? Oh, yeah, somebody who just didn't know a lot about video games. You know, she got some things wrong on that project that she got a, a lot of money for. And got massive, like, media 
uh, yeah. like support over as well. I mean, she convinced like, people of an environment that, as far as I'm concerned, was like a is like oh shit, we we need like a lot of other people to explain this to people who aren't familiar. Because when the internet became more and more mainstream, it like it it is continuously in waves shocked the shit out of normal people who don't use it at all. Like that's what happens over there. And yeah. like we're sitting, you're like it's happened for ages. It's fine. What do you mean? In fact, go away. <laughs> you're gonna ruin it. Just isn't experienced with the medium. Doesn't know the experience of female gamers. What, wait, what's Stella Blade here? Ooh. Stop. What you just said? She does not know the experience of female gamers. Isn't that? That's isn't that an overstep? Uh, isn't that controversial? Isn't that I'm really, really fucked well, you? I was, well, I was about to say, isn't that an overstep to us? It's like you can't say that about her. She has, she's yeah. a lady, she's played a video game, she may not have played many, but she's played them. She yeah. said that she played a lot of them, and you're doubting that. You can't just go out here denying people's experiences. Yeah, you horrible person. Yeah, you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> you actually just can't do that. Stop it. <laughs> but they are some bad faith criticisms within Anita Sarkeesian's greater lens okay. that I feel a lot of people, especially Adi. on the left, refuse to engage with. Primarily because she was a target of so much harassment. But enough time has passed. We can actually look at some of her bad faith arguments. Oh. Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. Now no. that everyone else has already shit on someone, now it's fine because the, well, you I think can the, criticize someone whenever you want to. It doesn't matter. I think what he was when, saying is when, you don't want to be critical of her work because she's already got so many evil people coming after her in all kinds of different ways. But now yeah, that the dust is settled. Yeah, bullshit. Fuck off. Now we can pick apart all of our arguments. Yeah. Well, all that tells us is that, from his point of view, the left, as he's described it in that dichotomy back then, were just lying about her and saying she was good because they didn't want to uh, pile on. And he presents that as though that's, like, altruistic. Yeah, which yeah. is not. In happened. fact, one might call it grifty. Mm, it sounds good. like now that you know where you can be safe, now you can do the criticisms. Now, now that, that it's you know safe you're to safe. do it, you got to engage yeah. in criticism and address them Fuck as man. bad faith. Take two things into account. Her okay. restrictive lens of feminism and her tendency to manipulate the game mechanics to prove a point. Well, and a restrictive lens of a particular brand of feminism too. Like there's subcategories mm. for this. Mm. The latter point is easy to prove first, so we'll start there. Okay. Once a person is reduced to the um, status of object, hey. dude, he actually has no original thoughts. Yeah, this is the this is the <laughs> main point a lot of people no know about him, but why not? Let's do it. Object because it actually has no original thoughts. That's incredible. This is all stuff we've seen before. Permitted. In Hitman, she constantly implies the games encourage yes, players. Yes, you watched Thunderfoot's video. Yes, yeah, this is everyone's you videos. Watch. Everyone's uh... <laughs> acts of violence in areas where you can voyeur on models. Players are then invited to explore and exploit those situations during their playthrough. Oh, dude, he actually has no <laughs> But doing board. this is actually counter to the game's mechanics. The game yeah, play it, man. Do you love the way that he talks as if it is his ideas, actually, though? I <laughs> discovered this. Did you know that actually that's counter to the game's mechanics? Do you think he's ever played a hit? Why do you sound like Gundam with that voice? <laughs> that's not Gundam's <laughs> voice. Do you think he has ever played a Hitman game? No. I wonder. No, no. I don't think for a second you ever played a Hitman game. Oh, I haven't. Oh god, this is so, so fascinating. This is so. It's like, ah, yes, let's critique it. It is with one of the most obvious, known, and it has been discussed for years. Blatant misrepresentations of a video yeah. game in one of the now videos. that it's, it's safe. It's like it's Anita like you just googled that. Anita Sarkeesian <laughs> wrong video games. <laughs> 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 it's been long enough. Let's dust off the criticisms. Let's get them in. <laughs> game punishes you for taking, for making too much of a scene. Why you do you could, leave that cut in? You can yeah, do it again. It can't, it can't even explain it coherently. The game punishes you for doing anything that it views as like non-essential to getting your target in the most yeah. stealthy way possible. He's, He's not, not even good that. at copying other people's work. work. You can't explain yeah, like that. <laughs> And the fact that you have to put in text, you can literally see the score go down. Why couldn't you explain that? Did you forget yeah, that? Yeah, just say it. Just say it. And if you did forget oh, it, man. record your video. Yeah, you can always just do it again. Do another line. No, he, he clearly does not. Oh, God, what is this? What is, what's the, what's the, the thumbs score... up do? Is that her video or his uh, video? It's censor blocked. Censoring, I guess. Censoring, I don't know. Well, he's only punching it, them. Probably... There's no blood, right? If you can't yeah. show that, well, yeah, the first yeah, woman got he, fucked he up. He showed it. He showed it already earlier, yeah. so I don't so know what this is about. 
The player cannot help but treat these female bodies as things to be acted upon because they were designed, constructed, <laughs> I haven't and heard that in a while. Yeah, yeah. Like the video. He has a, so want He's using the symbol for liking the video as a the censorship. Yeah. Where Hitman is murdering women. <laughs> Beating women is based. Subscribe for more. In violence, up and for every your dead time woman is not to your benefit. Players are meant to derive a perverse pleasure from desecrating the bodies of unsuspecting Desecr virtual Desecrating. I kind of want to rewatch the video. You can virtual do it, characters. but you can do a lot of things in video games. You can have Mario try to give Koopas little forehead kisses in every Mario game, but that doesn't well, mean it'll I mean, end you well. Can't really you. do that, can you? you can't really. No. What, a, what a weird yeah, way to make a point. Be, theater um, of the mind. I think that was that. supposed it's to be a so meme. The jumping. easiest thing to say is she's saying that the game rewards you for it, where it literally detracts points if you do it. Well, yeah, I think what he wanted to yeah. say was you can walk up to a Koopa, but it'll hurt you. You won't be able to, like, you can't just make any choice you want. Or, or... In fact, no, I don't think that's what he said at all. <laughs> like, I just, I'm just going to let no, it go. The easier one would be, like, you in a racing game, you can choose to go in the opposite direction. You can choose to do that. But it's not like the game is encouraging you or incentivizing you to do it when you choose to do it. You're, yeah. you're acting contrary to the game's, like, objectives. How did he bungle the this? I don't know, this is an easy, easy dunk. Problem is, though, that Anita conflates being able to do a thing in a game with the game encouraging you. Uh, I don't know why yes, you're yes, that is... it's, it's just complete mis like deception. Like, she yeah. is lying. Well, She's yeah, lying, and, and lying doing it, knowing how the game works. Why is he explaining it as though it was like a thing we hadn't, most people hadn't quite cracked yet? Like, he, he said that yeah, so slowly, but it's it like, that's, that's the take, a yes. This was, a, this was settled a decade ago. <laughs> I told you, he dug up a chest from the ancient sea. Oh, no, <laughs> a little time capsule in his backyard. I don't think every single thing I've heard in this video has been from somewhere else at some point in time. To do said thing. Once a person is reduced to the status of objecthood, violence against that object becomes intrinsically permitted. I, uh, we, look, we're not what dealing with her video, sense. okay? But I find that less disturbing than how her specific brand of feminism impacts her criticisms. You see, what a lot of people don't realize is that feminism isn't a singular philosophy. Well, a lot of people don't realize oh, wow, I didn't realize that. that. Oh, thank you for telling me. Philosophy. It is. Every, yeah. Everyone knows this. Oh. this is the thing well, I mean, let's let, it, let yeah. bro cook his very he old steak. <laughs> <laughs> the burn is steak. <laughs> Slather like, with ketchup. Been, and, like, the been darkest the depths of the freezer. You know? It's you just know, this carbon block hates some ketchup. <laughs> has frostbite on it. And he's just like, oh, I'm just going to slow cook it and be fine. It's so funny because he'll finish his like, overall thing and we'll just be like, oh, yeah, wow, yeah. Dude, bro. Wow. Wow. My, 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 look at the time. It's crazy. First wave feminism, and then second wave feminism, and then third wave feminism. <laughs> and have you heard of something called intersectionality? <laughs> and then a splintering oh of God. all Every kinds of says interesting this. feminisms that regard mm. different principles that can conflict with other schools of thought. You're like, yep, 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 yep. I hate my life. Especially if you've listened to right wing. Well, someone just said like, you're that. ignoring the fact that he's talking to his audience who view feminism differently. It's like, no, this is what everyone should view feminism as. There are several feminisms. It's not one. Yeah. Obviously, that is just yeah. true. That's why many feminists really didn't like Anita. They were like, stop making us look like crazy weirdos well, who hate everything. There please. are feminists who fight each other. That is a thing. It's that as simple as that because they come from different schools of thought. As we already know, over it. everyone knows this. Why isn't it playing? God, Lord. Damn, does it? Wow. Really? Tell me more. This isn't fair. It's not why playing for me. Why was the long pause there? Yeah, it well, is playing for us. Yeah, it's playing yeah, for me. Play. How, how lucky. Watch it still playing, <laughs> yeah. I'm the, the, the least, like, I'm the, I'm the worst person it could not play for, because obviously yeah. you're going to have to play it again. <laughs> Otherwise, the people at home won't know what insights they missed out on. I am refreshing. Hang on. You're right. I feel like the stream. longer any stream goes on, the more like the stream becomes unstable. <laughs> well, so much cringe. That's just tired. your opinion, bro. Oh, it's not even loading anymore. You have to give me a sec. Oh. Nice. Got another second. That's like your third second today. Jesus. That's no good. That's no good. You're too slow. Penis.
Nice. Nice. Too slow. Come on, step it up. All right. Nice cock. I think it's loaded. We good. I think. In grifters all your life. Feminism is actually an umbrella term that applies to multiple different subsets mm. of. Did you know that, Mifflin? Mm. Look, I, I I feel like you're mansplaining Maybe we'll know that right now. Wave okay? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Why are you mansplaining feminism to me? A male, it's rude. Allegedly. And she's not even coming at it from a feminist lens. She's coming at it from reality, bro. She's describing the yeah. truth wave feminism these occur because over time people's perspectives on gender rights oh. issues and etc have shifted as new information becomes available <laughs> what is happening uh, right now oh, oh, oh. am it, i still awake oh, oh, still oh, here. Oh, we've not entered the fourth oh, dimension oh, gender identity has become a huge gender identity. part of okay, discussion okay. and oh, this goes beyond okay. simply just what gender you're assigned at birth <laughs> gender expression okay. is a huge point as well oh, with several feminists right. in disagreement really cool. on whether can i have a hug I need a hug. No way. It's someone to hold me. Guys, this is important. You have to listen. The person who chooses how to express their own gender. How yeah, this is about gender expression. Guys. In case it's very it's important. obvious, you I have to pay attention. In that last point, that people should be able to express their gender however they see fit. Yeah, me too. What is that? So what is that? Are you two critics lying to me? This discussion of forming or rejecting traditional femininity. I find remember, guys, I'm a good ally. I like the transes and the non-binaries. Particular form of feminism. When we're pacifism, <laughs> beauty, <laughs> and intelligence are key so distinguishing going. features. Agreed, but definitely. She also regards anything assigned with traditional fe female presentation, uh, yeah. like dresses or fluffy bows, uh, yeah. to be negative, to be stereotypical, uh, to be cliche. Thankfully, yeah, those, those are negative. To queer gendered signifiers ahead, like the... a pink outfit or a pretty oh. bow in her hair. Nor does it present her gender as some kind of surprise <laughs> twist like we see in the original Metroid. Look how sexualified this character is. I hate it. Is that it's, even a human? I is that know. a black lady? Or <laughs> what just happened? I don't, I don't know. We're moving on. In both visual design <laughs> look and at the writing, dog running. sword and sword look at the dog is so go. gender. As a result, Jeeps. she creates a particular box for which things can be valid in her eyes it's as female rep or invalid. <laughs> this feels like it should be in a different no, okay, video, man. Okay, like, yeah, no, yeah. I, uh, he has to I, show okay, the world that he's I'm a good actually, ally with the I'm actually stunned. Now I'm like baffled by this entire video. It's it's like I don't get it now. I don't understand like what how any of this is connected. This is some proper fucking yapping. Holy fuck! <laughs> I feel like I just feel like lying down on my floor. Unlike and the deaths into a of ball. so many female characters in games, which serve the purpose of fueling the development of male characters, the Scythian's death is tragic <laughs> because her life had intrinsic value. What? What is the, what does this what? have to do with what are you doing? What, what, what is what this? are you doing? Does this character not have intrinsic to value? Look, Mollers, like, there's a secret Gadelp video. Chat, are you just tricking us? Chat, I need you Why to appreciate this. If you weren't looking, if you were playing your video, look over to the second monitor, right? Watch this. Hello over there. Outside that box. Hi everyone. Unlike the I'm deaths of so many female characters in games, which serve it's the purpose of fueling character. the development of male characters. The Scythian's death is tragic because her life had intrinsic value. What? What is happening? This character. Well, he's trying to say that this character does not have that, intrinsic uh, value. Is this is this like a really bad what, attempt at explaining how like? <laughs> it's on the end of it. Yeah. Intrinsic. Yeah, intrinsic. Well, but intrinsic. <laughs> so it, was this? I, I guess she said this. Trying to address because she's talking about fridging. That's what she's doing, right? Because that was a big part of the tropes versus women in video games, right? Of like. Princess Peach yeah, gets abducted, and that's all her role is, so that Mario can come save the day, and then so on and so forth. And now he's realizing, it's like, wait, but a, ca a female character can die, and it can have an influence on the male character's story, and they could still be a character. We actually did a whole point, episode on this. Well, but also, the, the, I mean, the confusion for me is, like, you need a connecting point. You, why didn't you speak this counter instead of doing this? Because exactly. uh, anybody who's even slightly confused would be like, wait, sorry, what? What's happening here? And then, of course, you're both wrong anyway, because you both seem to agree with the notion of characters have to have intrinsic value. What does that even mean to, like, the universe of the story? Or, like, they have development that is pr primarily well, yeah, themselves? He's, he's like, not even begun to try and unpack the topic of fridging and whether or not that's a valid critique of writing. <clears throat> like, he hasn't even done that. People love to throw out the terms intrinsic and inherent like, really willy-nilly. <laughs> Sometimes it's, it's like even used almost correctly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, these pick they yeah, this, this character too. here has no intrinsic value. Why didn't he speak as if that was this? Why is it in text and image form? Why does he make these decisions? 
That's just a oh, fun of this video. I like Why the didn't you above. just say this? Just say it. Just I like the fact that he had to put the word above here to know who it was that he was referring I to. Thought, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought maybe void. it would be the black void in the... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> above. I was just black looking at my... I was just looking Wait, at what my... am I supposed to be looking at? There's I was no looking at my surfers here. I was looking on my TV that's um, uh, that's uh, off right now above my <laughs> other screen. It's like, huh? What's up there? <laughs> How did you get there? No, well, whatever it is, it's no intrinsic... It's intrinsic to value. Intrinsic to value. How do you leave this in your video? It's so because easy to he fix. doesn't give a fuck. Nobody proofed it for him. He didn't even proof it. He was just like, ah, whatever, it's done. This video is a Bro. poster child for why you need to edit things and why you need to re-record. If you go, I never really understood it. Just, you need, if you have more to say, then say it with your words <laughs> and your microphone. You have them. Don't confusingly add them in text later I suppose on. suppose if you have... Engagement farming, and then here we are. If you have a deadline you cannot evade, I suppose. <laughs> but still, you know... It doesn't take too someone long, should, right? It takes a moment. Take it takes someone a second take that. for him to say, oh, so this character doesn't have intrinsic value? And he could just say that. <laughs> I feel someone like this is very exploitable. Sorry, go on. Oh, I was I just wanted to do a meme. Someone should take that picture and just make, uh, make it above protein and urine. I was about to <laughs> <Yeah>. I was <laughs> going to go a different no meme. I just value. think this is, a very, this is a very exploitable image to just, you know, place below, <laughs> place Aerith calling just about anything, you know, yeah. no intrinsic value. Sorry, no intrinsic to value. Intrinsic. <laughs> it would it would be faster and easier for me to record a line than it would be to go and add in a text thing and then put in the text and then have it show up and then time the text. It, yeah, even, it, even that if would it take sounds longer than just right? saying the line again. Even if it sounds different, yeah. you sound like you're in a different room. Yeah, that would be the fine. least of this video's editing crimes. <laughs> True. <laughs> this means a ton of beloved characters are arbitrarily criticized for falling outside her particular parameters. Why is he talking it's about this like it's new? Like as if this wasn't well, no, something then, that had been said a decade ago. And also, that then it wouldn't be arbitrary. It would be whether or not it conforms to her standards. That's, that's The standards well, might be arbitrary, maybe, but the the decision wouldn't be arbitrary. Ain't it nuts that uh, I, I gotta say it for her just like everyone else? We haven't got enough from her to understand her point of view on this. Like, I, I don't know exactly yeah, what her parameters are, her references yeah, are. I know that this, is a, this was a big part of the series of, like, fridging as a topic, but if I hadn't watched any of Nita Sarkeesian videos before, I'd be very confused. Yeah. Why are you talking about Aerith? Like, what's that going to do with anything? Nintendo characters like Princess Peach, Princess Zelda, and even Samus Aran. Consequently, the trope robs women in peril from the opportunity of being the architects of their own escape, and therefore prevents them from becoming archetypal heroes themselves. Disguised as Sheik, she is a helpful and active participant in the adventure, transforms back into her more stereotypically feminine form of Princess Zelda, she's captured within three minutes. Her rescue then becomes <laughs> central to the she's end of Link's quest. Long. Once in a while, mm -hmm. she might be given the opportunity to have a slightly more active role in facilitating the hero's quest, typically by opening doors, giving hints, power-ups, and other helpful boring. items. Uh -huh. Which is uh -huh. That is boring. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's wrong. But all right, yeah, like, it's all just old shit. You know? The same thing a lot of right-wing grifters do with their arguments, that they have a very specific box as to what they deem acceptable, and if it falls outside that box, it is seen as bad. Then they're not the grifting! Then that's it's like, yeah, that's then believe. that's just, that's, by the way, that's everything. That's all people. That is actually everything, I have everything, a box right. of things. I have a box of things. I, I, mine's more of a circle, just for aesthetics. But I've got my circle <laughs> like of better. all the things that I like, and anything outside of that box, slash circle, I don't like. Yeah, and, and that's okay. Everyone. That's okay and normal. That yep. is, that is the only and way your box. you can have standard and constant. Your box or circle might get bigger or smaller depending on what people can convince you of or what experiences you have. Yes. The idea that he accuses people of taking, like, they have some position and things that go against or violate that position they disapprove of. Ah, yes, this is grifting because they are doing it for money when you've specifically well, commented that they are doing it because of a position. It's even funnier than that, Theo, because remember, he just connected Anita directly to them, but he described them as the lying grifters and her as she's making a mistake. She's, she's, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, if anything, right, yes. the person, yeah, the, the literature devil here is the right-wing grifter, which is what he's implying strongly. He's the one given the arguments that seem to make sense. So I guess I'm getting closer to a Nazi every day. Damn. Darn it. The only difference is Anita is doing this from a leftist perspective, where... Meaning she's closer to correct from his point of view. So it's oh, like... yeah, of course. Yeah, the, the farther you go left, then the better er... er. The right wing whatever. grifters doing from a right wing perspective, mm -hmm. but it's the uh, same problem. It's the same faulty argument, just applied through different political lenses. And the end result is the same. 
rather than engage with the media in question, both apply a restrictive limitation to what is and all limitations as opposed to an un yeah there we yeah go. <laughs> <laughs> isn't good isn't good which isn't ignores good. a lot of the statements made by audience well members. hey wait a minute all right anita sarkeesian yeah. would say well no i love these games i'm just saying that in this aspect they've got problems mm. yeah, yeah, I'm doing it for the love of the i'd also like to reinvoke again not me though <laughs> with all of this yes every statement not me yeah. i don't do any of the things i've listed in this video i am the of exception to the rule i'm special certain particular type of media they may find certain characters empowering like bayonetta which who were criticized by nita sarkeesian when they first came around now they regard as a, as a beloved icon of video games but Anita Sarkeesian well, argued uh, that being well, no, a... they were regarded as good video games when they came out, all right? They have the hate <laughs> and describe there. Well, hang on. Like, yeah. this is... I'm not sure if I'm going to be heading toward defending Anita for this one, but not because I think she's right, but that she's allowed to have this perspective. It doesn't make her... Um, she's got a brand of feminism that informs her understanding of tropes in video games, and she believes Bayonetta is a step backward in male that regard. Gaze, right? Yeah, I'll like disagree yeah. with her on that. However, you can't... I love like, the, the male gaze. The frequency here seems to be, which I, I, is only because I see the word on screen, that um, <laughs> the, the, like, the, the other people, because he just said like she's not listening to other people's input, which is the Bayonetta is like, accepted as actually good now. It's like That doesn't... That wouldn't actually change anything about her perspective necessarily. It's not based on everyone's approval. It's what she's got as a system, which no, you can poke I... holes in. But people I mean, liking... Has, it's not like Mario became more approved now than he was in 2012. Yeah, like, uh, well, we'll let him continue overcooking. We'll see what he says. Find certain characters empowering, like Bayonetta, which, who were criticized by Nita Sarkeesian when they first came around. Now they regard as a, as a beloved icon of video games, but Anita Sarkeesian argued that Bayonetta was sexist. This ignored the opinion of a lot of women who found her empowering. That's not, I don't even know why. Well, which, that doesn't even, why would that even matter? She could yeah, disagree that's... with them. Oh yeah, they, we, they, they constantly talked about the whole internalized misogyny element <clears throat> and letting a male dominate society, control their views on themselves and expression and blah, 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 blah. So their views didn't count. They How are you corrupted. doing this? Yeah, like, How are you heard this like... Before. I, I'm almost like annoyed on behalf of Anita. It's like, she doesn't have to agree with your point of view or this person's point of view because women do. What the fuck is that? How do, oh, like, damn yeah. women. What if, what if she disagrees with a lot of women? Is that okay? Is she allowed to do that? I'm not, so... I just don't... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is such a weird way to poke holes in Anita. It's like, she doesn't realize that many women yeah, actually Anita like Bayonetta. She doesn't understand that people, yeah, like her. As if, as if women didn't like her back then as well? Like, oh so yeah, bizarre. now she's a beloved character. Yes, Bayonetta's height of popularity is right now. Right at this particular <laughs> Right moment. after Bayonetta 3, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I um I, someone in chat is saying, how is he losing to Anita? I don't understand. Yeah, I'm a little bit baffled. I am a little bit perplexed. And a lot of lesbians who wanted to, you know. <laughs> oh, why no, did I you don't do know. this? Oh, why did you do this? What's the joke? Oh, and why? I don't know. Oh, what? You could have not done this. That was you so awkward. You can ring on YouTube. That made me feel oh, uncomfortable. Did, I, did anyone else I, get the vibe of like this. the two of them might do the do the sex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but you're, <laughs> why is he being so sex negative? Why is he being so <laughs> weird about sex? Like <laughs> every opportunity to not do this, and he did it. They might have the sex. <laughs> yeah. it's like what the I fuck? I didn't like that part. <laughs> made me deeply uncomfortable. Please never do that again. Yeah. <laughs> Who felt very attracted no. to Bayonetta? Because can you blame him? Or bisexuals, for that matter. Stop it! What? The point is, Anita's particular or straight. What the fuck men. did that have to do with like? I mean, if like... we're gonna throw an them out of the bus, I think we're gonna have an aneurysm soon. Joseph Anderson looking ass joke, like Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, look at those uh, characters. Sex. They oh. like to 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 put it in each other. Uh, <laughs> penis. <laughs> Kill lens of feminism was deemed as the authentic statement. Outside of that, nothing counted. Ignoring the yeah. voices of women. Well, but there's always going to be a woman who disagrees woman. with her because women are Anita not. Anita is the voice of a woman. I, I don't yeah, know. He's also, a, what the fuck? Like, bear in mind that there was a, ignoring the voices of men who are like, but I like 
I don't know, playing as Mario, rescuing Princess Peach. <laughs> no, yeah, nobody cares about men's voices. Fuck off. <laughs> I like to rescue women from peril. I didn't think that was a bad I'm thing, late. but I guess I'm it was so pretty I'm neat. Helping, I thought I was <laughs> being nice. <laughs> So fucking weird to be like Anita. You need to respect just... women's opinions. The <laughs> male like, gamer like what about my Alan own? up on the cross in the first episode of Smiling Friends. <laughs> I just wanted <laughs> to help the princess. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to be a good person. Mm -hmm. Interesting take. The difference here is that unlike a lot of drifters, Anita doesn't waste her time. She gets oh. right to the point. Um, yeah. Um, uh, every, come her, on. her existence uh, is a waste of time. I was that gonna say, like, didn't this, actually, this is such fucking horseshit. He, he didn't want to criticize her. Just fucking stop it. I, I don't love, know. I'm, I feel fucking lied to right now. I love now. how blatant Fuck this off. is in terms of being the I'm covering my own ass section yeah. because he literally said yeah, it and yeah. then he went after after Anita and did it in the most softball way Off, imaginable yeah. with the giant it fucking elaborate Which explanation as to how, how she might be wrong. How disproportionate her influence was compared to like any individual YouTuber you could be pointing to right now. Wasn't she going to like universities getting paid a lot of money doing speeches, consulting on video games mm -hmm. directly? She went to the like, fucking the UN. Yeah, the amount of influence that she had was insane. And even then, he's like, hey, look, all right, you know, she didn't waste time. And, you know, she, she made some mistakes, time. but it's because she didn't know that much about video games while getting paid a lot of money to do yeah, speeches at, at least... all of these different places and getting a bunch of money to do a video series talking about the uh, tropes, which I don't even know if she finished. I don't even know if she even finished that series. No, I, I think you're right. I think she, I'm not sure she finished it. I know that she was delivering super late with all of it. Wasn't Macintosh her editor as well? Yes, yeah, Jonathan McIntosh. Oh, then he spun least... off his own little detective agency. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, at least she steals times, money. Yeah. <laughs> at least she steals your money without wasting your time. She does yeah. it quickly, so that's fine. It's like, okay, <laughs> cool. Point. But Which it's... means her points hit harder because you're not falling asleep while watching her videos. Um, you might not fucking be. How do you know what to do with this? Like, you're just. Uh, I wish I could. Anymore, right? I wish I could. He's just talking about how much fun he has with his stuff. It's like, okay, we didn't, man. It's like, it's just, just putting Those it out. Those videos there. were dry. And yes. they were very dry, dry videos. If your goal was to cover your ass, why are you doing this? Yeah. Why yeah, you, you didn't have to. Up? Well, yeah, you didn't have, have to, to criticize. Or is part. this meant to be like, see, look at me, I can be neutral. Anyway, back to shitting on Well, that's the thing. <laughs> I can be neutral <laughs> by... Anyway, literature devil. I can be neutral <laughs> by giving light criticism to what I perceive as the complete opposite and then complimenting the shit out of them. And, and light criticism of videos from ten years ago as well. <laughs> yeah, after saying the dust ago. is settled, she's, you know, it's nice and clean. Like, it, it, and remember, he's, he's like hiding behind the skirts of a bunch of women's opinions that she makes Anita wrong, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, God, the section was yeah. so, like, cowardly. One of the most accepted Absolutely. criticism of her videos, and then said didn't respect other women, and talked about gender identity for like five minutes. And also, <laughs> all section. of the mistakes were because she doesn't really know a lot about video games. Anyway, moving on. This also means right-wing grifters can easily understand her They're grifting, what? but not Anita. Wait. She was just mistaken. Why would he- wouldn't that like take away- he said right-wing grifters can easily understand her points. You're saying they understood her and considered her wrong. Why wouldn't you say that they didn't understand what she was saying? Wouldn't that be, be beneficial to her? Or is the argument like, well, you see, here's the thing. She did it in a way that could be broken down, whereas the, the grifters, they figured out a way to do it in a way that can't be broken down. Make it like five hours long, uh -huh. like that molar fuck. <laughs> and then it becomes impenetrable. Nobody can do it. Because I can't video. deal with any of the arguments myself, so, you know, <laughs> it's impenetrable. <laughs> This also means right-wing grifters can easily understand her points. Anita is clear, concise, and that makes her perfect for rebuttals because she's always saying something. I can't fucking believe that. This is, to be clear, yeah, this is his it's section on how she's virtue. wrong. <laughs> Remember, uh -huh. YouTube critics are lying to you. The Anita section, she's great. She's so fucking good. You know how this sounds? This sounds like... She might be grifting you, but I respect the hustle, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, Anita. <Adidas. laughs> Every few seconds, there's a new piece of content to create. What? This uh, is opposed is to it actually just because there's new images popping up on screen? Yeah. Like, ah, yeah, like... there's new information, new image popping up on screen. That sounds a bit dopamine -ish. Yeah. Absolutely. Hmm. I know that word, dopamine. It's a wild video, man. 
This is opposed to your average right wing grift video where you can literally cut out 70 percent. Why did you? Of course you think this. You have decided you disagree with them on everything, but with her you agree with her on most stuff. It's like it's the it's the most pointless thing to announce ever. The people I like make videos that have more stuff in it that's useful. The people I don't like don't. That's just a reality. I bet you guys didn't know that. That's just true. Wow. Unlike this right, those right wing grifters shows Eric July, Literal Devil again. It's like, oh, so I guess you do think that. Just what a okay. coincidence! All the people I, I don't like make bad videos, and all the people I do like make good videos. I mean, I've got oh, a criticism yes. here and there from a decade ago, but you know, into their words. Damn, that is convenient. And lose nothing pertaining to the central argument. In fact, you don't know what the, the argument times, is. You haven't seen yeah, the videos. Don't. You don't watch these people. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, clearly. You can cut out 70% of the video and all you do. Oh, man. Can you guys think of a video we could cut 70% plus out of it? We wouldn't lose no, shit. Oh, I don't know. Mm. God, it's a really um, tough question, Mahler. I don't know. <laughs> I, man, none really come to mind. All those, well, all those right wing grifter videos, of course. Oh, yeah. But those all are the those, only yeah. ones that come to mind. I can't think of any other ones that we could cut down. <sighs> Doing this, cutting them out, repeating the. I mean, like, there, there used to be four nights, and then they had to cut, you know, basically, th you know, 25% of them out. So, yeah, there's, that's why there's three now. Mm. Same statement. This is not the case, however, for Lily Orchard, who has never heard of a sensual theme. What country is that? Is it, what, did you say <laughs> sensual theme? Sen I think he's trying to oh. say central, but I think he, he, yeah, like he's a temptation. Yeah, but he has a speaking problem. So this is very which is weird when he was criticizing other people for mispronouncing things. Yeah, yeah he's... Very not fond of enunciation, this fella. For like. nope. Lily Orchard, who has never heard of a sensual thesis she can stick to. <laughs> he did say sensual. <laughs> he did. Sensual he thesis. Sensual. I mean, I'm right. gonna have a sensual <laughs> thesis, I guess. Oh, yeah, I could use one of those. I just, yeah. I'm glad it always I goes off on long, rambling video essays, where she completely misrepresents. Long, rambling those video essays. Rambling video rambling essays. Video have you guys seen a. Uh, have you, you guys familiar mm. with long, rambling video essays? Rags, I feel like you and I are more familiar than anyone on Earth at this point. We are experts. We should be professors in a university. <laughs> <laughs> we should have what, what do they call tenure. That's what we need. It's the target of her criticism and delivers several personalized insults for people she deems lesser than her. Becky's not very smart, tried to do one thing, smashed her face into a wall, whatever, I get it. Because nobody who watches you tend to ask What was that? What the fuck? These are fictional characters. They're not yeah, real. Yeah, these are fictional characters. They're not what? real. People. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> what, to, what? What are we doing? <laughs> Did you just say Cartoons. Utena? Oh my god. Utena. It's Utena. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, oh wait! Oh, this is ironic because of the Yasuke argument he brought up earlier. That's deliciously one ironic. Thing uh, smashed yeah. her face into a wall. Whatever, I get it. Because nobody who watches Utena as an adult sees a revolutionary step forward in gay rep and anime. What they see is a fucking mess. There's no way around it. This makes him come off like a fucking asshole. What? What's the it's problem? He's in yeah. insulting the characters. Oh, that's just your opinion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but well, that elevates you know, it because of what you said at the beginning. Like, Her opinion uh, is sacrosanct. Your opinion. A lot of you are probably wanting me to go into the personal accusations against Lily, but if what? we look Why into not? the accusations made about half the grifters we've discussed so far. According to the charges, what is, what, what is this? Rikita, I don't... Domestic I, this... violence restrict... What is happening? Wait, this is what Rikita is Law. You haven't even yeah, mentioned but... Rikita Law in this whole video. Why is this here? What does this have to do and with his media opinions? And you're using this as an own? I'm so That's... wait. Let let I need to hear this one. Like, I mean, what is yeah. this section? A lot of you are probably wanting me to go into the personal accusations against Lily. Does anyone else smell toast? Into the accusations made about half the grifters no? we've discussed so what? far. <laughs> we'd be here all day. We're not going to go into the accusations made against this YouTuber because if we did that for everyone, we'd be here all day. And then cites accusations made against someone who's not even in the fucking video. Or isn't even into media and, criticism. He's like a lawyer guy who covers. Stuff I, well, like I guess that. he's done some media, but like it, I don't even. What? What? What the? F or is he a right wing grifter too? Is he in that like basket of people? So just throw out that he did things that are completely unrelated to his political opinions. I just don't know what because people do on the left this. don't use drugs. Just to be clear, that is not a thing that they do. What kind of? We were not going to be covering accusations because everyone's got them. <laughs> I guess, I don't know about that, Including this person who wasn't even in this video up until this point. <sighs> ...against Lily, but if we looked into the accusations made about half the grifters we've discussed so far, we'd be here all day. Now, Lily Orchard is really weird. unique. She writes her scripts in stream of consciousness, which is just when you write who your thoughts... You, who would do that? Yeah, who would do who that? Would do That's that? crazy.
to you. It's a rant, essentially, where she just says whatever comes to her mind, and there's no mm. editing involved. There's no secondary mm. thought. There's no point where she goes, okay, hang on, stop. Let me edit that out so it makes more sense. Oh, oh stop, oh. stop. Please stop. <laughs> You're making it so much worse. That, oh, would, that would make for a really bad video, I think. Could you imagine? That would be, that would be crazy. crazy. <laughs> so structure this so I'm improving my thesis or tying back to my core ideas. <laughs> just stop talking. Stop. And she's admitted this. This is not like a fake. I'm not lying about her. That's what she says. <laughs> show me. Show, show, show me. Stop show just it. dumping ammo into your foot. Please. Yeah. Stop. Hi. There's no toes left. You're running out of things <laughs> to shoot down there. You're shooting the blood into smaller pieces of blood. <laughs> she sustains flat. herself on pure frustration with media. Adhering that all media must conform to her very specific very rigid Adhering? perspectives is i don't know enough about her to know if her uh, perspective I don't know who or we're like stuff is very all, specific so. i just don't I know enough to, about her i'm gonna about. assume that it's the opposite of what he says though just to be on the safe <laughs> side we haven't don't covered me. lily orchard at all though i think some people want us to like in terms of some of the videos but we, I don't i've think we've... heard things they, they're very yeah. he's very bad very oh, bad. yeah i've heard very <laughs> bad things so. i literally have no fucking idea and what are these perspectives I couldn't tell you. Well, <laughs> I don't then know them fuck specifically off because leave me alone. it feels like she mm -hmm. contradicts them every other video. What she says in one video does not apply to another. It's whatever she Examples, likes. And her different topics? Criticisms aren't always good. Yeah, like, I have no idea what I'm meant to do with any of this. Like, yeah. I don't... Like he, I don't, I don't know. Anything. You like, insulting what, her is what, the greatest vindication of her content that I could <laughs> possibly imagine. <laughs> I might subscribe just for that. Yeah, I might. It's just itself. like, well, I can't provide you with any examples. Like, wh wh I don't, I don't know anything about like, how is this? How, what am I meant to do with this? Like, in terms I don't know. of tying it into how YouTube critics are lying to you a bad media criticism video essay. There's not enough information. I don't information. think we should. I don't think we should expect evidence at this point. <laughs> it's no, probably not going to happen. Not. Often they hey. are completely divorced Still from time. media, where she confuses fan canon and her head canon with what's written in the text. I watched a Pokemon review, half of that is- So if you want to see someone debunk her stuff, which would be me, check out a different video. Okay. <laughs> you could literally- doing? You could use clips from your own video. You well, get all those stream. clips from different streams, but yeah, you don't get your you own just, one? If you want to do it like this, like the easiest- Well, I mean, what you could- the easiest way to do it would be to just play your video and then capture- just, just do a video capture of that, of you playing that, and then just put that in your video, just plop it down. I've done if that, this... where you have the context of you watching a YouTube video, and you just record your screen as the video plays, and say, look, here, see? Yeah. If the so goal of this said, section you can, you can... is to prove something about Lily Orchard, maybe have something to do with Lily Orchard here, instead of Especially just being like... Especially if you've done it before, and the work's already done, yeah. and you just have to move it over. No. It's all her own fan canon, and her own made-up straw man arguments that she's fighting against. Oh, okay. you know, do you, know anybody, a, do you, oh, do you guys know anybody who does that? <laughs> like, crazy. This I have a... F this is, this video so sucks. Did to lose to Gun them. Gengar is on the screen. Did you know that the first printing of the Gengar uh, trading card was not in the base set? Even right. though Ghastly and Haunter were? Ooh. It wasn't right. until Fossil that they made a Gengar. So if you want to get the first printings of all three, then they will not be part of the same set. So I you see. cannot get a Shadowless Gengar because they didn't exist, like the Gasoline Hunter did. Well, well. That so now you does something. not help my mental state right now. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, just it should. more information it's, confusing me. Yeah, but this information will wash it's... out the old information. I mean, it's better than the information I've got so far, I guess, uh, for yeah. sure. Good stuff. Yeah. Whatever she personally likes is elevated. Whatever she does not like kind of. is yeah. demonized. Like? Um, that's kind uh, of just, that's just a normal, little bit. I think. With that's normal, normal. it's kind of normal within a vast spectrum, but that's kind of normal. Kind of normal, Things yeah. that I like, I elevate over the things I don't like, which is why those words exist yeah. and have meaning. And that's how I differentiate between things I like and don't like. The things I like, I like. I don't know, man. It's either the greatest thing of all time or the worst thing of all time. Oh, okay, this pretty video pretty is the worst thing of all time. So whatever she's describing <laughs> as the worst thing of all time, it can't possibly Brag, that be that trophy true. case is bursted at the seams. <laughs> it really is. We <laughs> ought to get another one, but I'm afraid of opening the old one. Yes. We might you, you guys might have to uh, get a new display for that now. You say display. Oh, display. No, display. I on got a you. T <laughs> without without a T. Who wants just extremes? Even if she has to make stuff up about the work she's criticizing. Whoa. <gasps> no, can Whoa, you, who no. would do that? Uh, who would do that?
point. No. But if you were a gay 13-year-old back in the 90s, this show and bootleg copies of Sailor Moon were all you had. Was I a gay 13? No, I wasn't. No, I couldn't have been a teenager in the 90s. That wouldn't have been possible. Okay, carry on. Were all you had. Were all you had. This text on screen again. Size so video goes into more detail about why Lily is so, so wrong here. So recommending another different video. Can you just Nobody decide? Why does like this video decide. require so much research from Nobody me? Nobody knows like, why. Oh, they've said something that's wrong. It's like, okay, well, assume I don't know anything about whatever this anime is or who this person is. Yeah. I like I don't, I don't understand try, what it has to do with any of this. Try and help. This it. is this, definitely, this is a tell me the secrets, Jimmy moment. Well, yeah, and, and, <laughs> and, and you to give you've, me the information. Give you me now the know secrets, Jimmy. What this video is, which is the audience listen to this, mostly nod their heads at the craziness, and at the end go, yeah, everything I thought about all these different people is true, and that's it. Like, because there's just no substance here at all. But how much of it relies on, like, the, what has been pointed out, which is that you just have to know a lot of these things already. Yeah. You have to be, like, have have seen the exact same conversations that he's had and, like, the same general political sort of, like, awareness that he has and, and like, the meta. So many of, like, the, the clips of, like, context are just, like, confusing. Oh, gosh. I and think so you that if you think this video is good, I think you are stupid. Wow. Well, Rags. True. Covet those things and never <laughs> I think that the people who think this is good probably wouldn't be able to tell you much about what was in it outside of a general feeling. Oh, yeah. It's one of those videos. We've covered many of them on every frame of pause. They it, pop up often. I was saying for those people, the, the video passed a vibe check. Never oh, really think okay. critically about cool. Hell, most of the topics people claim it covers <laughs> aren't actually in the show. It's in Adolescence of Utena, basically a movie rewrite that came out later. What is the happening? Worst I, refuse, I, I refuse to stop it. We can't. I, look I, the, yeah. we can't. Why can't I hold all this information we, I can't we cannot, do with? We cannot go through all of that because we don't fucking know any of the context for any of this craziness. About, like, yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't know, know what about Utena's adventures in I've Wonderland or whatever. anime, but I have no fucking idea what either of them are on about. I, mean, I have just... no fucking. I don't know idea. what he's talking about. I don't know what the person. Like I, I'm lost. I'm yeah. totally lost. And there was there was like text on there that switched like every one and a half second three times, yeah. and I was like, I don't fucking know anything. Just That's just moving funny. on, I guess. Is with Steven Universe, a series she brings up multiple times in about eighty percent of her videos. This cool. animated series broke ground okay. for queer rep in media, and yet the way Orchard might have, discusses I, it, it might no still be idea. absolute called... shit, though. I haven't seen yeah, it, but, but it might yeah. be shit. I, I only that... hear bad things about it. Yeah, I've, I've 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 heard of so many different people's breakdowns of like how bad this show is. It like coasts on the representation side of things, as opposed to being sort of critically assessed for what it actually is, what stories it tells. Is it? You'd think Rebecca Sugar personally came to her home and melted her My Little Pony pony collection with a soldering iron. What, what, is it redundant to that? say My okay. Little Pony Pony Collection? I don't even... Couldn't you just say My Little Pony Collection? All, all he just said was she really didn't like this DVDs. show. It's like, okay. He also called her Orchard, which is like, that's weird. It's Mrs. Orchard? Or Mr. Orchard? Um, I mean... Goes Lily, Lily Orchard. I wouldn't what go is the... Orchard. What's, what's the eh. non-binary equivalent of Mr. or Mrs.? Mix. Does one exist? Is MX? Mick, is that Mick it? Orchard? Ooh, Mick Orchard. I like that. Well, I, I was going to say, you saying Mick it's Orchard. weird to refer to the person as their surname. Is that what you're saying, Theo? Not generally well, speaking, but in this flipping, case, it's weird. Right? Oh, or well, yeah. I mean, Orchard, yeah. I just say Lily Orchard. I just, I yeah. didn't know what the terminology was, so. All it needed was a writer who knew what the fuck they were doing. Sorry, did I say knew what the fuck they were doing? I meant decided to actually put in some work that day. This is why Steven Universe thought nothing about taking a story regarding so dysfunctional again, family. Assume that somebody who's watching this doesn't know anything about Steven Universe. What? Oh, you're like or, all, uh, all of us, or like basically. Anything about <laughs> the conversations that have happened about Steven Universe. And all I know is it has like space Hitler or something. YouTube critics will lie to you or bad media criticism video essay. Assume all of that, and then look at this section and go, is this confusing? Is this, <laughs> is like, this really confusing? bizarre? I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. Family dynamics and just throwing Nazis on top of it. Steven Universe likes to pretend it's weaving this intricate plot web, but like most stories, they're making know. it up as they go along. But presumably, Rose had a secret about. identity was scribbled on a post-it note somewhere, and this is the only place where it feels like they thought about that. Well, Many of her specific arguments have been <laughs> okay. rebutted by more.
So go sure see thing. this video if you want to see why that was wrong. <laughs> what the fuck? You know what? All that sounds really cool, my dude. Um, yeah, anyway. This is insane. That's the third video recommended for understanding That's... anything about this whole thing. It's we that one. It's that we've one entered the, the Steven Sorry, Universe segment of this video, and it's it's kind of fucking wild. Just, what's I'm the just point not... of this? It's like a that bibliography, not a video. Like... I'm not reading all of that. No. Sorry that happened, or congratulations, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah, whatever whatever applies. I'm losing my mind. I'm looking at all my stickers here. Critics. All of Lily's arguments are extremely biased. You want to do another take of that, my dude? I just, <laughs> you, just, like, you keep saying You want to do it. another take, my dude? No. It doesn't we, cost you anything. No, gotta ship out the video as soon as possible to maximize It'll cost electricity, revenue. Rex. That's already too much. It costs electricity to make good content. It's like, yes, finally we agree. Really rooted in any tangible no, you could write a book by material. candlelight. Fuck it. She, all of her arguments are biased and not rooted in tangible evidence. Like, sure, Matt. If Even the people so, we dislike the most evidence? can make an argument. Like, can you be? It's, can you have a shred it's not of spectral like spectral evidence? <sighs> Lily's criticisms are often come completely from, divorced from what she's criticizing. The ether. She sometimes has to make things up herself. You Lily said that already. Yeah. What is yeah, the, but he um, gave you references uh, to check out if you want to go see if that's true, Bethel. <laughs> well, you know, if fucking if you want to do the work for him, you can fuck off to God. those other videos and watch them so that he doesn't he doesn't have to put them in this video where he's allegedly trying to convince us about something. Why is it just video? turned into a Lily Orchard hit piece? I don't know, but because this part the literature of the video devil section is sort of done, maybe for now. Make me angry. This is pissing me off now. Well, yeah. Fuck this shit. We're, we're coming close to what the end. What does the TI stand for? We're making it there. Uh, t Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons. I don't know. That'd be TH, knows... right? I know. So, I'm just making shit up. Her word is enough for, to convince her audience. Oh, maybe it's a picture of like a man underneath like a like an awning of some sort. Like oh, he's just like yeah, at a bus stick stop. Man. It's a man oh. at a bus stop. Wait, what's the name for the men that are drawn that way? Because it's not stick man, right? It's like like the little like icon oh, man or something. Know. I don't know. It looks like eye men because yeah. they look like little eyes. If she says it confidently enough, regardless of how many of her ideas break down after a few seconds of thought. Oh. Magnetos! Mm. Whatever ones those are, I wouldn't I, I, know. That's what I mean. It's, it's been such a fucking um, painful adventure. We've listened yeah. to a couple of clips from Lily Orchard, but I, we haven't been able to do anything with them because he keeps going, like, just check out this video. <laughs> What's, <laughs> What's the point? this other video? This new-ish backstory is pretty bog-standard sympathetic villain fodder. Namely, heroes plead to the moral sensibilities of an oppressor, and trying to end systemic discrimination by force is a bad, naughty thing for meanie poos. Well, I mean, okay. Okay. I mean uh, uh, I've, oftentimes, yeah, a lot of the times it, it, it absolutely seems to depends. be. I mean, Magneto's had a couple of plans, for example, like try to mutate the human population in X Men 1. Well, or... Didn't Cerebro wasn't going to kill was, them? Wasn't yeah, he's gonna kill going to kill all of humans the, in X Men the 2. These are moves we consider to be over the These line. These are excessive. Yeah, These a little bit mean. Just a little bit. A I little think it's bit okay mean. To call I will them say, maybe, the, maybe this referencing the comics. Don't, I don't know. We never know because these clips never fucking tell us. It works if it's done well. But I'll pay Lily this this compliment. Just oh, this okay. one. You take? She's not boring. Oh, fuck off. Why are okay. you? Thanks, Hitler, Hitler's not boring. I had a feeling you'd say that. <laughs> I guess. Look, I the man about, started. I'm, I'm, <laughs> look, the man to... plunged the globe into a chaotic conflict. All right? He's not boring. <laughs> Energy levels and enthusiasm for the media in question, even uh -huh. if it's all nonsense, put her in a different league of grifter. One that what the, draws energized reactions grifter? from critics like myself. Oh, wait, he's so he's saying literature devil's boring. We're saying that everyone boring. in the video has I been like boring play. except uh, Lily Orchard and then Anita because Anita. she was so concise. Yeah. Well, and Anita was given the, the hyperball wash, if you remember. Wait, so this is made literature devils the worst one then? I don't know. It's the boring. one that got the most focus out of every <laughs> is that what he's clip. He's the yeah, he's one. the boring right wing grifter. I guess so. And her fans. Most right wing grifters, they blur oh. together. I can show you. I've shown you clips from multiple grifters. Could you tell them apart? If yes, I, yeah, they, yeah. They're all yeah. very yeah. clearly different. They were very yeah. different styles. Yeah. The quality of fucking visuals. Like you have different references on some screen, of different them. Had multiple people on it. And they were talking about different subjects, which was yeah, that made it very clear that they were from different. It yeah. became very painful. Chad was entirely different. There was from, a black uh, man and a white oh. man. I know that they're not the same. <laughs> it's not. <like> the <laughs> 
what the fuck are you talking yeah, about? There were three of them were like three medieval knights you, at the table. Like, did you mix up the three white guys with the black guy? Like, no. I can't Frankly, believe I this. Not. I can't believe what I'm watching right now. It's such a doopy video. What the fuck? If you didn't know the context, if I didn't tell you who's who, probably not. Yeah. You didn't. You did not provide the context. <laughs> context. You're fucking joking <laughs> he, me hey, right now. He put it on the screen I'm, real quick. I'm, mm. The fuck. You know that. You know when you have like a, a little credit come up for a thing. And it takes, it's probably like, I don't know, three seconds, uh, or rather, a second to come on, three seconds to sit, second to come off. With his clips, those, like, the clips were shorter than the amount of time it would take to credit the clip. You know what I mean? It's like, that's how fucking quick all of this was going. But Lily, when you see her and you hear her voice, you know exactly who she is. No, I don't. We, that's the whole fucking point. We do not know what's going on. It is ironic considering, like, how unoriginal the vast majority of the observations that this guy's made in the video are, that he would say, like, yeah, but all those guys blur together, not like me, just regurgitating a whole bunch of disconnected arguments that I've heard before. Also, I think of everyone here, I think Literature Devil and Anita Sarkeesian have had the best speaking voices. Um, so I wouldn't I, put I, Lily in there, but I guess that's subjective. Well, the thing about it is, like, I just don't feel like we—they're the ones we've gotten the most time to listen to. Like, it just feels yeah. like everyone else has been completely shafted. Even Cinema Sins only got what was it, like, a, a handful of clips, three? Oh yeah, he wasn't. He only got yeah, he was right <laughs> at the beginning for a minute. So yeah, what hours perspectives ago. are, even if they're nonsense, <laughs> because she is so distinct as a voice. No, you can't she help isn't. but notice her. Okay. And I think that's why she's had so much success as a bad media critic, as opposed to other bad media critics. Look at her amount of followers. Compare that to say, Eric it's more. Wh wait, 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 what? what? Five wait. times more. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what? what? Am I a success as a bad media critic, as opposed to other um, bad media he? critics? Look at her amount of followers. So she's got okay. 141k subs. Compare that yeah. to say, Eric July. 506,000. Oh, he's, he's got more subscribers, but go oh, on. Must be going Look at July's right? most popular video on his channel. Now compare yeah. that to Lily's most popular. Well, I mean, That's that, two that doesn't necessarily tell you to... much. Like, their most popular competing. That could be. You, she could have hit the, the algorithm better than him yeah. on a particular video. That's that how really... frequently if you, if you, uh, YouTuber you go... uploads compared to another one as well. Yeah, yeah. If you go back to Eric, there's like, it was like one. Two, Bro, what? Yeah, it's always oh, it 500,000. Yeah. California Swag District. So, we have to now doogie. compare that to Lily's most popular video. Okay. Yeah. That doesn't oh, I didn't have time to look at it, you fucker. Well, you just, like it, it had like over eight million views, but I don't know what the, that tells us. Now look at the, to the subject. Times. Think of how many hours people have spent watching Lily Orchard. There is okay. a titanic gap okay. between Orchard success and theirs in this regard. Because even among bad media critics, there is a tier list. And most right-wing grifters... Where are we? Uh, what rank? Okay, are we going to... Oh, yeah, Rady Fat, how many put us on the tier list. Are, how many videos, how many views per day? Yeah. Like, there's, there's channels who upload every day, there's channels who yeah. upload every month. There's oh, channels and there's who, channels who upload every day and are good, and channels who upload think every about day and are terrible. True. Watch time, yeah. Watch time. I mean, uh, retention, uh, engagement. Some channels don't put out much, but... Oh, yeah, someone's asking, like, yeah, like, uh, literature nails in the chat. He's asking, what about critical drinking? Yeah, what about critical what about, drinking? This is just not a, this is a worthless metric. It's two people. It literally means nothing. <laughs> it's two people. It's, it's lousy. I have to take his word for it again. <laughs> look at these numbers. They mean something. As I, if you say well, yeah. so, my dude. Well, yeah, oh, look, that's it's been Jay. The whole video. I see Jay's icon. Do you see Jay's icon there? Oh, yeah, there he is. Is there he is? To the right. Oh, my God. Yeah, right. Grifter. Like, oh, yeah, Grifter. Yeah. Grifter. 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 Are in the shadow <laughs> of Lily Orchard. Kick Jay. And that's act. Oh, wait, but. Oh, dang. I wait, love what just happened? I paused it because I wanted to see who else I recognized. If... But. Oh. <laughs> this well, but he went black because he's like, <laughs> fuck you. What did you have to say? The, everyone's in the shadow of. Well, what was just said was everyone's in the shadow of Lily Orchard. But um, Jay, for example, who has one of the more popular breakdowns of um, uh, Steven Universe. Most popular video? Oh, fair enough. 6.5 million. Hasn't caught up yet. <laughs> what about... But Jay's um, content is really good and funny. What about Drinker, though? That, that is the fair one. His most popular video? Let's see. 8.3. Oh, he's, like, drawing. Uh-oh. Well, Ooh. and also, just what is his average views per video? Oh, I think it's a million, like, high yeah, exactly. video, I'm pretty That's, sure. Yeah. <laughs> really high engagement, yeah. 
About... I mean, are we supposed to look into Lily? Assuming Orton's that average... that's the way that he would group him, that he would just be like, oh, yeah, drink of the right wing grifter. Yeah. I mean, yeah, why not? because if we. Aha! Lily or I found. I found a grifter who beats her out. Uh, this this oh, no. particular grifter has two videos that have 9.1 and 9.4 million. It goes by the oh. name of Mola. That fucker. Ew, cringe. Uh, <laughs> apparently he's a long grifter. Those are the worst. Oh, he, he does the long grift. So is Lily Hork or Lily Orchard what? is Lily and Michaela <laughs> now? So I don't know. Right? Or does she have her own channel anymore? Um well is it like a rebrand maybe or something? I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to look. I I'm looking up Lily Orchard and it's it keeps popping up with Lily and Michaela. Yeah, I, I think I saw that That's name pop up at some point. Well. But I don't I don't see the I don't see the Lily Orchard channel. So That's, is that it? Like the it might be. I don't know. Yeah, I I think it is. So I'm going there, and they have 141,000 subscribers, and their views do not. I mean, it's so so. Their videos get so so. It's very inconsistent. Thirty two thousand, twenty seven thousand, sixty five, eighty six, one seventy three, forty five, twenty nine. It's all over the place. Yeah, the shadow of Lily Orchard. And that's actually deeply upsetting, actually. Um, why actually, am I pointing this out? So why, why why did you claim they exist in her shadow? Why Jay definitely doesn't exist in her shadow. Well, if the shadow yeah. simply means your top video's view count being dwarfed in any way, shape, or form by hers, then that's that. And it's like, okay. That's a stupid metric. I agree, Rex. That is a stupid that's metric. That's retarded. Why does any of this matter? Who that's a great fucking question. Yeah, that's a great question. That's the most insightful question you've asked this <laughs> entire video. Please end the video with yes, it doesn't Anthony matter. Yes, Gramuglio, I need you to go do it. Who cares, right? Who Why cares? do bad media criticisms make the landscape of media criticism a worse place? Well, that's not a hard this... question to answer. What yeah, you... that's pretty funny. No. Like this it was like easy. tautological, isn't it? Why is bad criticism <laughs> bad? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, the only curious thing is bad. what he'd say as a result. Mm. Okay, put. wait, hold up. Oh. So, someone's saying Lily and Michaela is the Lily Orchard channel. She renamed it after she brought her girlfriend in to produce videos with her. All, All right. right, there you go. Oh, there you so, go. There you go. The mystery is solved. Yay! It allows people to stop thinking critically. A trend of news. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Funny, Let's talk okay. about not thinking critically, sir. Like, the, <laughs> yeah. what has this video done if not been a great example of your absolute lack of critical thinking and your encouragement to everyone else to degrade their critical thinking, to simply oh, engage wait, on a level longer. of just clips out of context? We don't. No, no, no. Think mm -hmm. about it. Think about it. We had to do all of the work for this video. Wait, he's a training minute. us to think critically. Oh my god, he's training us right. to do the research oh, ourselves. Got us. Oh, he fucking got us. We had to find out who these people were. We and we had to look at their channels and find out these videos and do all that. We had to do all the work for this video essay. <laughs> he's training oh, us. Oh wow! He knew this would happen. He knew making this way. video would encourage other people to critical think. He's a genius. That's that's the kind uh, of five D chess. Figured like, it out. He's like nostalgia Anthony critic. Only Grimuglio. he's like, you do the critical thinking, so I don't have to. Like, that's, <laughs> that's, that's genius. Line is that people will echo what their favorite personalities say, and like <laughs> you clearly uh, have throughout the whole mm, video. Interesting. <laughs> like, <laughs> tell me about really tell me now. about Hitman. Tell oh, me about God. Hitman. If you watch, say, Lily Orchard, you'll probably agree that Steven Universe is pro-fascist. If you watch Ethan Van Skyver, you might argue that Marvel Comics is secretly controlled by a lesbian Illuminati. But the problem is fun. This. By even... doing <laughs> that, you're actually not engaging with the media anymore. You're just echoing what someone else told you to say. And um, what are your sure? original thoughts? But, well, Anthony that's the thing, right? It's like, but, well, he does. You got to break out of it yeah. too, man. Get out there <laughs> like and give said, your original this takes. Like a time warp. This is like one of those Star Trek episodes You're in the where they Matrix, get caught in a man. time loop. We You're spent it. a significant Take amount of time it, talking You're about not whether or not Ray is a Mary Sue. We have we have actually fallen into a, a like a wormhole and ended up in the year 2017. It's crazy. <laughs> and, with yeah. these, and you're not coming up with your own answers. And if those answers you're echoing are based off false... You, okay, so well, we wait, couldn't it, get more okay, so explicit it, as an example of you echoing someone else's opinions than your section on Lily Orchard where you said, please watch everyone else's videos and not my own opinion. <laughs> but also, like, mind that I will not has no, my stream, man. Like, the idea that you could just not be thinking critically, that could apply to good media criticism that you're not really absorbing. Like, 
where all of the arguments are constructed really well, but you just end up regurgitating the conclusions. It seems like he's even acknowledged that that's possible. Like, whether it's good or bad, you may not be engaging your own critical thinking skills. Faulty logic? That means you're not even engaging with anything anymore beyond their perspective. You're helping create an alternate reality where <laughs> art and fake fruit... <laughs> I wish I was in an alternate reality. Alternate reality, that's... That's crazy talk. That's my brain's defense mechanism. Like, I'm inventing alternate realities to yeah. be in to get away from this Inventing video. context that can explain how we got here <laughs> that's more rational than how we actually did. Engaging with anything anymore beyond their perspective. You're helping create an alternate reality where art and a fake version of said art exist in tandem. And if well, what about... So, on one hand, I almost want to agree with him somewhat. Be like, yeah, you almost create a fake film that doesn't exist or game or TV show by talking about elements that maybe didn't exist or you've exaggerated or you've taken out of context, for example. If we agree that's really bad, do you know what's even worse? To do that to a person. To take a person out of context. To take their life and their yep. works and to misrepresent them, to invent things that they maybe, maybe don't believe, to not prove any of this stuff, to not support yourself, and to echo it out into an audience that already believes all this stuff, right? Because like a lot of the biggest mm -hmm. lies that are told about a lot of the people in the spheres we're familiar with like, you have those fucking posts all the time. It's like, weird. I actually, like, watched one of your videos, and I just couldn't find all of the the crazy racist sexist shit. I was just waiting <laughs> for it to happen. It's like, I know. Isn't that nuts? And then the classic, and everyone always posts these because they're fucking everywhere. It's like, the videos are filled with X. And then they're like, oh, my God. Where, can you, like, just give me a timestamp? It's like, I ain't watching that fucking video. I'm... <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like, yep. wow, how yep. does that yep. happen? It happens because of videos like this. All of these creators that have been displayed in this video, his average viewer that doesn't care about any of them anyway will see them just be like, "Yeah, I hate all of them too now. Fuck them." Yeah, I, I, I want, and they'll. It's like it's how the brain works. He's commented on this himself. People will, in retrospect, be like, "I, I watched a video at some point that kind of like it deconstructed that literature devil guy. He was like a crazy idiot. He, he was like, oh, Ray is like the worst thing ever. It was. He had like no good Ooh, arguments. Going on tangents all the time. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was. He was barely seeing anything of, of any value. He sped at all. it up like twenty five percent. It was insane. And then someone says, "Well, but, I mean, what video is really bad? Do you want to direct? Do you want to?" He's like, "I ain't watching the fucking video." What the I'll watch videos like this, but I won't watch them. <laughs> it's like, all right. Critical thinking, ho! If you don't believe it, consider the Mandela effect. There's a trend among audiences to create huh? fake quotes from movies without intending it. For example, Darth Vader never says, Luke, I am your father. He says, oh, no, so I am boring, your father. Oh, so boring, man. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. but I already assume where he's going here, and it's going to be fascinating because I think he's, he's uh, contributed significantly to the problem he's going to highlight. A small detail, mm. right? What about that scene in 2001, The Space Odyssey, where they say, my God, it's full of stars. Everyone quotes this scene, but it never happens in the film. All right. This cool. is what they call the Mandela effect. It's when you remember something happening that didn't actually happen. Bad movie criticism and bad media criticism is speeding up the Mandela effect to an absurd level. He is completely correct, and he is one of the bigger contributors out of all the people that we've covered. Absolutely. He yep. is creating a completely false reality about all of these people, and just basically everything he even began to touch on. It's actually really frustrating to see him explain how this can happen, how people's reputations can be just torn to shreds by all of these like out-of-context, idiotic, completely contextless yeah, misunderstandings, yeah. and then simultaneously just not realize that's exactly what this whole fucking video is. Yeah, just showing, like, short clips, and, like, these, not unlike, unlike these right-wing grifters, and just shows pictures of, like, three, four, five people. It's like, those are the ones, by the way. I didn't prove anything, but I call them that, and uh, there you go. There, there you have your Mandela effect as well. I've painted them as that to people who intuitively agree with me, because well, they're yeah, my audience. You would absolutely therefore... consider us part of the problem. But when you ask him for like any reference in particular, he's probably gonna be like, "Fuck it, I don't, I don't, I'm not watching your ten-hour videos. That's insane." I'm like, "Okie dokie." Mm -hmm. Also, um, I wanted to double check because I semi-recently watched 2001 and 2010. Is his, I his his example of the Mandela effect that we think he said, "My God, it's full of stars," and that he actually said, "Oh my God, it's full of stars," because yes, I double checked. And the beginning of 2010 says, my God, it's full of stars, as the official transcript of what he said. 
Is that mm. an inaccuracy? You have to check the audio again or something. I mean, he I would looks have like to look for the, the fact that he got again, it from a, it... a website makes me think that it's like been checked somewhat, right? It could be a mistake as well. I just wanted to, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't trust these websites that much, but that's from the official, like the mm -hmm. beginning of 2010. It's like a, a mission readout of the events of 2001: A Space Odyssey, um, and they do play the clip throughout the movie, but I forget off the top of my head where. So I don't know. If you see a bad movie critic misinterpret something online enough times, and those bad critics echo each other, knowing that it's successful in the algorithm. Huh. You'll think art did something that didn't actually happen. Yeah, and then replace art with you people. You think that this piece of art did something that it didn't actually do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're all caught in that same terrible web of deception. You believe their lie and never return to the media in question. Yeah, uh, there's so much sneaky shit in here. Like When someone has an interpretation of media, even if it's uh, they're mistaken or that they've got a particular bias of view that's informing it, that's just nowhere near as bad as outright lying about what people believe in and selling that to your audience and then getting that person's reputation just destroyed. Like, mm -hmm. How much do you really, truly care if someone says, I didn't enjoy Lord of the Rings because uh, it just, it's just too short. The thing is over so quickly. It's like a mm -hmm. fucking three-hour thing and then it's over. You should be like, okay, you... I think you only watched the one. <laughs> I think you, <laughs> you may have just watched Return of the King or so. I don't like. You'd be like, you've clearly made a mistake here. It feels to me like a lot of like really overt mistakes. He would jump to lie, and then he's like, and this is overall culturally destroying artwork. When it's like, surely this has existed forever. Misinterpretations, misunderstandings, mistakes. No. But like, what I consider to be much newer at least in the format we're talking about here, is the uh, the destruction of other people's reputations out of a pure, like, spiteful disgust that you don't... Because what we got from him, clearly, was he has, like, a significant issue with anyone who interprets the thematic value, or rather, doesn't talk about it at all in favor of plot. Um, he sees these people as wrong... As opposed to they have different values, interests, or they misinterpret yeah. it. Or they're just focusing on something that he doesn't assign as much value yeah. to. Which to which me is, is weird, because like, ironically is exactly what he was accusing specifically Lily Orchard of doing. We have covered That's many bad reviews, but like I don't think we typically end the ones that review a film and come to a conclusion that's faulty as like, you've, you're destroying culture. Yeah, like this was the rambling with your of lies. an insane lunatic, or it can yeah, get to a point like that if it's like a significant, uh, especially for something that maybe is fledgling. Like if it's like a Marvel yeah. movie, it's probably going to be fine, whether or not you uh, got a few details right or whatever. But I don't know. I'm just struck by the fact that he's he's this uh, passionate and incensed about you know damaging these movies, but he doesn't give a single fuck about any of the people that he's uh, damaging the video. Mm hmm. It's fascinating to double check and then you echo those wrong beliefs and more people will you believe think you. that Psyduck would be proud of you for making this video <laughs> look at him there he'd be uh, is that Psyduck he'd be shaking his head it looks like Psyduck Psy I yeah he'd, he'd be sad he'd so. Psyduck which would mean I'm disappointed in you <laughs> oh I didn't oh you speak Psyduck I had no idea oh well you're oh it makes sense the bird yeah. and, oh that makes sense that makes sense no I I took a I took a class in duck um, Does Duck I, translate I learned... to Thai Duck? Yeah, yeah, it's sort of. It, it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like how if you learn Italian, it gets you like pretty. You know, you you're well on the way in terms of Latin. Right, right. Like that, <laughs> you know, yeah, something uh -huh. like that. Yes, <laughs> I see. Oh, yes. Right. Oh, okay, I got you. Look, I just got a lot. I speak. I speak meow. Actually, is the case. That's, 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 maybe. That's, so, yeah. well, does meow speak meow or do, is English meow? That's a thing. I which think one of cultural first, appropriation, yeah. which makes it based. I, don't know. I wonder what Scorch Bunny speaks, because rabbits don't really make noise as much, do they? Not really, except when they die. They're quiet. Guys, come on, there's oh, two minutes. Oh, Just two minutes left. Come on. Yeah, the death <laughs> rattles. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, That's whatever. And then I'll start thinking about Psyduck's event. I'll think about um in Pokemon Channel how Psyduck was like a news broadcaster, like Kent Brockman. That's right, he Just was talking about the yeah. news. And his little suit as well. It was wonderful. Anyway, let's oh, finish this video. I think he had a tie. I'm, I'm Did he have a yes, suit? He I think he had a Oh. He had a uh, look, oh. While, while, while we finish this video, I'll find that out. I thought he had like a tie. I didn't know he had a whole suit. 
Let me double check. This... Oh, he does have he has a blue tie. From yeah. the art that you supposedly love. And that kind of fucking sucks, doesn't it? This is made all the worse because often bad movie criticism paints a target on real people. Yeah. Oh my there god, this just gets more <laughs> priceless. <laughs> wow. Man. Just worse and worse. Being lies oh, about the movie wow. is one thing. Slandering a person? Could you imagine? Oh, you should... Dude. Could you imagine doing that? A real person. A real one. Oh, a blaming them for perceived faults that don't actually exist. Interesting. Oh, wow. Highly that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. I ultimately don't care if you like or dislike The Last Jedi. I won't lose sleep over it. Yeah, you, it bothers you. Will. <laughs> it, it bothers you. It bothers you. We know. It bothers all you freaks. But you know who will lose sleep over your harass? Ooh, who? Uh... Is it me? Oh, I don't do I know. Be, Is it the sponsor of this video, the... Raid Shadow uh, Legends? Uh, of... Yo! <laughs> right. uh, no, no, no. Uh, what, who played, uh, what's the name? Rose. Oh, uh... She'll lose sleep over it. Kelly Marie Tran. Kelly Marie Tran. Yeah. Raspin campaigns? The actors involved with the film. Yay! The, the crew who have been targeted for harassment. What are the fuck? Sorry, say, but, uh, okay, show me right, the receipts of I any of that. these YouTubers saying, oh, right, no. the only way we're going to get good movies now is to harass Kelly Marie Tran and the crew. Like, what? Get, come on. This is so fucking boring. Everyone knows that the people who are freakish creatures of nature on yeah, the like, internet everybody knows that's on Hinge. That's yeah, unhinged. Everyone you can knows. talk forever about it. Agree. And if, if your fundamental argument is, yeah, but being negative about the film encourages people to do it, then I guess nobody can be negative about anything ever again. Well, yeah. but presumably being negative about any individual person that you did in the video, like uh, negative criticism of. Like, Lich Richard it Devil doesn't even could have work that same that result as well. Because... You speak with your silence, so anything you're positive well, about, you know then what? things that are not spoken as positively about, they get the same treatment. Uh, mm. the, the harassment that he would have encouraged by giving Rise of Skywalker a negative point of view, you know, his fans would have been going oh, after yeah, the actors right, there, yeah. so shame on you, so, don't no, but do he, that. He had accurate criticism, so that won't happen. Oh, okay. How many fucking unhinged lunatics do you think Literature Devil's gonna get in his comment sections because of this guy? specifically feel yeah. the need to go after the actors. Like, that's just... People are doing that Those anyway. crazy people. Yeah, that's just crazy wild people. That's screwed up, man. <sighs> Especially yeah. when bad movie criticism is combined with conspiracy theory paranoia. Where you oh, blame... God. What are we talking Daisy about? Daisy Ridley or Kelly Marie? Who's d show me? Show me the people who, who said what it's is Daisy going Ridley's on? Who are these people? Never met this you person. Was this in the literature devil video. <laughs> I need you to listen, Anthony Grimugi. You need to <laughs> like specifically point out these people. It is in your interest. You have a very vested interest in pointing these people out specifically, so we know who they are and to avoid them. Because you're calling out all these other random people, you've got clips from their videos, but when it comes to stuff like this, you need to be specific about them too. Who are you talking about? Who did you hear this from that made you put this in your video? Name them. Who was the person who some... explicitly said in their video, you know why the sequel trilogy is bad? Daisy Ridley. Go well, get her. Well, like, who the fuck is saying yeah. this? <laughs> no. Greater evil in the film industry. No? What about, like, the Harvey Weinstein stuff? Isn't that, like, worse? That's a pretty great the, evil, like, yeah. the sexual exploitation? Quite evil. And the crunch of the workers and the crushing of unions and the, like, isn't that worse? Or is it's it hard. that some people said mean things about Daisy Marie Tran or whatever? Get them. And you harass them. That's just cruel, man. I don't know, people uh, yeah. get raped as well. One agrees. I think, but, you well, know, everyone, everyone agrees. agrees. Yeah, I would no also just go as far as, that, yeah. do you think this is going to make a difference to those people? Those crazy people yeah. who harass actors are going to see this video and go, man, oh. Gaboglian said that, that it's not so many lies. He said that he practically gave me a sonic line. That's not cool, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm going to change my way. Like, it's so dumb. It's just to try and score points. You know this is completely ineffective, and you know there's no cause and effect linking any of the people you've covered in here to the harassment of Daisy Ridley, but you'll happily just let people make that connection. No citations. Yeah. Let's just pop it out mm -hmm. there. By the way, taking down anyone's reputation in any way, shape, or form, that's a bad thing. Don't do that. I wouldn't do that. No, that's no, no. Really I'm just... up to do. I, it's... Totally coincidental that I talk about all these specific people in all of these clips and everything, yeah. and then at the end of the video I say, oh, there's some people who do this oh, thing, and whoever they are out there is, oh, I wonder who they could be. Ooh. Definitely don't mean those ones, no, no, no. Are you implying that Anita is behind this? <gasps> oh my god. Da, 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 Crazy da, da, conspiracy. Da, da. Interesting. The danger with bad media criticism is that eventually it bleeds into real-life 
It's very ominous music too. It's very <laughs> spooky and ooh, I, this I is feel like this is the soundtrack the trying to be like he doesn't know. He just doesn't know this all applies to him. Conspiracy <laughs> <laughs> theories. Which can hurt actual people. Bad. It's all part of the greater what? pipeline that exists. It doesn't even hurt fake people like Lily Orchard did. Man, that's mm. messed up. Yeah. That exists on the internet. The paranoia. The clicking on videos that you agree with and the game works. He pointed to, point to, he agree pointed with to himself. He pointed to himself. <laughs> he did. And then the mask slipped. <laughs> Watching people on the internet you agree with and he pointed at himself. He totally did. <laughs> Interesting. More extreme stuff and more extreme stuff until you're no longer living in reality. You're living in a divorced existence. Yeah, Im imagine that experience where you just yeah. dehumanize oh. people to the point of just playing a six second clip and you think they, you know their entire existence. To the point of warning everyone they're liars and they're grifters. Imagine mm -hmm. living in that world where you're just so sure of yourself, you never have to expose yourself to any other kinds of ideas. You just, you're all good That's in your little bubble. Wild stuff. Listen, all I all I've learned today is that if I want to be if I'm if I'm if I'm gonna be grifted, I need to make sure that's precise and concise and quick, or not boring, like it, and then it's fine. It's so it's insane. Fine, short. This section yeah. is fucking wild because it's all about how you could damage a person in real life. When he's yeah. connected all of this to a bunch of people, he's barely showed anything from in this video. While doing all of the things that he's talking about extensively over the yeah, last it's crazy. 40, seven and a half minutes. Outside this is actually of the, wild. Your world that everyone else lives in. <sighs> you create a less safe place for your peers. No shit. Why couldn't it just be some good people got things wrong when they were reviewing movies? No, this no. is destroying people's it? lives and this is dangerous, which you means we have that? to stop it and remove it from the internet or something. Remember the beginning where it was just Cinema Sins got stuff wrong and the director yeah. didn't like it? And then we <laughs> missed yeah, it. I did not see like... this as the ending, I gotta say. I don't know what I thought the ending was, but not this. Good news, though. It's good news. There's a cure for all this. <gasps> You want to hear the? You want to hear the cure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, no. you want to do another thing? Yes, do okay, it. Yes. No need to get so close, though. That's fine. Watch the movies you're complaining about. And Wait, find me the person who smug. has. Smug. Oh. Smug. Who did? Smug. Wait, yeah. who didn't watch the movies? Name what, the YouTuber. Why, smug. Who didn't. Who's when this? was that? The when was oh, that a thing? Jeez. Watch the, the movies. We watch the movies and then we about. only talk about the plot. We when, all when fucking whole... do. Go fuck Who did yourself. I could believe that he didn't see Blade Runner. I could believe that, though. He may have seen the famous clips. <laughs> and been like, oh, yeah. Oh, these well, clips we know he takes the movie clips from the internet, so maybe that's all he did. Uh, it's so boring. Right, here we go. Remember he was like, uh, it takes longer to watch some of these things than it takes to watch the movies themselves, but also, they're not watching it. Yeah. Sure, man. 100%. An emoji. <laughs> <laughs> and come up with your own ideas. Oh my god. Oh, oh my wow. god. Tell us about Hitman and what Anita says. Is there a single <laughs> original <laughs> idea in oh this video? Literature god. devil is All a of this grifter, was just fucking regurgitating soon. everyone else's <laughs> stuff. With no there understanding of any even of it. approaching something insightful in this. It was all recycled. I think the only oh, original geez. thing he said was the Blade Runner quote unquote plot hole about, you know, uh, <laughs> Roy and, you know, the shoulder of Orion and all of that, but which is the most the laughable thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Oh, wait, doesn't Discord have like, like a horn sound fitting for that or something? <laughs> Probably. Probably. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta. Oh, wait, go he's, he's a sad there. horn. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, there, <it> <laughs> there you go. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's kind of the perfect thing for him to finish on, honestly. Sounds easy, right? Then start thinking for yourself for once. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the blues, rose. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. Dog shit video. Oh, tough one. Dog man. shit person. <laughs> uh, oh. Fucking hell. What do you even say about that mess? <laughs> it's... Video essayist maintain a structure and have a through line challenge impossible. Like, that's basically all I've got. They they just can't do it. Meandering, no, no. fucking yeah. insane, the amount of nonsense, in dishonest. Look into it every now and then. <laughs> Like, besides that, just the structure of this video is just insanity. Like, the whole, oh, I'm going to just record all this, and I don't know, it felt like one take in some parts.
Oh yeah, like, the gonna... fact that he was having and... to cut mid sentence to show things. It, this I... was a very lazily put together video. It was embarrassing. And then I cut it in the, in this place, put like a random clip there. And it's like, oh wait, I still need to say something about this, but I don't want to re-record, so I'm gonna Ugh, don't remind put me. text over the random clip where I talk over. And I, I create like this insanity vortex that no one can follow. And then I just go and move on and never talk about this clip again. Also, those are like, is it, no, I'm, I'm just okay. frustrated. <laughs> I, I don't want to like conspiracy theorize too hard, but like the, the way this thing is put together and the lack of effort into it, it feels like like just algorithm engagement. Like I've just got to put a video out, you know? I have i can't well, afford like we... to spend any more time on this. It's not like fiscally a good idea or whatever. I just gotta put a video out. He's taken so, so many, like, just. This is the, if you said, what is his understanding of critical drinkers? Like, it was a tweet that someone made that he stole. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's like, a tweet wh from ages why do ago. you people <laughs> who wanna come after Drinker et al., like, why can't you just watch one video? You might find things that you can criticize. It might happen. Don't be afraid. You can do it. Your brain will come up with like a reaction from the data, and then you can possibly synthesize that into a series of words that come out of your mouth mm -hmm. that all of us can say, wow, that's he he saw the thing and he said a thing. Look at him go. Yeah. You just give it a shot. It could work. Didn't be that difficult. Also, give just give like n like a little bit of context for things. Like people don't know all the people you talk about. What I shows you bit. talk about? You just lose people when you dive into fucking Revolutionary Girl Utena randomly. Nobody's yeah. seen that anime. I'm sorry. Oh, Never heard of that shit. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Nobody's seen it. <laughs> and then you play a clip of this random other YouTuber I've never heard of. It's like, see, Dude. she's lying all the time and I'm rambling. It's like. Okay. Check it out in the comments. It's like, I never so. thought I'd hear a good faith criticism of Anita Sarkeesian. He loved this comment, by the way. It's just taken from other people from a decade ago. People mm -hmm. already said this shit. There's nothing he said is new. And That's what really made the takeaway from the video. It's like, so much of it was just a bunch of other perspectives I've heard before. But because they're just, like, haphazardly pulled. It's, it's like they're not synthesized. It's not... It's not presented coherently. It's it doesn't make sense. It's just a it's just like a developed worldview based on all of the information he's received, mm -hmm. which is pretty funny considering that that was like the last thing he said in the video. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, think for yourself. Don't be a sheep. All right. I just imagine trying to hold a conversation with this guy about any piece of media or like anything in general, but mostly media. And I just imagine how fucking bored I'd get. <laughs> well, we saw it with Blade Runner. That was it's like man, this just feels like the most surface level banal. Like worthless analysis of that film. Yeah. And Just Blade like is all so the most... easy. It, it, is, it is pretty easy. Yeah, there's so many people who talked about it. That's the crazy part as well. It's like for, to have so many references out there and then to bungle it anyway, to just screw it up completely. The, the, the uh, top comment You're not a real YouTube critic until you have a snooty British or Australian accent that uh, adds five charisma to your bullshit. <laughs> So, uh, Australian. Oh, I, I hate to reveal this really. to this commenter, but the vast majority of video essayists are wounded animal Americans. That is the. Uh, oh yeah, yeah they're wounded animal, <laughs> soft yeah. voice, vulnerable voice Americans. Yeah. yeah. It's not the British. It's not the Aussies. Which, by the way, the f <laughs> springy catching strays. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> the Australians I, I, I or whatever. If it's written from the perspective of an American, it's like, well, that's novel. An Australian <laughs> accent. Meanwhile, if you live in Australia, I mean. Hearing an Australian accent is uh, not exactly an uncommon occurrence, but... Fringy walks you know. outside. He's like, how come everyone's talking funny? <laughs> Howdy, Where am I? <laughs> wait, wait, what? Oh no, what's going on? <laughs> oh no. Uh, another comment. It's all like this... in the Monster Dick world, all the doors open and now I'm in Texas. All this bad faith criticism is the reason I transitioned from reviews to video essays. It's like, in my what? experience, reviews... What? Our people watch a film, come back home, and say what they thought. Video essays are filled with pretentious assholes who think they've got the correct what, what answer on films. What is that? I went from like a reviewer this. to a video essayist. I don't what know. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? It's an honest Dude. progression of professions. I can't imagine viewing the term video essay as anything positive, because to me it's like divine punishment from God at this point. I fucking hate video essays. <laughs> they suck ass. I'm loving the Wojak's coming out of this. This show. <laughs>
<laughs> stuff is protein in your <laughs> How long before we it have should, to make bitch of protein in It should say no urine. intrinsic to value is what it <laughs> should say. No intrinsic to value? Above. Ah. <sighs> Well, that was arduous. That was that was yeah. arduous. That was, that was, that was awful. Quite a laborious venture. Yeah, oh, thanks, that's thanks what, for that. That oh, it's <laughs> been a while since one that bad. I think. Yeah. yeah that's among, oh, that's, uh, that was that one was bad. That was no good. Oh no! Yeah. There's a comment here recommending JXC's breakdown of Patrick's plot hole video. It takes him to task <laughs> for sweeping claims and lack of nuance. Big recommend. Uh oh. Mm. <laughs> you know what? I went ahead and reloaded the page because sometimes I don't know what to think. So I let AI think for me. So the chat summary is, <laughs> um, is such. In the chat, people are reacting to a video review by Mahler. <laughs> Opinions are mixed, with some finding the review entertaining and others criticizing it for being pretentious. <laughs> well, there you go. That's, that's what we're talking that's about. That's your fault, Mahler. I knew it. <laughs> Ossiary. Uh. We go we're, now? we're just having a moment. It's okay. I feel yeah, bad. Just... What's um? <laughs> There's a comment with twenty upvotes that says EFAP's gonna have a lot to say about this. <laughs> no <laughs> shit. EFAP did in fact have a lot to say about this. Yeah. Well, someone responded, bad. "Hopefully something of substance," but I'm not holding my breath. It's like, oh, because this was the substantive okay. video. Oh yeah, yeah. this was like, the really I, deep you know, video. I, I shouldn't complain about this so much because it's just gonna be the case forever. But so many of these people saying shit like that, and then they are the most vapid motherfuckers <laughs> you will ever meet. You try and get a co like trying to get an interesting or insightful opinion or thought out of them is like blood from a fucking stone. You'll be lucky if you get more than a single word reply from half these fucking bastards. I hate it. <laughs> You know what it's They'll like? like it's like asking a professional <laughs> video essayist, what did they think of Blade Runner? And they say, I thought it was really sad when he said and, the and tears in the rain. you're not allowed to look up Google. You're not allowed to go to Google and look <laughs> up what people have said about it before. What did you think of the just tears in like, the rain? So why did, they go like, to really the, why did they go to the toy maker? What was the whole point they, they went to go visit that guy? You just tell me why, why they went to go see him. And they'll be like, the, the who, the, uh, the, the. Uh, Rags, they're like, is that scene six out of nine? I haven't seen that one yeah. <laughs> from Watch Mojo. What was that, five, fuck? five out of nine or six out of nine from Joe Blow movie clips or whatever. Yeah, I I, I love the barbers. Like it, these guys, they're all right wing grifters. But Nani Desakizian, she just didn't know any better. It's just been honest mistake. And the other one is <laughs> made at a least is not boring. <laughs> it's like what the fuck. You got a comment here that he's loved, saying, God, I mm. needed this video. I kept on noticing a lot of these bad criticisms, but I didn't have the words or the smarts to fully realize them. There's nothing oh, in this. If you think this guy's got the charisma and the intelligence, he, then you are. You're fucked, my if dude. If you hate all of the featured creators in this video, this is not a satisfying video to watch, because he just plays isn't clips it, out of context dude, and says they're bad. Isn't it so ironic that he said "think for yourself" and then liked a comment that said, "Yeah, I, you know, I, I didn't have any of the things that I, I didn't have any of the tools to express myself, but now I can just take yours." Yeah, and he's like, "Yes, good job, good job, love that shit." It's like walking into rakes over and over and over again. Like, so <laughs> yeah, except yeah. he never learns to throw it away. Well, and that and is even worse because HMS he's walking into rakes over and over again. A, a bunch of people are turning up, looking at him, and going. Yeah, let's walk into rakes. Yeah, let's do let's it. Here we go. Rakes. What a great idea. Think for yourself. Ah, think for yourself. Ah. <laughs> oh, I think God. we should. Uh, we should probably end there. <laughs> we probably should for our. Should mental probably end forever. We're big on that sort Gonna of thing. We need some, some time to just sort of sit down yeah. and ponder the universe. You know. Think about what we've Hold done. It, yeah. A little bit of, a little I mean, I am but as right now, like stuck in the the eighth dimension or whatever it was called, <laughs> floating around in my little astronaut uh, suit. Yeah, I think so. It's funny someone says that Moodle needs a break from the tism. Oh, like, there's more tism tomorrow already. Don't this was supposed it. to be a nice chill super chat catch up. That's what this was gonna be. Nope. Not anymore. Nah, that was, that was mm -hmm. never gonna mm -hmm. be. Oh. You've just baited us in. Oh, we were just like, oh, you know, we, this is, you know, this is a EFAP we can actually go to, and we'll be, we'll be there on time. We'll make sure there's nothing else scheduled. 
make sure to be nice and cozy. At this point, I want to return to the editing dungeon. I want to crawl back. It's safe and familiar. It's safe. It's nice and cold. I'm, I'm tempted at this point to start keeping like whenever I'm on here, keeping like a little tick box for if the essayist tells me something I don't know. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> very empty. He says something very unique empty. ever. He says just a unique statement that's interesting in any way. I feel like um, like High Top is capable of that, right? He's he has he original. He can surprise voice. you occasionally. Yeah, <laughs> occasionally. He liked um, Wonder Woman 1984. That was surprising. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Movie Bob says original things. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's a, true. He does say original things. No one has said some of the things he says. Hauntingly that's... original. Um, you, you know, it's it's hard to rank it. A lot of people are saying it's one of the worst videos ever, and it's like, ugh, guys, it's so hard to figure that out. We. It's been a lot of really bad videos, fellas. This is episode two hundred and eighty-seven. It's <laughs> it's difficult to remember. Okay. I don't want to have that recency bias because you've just uh, suffered yeah. through it. But that was really that was a tough one. Mm -hmm. I feel like my brain has calluses. It's <laughs> it's a real great little uh, sort of uh, almost like a museum tour of how not to make a video as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. kind of. Yeah, just from a technical mistakes. perspective, a lot of standard problems. Yeah, like I can totally quality. believe that the person who made this video said the technical details of Blade Runner don't matter. I can totally yeah. believe that it all fits yeah. together actually quite neatly. God, we got everything in this video. We got TLJ, we got Patrick Willems, we got, you know, we got, it's just, it's a vortex. Trip down it's memory lane. Vortex. God. <sighs> so, Metal, what are you up to? Where can people uh, find you? What are you, what's, what's happening? Oh, I'm, uh, the, tomorrow, uh, we're doing the Fortune, Forgenheimers, uh, Mark and I, as we oh. do all the time. Uh, we're going to talk about Atlas. This time I was the one to for, force people to watch Cringe. <laughs> uh, I tried to force Mahler as well, but he was like, no. <laughs> My reactions to that movie need to be captured in a recording, I think. Yeah. Movies and what I do totally I get for, for that no? I get... I get dragged out of my comfy <laughs> Saturday Lord of the Rings mar marathon that You've I learned to do. so much today. You, you learned I about really didn't. all of the horrible <laughs> liars of YouTube and uh, where to find them and how to avoid them. But yeah, uh, we're doing that. Uh, Jay Longborn is going to join us as well, so that's going to be fun stuff. Hey. Uh, Going to be talking about all the cringe of the new Jenny uh, from the Block movie. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it's going to be fun stuff, I, I imagine. Uh, Isn't that so what like a female donkey is called, a Jenny, right? I I, I don't I didn't know. know that. Isn't that right? I didn't know that. What's a male donkey that... called? Uh, but yeah, that's going to be a thing, and yeah, uh, I'm currently know. just uh, streaming some uh, some Wind Waker at the moment. <gasps> and when I'm done with Ooh. that, I'm going. To play Prey 2016, one of the games Yo. that all of us have been recommended by multiple people, and I'm finally going to do it. That game's soon. great. Yeah, I think Same. you'll really enjoy it. Nice. Cool. Yeah, that's what I'm, what I'm up to. Very things, cool. Steph. Um, and in two weeks, uh, Metal's Forge number 100. There's going to yeah. be games that will be played and just fun I to be play had. I Champed Up. <laughs> we will. Yes, we Champed Up. How Hooray. It works. They need to make a champed up too. It's wrong that they haven't. Because you guys remember, yeah. we'll we'll have played Gothic Phone for long enough that we'll forget the horrible options for drawing in Champed Up, where it's like <laughs> it's like big pencil, small pencil, and different colors. And the colors is like yeah. eight colors. Oh, it's horrible. But that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna yeah. It's gonna I be guess fun. They want you to keep it simple or whatever. But you no can keep it simple with a lot of options. That's up to me as the yeah. artist. Don't stifle my creativity, game. Yeah, I paid for you. Well, actually, I didn't, but. <laughs> Still, um, Theo, what are you up to? When's your next video out? Do it. Uh, you know, at some point, I'm I'm not gonna fall into the trap of getting specific. At some <laughs> point, uh, yeah, I'm doing the thing. You know how it goes. Excellent. Nice. Uh, Rags, Fringy, anything you guys want to say before we abandon the internet for safer hmm. pastures? Um, let me, I don't think so. I don't want to say anything yet because I don't have like a timetable for stuff. So I'm not, I'm not going to mention anything quite yet. Uh, you know, just working, but hey, I mean, you know, there's a new Star Wars show coming out real soon. Oh, Yo, boy. yes. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, you guys got some stuff happening. You got the Acolyte episodes going to start shooting out as soon as they're, we, we see them. That's going to be starting up. I think it's out oh, on boy. Tuesday night or something. So you'll be getting that. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the first month where you start getting two uh, war movie arc 
installments per month. So um, oh, plenty boy. of things on the way, as well as more EFAP episodes. It's been quite a quite an interesting year, has it not? All kinds of crazy shit. But for now, we're going to go ahead and say good night. Thank you so much for joining us, and we shall see you on the next thing, whatever it may be. But for now, bye-bye. Yeah. See everybody. Bye, bye, bye everyone. Bye. See you later. Bye, Doc. <laughs> oh, oh my god.